Others make money by washing dishes while backpacking. I make money by catching criminals and collecting bounties for food. I have caught so many criminals that the local law enforcement agency almost went bankrupt from paying out rewards. It all started when I participated in a program two and a half days ago, where contestants had to walk 40, 075 kilometers on foot in three years and find ways to feed themselves and their cameramen along the way. The first prize is a whopping 10 billion. At this moment, I am squatting on the curb, starving and trying to figure out how to get some money for a meal, while the chubby cameraman next to me starts acting up again. Bro, when we starve to death, we should just bury each other next to each other for mutual support. I awkwardly blinked, speechless. Contestants in the program have all their funds frozen and must rely on their own skills to earn legitimate income. Digging through trash bins might cause trouble, and begging without tools is making it hard for both of us. I staggered to my feet, determined to make some money. Just then, ding, the system successfully detected the world and activated the free man system. I was taken aback, thinking I was hallucinating from hunger, and my eyes casually scanned around, looking for ways to make money. At this time, I saw a middle-aged man smoking with his head down at the entrance of a convenience store. Suddenly, name, Li Chuang, gender, male, senior human trafficker, handled the trafficking of 13 children 10 years ago, a reward of 20, 000 yuan can be claimed by taking them to the public security bureau. I looked at the panel in front of me, turned around and gave the fat photographer a big slap on the back. The real touch was not an illusion, it was real. I quickly said to the fat photographer, get up quickly we have a place to eat, follow me, this time we too are going to make a fortune, the fat photographer was startled, quickly stood up, and I found a half brick on the ground and tucked it into my arms, walking towards the entrance of the convenience store, the fat photographer was puzzled, full of question marks following behind, wondering why we needed a brick to eat, my goodness, are we going to rob someone, before the fat photographer could react, I had already taken out the brick, raised it above my head, accelerated my pace, and slammed it on the head of the middle-aged man smoking with his head down. The middle-aged man touched his head blankly, looking dumbfounded, turned to look at me holding the brick. Our eyes met, and the atmosphere was a bit awkward. I didn't expect the human trafficker's head to be so hard that he didn't even faint from this blow. With a bang, before the human trafficker could speak, I slapped him on the face with the brick again. The middle-aged man fell to the ground stiffly, his legs straightened out. At this moment, several fans in my live broadcast room jumped up from their chairs. This player really has courage. He's really robbing. No need to say anything else. I followed him. Pressure brings motivation. There are arresting personnel behind. This player will be successful globally in less than three years. With the support of several viewers, the popularity of my live broadcast room began to soar. And the fat photographer who caught up was dumbfounded. Bro, let's at least have a meal before going to the police station. I gave him a disdainful look. He was a human trafficker. Quickly called the public security bureau to come over casually searched the middle-aged man's pocket, intending to find some evidence. Soon, I found an iron lump, took it out and saw it was a gun. The fat photographer was so scared that he took several steps back, anxiously took out his phone, and dialed the public security bureau's number. The call was answered, and five minutes later, Captain Chandali of the Chin Du Public Security Bureau rushed over with several security officers. Several security officers handcuffed the human trafficker on the ground and one of them took out a tablet computer and looked through it for a long time, then suddenly shouted, Captain Chen, this is indeed a human trafficker, the reward notice was issued five years ago, and the gun is real, the person checking the gun also looked up and said, as soon as this was said, the fat photographer straightened up, looking quite pleased, you need to assist our public security bureau in the investigation, the bonus may take a few days to arrive, Chen Dali said to the two of us, what's up, Captain Chen, can we go back to assist in the investigation? But will we be fed? We've been hungry for three days. I pulled the fat photographer and looked at Chen Dashuan, and my stomach also warned me vigorously. At this moment, everyone in the broadcast studio, including the director, was completely dumbfounded as they watched the rapidly increasing live broadcast data. A staff member looked at the director and said, the director and Su Mo have been taken back to the public security bureau. It took them three days to walk to the outskirts of Chindu. Now they are brought back. Does the distance they walked count? The director, holding his forehead in pain, lowered his head to contemplate, and after a long time, he raised his head and decisively said, the distance they walked also counts. After all, assisting the public security bureau in catching people and going back to assist in the investigation is considered force majeure, and the contestants have no choice. Meanwhile, in the public security bureau office, after finishing our meal, the fat photographer and I sat back in our chairs with satisfaction. Have you finished eating? Chen Dali, 
who had been standing at the door, asked, Thank you so much, Captain Chen. It's really late now. Can you send us to the entrance of that elementary school by car? We are actually participating in a global hiking program. It took us a lot of effort to get to the school gate. You have to send us there, or else the three days of walking will be in vain. Okay, get ready to get in the car. I'll send you there right away. Chen Dali waved and called over a security guard. By this time, it was already dark at the entrance of the elementary school. I jumped out of the car first, looked up at the school gate, and couldn't help but be surprised to see that the students had all been dismissed, and the school gate's convenience store was still open. Fatso, let's go buy some bottles of water. We'll be walking all night tonight. Although the reward hasn't been received yet, it has been confirmed that it's their money, so I specifically asked Captain Chen to borrow 1,000 yuan, and I'll pay it back when the reward arrives. Bro, we're not staying tonight. Not staying. What do you think? Are you following me? That's right. Bro, you're really brave. You dare to go even when they have guns. I admire you. We will definitely win the championship. Of course, the good days are ahead of us. The two of us walked into the convenience store chatting and laughing, looking at the middle-aged man behind the counter. I winked hard and said, he he, what should we buy? The middle-aged man behind the counter smiled and put his hand in his pocket. Name, Li Zhuang. Sex, male. A long-wanted human trafficker, responsible for contacting the buyer. The person of the seller, twisted to the security bureau, can get the reward money 10, 000 yuan hole. Looking at the tips given in his mind, Sumo's entire body was confused. The surprise came too fast. $20,000 had not yet arrived. This came another 10,000. Simply cannot spend it all ah. However, looking at the other party's gloomy smile, it seems that he intends to have signs of making a move, and appearing in this kiosk in the dark. This human trafficker named Li Zhuang, what exactly does he want to do? The real owner of the kiosk, where did he go? Brother, don't talk. Seeing that the fat photographer was ready to turn around to get water, Su Mo drank in a low voice and took a thievish look at the street outside. After school was over, this place really didn't even have any human hair. Asking for help was impossible to ask for help. Everything can only rely on themselves. During the day, that trafficker had a weapon in his hand. And although the reward in front of him was not as high as others, however, he might also be carrying a weapon on his body. Cannot be taken lightly. Brother, what? Massage not? The kind with color. Provide door-to-door -door service. The store also does not matter. Clear water of the little girl. A pinch are out of water. Really? Cheap. You consider consider chant? Thinking for half a day. Su Mo hands propped on the counter. Come over. Keep blinking eyes whispered. Li Zhuang, question mark. Good guy. Now the airborne team. Are they all working so wild? Starting door to door sales? However, he had come over to look for someone. He didn't have the time to chat with people so much. Don't. Don't. If you don't buy anything hurry up and get lost. It will be closed soon in a while. Li Zhuang cursed in a bad mood, took his hand out of his pocket and got up, ready to drive the two out. Brother, older also have, are not easy, you take care of take care of business. Big deal. I buy two bottles of water. What? Idol is also idle. Brother you look at your face. All the beans. A look at the fire should be defeated ah. Listen to the brother. Pack your satisfaction on it? No. If you don't want to play, don't play. Why are you pushing people? Yo. If you push me again, I'll lie down in front of your store. The fat man who just came back with water on the side, looked at the two people who were pushing and shoving outside the store and were about to fight, and rubbed his eyes in bewilderment. What's going on? How come half a minute had gone by and Su Mo was still fighting with the boss? Do you want to die? I have said, I don't want it. Hurry up and get out. Li Zhuang also did not expect. He just put the kiosk boss under control. Intends to hold some money to spend. How come a dog pile? What the hell just like older? Who stepped on the horse like older? What? You can still fix me up? Come come come. Suemo blushed and jumped up more than three feet high, looked down and searched for half a day, and then gouged half a brick on the street tooth. And under the trafficker's dumbfounded eyes, he shoved the brick into the other person's hand. Stalking his neck, he came over half a brain, quite arrogantly patting his brain, shouting, Come on, shoot. How big a thing? You shoot me to death? Do not play on not playing. What are you horizontal ah, fatty, videotaped yet? I don't believe it. He is a kiosk boss, but also can shoot me to death? Li Zhuan looked back. Sure enough, the fat guy at the entrance of the store was holding a small video camera in his hand, and it could be seen through the flashing green light that the recording function was indeed turned on. F asterisk CK. Get lost. You stepping horse is really a crazy person. Cursing in a low voice, Li Zhuan casually threw the brick on the ground. 
At first, he thought it was a vigilante, but to his surprise, it was indeed a hustler. Looking at the strength of this tiger, it is estimated that the business is not good. Thinking of this, Li Zhuang immediately lost interest in the hands, impatiently waved his hand, turned around and intended to walk into the store. The delay here is a bit long. Moreover, that fat man still had the video on. He couldn't stay any longer and had to leave immediately. Don't go, scolding me again, are you? Su Emo bent down and picked up half a brick, and yanked the trafficker back with one hand, dead set on shoving the brick to the person. Shoot me, come, shoot me ah. Li Zhuang is on the verge of crying, seeing so many criminals, that is, murderers that have also seen, but never seen someone can be like a mad dog. Big brother, you opened the video? I'm fucking sick in the head ah. Take a brick to shoot you? Brothers, just now is my attitude is not good. This past okay? Store things, you guys just take on the point. Is a brother to apologize to you? Time is not early. I really have to close the door. Li Zhuang egged. If he is because of this mental illness, and then finally caught him stepping on the sewing machine, is to die. It is estimated that it is difficult to close his eyes. It's too tigerish. Big brother. No more shooting. Then I can shoot ah. Suemo clutched half a brick and coldly raised his head. Ha! Huh? Under the trafficker's surprised gaze. Pying. Swung round the brick. Slapped straight on the opposite side of the door. Crap. The fat photographer's whole body hit a jolt, feeling some deja vu of the picture in front of him. During the daytime, that human trafficker seemed to have been slapped unconscious by this maneuver. What? Again at night? Not only was he confused, the viewers who stayed in the live broadcast room, who were already drowsy, were all energized at this moment. Hiss, where's the brother who just went to sleep and said there's nothing to see tonight? Don't hurry to get up. Su Mo player is shooting people again. This kiosk owner won't be a criminal too, right? Wool, how can he be a criminal? Just now I was listening. Why do I feel that Su Mo is more like a criminal? Familiar with the airborne business like this. One look usually did not go less ah. Can you report this guy? Enough to go in for 15 days. Don't be anxious. How do I look out of place? What is Su Mo squatting on the ground to pull out? Still really ready to rob money ah? Not right. Crouch. The master served. The wall are not served. From now on we'll serve the Su master. Mad. How to pull out a pistol again but also really criminals ah, let me stroke ah, daytime shoot stun that person, if not remember correctly, the reward is 20,000, right, a day to earn 20, 000 is enough outrageous, and now another shot, you fucking shelves commissary into the goods, you made tens of thousands of dollars in one day, if you have this ability, why do you still participate in the program, is it not good to gather and cry for the security bureau, to be honest, I'm envious, really envious, a day earn tens of thousands of ah, if the other contestants know, that will not cry ah, I just came back from the next door. Really, next door that contestant is too bad, squatting in front of the shopping mall for a day, and even $10 did not ask for down. Shasta, although it was nighttime, this live broadcast room of Sumos was once again on fire in a very short period of time. Countless people who were watching the program's live broadcast flocked into the live broadcast room, fucked two criminals in one day, also both used slates. Moreover, both criminals have guns in their hands. This is really too eye-catching. Don't you freeze? Hurry up and call the security bureau ah. Uh, just say, let the brother who just sent us here not need to go back. Directly turn around and come over to pull people off. Uh. Seeing the fat photographer still frozen in place, Suemo skimmed the corners of his mouth and said breathlessly, inside the security bureau, in the brightly lit conference room, Chen Dali stood in front of the multimedia screen at the very front and was spiritedly arranging the arrest task for tomorrow morning. The human trafficker had already spit. For the other person to be arrested tomorrow morning, he was full of confidence in his heart. Everything is under control. The advantage is mine. I say a few points ah, tomorrow morning on the arrest of this person, named Li Zhuang, the same is also on the run for several years of a trafficker. This guy although not personally trafficking children, but the middle contact buyer has always been this person. And, according to the trafficker's account, the hands of this Li Zhuang is likely to also hide a gun. Therefore, we will arrest the operation is arranged at 4 o'clock in the morning. Speaking here, Chen Dali looked down at the time. There are still 7 hours from now. After the meeting is adjourned, everyone should have a good sleep tonight, and strive to apprehend Li Zhuang in one fell swoop tomorrow morning. To put it more realistically, Li Zhuang's bounty amount is a full 10,000. What about after the person is captured? All the people in our office will have a bonus to take. However, we must pay attention to safety, and control the other party when they are asleep. The many vigilantes sitting below, nodded their heads unanimously. It's hard to stumble upon a wanted criminal's clue, 
Naturally, they can't let it go, they can be wanted for such a long time, once the arrest they made is successful, the bonus is nothing, the most important thing is the collective commendation ah, this is what everyone values most, especially, during the daytime, after learning that the contestant who participated in the program, the one who was arrested, was a trafficker who had been wanted for five years, all the people had to say that they were not envious in their hearts, that was absolutely false, just this kind of bounty on criminals, ordinary people who caught them, in addition to receiving the bounty money, at most, they would be verbally praised, however, it was different for them, the vigilantes, it represented a merit, a knock on the door of promotion, finding wanted criminals is already hard enough, and then to be intercepted by ordinary people, can you feel good, didn't you see that Captain Chin smoked two packs of cigarettes in the afternoon, hey, tomorrow morning don't rob with me, I'll be the first to rush in, definitely won't give the other side a chance to pull out a gun, this time we can catch this person, our team is finally showing its face, right, that's right, you do not know, the daytime to catch the traffickers reported up, once heard is the crowd to catch, the person in charge of the general directorate of the people to answer, the face on the spot changed, look at us a few people's eyes, that is regret in a little bit of incomprehension, such an important criminals, but can be the crowd to catch, or a person, to say that out, the people above cannot believe it, don't mention which pot isn't boiling, okay, the captain has said that it was luck, envy can't come, okay, however, fortunately the traffickers are down, tomorrow morning we can catch another wanted criminal, it's not bad, the crowd, with one word from you and one from me, were full of confidence in the arrest action tomorrow morning, looking at the crowd's exuberant appearance, Chen Dali nodded in relief, not bad, it was this kind of vigor that was needed, compared to ordinary people, they were the professionals, it was fine if they missed one trafficker, the second one had to be the one they caught, buzz, suddenly, the cell phone placed on the desktop lit up, Chen Dali looked down and immediately reached out to signal the crowd to keep quiet, surprisingly, it was a call from the general administration's 24-hour wiring center, there was an unsafe incident in the precinct, hello, this is Chen Dali, what, what, suddenly, Chen Dajo howled, startling everyone in the conference room, caught another trafficker, what's his name, Su Mo, it's this guy again, who did he arrest, Li Xuan, crap, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not scolding you, I'm really too excited, okay, we'll go over to pick up the person right away, after hanging up the phone, Chen Dali looked at the conference room, eyeballing his own vigilantes, inwardly despondent to the point where he didn't know how to speak at all, it was too damn evil, just sent those two arresting guys over, only less than half an hour later, another one was arrested, this one is not someone else, it is they are now meeting, discussing tomorrow morning ready to catch people, the car is full of gas, the preparatory work is done, you tell me, tomorrow morning do not have to go, and arrested the person, okay, all heard, tomorrow morning on the action is cancelled, leave two people with me to go over to pick up people, the rest of the people, each go back to their own homes, each find their own mother it, disheveled waved his hand, Chin Dali led two people, rushed to the entrance of that elementary school during the day, ready to pick up people, this time, he must ask the Su Mo properly, good fellow, did you interrogate it long ago, knowing Li Zhuang's news in advance, otherwise, how can you catch one at a time, in a day's time, in the security bureau earn 30, 000 ah, that's not the way to pull wool, people have guns in their hands, you take a brick is really so good, the other side did not even have the opportunity to pull out a gun, 10 minutes later, security bureau of the car, parked in front of the kiosk, get out of the car, Chen Dali swept a glance at the two people squatting on the road teeth, lowered his head and licked the ice cream, and quickly walked to the front of the criminal lying on the ground, lowered his head and took a closer look, that's right, it was Li Zhuang who was ready to be arrested, take the person to the hospital first and check for injuries, frowning and instructing, Chen Dajian came to Su Mo with a complicated expression and pointed at the roadside security bureau car, what are you still waiting for, get on the car ah, ready to go to the sheriff's bureau to assist in the work, not, you give me a honest answer, do you know these two people ah, arresting people is not so arresting, moreover, the other party has a gun in his hand, you are too risky, once the gun goes off, do you know what the consequences are, Su Mo scratched his head in embarrassment, speechless, there is a saying, meeting is fate ah, they needed to hike 40, 0.75 kilometers, it was impossible to watch a reward of 10, 000 dollars pass in front of them and not do anything about it ah, that's their rations for the road, giving up was absolutely impossible, Captain Chen, it's really too much trouble for you guys, 
Embarrassed, he said. The two of them once again got into the car of the security bureau and went forward to assist in the security bureau. The automobile started. Chen Dali was sitting in the co-pilot when a voice came from behind him in the cold. So what? Captain Chen, now almost midnight, right? After recording the statement to what time ah, your office has no curfew too ba? No need to be too troublesome. Come to a two caddy dumplings will become. Celery stuffed the best. Did not wait for him to open his mouth. The fat photographer sitting on the side of Su Mo was also anxious. The leek and egg one. Three pounds. Not. Five pounds. Can you pack it if you can't finish it? Chen Dali looked back at these two livestock. Really do not know what to say. According to reason, people helped catch the wanted criminal. The security bureau managed a meal. Not a big deal. But why? His heart is so bad it? They are not in the security bureau to eat ah? The problem is. Mixed for granted. He a captain. There is really no way to refuse. The audience in the live broadcast room. Looking at Su Mo again on the security bureau's car. Completely dumbfounded. Let's just say. Who can let the security bureau send a car to pull twice a day? It's too outrageous. I don't know if you guys just saw it. During the day. That Captain Chen's face is so dark that it's almost as dark as the bottom of a pot. Can it not be dark? One day to catch two criminals with guns. Is the magistrate again generous? The heart also cannot stand ah. Show them two no sense of existence ah. Ha ha. Didn't anyone notice? It's about to be 12 o'clock. Tell a joke. From daytime to now. Su Mo and the photographer didn't even walk out 100 meters. Nonsense. It's clear that they didn't move 100 meters. You think too much of our brother Su. However, with this ability to make money, other contestants are afraid of breaking the defense. Right? Too ruthless. One day earn 30. Zero zero zero. I should have known that I went to apply for a photographer good. Is the final cannot take the championship. Midway on Su this money making ability. Days will not be too bad. Under the sound of everyone's discussion in the live broadcast room, Su Mo came back in less than an hour after leaving the security bureau. The grandpa watching the door at the entrance had his hands behind his back, and his eyes were glazed over. After learning that this young man, during the day, had caught another trafficker, he silently gave a thumbs up. At the same time, eyes quite contemptuous looked at Chen Dali. The meaning is self-evident. Look at others. Don't you, a captain, feel ashamed? Old man so old. All for you to feel blush. On the still in the conference room to study what arrest program. Did not wait for the study is complete. Others have caught the person. Young man, good job. Nodded his head and praised. The gatekeeper shook his head and walked into the gatehouse. When Chen Dali saw this, the corner of his mouth twitched and invited Su Mo and the two of them into the office again. What to do? Just tell me what to do. The Monkler outlet store gatekeeper at the doorway was starting to squint at them. It really explains that there is no way to explain it. As Su Mo walked into the security bureau to cooperate with the work, the heat that gradually faded during the day was once again fired up. More and more people flooded into the live broadcast room. The director as well as many staff members in the broadcasting hall that had already finished work, returned to the broadcasting hall urgently. Looking at the backstage, the number of people soared, and even began to appear lagging in the live broadcast room. The director rubbed his brow, really not knowing what to say, if one remembered correctly. During the daytime, he himself seemed to have just said that this contestant catching a criminal during the daytime should be a chance event. I never expected this. The slap in the face also came too fast, right? At least a night apart ah. Just after work, he received a notification that the other party had photographed another wanted criminal in the same place, in the same way, with a reward worth $10,000. By now, Su Mo had earned 30, 000 in one day. How could this embarrass the other contestants? especially the contestant next door who had asked for a day's worth of food. Could he bear it in his heart? Give him this live room to connect a separate traffic channel, to ensure that there cannot be a lagging situation. I estimate that it will not take long. It is likely to be on the hot search again. A day's time. Caught two bounties wanted criminals. This luck. Against the sky. Su Jio. The director sighed. However, although Sumo's speed of marching is at the bottom of the list of all the contestants, from the beginning of catching the first human trafficker, to now even the school entrance has not gone over. However, this did not affect. This live broadcasting room of his was on fire. Just from the number of people pouring in can be seen. As of now, the number of people in all the remaining players live rooms combined to equal Su Mo. That's it. As the heat increased, the number of people would increase. Not good. Suddenly, a technician who was in front of the backstage spoke with an urgent expression. Director, someone has opened a market in Su Mo's live broadcast room and the number of people attending is increasing. Opening a disc. What disc is opened? It's a bet on whether Su Mo can catch another criminal tomorrow. 
the odds are quite high. Mama, there are too many people. The server can't collapse a bit. It's going to lag. Expand it quickly. It can't lag at all. The director gritted his teeth and growled lowly with a gloomy face. Then he himself took out his cell phone and clicked on Sumo's live broadcast. Took a look at the percentage of bets. Even though he often watched live broadcasts, he couldn't help but smack his lips. Never seen such an outrageous way of betting. Will the anchor still be able to catch criminals tomorrow? Can bet, zero people. Can't bet 153, 457 people. Oh, man, not one person bet on can? Knowing that this platform used by their program team, the points used for betting can be bought and sold in private. In this situation, if SuMO can really catch another criminal tomorrow, come to a person who bets on energy, it could be a fortune overnight. This odds were simply heaven defying. The director narrowed his eyes and considered for half a day, and with a heartless heart, he bet all the 1000 points in his account on Kant. How is it possible to catch a criminal again? Not to mention SuMO is an ordinary person. Even the security officers of the security bureau have never seen such a fierce arrest. Impossible. In his heart, the director was sure that the reason why he was able to arrest two people today was definitely luck. It was bound to be impossible tomorrow. Moreover, there was the most important point. Now that the funds are available, shouldn't these two guys take part in the competition properly? Don't go on living. If this continues, what will happen to the other contestants? Director, it's on the hot search again. At this time, another backstage monitor, pointing at the hot search ranking on the screen, turned around and shouted. It's already risen to the penultimate place. The penultimate one or two are both sumos. The director frowned and looked over. His face instantly pulled down. The walking around the globe program team is suspected to be faking. How could an ordinary person capture two wanted criminals in one place? Clicked in to take a look. It was a big V account that analyzed the head. And the words were very sharp. The sheriff's department's car can't be wrong. The two criminals are real. But... As to whether the program group has secretly investigated the status of the wanted criminals and purposely notified this contestant to allow him to arrest all of the two people within one day, thus causing hot searches, it is not clear to all of them. If it was true, then the program group of Walk Around the Globe simply had no bottom line. That contestant named Suemo was even more despicable in character and played a very bad influence in order to set off eyeballs. Ask if everyone thought that the reward offered by the security bureau was so easy to take. What would happen, especially today's young people? Those who follow the trend to catch criminals are definitely not in the minority. And when the time comes, how many people will be injured or even die at the hands of criminals? Is this not an unhealthy trend brought up by the program? After reading the entire report, the director was so angry that he was trembling. If it was arranged by the program group then it was okay. The problem was, he couldn't figure it out even now. How could this SUMO arrest two people a day? They were also both wanted criminals with bounties. No response. Keep an eye on Sumo's live broadcast. Commanding in a low voice. The crowd was once again busy. At the same time, inside the sheriff's office, the fat photographer lowered his head to dazzle the lotus vegetable stuffed dumplings and flipped through his cell phone with one hand in boredom. Suddenly, he raised his head violently and pushed his cell phone in front of Sumo. Brother, take a look. You are on fire. Someone scolded you. Good guy. Underneath so many people scolded it? All scolded 9,999 floors. Good guy. Su Mo carefully turned over. This guy is really not a person ah. He is clearly considered to be righteousness. Right. Said he with a crime like. And. Most importantly. The bottom of a group of 50 cent party. Really dare to curse anything. What the program group fake. No sense of right and wrong. Obviously know the whereabouts of the criminals. Do not notify the security bureau also even if. Actually let the contestants to participate in the program to arrest people. Just for the sake of being on the hot search. It's really all over the place. Inside all kinds of brain dead remarks. Directly to Sue MOC laugh. Outrageous. Too outrageous. However, on second thought, Sue MO found something wrong. When he was arresting people, it was a full live broadcast. Even the program team was not clear and only knew about it afterwards. Anyone with eyes could see how dangerous the situation was. Besides, the program group had to be so stupid that they dared to use this way to get on the hot seat. Not to mention the people who believed it. If the security bureau knew about it, could the program group be any good? Today's plan, whether it was the program group or him, there was no way to make statements online because, no matter what you said, a group of 50 cent parties would always have something to say. It simply can't be explained. Unless, tomorrow, he himself could catch another criminal, and public opinion would not be broken. The program group. No matter how awesome it is, it can't be more powerful than the security bureau. 
right? If you hand him ideas, you can still hand them to three at once. Ah, if that was the case, then what was the point of having the sheriff's bureau? It's fine. Suemo waved his hand, looking at the countdown in his mind, waiting for 12 midnight. It's a new day, and it's time to sign in again. I just don't know. What will the luck be like on a new day? Ding. The countdown is over. You can sign in for a new day. Does the host sign in? Sign in. Ding. Signing in for the next day. Fortune. Great luck. Eat chicken tonight. Speed plus one. Strength plus one. Great luck? Crap. If that's the case, what does that mean? Yesterday was a small fortune. In one day's time, two wanted criminals were arrested. If it's a big fortune, how many people does this have to catch? However, very quickly, Suemo realized a very serious problem. He was participating in a competition. Always arresting people like this. He wasn't the solution ah. It's been a day. He really didn't even walk past the school entrance. Another great fortune. Is it really possible to go backwards? Brother, where are we going to go in a while? To the hotel. It's too late tonight. Booked a hotel nearby for the two of you. When tomorrow morning. We'll send someone to send you to the school entrance. Not knowing when. Captain Chan stood at the office door and spoke in a deep voice. All right. It's not practical to rush at night. It's already been three days late. Not bad for one night. Su Emo nodded and readily agreed. To be honest. After three days of sleeping on the streets, the clothes on his body were rancid. He desperately needed to go take a bath and have a good sleep at night. As for the great fortune, love what you want. Isn't it just catching criminals? What's the point? What's more? His goal wasn't to take the title. He'll ditch the competition when he gets out of the Dragon Kingdom. Packing the remaining two pounds of dumplings, the two of them followed Chen Dali to a shortcut hotel near the security bureau. After everything was settled, Su Emo took the lead and rushed into the restroom took a beautiful hot shower, and the shower gel was smeared five times before he reluctantly walked out. However, after walking out, looking at the fat photographer squatting at the door of the room, seeing the other party holding a small card in his hand, the whole person was bad. What are you looking at? Brother Sue, take a look. Someone stuffed it in just now. The fat photographer handed the small card over. Sue M.O. looked down and took a look. It was really all mosaics. Good guy. This express hotel is so close to the security bureau. And someone slipped a small card in at night? Not afraid of being caught. The guts are too big. What is there to see? The bonus cannot receive it. You will not let me give you a point. Right? We can open the live broadcast here. Inappropriate ah. Look at the fat photographer's eyes glistening. The same man. This look. He is too familiar. The eyes of the era at home. Looking at the female teddy next door. Were exactly the same as the fat man's now. Are you in love? Throwing the small card into the trash. Suemo twisted his head and lay on the bed. The fat photographer scratched his head in embarrassment, smoothed away the paper towels on the bed and walked into the restroom. Suemo, question mark. No. After staying outside for three days, it's not easy to rest for a night. This guy really went in for a whole job? The corner of her mouth twitched. Suemo simply turned around and prepared to fall asleep. Knock knock knock. Suddenly, a knock came from the doorway. Who is it? Knock knock knock. There was no one to respond. Suemo sighed got up and came to the door, looking out through the cat's eye, eh, outside the door stood a beautiful woman wearing a super short skirt, clothes pulled that was quite low, at this time was reaching out and knocking on the door, constantly looking down at the cell phone screen, name, Shui Rong, gender, male, fraudster, through plastic surgery technology, successfully turned into his favorite look, with a small card, the implementation of fairy jump, enrichment of countless, has not yet been wanted by the security bureau, Sent to the security bureau. You can get a bonus of 300 yuan. Mail? Suemo was shocked. Licked the corner of his mouth and was considering whether he should open the door. It was only $300. Moreover, to be able to execute a fairy jump. What does this mean? It means that the other party has a team. The two of us, ourselves and fatty. And we don't have a handy weapon. Can we fuck over so many people on the other side? Thinking about this, Suemo turned around and walked to the TV. Used fatty's cell phone. Sent a text message to Captain Chen, then took a deep breath, walked to the door, reached out and opened the door. At once, a smell of bad perfume hit his face. The woman on the other side, who used to be a man, closed the door with her backhand and twisted her waist to walk in. Little brother, how do you want to play? Pursing her red lips, she stared at Su Mo with a wink. This scene, let the fans guarding the live broadcast room, completely mental. A group of people wailed and started sending pop-ups. Crouching? Good guy. Is this something I can watch for free? Must not open a charge? No way. Live broadcast ah. 
Sue brother you even dare to do this? My wife just went to bed. I snuck into the bathroom. When will it start? Mad. I regret. To participate in this program is too exciting. Really anything can be encountered. However, Fat just did not seem to call it. This woman is not the wrong door? Is it actually called from next door? Don't care who called. Say it later. All are sex man. What's there ah? Paper towels I'm ready. Brother Sue. Please start your show. Don't rush. Don't rush. Are blind ah? Not right. Is this a woman? Damn. This foot is bigger than mine. Male. Right? Soon. Someone realized that something was wrong. The person standing in front of the camera not only had big feet, but there was a throat not vaguely visible on his neck. It was properly a big man. For a moment, a heart of the crowd couldn't help but hang in the air, nervously looking at the live camera. The other side, returning home, Chen Dali, who was already lying on his bed, heard the sound of his cell phone vibrating, picked it up with sleepy eyes and opened it to take a look. Hmm, initially didn't take it seriously. Once again, he closed his eyes. Two seconds later, Chen Dali sat up violently, rubbed his eyes vigorously, looked at the text message sent over. The whole person was dumbfounded. Report, hotel room, Captain Chen, come quickly, there is a man who wants to fuck me, Su M.O., inside the hotel room. After hearing the commotion, the fat man wrapped in a bath towel, walked out from the bathroom, looked up, and the whole person blinked vigorously, rubbing his hands in excitement. What did he see? A woman in a red ultra short dress, long hair draped over her shoulders, slender waist, straight legs, fuck, such a big pair of feet? Isn't it one person? Why are there two of you? Shui Rong looked at another person walking out. Her expression was stunned, pursed her lips, and carrying her bag. She was about to walk out. Don't be in a hurry. Seeing this, Suemo dodged and blocked in front of the other party with a big smile. I'm going out. I'm calling for my brother. Right. Fatty? You guys stay. I still have a house in the next room. You guys play yourselves. I'll go. With that, he opened the door to his room and walked out giving Fatty an intriguing look before he left, ducking into the fire escape, observed the situation in the corridor through the gap. At the same time, he silently calculated the time in his heart, without any accidents. At most half an hour, there should be a few strong men rushing out to smash the door. Immortal jump. It's just these kinds of ways. Just, I don't know if Captain Chen saw the text message. Where is he? In which room? At this time, several strong men with tattoos on their bodies, angrily walked out from the elevator. One of them looked down at his phone, pointed to room 406 and whispered, Big brother, Rong Rong is in this room. That's right, the photo taken is this room. But, the last message sent, the other party seems to be two people. One of them is in the next room. A middle-aged strong man at the head nodded and waved his hand indifferently. First clean up this person. A moment to call the next door people over. Together clean up. Speed are faster. This place is not far from the sheriff's office. First under the cell phone. If you dare to make a sound, beat up and then say, knock on the door. Finished speaking, he glanced at the henchman next to him. The other party smiled grimly and stepped forward to knock on the door of the room. Soon, the woman who used to be a man opened the door, and a group of people rushed in in a swarm. Su M.O., who was hiding in the fire escape, even heard Fatty's screams. However, for Fatty, Su M.O. had nothing to worry about. Through three days of contact, Fatty was very timid, with so many strong men present. It was absolutely impossible to resist. Before waiting for Captain Chen to come, he must hurry to notify the people in the next room. Don't implicate them in a while, said Dry. Suemo carefully walked out of the fire escape, came to the next room 407, reached out and knocked on the door. Big brother, I, after opening the door, looking at the smoky house, the sofa, the bed, enough to sit on nearly ten more ferocious strongmen, Suemo said half of the words, came to an abrupt end. This room, one by one looks, then just now the gang of fairy jumpers are still scary ah, so what, I'm a hotel room attendant, did you guys just call someone, seeing that the atmosphere was getting more and more awkward, Suemo had a bright idea and asked weakly, is it your toilet blocked, aha, uh -huh. however, never thought that this burly man in front of him even nodded, moved aside and welcomed Suemo in, this you dare to believe, I just casually said ah, you guys really blocked it, Suemo smiled sarcastically, nodded at everyone, gritted his teeth and drilled into the bathroom while unlocking the door. It's too scary. Didn't see it wrongly. In fact, the system prompted for great luck tonight should be the people in the next room. There was one counting one. Surprisingly all of them were fugitives. Standing in the doorway, Suemo took a rough look at them. One by one. They all had system prompts. 
and it seemed that the minimum amount of reward was $10,000. However, for the sake of time constraints, he didn't look closely at what crime the other party had committed when so many people were wanted criminals, poking his head down and poking the toilet. Suemo racked his brain to think, what to do now? So many people. It was Captain Chen who came. It was hard enough to catch everyone. How to do? Now he does not have a cell phone in his hand. The camera is also next door. That is, if you want to ask for help, there is no way. Put your ear tightly on the bathroom door. Listen carefully to the sound of conversation outside. Tomorrow morning must go. We got out so much money. Now the reward is out. If we don't leave Chengdu, it's hard enough to go. Not bad. If I say, tonight we will be redundant here to share the money. One person so big bag. Inside is millions. Carry away the target is too big. You think I want to split it here? It's all cash. The bank can't deposit it. If we don't split it now, what else can we do? However, don't worry. This room I opened two months in advance. Has been vacant. No one will find. And, this place is very close to the security bureau. I have been observing for a long time. Other shortcut hotels will be investigated. Only this one. Two months have never been investigated. A moment to take the money. All split up and go away. And wait until the foreign country and then contact. The ugly words to the front ah, whoever gets caught, is not allowed to give up any of the person, inside the bathroom, Su Mo held her breath and her face started to turn flushed, one person was millions, there were 10 people in the room, which meant that this group of people had coveted 10 million dollars, getting rich ah, not right, why was he so happy, this money is not his either, skimming his mouth, Su Mo twisted open the bathroom door, walked out and stood in the doorway, the conversations in the house immediately stopped and everyone looked up at him, so what? The toilet is clogged too much. Tonight the engineering department is not in. Why don't? I notify the front desk and change a big room for you guys? It's free. No. Thank you. The middle-aged man who opened the door just now said with a smile and got up. Ready to send Su Mo out. Knock knock knock. Just at this moment. The room door was knocked. Su Mo took a deep breath. Turned around violently. And yanked open the door of the room. Raising his leg. He stomped his foot and with the added power of signing up for two days, he directly made a strong man at the door fly to the opposite wall, F asterisk CK, how dare you do it, all of you, the leader of the immortal jump gang, hissed and led the remaining few people, running after Su Mo into the room, close the door, close the door, stepping on the horse, still dare to make a move, don't let this brat run away, poor like this, still dare to come out to play, fix him to death, Rong Rong stepped on her big high heels, backhandedly locked the door and shouted angrily, but, the moment she turned back, the entire face went white with fear, good fellow, why were there so many people in the house, one by one, they were staring at them with grim faces, and moreover, at each person's feet, there was a very large travel bag, not a good person at first glance, what are you guys doing, one of the fraud gang got up and questioned in a cold voice, what is that, big brother, it's all a misunderstanding, aren't we, the service you ordered? We came over to ask how the service is? Having fun? The corner of Sumo's mouth twitched. Jumping up as a big forced pocket. Showed his teeth and scolded. Immortal jumping isn't it? You don't look at how many people I have. And you dare to fairy jump? Want money ah? Money I have a lot of. You dare to take? Under the eyes of a group of people who were confused. Sumo kicked open a travel bag. And in an instant, bundles and bundles of blinding banknotes were scattered on the floor. Inside the room a needle could be heard. Not only did the immortal jump team freeze, even the group of swindlers, likewise froze. Exposed? Inside room 408, the crowd looked down in unison at the money scattered on the carpet. It was as if their breath had stopped. There was so much money in one travel bag, and everyone in the room had a bag. It was hard to believe that everyone had this much money. For a moment, Shui Rong began to project with her own peculiar growth history. There were so many people in the room with so much money, not sleeping in the middle of the night, gathering in an express hotel room, and calling for service. What was this for? Gambling? It must be gambling. Thinking of this, she pushed her big brother next to her and blinked her large Koslan eyes. The meaning was self-evident. Dare to hit someone. Don't want to live. The other party understood. Especially, being stimulated by so much money. He instantly lost his mind. Hissing, he pounced on Su Mo. In the entire room, there was instant chaos. As soon as the immortal jump team saw that the other party had so much money, naturally, they were ready to fight for their lives, hoping to blackmail more money in the end. As for the fraud gang, as soon as they saw that they were actually exposed, they were ready to settle the other party immediately so that they could run away immediately. A group of people surrounded the room. 
Sumo's eyes were quick and crawled along the edge of the bed, towards the door. It was too dangerous. Have they all gone crazy? When he passed the bathroom door, he met with Shui Rong, went up and gave three cannon fists, and made the other party cry. Su Mo got up, twisted open the unlocked door, and immediately shouted at the top of his voice, Fatty, Fatty come out. Not long after, the door of the room next to him opened. The fat cameraman ran out with the camera, and could be said to be quite dedicated. What's, what's, where's the gang just now? Good guy. It turned out to be a crook, asking me for money. So can I give it? What happened in the next room? Earthquake? Don't talk nonsense. Where's the cell phone? Hurry to call Captain Chen. Let more people come. Inside can catch a dozen. There is cash 10 million. Hurry. Once heard the next room is this situation. The fat photographer was stunned for several seconds. Busy from the pocket took out the cell phone. Dialed the Captain Chen number. Speaking very quickly to make the situation clear. The two used both hands and pulled the door of the room in death. Camora. Looking at the two people's red-faced and thick-necked appearance, the live broadcast room once again exploded. This time, all the fans who stayed in the live broadcast room were completely numb. What the hell just one room of criminals? The stolen money has a whole 10 million dollars? TV dramas don't even dare to act like this. My daughter-in-law asked me why I was kneeling down to watch the live broadcast. I'm convinced. I'm really convinced. Just this daytime. I'm in the hot search for this kind of situation. How can it be that the program team is colluding with Sue? Full of nonsense. In the future, Sue is my god. Mama Mia. Lived for so long. For the first time I know. The ordinary people can still rely on the catching of criminals to make a fortune. Don't talk about it. I'm crying with envy. Okay? The whole 10 million ah. After the security bureau comes, you guys say, how much more money will be rewarded to brother Sue? Yesterday's 30. 000 hasn't been spent yet. Today it's here again. It's impossible to spend it all. The money printing machine isn't as powerful as you. With this skill, what kind of program is it to participate in? Is it not good to take the exam to become a vigilante? Within a few years, you'll only see Brother Sue on the news later. Right. Where's the Big V contestant who would clamor in the live broadcast just now? How come he didn't say anything? The hot search was posted by you. What do you say now? I'll ask you if your face hurts? Ha 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 ha. I just went to take a look. That guy deleted his number. I guess he has no face. The people in the live broadcast room went crazy. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes, they wouldn't have been able to believe that someone could be this lucky no matter what. Passing by a kiosk and being able to catch a human trafficker. Staying in a shortcut hotel at night, just this or the security bureau gave the booking. Not only found the fairy jump gang, but also pulled out a group of fraudsters. The amount of fraud is as much as 10 million dollars. Not only the people in the live broadcast room are bewildered. Even Chen Dali, who is on his way here is not going to be able to make the whole thing work. Endless? The next day ah. Remember to send two people into the express hotel. They also deliberately comfort themselves. Said tonight will be absolutely nothing. The daytime are coincidence. Are this Sue M.O. luck? Didn't expect. Only went back to sleep less than half an hour. The other side found the criminal again. More outrageous than the daytime traffickers. There are more than a dozen of them. They're still locked up in the room. Listen. Is this human language? A dozen people? All criminals. You're just two people. How did you lock them in the room? The slander to the slander. Chen Dali Hart understand. The other side cannot possibly joke with him. Reported false news. Is responsible. That is to say. Suomo two people. Really locked up a dozen criminals. Including ten fraudsters. Even the stolen money. Such a big case. He a captain certainly cannot. Urgent notification of the security bureau. Let all the members of the team rush to the express hotel to gather at a rapid pace. Five minutes later, express hotel entrance. There were more than a dozen cars of the security bureau parked on the side of the road. It can be said, all of the members of the entire security bureau had come. Everyone gathered in the hotel lobby. Chen Dali's voice was low, and with a very fast speech, he distributed the tasks. Leave a team of people to guard outside. The rest of you follow me to the fourth floor. Make sure to control everyone at the first opportunity. Also, be sure to protect Sumo's safety. This kid treads on horse. It's really too bad not to be a vigilante. It was him who couldn't help but burst out a nationalist. Such a person who can work so neatly. Isn't it the talent that their security bureau desperately needs? Pity. The other party is participating in the program. Walking around the world. How long does it take to go around the earth? Chen Dali is not clear. But, the program group stipulates that the time is three years. Just according to Su Mo found criminals this chance. To be honest, Chen vigorously think. Three years later. This guy are enough to be able to get out of the boundaries of Chengdu. Outside the hotel, the lights are bright. 
Red and blue lights flashed, catching the attention of countless people passing by. Everyone stopped in their tracks, staring at the hotel lobby with a curious face, all of them not understanding what exactly happened that would allow the security bureau to send out so many people. Even if it was sweeping the H, it would not be necessary to come to so many people Ah, All of them were also armed. Older brother, does anyone know what happened? Ghost knows Ah. First time I saw such a big battle. Look at the situation. Seems like it's coming to arrest people right? I know. You guys hurry to watch a live program? The name is Walking the Globe. There is a contestant called Sue M.O. This will be live in the hotel. Look at the pop-up said. This contestant seems to have found a group of fraudsters. To people all locked up in the house. Roadside. There are people who happen to watch the live broadcast. Immediately stood out. Eyebrows flying for the crowd to tell the shocking scene tonight. After listening. Everyone coincidentally shook their bodies, and their gazes stared in unison at the hotel entrance. Good guy. A contestant on trekking around the world found so many criminals in two days? This program was toxic, right? And inside the program's broadcasting hall, it had become a complete mess. Everyone was looking at the large screen hanging on the wall, all of them looking dumbfounded. Even the director of the program was blinking in bewilderment with his mouth wide open. Another double discovery of criminals, according to what the duty officer said. In addition to the fraudsters in the room, there seemed to be a gang of fairy jumpers. The director really wanted to pull the Sue M.O. and ask him properly. Are you really a meathead? Big and small. All in one net? Director. It's on the hot search. Third from the bottom. At this time, inside the silent broadcasting hall, the monitor said weakly. The crowd was speechless. Silent. It seemed like they had gotten used to it in general. Could they not get used to it? The total number of hot searches is only 20. How many stars grabbed their heads, at the expense of making all kinds of gossip, dreaming of being on the hot search once, even if it's the last one, this Sue M.O. is good, in just two days, not, just started today, one person took up three places, ignore the hot search, immediately and urgently notify the engine room to expand Sue M.O.'s live broadcast again, I have a premonition, when it's dawn, the number of people in the live broadcast will definitely blow up, the director quickly discovered the key and ordered in a deep voice, at the same time, he greeted several program team leaders as well as the guests who had arrived and rushed to the conference room for a meeting. Today's situation. It was impossible not to have a meeting. They were a reality show. Ah, not an official catching program. If this went on, it would harden into a social observation program. How else can the other contestants go? The audience all ran to Sumo's live broadcast to watch the capture. None of them watched the hiking. What survival? What wild camping? What walking 100 kilometers a day? which is not as interesting as Sue M.O. catching people. If you let the crowd choose, they will also choose Sue M.O., the ghost to see what hiking the world. Are you sick? Doesn't it smell good to watch people catching criminals and receiving rewards? Inside the office, after everyone sat down, the director glanced at everyone and said with a sad face, to be honest, just now, I thought about whether to resign. After so many years as a reality show director, it's the first time I've run into someone who brought the entire program ask you with his own strength calling everyone here, is to discuss, what to do tomorrow, in the final analysis, so many shareholders invested so much money, want to do is to hike the global program, rather than catching people program, Sue M.O., used to assist the sheriff's department to catch people to get a reward for this, is that we did not consider in advance, however, for the program group to stipulate the way to get money for the other party arresting people is not a violation of the rules, that is to say, we can't prohibit it, then the question arises, in two days time, counting tonight, this guy has arrested a small 20, right? What about the future? Developing like this? Not that I'm talking nonsense. This month passed. He's hard enough to get out of Chindu. His time is all wasted on assisting the security bureau. The group of people at the bottom listened. Besides nodding their heads constantly, none of them opened their mouths. How to ban it? The problem now was that the audience liked to watch this Ah, You can't keep the audience from watching it, can you? Moreover, now that the competition had only just begun, it seemed right to try to get money by all means first. Since the rules of the program have already been set, it's impossible to change them for no reason. By then, in case it caused the audience to question it, how would it end? Let me say a few words. At this time, among the guests, that universal anchor frowned and spoke. I think, it's better to let it go. As long as it's within the rules, no matter how this Sue M.O. grabs people. Anyway, what our program stipulates it has to be a hike to be able to do it, he's just rich again, he didn't destroy the fairness of the program, rich he can't buy transportation ah, it's just a little better food and a little better accommodation, the other contestants, if they have an opinion, 
they can just tell them, people Su Mo is earning with his ability ah, to put it bluntly, in this world, there is a gap between people, this is something we have to recognize ah, some people are tough to beg for food, some people are God's reward for food, in the matter of taking the reward, I think Su Mo is God's forced feeding, on the twice traffickers that kind of situation, if it's an ordinary player, have so much guts to dare to take a brick to go up, dare not, right? Speaking of this, everyone nodded in agreement. To put it bluntly, people earn the money with their skills. If the other contestants are not convinced, you guys can go too. The program group won't stop it. Moreover, what is trekking around the world competing for? It's who can allocate time, allocate money and finally accomplish the feat of trekking around the world within three years, not then who can make money on the way. The core point can't be mistaken. Sumo making money is great, but it doesn't mean the guy will definitely win the championship. That's right. What goes around comes around. Suemo is now the existence of the bottom of all the contestants. The distance traveled is the shortest, although the money is the most. But the contestants who are in the front still have a great advantage. In this way, tomorrow morning issue a notice to everyone, expounding clearly that the program group of walking the globe will not put the cart before the horse, and will still be ranked by the distance traveled. And the funds are not counted in the ranking. Finally, the director sealed the deal. At the same time, he just couldn't believe it. This Suemo is great at catching people. The delay is not short. It's hard to believe that walking can be so great. It's impossible to surpass all the contestants and walk in the forefront. The crowd dispersed and returned home with mixed feelings. It's really the first time that a player has a headache because he can make money. However, walking to the door and looking back at the big screen, Suemo, who was about to board the sheriff's office car, the director let out a long sigh. Yesterday made $30,000. Tonight, he helped arrest so many people again how much money would be rewarded. He was envious too. The entrance of the security bureau. The doorkeeper squatted on the doorstep, popping 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 smoking dry cigarettes, looking at the police station car, was escorted down a dozen criminals. The mouth cannot close the smile. Good job ah. Two days of work, their security bureau half a year of people are caught enough. The only drawback is that the person is not arrested by Chindali, but by that brat called Suemo. What do you want to eat in the morning? The janitor stood at the door raised an eyebrow at Su Mo and asked with a smile. Next to him, Chen Dali's mouth twitched, wanting to speak. What are you looking at? Can't catch anyone and you still want to eat? Being disliked, Chen Dali was quite a bit aggrieved as he escorted the person into the interrogation room. Master, the reward has not come down. Let you spend a lot of money ah. When the reward comes down, then I treat you to eat. Eat anything. Su Mo scratched his head, quite embarrassed. Did it come too often? Now the eyes of the grandpa were looking at them as if they were looking at a fixed meal ticket. He really didn't want to be like this. It's really that the reward from the security bureau is too fragrant. Just ask. Free food and drink. But also get money. Who can refuse? What? A few minutes later. A Chen Dali shocked cry came from inside the office. Did you see it clearly? All 10 people just posted their bounties today. And one person has a bounty of 10. 000? F asterisk CK. Inside the office. Chen Dali looked at the 10 wanted notices placed neatly on the table, and for a long time, he could not come back to his senses. It was truly a case of a man being caught in the act. It was strange to say the least. You say, this group of fraudsters idle nothing to do. What is the big night gathered in the express hotel? Also all the money with, directly let Su Mo to a pot end. This is good. Fraud so much money, not a penny not to say. People also all sent in. TSK TSK TSK. If this continues, the security bureau won't be able to close off, murmured a sentence. Chen Dali was busy taking out his notebook, burying his head and starting to write a report. Just now, he had already notified the leaders above that the 10 wanted notices that were only issued in the afternoon had already caught the person in the evening. It was really congratulatory. The only flaw was that the person wasn't caught by their security bureau. It was the hiker who caught the person again. Nowadays, on the internet hotspots, it has even been rumored that their security bureau has some kind of private dealings with the trekking around the globe program team. Otherwise, why would the same contestant, within two days, be able to arrest so many people and get a huge bounty? Next room, Su Mo and the fat photographer, started the journey of dazzling rice again. The janitorial grandpa is really interesting. I don't know where to buy it in the middle of the night, but I can actually buy beef in sauce. A person holding a large piece of beef, gnawing is quite forgetful. The little girl who was responsible for recording the clues of the two people, looked at it and swallowed her mouth, constantly blinking her big eyes, curiously looking at the young contestant in front of her. In just one day's work, Sumo's name, completely caught fire in their security bureau. 
causing countless people to discuss, having seen enthusiastic masses, but like this guy who was enthusiastic like this, it was really rare, everyone couldn't figure it out, they had so many vigilantes, searching for all sorts of clues with great effort every day, and some of them even went so far as to use their own salary to buy news in the community, just so that they could one day get a lead on a certain wanted criminal, as for the bounty or whatever, people didn't take it seriously, what mattered was the merit ah, especially the commendations from above, but this player in front of him, Su Mo, was good, he didn't spend a dime, he arrested so many people, not only did he not spend any money, within two days, he made 130, 000 dollars from the security bureau by legal means, 130, 000 ah, for a time, the little girl looked at Su Mo, who was showing off his beef, and her heart was full of mixed feelings, a small car money, the other side two days to earn out, also, I wonder, does this guy have a girlfriend, bah, what do you think about yourself, do you eat it, or not, at this time, Su Mo touched his round and bulging belly, satisfied and breathed a sigh of relief, looked up at the little girl responsible for the record, only to see the other party staring at himself, his face seemed to be red and a little abnormal, he was busy and awkwardly asked, at the same time, he gave the fat man a kick under the table, to no eyesight, let people a little girl, staring at them two big men nod for so long, also do not know to open the mouth to ask a sentence, no, no, are you guys done eating, the record is also over, thank you for your cooperation with our work of the security bureau, right, the wanted notice because it was only released today, 100, 000 reward money, the fastest will be the day after tomorrow to arrive at the account, in the patience to wait for two days, the little girl dropped a sentence and walked out of the room like a deer in headlights, leaving the two people to stare blankly at each other, is it blaming us for not giving her the beef, well, brother, I think so, the fat photographer nodded and looked up at the faintly translucent sky outside, unable to stop himself from snorting, brother, it's going to be light soon, what are we going to do today, to go or not to go, speaking of this issue, Su Mo didn't know what to do in his heart, if they don't leave, it's a negative match, if they don't do well, the whole channel will criticize the two of them, if they left, they hadn't slept all night, so they probably wouldn't be able to go far, moreover, the prize money from the security bureau hasn't arrived yet, and the two of them still only have the one, 000 dollars they borrowed from Captain Chen, there was still two more days to hold out before they could collect the 130, 000 bonus, here, this 1000 bonus is for you guys, suddenly, Chen Dali slapped an envelope in front of the two of them and said in a serious tone, no, I lent you guys 1000, this is the bonus given by the top of the immortal jump gang, so there's no need to give it to you guys, it's kind of like you guys returning it to me, okay, it's not early, are you full, eat enough, I arranged the car should send you guys away, needless to say, I know, that's cool entrance right, not even drive one meter more, followed by, a policeman who was playing hatchet, drove a car carrying Su Mo and the two of them towards that elementary school entrance, on the road, several people were silent, Sumo frowned as he looked out the window at the endless crowd of people going to work and couldn't help but lament, not having to go to work is really cool, the vigilante who was driving, the whole person was bad, the hands holding the steering wheel clenched a few points tighter, connotate him, wasn't it connotating him, can't go past the school entrance can we, in a moment at the curb I'll stop, you guys just cross a street and go over, looking up at the road sign, the sheriff turned back and said, just, I don't know when, this contestant behind opened the car window and poked his head out, take your head back, quick, how dangerous is this, don't you know, a stern reprimand was issued, the vigilante slammed on the brakes, it was also at this time, Suemo pushed open the door of the car, pulled fatty and jumped off, sprinting across the road, while not forgetting to shout at the frozen vigilante, quick, stop the car, follow me, ready to arrest, finished speaking, without looking back, he ran across the road, the vigilante blinked, a little unresponsive for a moment, the shock in his heart was simply beyond words, what's the situation, arresting people again, what's wrong with you, you've got navigation on your body, driving down a random road, you can find the figure of a criminal, don't believe it, for insurance purposes, the security officer dialed Captain Chen's phone while throwing the car on the side of the road, and ran to the opposite side of the road with his head buried in his hands, half an hour later, Chen Dali, who had hurriedly arrived, looked at a wanted criminal squatting against the wall on the street curb and turned his head to viciously pinch himself, hiss, it hurt, it is true, it's poisonous, isn't it, is it poisonous, it hasn't been delivered at the school gate yet, caught another wanted man, take it back, 
Take it back. And you too. Gasoline costs money too. Really? This car hasn't done any other work since yesterday. Net picking you up and dropping you off back and forth. What are you waiting for? Get in the car and go back to assist us. By the way, I'm calculating for you how much this wanted man is worth, said a sentence without a good mood. Chen Dali tugged Su Mo and the two of them got into the car again, and the Public Security Bureau utility vehicle started, turned the direction and prepared to return to the Public Security Bureau, and the fans squatting inside the live broadcast, looking at the two people who got into the car again, their hearts really didn't know how to spit. Nowadays, hiking reality shows, has it been so difficult? Big morning I just opened my eyes, still thinking to see what is the situation of the 10 people caught last night, Sue how to catch another person, not, who can tell me, is not the program group rehearsed in advance, when did Archine do run all over the streets with wanted criminals, upstairs brother, you quickly don't guess, really, if not I saw with my own eyes, I also thought it was a good rehearsal, but the security bureau of the people are here, the portrait of the people are compared to the right, is a wanted criminal, yes, outrageous his mom to outrageous open the door, outrageous to the home, I just want to ask, yesterday there is no brother Betsu can still catch criminals today, the brothers who can't bet, the rooftop to me to leave a place, hard work saved for 5 years of points, a night all lost, I just deliberately went to take a look, ha 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 ha, laughed me to death, really no one bet on Kana, lost badly, right, dog su mo, compensate me for the points, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. I lost 8 years of points ah, uh. This will go to the security bureau to assist in the work. When it comes out, is not to noon again? Today's half is over. Are we going to start another disc? You guys say, today our Su Mo player, can he walk through that school in trance? It's bound to be impossible to walk through. Absolutely impossible. Early in the morning, several tens of thousands of viewers gathered in Su Mo's live broadcast room, and as soon as everyone came in, they saw that the other party had caught another wanted criminal and was following the car of the security bureau to prepare to go back to assist in the work, the crowd rubbed their eyes in disbelief, after determining that they were not hallucinating, once again completely boiled, making money again, especially many of the contestants who went to bed early last night, at this time, when they heard that Su Mo had made a full 100, 000 bounty in one night's work, everyone was speechless, what ah this is all, just sleeping one night's work, this animal arrested 10 people, and all of them are wanted criminals? The many contestants, in their hearts, really couldn't figure it out. How could they not encounter such a good thing? $100,000. With this amount of money, it's almost a sure thing to win first place, as long as the road is not sick, do not have an accident, frugal, absolutely enough to eat and drink their three years of hiking around the world. The difference is too great. Thousands of participants. There are many people, also ready to follow Suemo, simply do not go first, first go to the city to get money before. In case they also catch a wanted criminal, not only can they be on the hot search, but the bounty alone will be enough for them to not have to worry about food and drink for a long time. And that was just the performance of the contestants, following the photographers of each contestant. Quite a few of them secretly found a corner and cried out. Before yesterday, quite a few of them were still laughing at the photographer who came in last place, saying that the other party followed that Su Mo. Not only did he not have a chance to win the championship, but I'm afraid that sooner or later he would have to starve to death on the streets. Unexpectedly, the reversal of the face came too fast. People from yesterday, although the road did not walk much, but cannot help but eat well ah. Another dumpling, another chicken leg, in the middle of the night there is still soy sauce beef. Everyone looked at the only half a steamed bun left in the bag and instantly felt that it didn't smell good. Not only that, they also had to join the contestants today, worrying about the food they needed. What about the others? One could already start thinking about how to spend the 130, 000 dollars in prize money along the way ah, pi time, inside a small movie and television company in Chengdu, Li Na, who had slept beautifully all night, early in the morning, opened her laptop, swept a glance at today's hot search, and the whole person instantly froze, squinting her eyes, she took a closer look, pying, the palm of her hand slapped the table fiercely, what's the situation, yesterday, obviously already hired a big V to send a message, and found so many water armies, according to reason, today's hot search, there is definitely a post scolding that Su Mo, but, now, counting from the back, there are 5 hot searches, all of which are for the program hiking around the world, and all of which are for one person, it was that Su Mo would toppled her from last place in the hot searches on the first day, to know, in order to get to the last place of the hot searches, she had put in so much effort, creating cheating scandals, and hiring a lot of netizens to hype her up, 
before she finally made it to the top as she wished. At that time, when she looked at her name on the hot search, her heart couldn't be happier. Today's society. Not afraid that you are famous because of bad things, just afraid that you are not famous. To this day, their movie and television company, there is still a classic case circulating, Joe someone. People went in because of stealing electric batteries, just because of the exposure out of the heat, and now after coming out, supercars are driving on. However, Lina was not happy for five seconds. After the web page refreshed, her hot search was gone, replaced by a young man called Suomo. The reason for the hot search, actually in a kiosk door caught a trafficker. This kind of trash news can be on the hot search, good and bad, but also squeezed her down. After spending so much effort and staying on the hot search for less than five seconds in total, Lina broke down and collapsed. On the spot, she contacted a big V, spreading false news, and must completely stink the Suomo. Unexpectedly, sleeping all night, the whole five hot searches ah, how are all this persons? And, big brother, are you going to participate in the program? You are not participating in the walk around the world? Just go your way. You have nothing to do ah, nothing to catch what people, human traffickers, fraudsters, fairy jump gangs, car thieves, what have you done ah? Closing her eyes and taking a deep breath, Lina tried to calm herself down, and dialed the phone of the big V brother in the meantime, just connected. Did not wait for Lina to open her mouth to ask the other party what else is good. The other end of the phone came from the big V brother's voice with a crying voice. Nah ah, the money I return to you. This work cannot be organized ah. People this suemo is really bullish. Catching people is too powerful. With the horse body installed radar like. I advise you. Back off. Don't fight. In the future, my brother may not be able to help you. My brother was cyber violence. A group of people are whisked to my home. Do not hit. I sent. Brother, I'm wrong, do not hit. Really, I drank too much. Just sent that message. Suemo really have no opinion. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. The phone hung up. Lina sat on the stool, confused for a long time. In the end, she ruthlessly gritted her teeth, dialed a number that she really didn't want to dial. The other person in the circle is considered a famous person. With this person's help, maybe she still has a chance to get on the hot search. As long as he could get on the hot search he would immediately make his debut. Hey, uncle, I've thought about it. Stay with you for a month. How about you help me get on the hot search? I really can't help it. I've been practicing yoga lately. I'll show you tonight. Familiar elementary school entrance. Roadside. Chen Dali personally drove the car. Saw Suemo two people out of the car. Hesitated for a long time. Couldn't help but instructed. Have a good game. Plus this morning this, you make money. Almost enough for you guys to go through three years right? Don't organize these moths again. Once is lucky. Twice you are also lucky. Three times? Thirty times? Wanted criminals are all vicious people. In case of any accidents? It's not worth it. Understand? All right. You guys hit the road. I'm leaving. Finished speaking. Chen Dali drove away with his heart full of worries, leaving Suemo two people in the wind. Taking a look at the clock hanging in front of the kiosk, after coming out from the security bureau, it was already 12, noon. Although the two people were very sleepy, but really can't sleep anymore. Otherwise, this sleep up, it would definitely be nighttime again. With the way the two people had no self-control, they were bound to go out for beer, crayfish, and kebabs, and then go back to sleep again. At this rate, when can we get out of Chindua? The director of the program are personally called. The words are very sharp, explicitly and implicitly warned the two people, must not go to catch criminals again, to take the safety of their own lives as the main priority. Moreover, although today's luck was great, however, Suemo felt that the luck was almost used up, right? In one night's work, plus the morning, a small 20 people had been arrested. He'll be embarrassed to go to the police station again. He was too embarrassed to go to the police station. Those policemen, look at him in the eyes, have become like that. And 8248, I really don't have the face to go again. Otherwise, Suemo is really afraid that when no one is there, people will give them both a beating. Robbing a job is also too powerful. Let's go. Bear it and walk slower. Let's walk until the sun sets today and then stop. No lifting your head along the way. Just bury your head and walk. A word of advice was given. After two days, the two were finally walking through the school entrance without any problems. The fans watching the live broadcast were in tears. De Nima ah, lose the old man's points. Don't go catch people properly. What's the point of walking? Don't go. Hurry to catch people ah. Across the road there is a big mom there to see you half a day. Go up and ask if it is a wanted criminal law. Asshole, that's my old aunt. Your mom is the most wanted person. 
It was originally a hike around the world program. Lost, quite a big man, how can you not afford to lose, can be considered on the road? The old lady's heart is finally put down. People first place will soon be out of the Qin capital. Suomo 2 people are really delayed too long. Have to hurry to speed up the progress. Fast come on. Go first place that I went to see. Good guy. That is really can save ah. Esteemed bread ate two days have not eaten. I'm really afraid that this guy died in the middle of the road. Su brother don't be afraid. We have enough money. Other people still need to make money. Slowly go. There will always be a day to catch up. Right. I now kind of completely understand. Brother Su's this strategy is absolutely no problem. Let you guys go first. Go as far as you can. Lousy earn enough money for the three years needed in one go. How can I possibly not catch up with you guys? Cheer up. Su male god. Old lady waiting for you to come back. Watching Su M.O. and his two men slowly go on their way. The number of people in the live broadcast room not only didn't decrease, but instead it was getting more and more. There was no other. On today's hot search, Su M.O. alone occupied a full five. The subsequent rankings were all at the end. But it can't be helped that people occupy more ah. Once you open the hot search, sweep a glance over. The entire five Su M.O. hanging above. Cannot have the heat is strange. And, the most important thing, People Qing Du Security Bureau issued an official notice, although it did not name names, but the people who watched the live broadcast are clear in their hearts. The person honored in the notice, is the player Su M O A. Plus, Su M O caught all the wanted criminals, invariably, stabilized the social security. There are a lot of people who are grateful, especially Monkler Jackets outlet Qing Du. Many people have started to pay attention to Su Mo's live broadcast. Everyone has discussed it. At night when you dance in the square, your cell phone has to hang in the live broadcast. It is nothing more than a waste of power. But for people Su M O, this is popularity. But whenever you participate in a competition, how important is popularity? So, a strange phenomenon appeared on the official online ranking of walking around the world. The contestant with the highest popularity had the shortest walking distance. Moreover, this was not the most surprising thing to everyone. The combined popularity of the top 10 contestants was actually not half as much as that of the first contestant. It was also for this reason. More and more people flooded into Su Mo's live room. When the two people were gone, several hours had passed. Finally, under the setting sun, they arrived at the entrance of a park in the suburbs. Let's go. Go buy some food. Tonight we'll sleep in the park. Su Mo observed the surroundings and pointed to a convenience store. The neighborhood was deserted, except for a convenience store at the entrance. There wasn't even a neighborhood around. As for a hotel, it was even more impossible. Therefore, after pondering for a while, Su Mo decided that the two of them would sleep in the park tonight. The weather was summer. There was nothing inconvenient about sleeping in the park at night. It might be cooler. I remember when I was small. Whenever wheat was harvested in the field, weren't they all sleeping outside at that time? Just in time to experience it today. The two of them bought a full 100 bucks of stuff. And that's when they walked into the park. The sky is not dark. On the square of the park, there were many older grandparents who were exercising. Not only that, at the lake right in the center, there were quite a few people fishing. There are still so many people at this time. It seems that the environment of this park is quite good. Let's go and find a grassy area. Smiling and looking at a group of elderly people who were exercising, Sumo's two men found a place where they could camp within a garden. Spread the clothes on the ground. Stretching a lazy waist, lying straight up. After walking for a whole afternoon and not sleeping all night last night, the two lay down for less than 10 minutes and fell asleep one after the other. Time passes minute by minute, turning eyes to midnight. Ding, the signing time has been reset. Whether to start signing. Brain suddenly exploded system voice. Woke up Su M O, rubbed his sleepy eyes. Su M O sat up, borrowed the moonlight, took a look at the side of the purchase as food. All intact in it. From this it can be seen. The security of this park is not generally good. Sign in. Ding. The third day of signing in was successful. Fortune, today's small evil. Avoid camping. Intelligence plus one. Endurance plus one. Little foul? Looking at today's fortune in his mind. It was actually a minor misfortune? Moreover, camping is also forbidden? What does that mean? What danger would he encounter if he slept outside at night? It's impossible, right? Puff. Suddenly, under the bright moonlight, the surface of the sparkling lake in the distance rippled in circles. Through the moonlight, after hearing the movement in the lake, Suemo immediately stood up from the grass and frowned at the rippling lake. Someone was fishing here during the day. Inside the lake. It should be fish, right? Moreover, this is a park. There is no entrance fee. Anyone can come and go as they please. It's impossible to raise crocodiles and other creatures ah. Phew. 
Seeing that the ripples on the lake's surface dissipated and there was no more movement, Suemo let out a long sigh of relief. He was really scared to death by the little fierce that was luck. Thought I had stumbled upon some large beast. Rubbing his chest, Suemo kicked the sleeping fatty. It's better to believe it than not to believe it. Since the system divination fortune shows that camping is not recommended today, it's better to leave this place as soon as possible. In case you really bump into something, what will you do then? Dazzling rice? The fat photographer climbed up with a brain, and without even opening his eyes, he opened his mouth to ask, Dazzle what rice? Don't sleep. Pack up. We are ready to leave this place. Suemo said in a bad mood, squatted on the grass and picked up the clothes. Wow. Suddenly, not far away from the lake water once again came a sound. In the silent night sky, it was exceptionally shrill. This time it was not a ripple, but a wave that lifted up. Associating it with little fierce fortune, Sumo's face sank and accelerated the speed in his hand. Tugging fatty, he was about to leave. As he was about to leave, he glanced towards the lake. His walking motion came to an abrupt end, and his entire body immediately froze. Name, Crocodile Sparrow Eel. Type, Invasive Species. Hazard, Alligator Finch Eel is a large and ferocious fish. Extremely hazardous. One of the most wanted invasive species. Successful capture can get a bonus of 5. 000 yuan in cash rewards. Automatic abandonment of the target will deduct 10. 000 yuan in cash from the host. What? Suemo gave a strange cry. What does the system mean by this? Can't you even if you don't catch it? Reward 5000 for catching it and deduct 10. 000 if you don't catch it? Too unreasonable. Moreover, this is a crocodile eel ah. Large fierce fish. The largest body length can grow to about 1 meter 8. Weighing more than 100 pounds. In the water. That is, two of him together. It is impossible to be a crocodile eel opponent. How to catch? A time. Suemo simply put down the snack bag. Frowning at the lake surface into contemplation. And under the camera. The fans in the live broadcast room. Are also wide eyed. Frowning at the lake. There was something in the water just now. Right? I took a screenshot. Good lord. What kind of thing is raised in the lake of this park? A crocodile? How to look so long? And like a fish? An alligator eel? Right? Isn't it always said in the news recently that someone once released this kind of creature purchased online in some random place? If I remember correctly, there was a farmer who raised fish. And in a month's time, tens of thousands of fish in the fish pond were all eaten by a crocodile finch eel. And in the end, the water was drained. And it was finally caught. No way? Who would be so unethical as to release this thing in the park lake? What if it bites someone? Don't worry. What is brother Sue planning to do? He doesn't want to catch this crocodile eel. Right? Brother? That thing is a large and fierce fish. If you take a bite, you'll probably lose half of your arm. Are you tired of living? Hiss. I remember. Just a few days ago, there was an announcement. If anyone can catch a wild alligator eel, it seems to be a reward of five. Zero 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 dollars? It can't be? Brother Sue is planning to earn this amount of money? Crap. But where there's a reward, you're not going to let any of them go? The fans in the live broadcast room, looking at Sue M.O., whose expression gradually became rigid under the moonlight, all of them went crazy. Really? M. Looking at this appearance, Sue M.O. was really planning to catch the alligator finch eel inside the lake. It was a crocodile eel. It is a large carnivorous fish that is more than a meter long, although not as good as a crocodile. At least there is the word crocodile in its name, so it is not so easy to catch. In full view of everyone, Suemo threw the snack bag on the lawn and led Fatty out of the park. Think about it. Catch. Can't do without catching it. Enough to deduct $10,000 from him. Isn't this killing him? And, looking at the daytime anglers, almost all of them are in the Air Force. Because, before the sun goes down, everyone takes a sip of lake water. After all, fishing guys never go Air Force. If they can't catch a fish, they have to take a sip before they go. You can tell by this. I'm afraid there are no more fish in the artificial lake. The bigger fish were probably all eaten by the alligator eels. If you want to catch this guy, then you can only use fishing gear. As for the bait, finding a fish should be fine, right? Say it and do it. After walking for 10 minutes, under the eyes of Fatty's confused eyes, Suemo rushed to the nearest fishing tackle store, OB Hall. The several monitors who were on duty at night looked at the camera. Within the camera, Sue M.O., the contestant who was carrying a chicken in one hand and the fishing gear on his shoulder. The several people looked at each other and were completely baffled. What is this preparing to do? No, it's one in the morning. Where did you find a fishing tackle store that was open? Moreover, how come there are so many people behind this guy? All of them are carrying fishing gear. Hiss, the situation is a little bit wrong. Seems like the Sue M.O. is starting to work again. 
should we give the director a call? In case something happens again, then the director will blame us for not informing him. Look at the fishing guys behind Su Mo. How come there are more and more of them? Good guy. After a while, there are more than a dozen cars behind him? Several monitors discussed a few words and immediately dialed the director's phone. At around 1 in the morning, the other party was called back to the broadcasting hall. What's wrong? The director walked in with a pair of large panda eyes and a rather ugly face. Looking up, he glanced at the enlarged screen. Couldn't help but sigh lifelessly. Don't rush. Let me guess. This Su Mo won't have found another criminal, right? How come there are so many people following behind him? It's something like this. One of the monitors carefully spoke out what they had seen. After listening to it, the director was really not going to. Fishing? It's one o'clock in the middle of the night. Ah, you're fishing for a hammer? We are trekking around the world program. Ah, he kind of found out. As long as it is related to trekking, Su Mo is not doing anything. Catching people is fine. Why are you fishing in the middle of the night? There are dozens of fishermen here. What's wrong with the competition? Turn up the sound. Let me hear what they are discussing. Is fishing so much fun? It's one o'clock in the middle of the night. And this group of people are so happy. I can't understand. The director waved his hand and ordered. He didn't like fishing. And simply couldn't understand that someone would get up at three in the morning and not even eat a mouthful of food just to get a good spot when they went fishing. Wasn't that pure and simple brain disease? The monitor twisted the switch. The live sound gradually amplified. Noisy voices came out. Don't say anything. The alligator eel will definitely be caught by me. See this chicken? Tomorrow I plan to give it to my mother-in-law. I just don't believe it. With the mother-in-law's blessing. You guys just say how fragrant this chicken is. If it doesn't bite my hook, whose hook will it bite? Hurry up. I've emptied the refrigerator for our family. This bonus is not mine. Little brother Sue, what you said is true. Is there really such a big alligator eel inside the artificial lake? If you catch, this set of fishing gear brother to give you, said, the last half month I went to the artificial lake fishing. Every day Air Force, drink lake water to me to drink diarrhea. Listening to the excited voices of a group of people inside, the director blinked and was completely confused. Alligator finch eel? If not mistaken, there seems to be a bonus for catching this thing, right? Inside the park, next to the artificial lake, at 1.30 a.m. M. In the middle of the night, a full 50 or so fishing guys had taken up all the places wherever was suitable for casting. There were even a few places where several people were standing. All of them had the same expression, wide-eyed, without blinking their eyelids, looking motionlessly at the luminous float erected on the surface of the lake. They were afraid that the float would shake and that they would be slow to catch the eel. Catch up the alligator eel. The sheriff's department but will reward 5,000 cash, or on-site distribution. However, for all the anglers, 5,000 is nothing. There is a one counts one. There is no fishing rod that costs less than 10, 000 dollars that can come to fish for alligator eels. Compared to the prize money, they care more about the honor of catching alligator eels. Whoever can catch such a fierce guy tonight will be able to brag about it for the rest of his life in the fishing circle. What's an alligator eel? It's an invasive species. The whole dragon country itself does not have this kind of fish. The number is very rare. This kind of opportunity is really rare. Brother, do you know how to fish? In a corner of the artificial lake, Fatty squatted next to him, pointed the camera at Su Mo and said in a serious manner, I see that people are looking for an open place. We are hiding in this small corner. Can we catch fish? Although Fatty doesn't know how to fish, he can look. Everyone else was standing in a place with a wide lake and a big current. Only Su Mo found a nook and cranny casually hung half a chicken on a huge fish hook, and threw it in without even looking at it. Can you catch fish this way? Dream on, right? Ha 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 ha, can be considered to have Sue will not? A look at the fish have not been fishing. This corner of the water is shallow ah. I estimate that this fish hook and chicken, are sunk to the bottom of the lake, can catch up to be strange. Indeed, I use fishing experience for more than 10 years to ensure that tonight, who are possible, only Sue is not possible. Unless the lake inside this crocodile finch eel has no brain. Otherwise, absolutely will not drill to this nook and cranny. And again, now how many chickens inside the lake? Ah, the smell of blood is so thick. How to choose? Also will not choose Sue. How to choose? Also will not choose Sue this half chicken. Say it in advance. Ah, I don't know how to fish. But, is fishing really so fun? One phone call in the middle of the night and so many people come? The upstairs doesn't know. Right? Men ah, once past middle age. A lot of things can not help, can arouse the interest. Is fishing, really? Once I also thought that fishing is not much fun, is not always staring at the fish drift. After a few times of fishing, I admit that I am addicted to it. Looking at Sue's stupidity, I want to rush into the screen to do it myself. 
How can you be so stupid? You have nothing to lift the fishing rod. See if the chicken is still there ah. And you have this fish drift hanging. The eyes of people with bad eyes. Really can not see at all. My husband is a fishing man. Moms then. Every day that the body can not. Public food is not paid. A said to go fishing. The middle of the night to tie the bed sheet can be from the five upstairs down. Bullshit body can not. I see the fishing strength is very big. Inside the live broadcast room. There is a lot of hustle and bustle. Especially the many fans who know how to fish. One by one. In the guise of an old expert. Kept sending pop-ups. Picking sumo's faults in fishing. Fishing. That was also a technical job. The same waters. Some people can catch dozens of pounds a day. Hundreds of pounds. Some people sit for a day. A fish cannot come up. It's all about learning. Sumo's performance is purely a novice. Even hanging the fish drift are not hanging well. On this level. Fishing a small carp are struggling. Can catch up crocodile eel is a ghost. The artificial lake. After sitting for half an hour. Su Mo, who was full of confidence, was a bit impatient. It seems that this activity of fishing is really not suitable for you. If it wasn't for the crocodile finch you'll being too ferocious. He wanted to carry half a chicken. Directly jumped down to catch it. More than 50 people. Half an hour had passed and there was no movement at all. This fishing method, when can we get the alligator eel up? There is also too much competition. He just went to borrow a fishing rod. I did not expect. The fishing gear boss heard that there are crocodile eels in the artificial lake. Not only to provide free fishing rods, by the way, but also sent a message in the group. Less than 20 minutes. In one breath came so fishing man. I heard that if some people are not too far away and need to take the highway to come here, there will be more people coming up tonight. It's crazy. Suemo couldn't have imagined that fishing for a crocodile eel would make this group of anglers so crazy. So many people are competing. He is a rookie angler. Can he beat these people? In case he was caught by someone, the system would deduct 10. 000 cash off. No, really need to change the place. The feng shui here doesn't work. Muttered. Suemo lifted the fishing rod and dragged it in the water like this. Greeted Fatty and walked towards the empty place next to him. Brother, do you still need to look at feng shui to fish? Fatty blinked and asked in an uncertain manner. Ha 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 ha. Su little brother. Not me. You don't fish. I see you scratching your head. I have a hard time in my heart ah. Fishing is a patient work. This is the crocodile sparrow eel. Which pulls the bait and runs directly ah. Right, right, right. Didn't you say you were participating in some hiking program? Go to the side of the grass to sleep on it. Panini breakfast I have given everyone a good point. Sleep up in the morning directly to eat. Crocodile finch yield to us on it. If you still cannot catch, I estimate that ah, tomorrow, this man-made lake has to let our fishing group of people surrounded. There are quite a lot of people drove over the night. Tomorrow morning too. A sentence that immediately caused the surrounding people to laugh openly. Suemo scratched his head in embarrassment and glared fiercely at Fatty. He found another place by himself, squatted down on a rock, and followed the example of the fishing guys around him, without joy or sadness, like the monks who had attained the way. He began to settle down, too difficult, estimated that their own $10,000 in cash is deducted. Those fishing guys who are far away, drove all night to come. Crap, it's too crazy, right? Squatting on the rock, he waited for nearly half an hour more. Just when Su Mo was ready to give up, the fishing rod in his own hand shook violently. Immediately afterward, a strong force came. It's coming. Su Mo yelled. His hands tugged on the fishing rod with deadly force, and his body uncontrollably began to move forward. He was about to fall headfirst into the artificial lake. At this time, seeing this, the surrounding fishing guys, one by one, all dropped their fishing rods and rushed over in a swarm. Don't straighten it. Lift it upwards. Yes. Hold on. We're here, good guy, see, there are almost two meters long ah, all come over to help, really a big guy, Su little brother, eat your milk and take it out, walk it, the sparkling lake, a huge thing began to roll, constantly twisting nearly two meters long body, the shore, Su Mo grimaced and held up his fishing rod, constantly moving his body, his mouth gritted his teeth and murmured, five thousand dollars, old man's five thousand dollars, the security bureau, Chen Dali lying on the office cot, Tossing and turning, unable to sleep, over and over again picking up the cell phone to see, then put it down again, always feel empty in the heart. Two days, every night can receive a call out of the mission. Only this evening has been two o'clock. No movement at all. Could it be that this Suemo really hiked honestly? No longer the whole job? Harm. Really by this guy whole bewildered. Nothing is not better. If the criminals are so good to catch, then still want the security bureau for what? Bitterly smiled and muttered a sentence. Chen vigorously measured body ready to sleep. 
but also feel a little unsafe. Simply picked up his cell phone and clicked on a live broadcast software that he had someone help him download during the day. The moment he clicked on it, on the banner at the top of the screen, there was a name he was very familiar with. Contestant Sue M.O. is living again. Fishing for crocodile finch eels in the middle of the night. Quick look, alligator finch eel? Seeing the name of this creature, Chen Dali's entire body was bad. After sending Sue M.O. two people away at noon, he rushed to the Environmental Protection Department to hold a meeting. The above clearly stipulated that during this recent period, let them the security bureau to assist the Environmental Protection Department to clean up all the invasive species released by people. The first of which is the crocodile finch eel. No way, no arrests. You went fishing? With apprehension, Chen Dali clicked on the live broadcast, taking a look at the picture inside. Under the camera, a fishing rod that was bent to nearly 90 degrees was being held up and walked on the bank, while on the surface of the water, a behemoth that was nearly 2 meters long was struggling to twist its body, splashing up one water splash after another. Really caught it? Chen Dali let out a strange cry and jumped up from the cot, his face full of shock. He himself was a senior angler, and whenever he was on vacation, he would follow the people in the angling group to go fishing in the wilderness. Crocodile eel? A large carnivorous fish, an incomparably ferocious invasive species, just like that? Damn, whoever can catch this guy, from now on can close the rod ah, he'll be bragging about it for the rest of his life, can catch the alligator eel in freshwater? No less than the sea fishing caught a shark ah, during the day, how much is the bonus for cleaning up the alligator eel? 5,000? The moment he thought of this, Chen Dali's entire body was bad again. Good guy. Wool gathering can't catch a sheep and wool gather to death. Half a night's work. This guy in the security bureau earned another 5,000? Printing money is not so fast. Once again looked at the scene in the live broadcast screen. See the alligator eel on the surface of the water struggling more and more weak. Chen Dali understood that the alligator eel will be dragged to the shore. But it is just a matter of time. That is to say, Sumo's $5,000 bonus. Tonight is a certainty? Come two people, bring the bonus from the Environmental Protection Department and go out with me. Pushing open the office door and shouting at the two vigilantes on duty in the hall, Chen Dali put on his clothes and prepared to walk towards the garage. Look at this situation. Don't wait for them to call the security bureau. He took the money and rushed over directly. It's not too early, so I don't want to lose time on the road. It's late. You have a mission? The concierge, Mr. Sheen, with his hands behind his back, asked a question. Yes. There is a mission. Chen vigorously returned a sentence. A foot of gas drove out of the security bureau. Oh, now are afraid to tell me? Isn't it just to send a bonus to someone else's Shaosu? Master Qin stroked his chin and skimmed his lips and laughed, looking down at the cell phone screen placed on the table. Hurry up to lift the fishing rod ah, this kid is really not fishing, walking for almost half an hour, and still not get up. That is, Monkler outlet online older. If young time, looking at the screen, Nearly dragged into the artificial lake Su M.O., Monkler Chin smiled and scolded in a low voice. Artificial lake. At this time the entire artificial lake nearby, in addition to a group of fishing guys, live in the distance a lot of neighborhood residents also rushed to. The first thing you need to do is to get a good deal of time to get a good deal of time. In the middle of the night, the park is just like crazy. I don't know what a group of people are doing. They even shouted slogans. Can be heard from two miles away. One two. Mention. A goo. Hard. Little Sue, go for it. After many residents rushed here, they realized that someone had caught an alligator eel in the artificial lake. Everyone stood on tiptoe, looked toward the surface of the artificial lake, looking at the big guy on the surface of the water tossing and turning. One cannot help but round eyes. Filled with disbelief, they looked at the youth who was gripping the fishing rod with both hands and sweating profusely. This is the alligator eel? Crap. This big? Isn't this the young man who was sleeping on the grass during the day? Dare to be a fishing expert. But what a good job. I told you how the fish inside the artificial lake are getting less and less. The young man got rid of the harm for us. See, I was right. I told you that the artificial lake is not right. The last time someone rode a boat, wasn't it hit? Luckily nothing happened. Otherwise, whoever falls into the water and lets this guy take a bite, won't he die? Hurry up to make room. Let the young man pull up the crocodile eel ah. Look at the body does not have two or two meat. I did not expect the strength is quite big. Good. Under the sound of a group of people praising, after walking the crocodile eel for more than half an hour, it finally ran out of strength. All get out of the way. Su Mo shouted at the top of his voice, and with both hands exerting force, he began to close the pole. Seeing this, the fat photographer on the side, with the owner of the fishing tackle store carrying a large pincer, went forward, ready to see the opportunity to take down the crocodile sparrow eel in one fell swoop. 
a time, everyone held their breath, especially the many fishing guys, everyone's expression is as wonderful as wonderful, although it wasn't caught by them, it was still considered a personal involvement, for the fishing enthusiasts, whoever caught a fish of hundreds of pounds, then if they didn't hold it in their arms and circle the neighborhood for five hours, they would be sorry for the opportunity given by God, seeing it with their own eyes, when they go back, they can also blow a wave of good, almost two meters of crocodile eel, have not seen people catch it, right, yes, I have, at that time I was at the scene, 100 pounds cannot, looked at least 130 pounds, pying, with a muffled sound, the alligator eel with a black body and a crocodile mouth was locked by the big pliers and thrown on the ground, Suemo wiped the sweat from his forehead, and said that this $5,000, earning is too tough, originally, fishing is so laborious, thanks to him signing in to add some strength, otherwise, if that body before, I guess, would have been dragged into the artificial lake, hey, the security bureau came, who played the phone, horse, two not something, just fishing up, at least wait for everyone to take a picture off, who played, stand out, see I do not kill you, at this time, fishing tackle store owner just took out his cell phone, ready to go up to take a picture, his eyes glanced over the crowd, couldn't help but start cursing, crocodile finch yila, cannot be found, how can you also have to take a picture to prove that you participated in it, otherwise, if you don't go home at this time, how can you explain to the mother tiger at home, empty mouth without proof, go back is not die hard hard, Chen Dali face calm, with a few security officers and environmental protection department staff squeeze into the crowd, came to the crocodile finch eel was controlled in front of the head down to compare the size of this invasive species, several environmental protection department staff nodded, beginning to be responsible for the record, this size of the alligator eel, indeed enough to receive the specifications of the 5, 0, 0, 0 bonus, moreover, it was still in the artificial lake of the park, the harm is really too great, this thing's habits, after the fish in the artificial lake were eaten, in the case of extreme hunger, it was very likely to attack the boating tourists, if there happened to be a child on the boat, the consequences would be unimaginable after falling into the water, 195 centimeters, and it should be around 68 kilograms if it weighs, as the staff of the environmental protection department opened their mouths, immediately, a burst of voices sucking in cool air rang out from the surroundings, just 5 centimeters short of 2 meters long, the weight was even 136 kilograms, this is what a behemoth ah, just like this was caught by the young man, especially the fisherman present, now looking at Sumo's eyes have changed, newbie ah, pure a novice, even the bait will not hang a novice, how can catch the crocodile eel, which one of them is not a senior angler who has been fishing for a long time, how could they be caught by a novice, as you can imagine, everyone's heart was really mixed, here, you hold the cell phone, suddenly, Chen Dali handed his cell phone to Su Mo and tuned to the photo button, while he himself squatted next to the crocodile finch eel and nodded at the other party. This action, directly to Su Mo hole will not. What is the meaning of awe? To you and the crocodile eel to take a picture? Wipe. I didn't expect. The captain of the security bureau is also a person of the same way. Yes. Don't crowd. Shao Su. Su, I am the owner of the fishing tackle store. Use my fishing rod to catch it. Right? Take a picture for me too. Have you never seen the world? It's just a crocodile eel. See how excited you are. You didn't catch it yourselves. Is it fun to take pictures? What's the point of taking pictures? Xiao Su, I was right next to you. I was the second one to take a picture. Right? My cell phone has new pixels. And my daughter just bought me a 14. So take a picture of me first. Do you want some face? Give me the picture first. If you don't give me the picture, I will jump into the lake. What's our slogan? Fishing man never air force. The photo must give me also take a picture. The entire scene was in complete chaos after Chindali took a group photo. Even the surrounding residents who were not fishing enthusiasts flocked up and begged for a group photo for them as well. They didn't understand what an alligator eel was. But look at a group of fishing guys crazy like, this group photo shot out, is bound to be the talk of the district in the next few days ah, how could they let it go? Next, Suomo was very busy, how to describe it, but all the popular cell phone models on the market, he used one time. No. Grandpa, you this is a senior citizen phone ah, no photo function, you do not shoot it? Hey, don't faint, who's this grandpa, do you know any, take the phone over ah, I'll take a picture for grandpa, auntie, you stay away from it, you can't touch it, it will bite you again later, really, come and smile, a full hour later, all the people were satisfied and left, and a few staff members of the environmental protection department, after transferring the alligator eel to the car, in front of Chen Dali, 
solemnly handed the 5,000 bonus in an envelope to the other party. From now on, we are also your fans. Go for it. One of the little girls, with a red face, held up a small fist and boldly waved it. On the way, once the few of them heard that the person fishing for alligator eels was a contestant of the program walking around the world, they searched the internet. Upon seeing the hot search, a full five names of the other party were hanging. A few little girls in the car at that time let out a scream. Such a powerful contestant. How come they didn't know anything about it? Two days of time ah. I heard that they first arrested two armed human traffickers, and then arrested a group of fraudsters, as well as a fairy jump gang. Tonight, instead of arresting people, they're going to arrest invasive creatures. Still really catching it. This, it's simply a man of God. Not to say anything else, but this piece of money-making ability. A few little girls think about it. They know people inside. Really not so powerful. Most importantly, people are participating in the program ah, belongs to the freelance. Suemo scratched his head in embarrassment, and busily answered, too enthusiastic, really sorry. Looking at the Captain Chen beside him whose face was as black as the bottom of a pot, Suemo let out a sarcastic smile, waved his hand at the crowd, and patted his chest in assurance. Captain Chen, don't worry, my luck isn't very good today, I shouldn't be able to arrest anyone again, for the last time, really, I've caused trouble for you guys, it was that he was as thick-skinned as he was, he didn't know how to explain. To be honest, with so many fishing guys around, Suemo really thought he didn't have a chance, but he didn't expect it. The alligator finchiel didn't bite anyone's chicken, it just bit the one on his fish hook. It is likely to have something to do with this chicken being bitten by the fat man. Right, it must be. Looking at the face of the captain of the security bureau, the fans in the live broadcast room also couldn't help but jump out and start snickering. There's one thing to say, if I were a member of the security bureau, I would also have to be confused by brother Sue. Wool gathering isn't like this. You should at least take a few more steps and walk out from the jurisdiction of the security bureau of others. Ha 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 ha. Two days. I feel that the whole security bureau did not do anything else. Is to serve brother Sue. No. There is also the management of brother Sue's meal. But unfortunately tonight cannot go to the security bureau to mix dinner. To scratch. What did brother Sue say just now? He definitely won't bother the security bureau again today? Do you believe this? If you don't bother the security bureau, are you still Sue M.O.? Right. If we don't do the whole job, what are we looking at? Watching you walk on foot? What's there to see? We like to see you making money. Spitting and counting. It's so damn handsome. If I were another contestant, seriously, I will withdraw tomorrow morning. The heart cannot stand it. Others hate a steamed bread divided into three days to eat. Good guy. Wait for tomorrow's prize money of 130, 000 in place. Sue hiking around the world of food is really cannot look at it. Look at the solid hard awe. Under a joyful atmosphere in the live broadcast room, Chen Dali looked deeply at Sue Mo and led the people to leave. The entire park instantly became silent again. Brother, what should we do? Sleeping up in the middle of the night. Is this going to sleep? Or go do something? The fat photographer carried the already empty snack bag and weakly asked. Hiss. Suemo showed his teeth and sucked in a breath. Yeah, it was only past three in the middle of the night, and there was still some time before dawn. What are they going to do? Go directly on the road? Or to open a hotel to sleep? Today's luck is a little bad. Camping is taboo. Sleeping is out of the question. Otherwise it's too dangerous. Crocodile Finchiel is at least in the artificial lake. In the park and then stay. Suemo was really afraid. A moment and then come out what large beasts. Then the fun can be big. Go, directly on the road. Early out of the Dragon Kingdom, we can both give up the race earlier, said in a deep voice. The two of them slowly walked out of the park, along the empty streets, began to walk forward. Hey! Suddenly, under the dim street light, from the green belt next to them, a yellow figure leapt out, snatched the bag of snacks in Fatty's hand, and jumped and drilled into the wild field next to them. Sue M.O., question mark. He stared at a pair of eyeballs, blankly stared at the fat man. The whole person was confused. What the hell was that just now? Robbed them? A bag of snacks was robbed? Although it was said that the food inside the bag of snacks was pretty much taken care of by Fatty, the problem was that even in the countryside, it was impossible to be robbed by an animal, right? Has it become a spirit? Did you see it just now? What was that thing? A monkey? Fatty was still in a state of shock. His face was full of astonishment. There were quite a few snacks inside the bag, and he hadn't even opened it yet? Not, even though it was night, but this was the city ah. Where did the monkey come from? Call Captain Chen. Just say we were robbed. Good guy. Catching criminals for two days. Really can't imagine. One day can be robbed by a monkey. You ask the security bureau to care? 
Fong Pingan said with a particularly bad taste in his heart. No wonder the luck was a little fierce. Walking on the main street can be robbed. Or a monkey. Simply outrageous. As the fat photographer pulled out his cell phone and stepped aside to call the sheriff's department, the fans in the live broadcast room once again exploded. One by one. All of them were laughing in front of their cell phones. Ha 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 ha. Can't live without laughing. What is retribution? This is retribution ah. Uh. Sue was even robbed by a monkey. Really can't live without laughing. Let you not walk properly. But, Chin Du's environment is now so good that it's like this? You can meet a rhesus monkey at any time? Why am I so happy to see brother Sue suffer? No. I still have a string of firecrackers left at home for Chinese New Year. I'll go set them off later. I'm dying of laughter. Being robbed by a monkey. I remembered. Yesterday the news is not also said. Chin Du Safari Park ran out of a few bandits monkey. I heard that all ran to other people's homes to the gas canisters to twist open. Simply bullish. It won't be this one that brother Sue bumped into, right? Are the monkeys now all smart? Can they even open a gas can? Damn. That family didn't get into trouble. Did they? It's too scary. A monkey entering your house in the middle of the night and twisting the gas can open for you. Isn't that the rhythm of a proper banquet? Catch. Can this be tolerated? I don't know how Sue think. Anyway, if I were, I absolutely can't endure. Say what also have to catch this monkey. Must be taught a good lesson. Right. The monkey ferocious like this. But the reasoning, the crocodile sparrow eel caught have a cash reward. The monkey can't be no, right? That's bound to be there. I just went to check the news. The environmental protection department have issued a notice. Whoever can catch a monkey and send it to the wildlife park, directly give a cash reward of $2,000. Upon hearing that there was a reward, all the fans in the live broadcast room froze. There was money to be taken again? Then according to Sue's character of preferring to kill the wrong person rather than letting them go. He would inevitably go and catch this monkey next. After all, the other party never missed any opportunity to get a bonus. Most importantly, from the beginning of the program, so far, the money was all in hand ah. Chen Dali, who had just returned to the security bureau and was ready to lie down, received the call from the fat cameraman and sat by the bedside for five minutes, took a deep breath, opened the lights in the office, picking up the desktop, the documents from the daytime meeting, flipping to the second page. While cleaning up the invasive species, the Environmental Protection Department also gave a job. That is, capture a few macaques that escaped from the safari park. There were three in all. One male and two females. It's extremely harmful. Since escaping, these three monkeys have not done a single thing. They openly snatch children's toys on the street, smash the glass of households, and not only want to go in to eat, but also poop in people's nests. Of course, there is nothing more excessive than twisting open a family's gas tank. Fortunately, the owner found in time. Otherwise, the consequences would have been unimaginable. A monkey offered a bounty of two, zero 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 dollars, whether it was their security bureau, or the fire department, or even an ordinary person. As long as they could bring the monkey to justice, the prize money safari park would immediately pay. Looks like we can't sleep tonight. It's too evil, muttered a sentence. Chindali put on the clothes he had just taken off again and walked out of the office. A few minutes later, under the watchful eye of the concierge, Grandpa Chin, a commercial vehicle drove out of the security bureau. Ha, indeed evil enough, being robbed by a monkey. Monkler outlet store I don't even know what to say about you. Chin Monkler outlet store stroked his chin, smilingly looking at the pop-ups in the live broadcast, although it was already immediately early in the morning, but he was not sleepy at all. Watching Suimo this brat's live broadcast, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. Take a look at what he did this night. The first is to go fishing crocodile eel, just walked out of the park, and met the bandit monkey. I can't even write a novel like this. What kind of luck is this? How come all the good things let this guy to meet it? I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. Chin Monkler Outlet Online squinted his eyes and looked at the live broadcast again. 8 o'clock in the morning. It was time to turn on the work again. In the hiking around the world program building, the director walked out of the elevator with dark circles under his eyes, carrying his breakfast and looking like he hadn't woken up. After walking into the company, instantly froze in place, only to see all the employees in the OB hall looking at him with surprised eyes. What's wrong? The director put his breakfast down and scratched his head in confusion, a bad feeling suddenly rising in his heart. It couldn't be? Last night when he went home, it was after 2 a.m. After watching the staff of the Environmental Protection Department take away the alligator eels, he made sure that there would be nothing else before leaving. Looked down at the time. It was 8 in the morning yes. It was hard to believe that within six hours, this guy Suemo had come back to life whole again? Ah, uh, at this time, survival master De Dengmao, who had arrived at the broadcasting hall early, 
bitterly laughed as he stood up, pushed his cell phone in front of him, and snorted. Can you tell me where you guys found this player Suemo? Is it possible that you saved the galaxy in your past life? Luck is also too good and too able to live a whole life. No bragging. When I looked at the hot search this morning, I began to wonder, are we organizing a program for trekking around the world? Are you sure it's not a program to get rid of harm for the people? The director looked down. The whole person was dumbfounded. Eyes went from bottom to top, and after making sure, he violently sucked in a breath of cool air. It was on the hot search again? Or was it on both of them at once? What the hell? Nowadays, on the hot search list, from the penultimate first to the penultimate seventh, it's all Sumo's name, and the two new hot searches last night. One of them is about fishing for crocodile eels, and with so many anglers publicizing it, it's not surprising that it's on the hot search list. But what the hell is the other one? Laughing not to live. Sumo, a contestant of the program Walk Around the World, was robbed by a monkey in the middle of the night. Robbed by a monkey? Are you sure you got it right? Shouldn't it be? Suemo was robbed by a monkey? What kind of monkey is that? So fierce that it even dares to rob Suemo? Hilton Hotel. Inside the presidential suite, Lina, who had a good night's fight, sat up from the quilt and picked up the cell phone on the side. The other party had said it. Last night in the first half of the night began to give her a momentum with the water army. If there is no accident, this morning will definitely be able to get on the hot search. It was also for this reason. Lina would be so hard working last night, almost using all her strength. As long as she could get on the hot search, even if it was last place, she felt it was worth it. In today's entertainment industry, this kind of unspoken rule, who doesn't know ah, as long as it can catch fire, the number of people who are willing to pay for it, I don't know how many there will be. Laughing doesn't live. Sue M.O. was robbed by a monkey? Ah 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 ah. Sweeping the hot search list, Lee Na completely collapsed. What the hell? Was there something wrong with the hot search list? Wasn't it just being robbed by a monkey? This could even be on the hot search. And it's still at number 13? And, Crocodile Finchy Ill and what the hell? After clicking on it, the message at the bottom is even more outrageous. Fishers never Air Force? What's all with that ah? Lina completely could not understand. The big man obviously called last night in front of her face ah. The other party's words were so convincing. He claimed that he would definitely make it to the last place in the hot search today. How come it's this Sue M.O. again? Or two hot searches at once? What kind of person is he? It's too fake. Li Na didn't believe it, said nothing could be accepted, called the big man on the spot, and made another appointment to meet tonight. Do not believe it. He paid such a big price and had the help of the big man, would not even be able to compete with an ordinary contestant. Is it so hard to be on a hot search? At the same time, after occupying the bottom seven entries on the hot search list, Sue M.O. was considered completely on fire. Especially a male star who ranked 12 was in a hurry to find someone, trying every possible way to get in touch with Sue M.O., even if it was to give the other party a certain amount of money. He couldn't let the other party be on the hot search again. Damn ah. Most of all, the fact that the other party had a new hot search on the list didn't mean that he dropped from 12 to 13. It wasn't like that ah. People are advancing on all the hot searches at the same time, waiting for it. Once one person was squeezed out, he was directly out of the hot search list ah. Not only was the 12th ranked star anxious, everyone in front is anxious. Rank 1 is no exception. As soon as he arrived at the company in the morning, he immediately called the team to hold an emergency meeting against the Sue M.O. who inexplicably ran out. The hot search list represents traffic. In today's traffic era, how much traffic means how much money can be made ah. But, everyone asked around. It was finally determined that this Sue M.O. could not be contacted at all. And for a while, many stars on the list spoke out publicly accusing the program group of walk around the globe of having overly harsh conditions, and that the contestants could not even carry basic communication tools. Unfair. Without communication tools, how could they contact Sue M.O.? How to maintain their position on the hot search list? Once they fell off, how much would it cost to go back up? Throughout the morning, the capacity of Sue Mo's live room was expanding again and again. The number of people pouring in was increasing. All the contestants, after learning the news, didn't hike on the road anymore but found an unoccupied corner and started thinking about life. The gap was too big. Can't you walk properly? Do you have to do so much work? The problem is, people still made it. They have taken up seven hot searches. What more do you want? According to this development trend, what is the competition for the last one billion bonus ah? Simply direct debut. A billion dollars in prize money. Not a minute back? For these, Suemo was not clear. Because, he really went to chasing monkeys in front of a neighborhood on the outskirts, under a towering tree. Chen Dali looked up at a macaque monkey in the tree. 
sighed long and prepared to call for backup. I'm afraid that trying to catch this monkey by human power was hopeless. It was climbing too high. Moreover, this monkey up there was perhaps ferocious as it understood that humans would not harm him. With a cozy look, it squatted on the tree trunk, showing its teeth and staring at the group of people below. No, I'll go up and forget about it. Suddenly, Suemo licked the corner of his mouth and coldly made a suggestion. Can't call for backup. When the fire department came, catching the monkey would probably be nothing for him. This would definitely not work. After all, if this humongous monkey fell into someone else's hands, the system would have to deduct another 10,000 in cash from him. By now, Suemo is considered to completely understand. Luck is a little fierce, but the horse is too fierce. It will not move to deduct money. This is not a life. Moreover, there is the most important point. Suemo thinks, it is likely to be the reason that he is too handsome. Above the humongous monkey is very jealous. Chased for so long, never attack other people. It just caught him alone and threw things. Big as the fruits on the street vendors, small as the rocks on the roadside. But wherever there is something in his hand, then he will definitely find an opportunity to throw it at Suemo. There is no reasoning at all. Now climb to the tree. Although there is no way to run, there is no way to attack. But this guy is good. He started to urinate on him from above. If you can tolerate it, you can't tolerate it either. Today, whatever is said, this humongous monkey must be apprehended. No, there's no protection. It's too dangerous. You can't go up. Chen Dali flatly refused. Moreover, with an odd expression, he stared at Suemo next to him and said in a conspiratorial manner, It's dawn. Aren't you participating in the program? This is the wrong direction to go, right? Does the prize money smell so good? Upon hearing this, Suemo immediately understood that Captain Chen was also an old Yin and Yang man. Listen, is this speaking human words? Captain Chen, this is where you are wrong. Although I, Suemo, am participating in the program, but to get rid of harm for the people, that is every citizen's duty and responsibility. Since I bumped into it, how can I ignore it? What's more, am I that much of a money lover? What's wrong with a billion dollars in prize money? I put my words here. I'd rather not have the program's bonus, but I must also get rid of the people today, not for any other reason. I don't want to make public servants like Captain Chen too tired. I'll work a little more so that you guys can be a little bit more free. Really, no need to say thank you. Great righteousness, throw the ground to say something, not to be separated. Suemo rubbed his hands together, took a strong step and hugged the tree trunk, and struggled to start climbing upwards. When Shen Dali came back to his senses, this guy had already climbed to a height of several meters. I, brat, if Lousy had such a thick skin as yours, I wouldn't he be a captain until now, muttered in a low voice. Chen Dali picked up the phone to see, urging the safari work over personnel to come as soon as possible. At the entrance of the neighborhood, there was a sea of people. Everyone lifted their heads, as Suemo climbed higher and higher. Everyone's heart gripped with it, in case if it falls down, then can there still be life? As Suemo climbed higher and higher, it was more than 20 meters from the ground. Not only the bottom of Chen Dali's expression became gloomy, even the fans in the live broadcast room, at this time also silent. At first, everyone thought that Su Mo was really going for the $2,000 prize money, but now it seems that this is not the case. Which person for $2,000, willing to risk his life, climbs such a high tree, or in the absence of any protective measures? It's hard not to. The words Su Mo said just now are all true. For the people to get rid of harm. In fact, he really is a good person? Crap whether others believe it or not, I believe it anyway, how much bounty has Su earned until now, how could he risk so much for a mere $2,000, right, I also think so, now that I think about it, the few people Su caught, they also risked their lives, right, other not to mention, but two traffickers, the hands that have a gun, a careless, can be able to village mouth to eat a seat, don't let anything happen ah, otherwise, my mother shall not die of sadness, Shao Su ah, can't we get out of the dragon country on the abandonment of the game? If you don't want to work hard, you can come to find Auntie. Auntie is not really rich. Hand also has two listed companies. If you like, casually to a company to be an executive. Hiss, Auntie do you see me into it? I'm particularly good at licking plates. People are more angry than people. Auntie look at me. Tomorrow I'll be an adult. And I don't want to make an effort ah. What nonsense. Sue is mine. Not like any Auntie. Sue look at me can be cute and sweet. Unconsciously, the popularity of the live broadcasting room jumped to become the number one of the entire platform in just two days. And, the people who came in since hearing about Sumo's arrest, many of them clicked follow on the spot and became Sumo's fans. 
Even many grandparents who didn't like to watch the program began to pay attention to this live broadcasting room. However, what they were concerned about was different. What trekking around the world, they don't understand. Only understand that the young man in the picture is really a good person. That is something really on. Such a high tree. Just for the sake of catching a humongous monkey. Not even any protective measures. It was incumbent to climb up. Hey, it's about to get close to the monkey. Be careful. At this time, everyone standing under the tree had a heart hanging in their throat. Because, after nearly 10 minutes of climbing, the lad above was about to approach the humongous macaque monkey squatting on the tree branch. Oops, I can't breathe a bit. Where's the support? How come they haven't come yet? In case the monkey reaches the top of the tree, you can't chase it anymore. What kind of program is hiking the globe? Forget it. No matter what program, just for the young man's this courage, Auntie will be your fan from now on. Don't worry, we have more than 500 people in our square dance team. As long as Auntie shouts a voice, they can all go to your live broadcast to cheer you. Suemo gripped the trunk of the tree with both hands in a death grip. Hearing the voice below, he couldn't help but laugh dumbly. He really came for the prize money. Otherwise, he had enough to eat ah. Uh, what was the point of climbing so high to catch monkeys? Squinting his eyes, he raised his head and looked at the macaque above him that was showing its teeth. Suemo licked the corner of his mouth and stretched out a hand. Once again, he climbed one step upwards. Name, macaque monkey. Type, zoo runaway animal. Perpetually mixing in the wild zoo. This monkey is no longer afraid of humans. This escape, seriously affecting the lives of the surrounding residents. Capture and send it to the wild zoo. You can get a bonus of 2, 0, 0, 0. And if you fail, you will deduct 10, 0, 0, 0 in cash. Looking at the tips given by the system, Suemo had an expression that it was true. Luck is a little fierce. He is really afraid. Deducting money without moving, no one can resist. However, wanting to catch this monkey in the tree, I'm afraid it's not an easy job. This household is too flexible. Moreover, it is not afraid of people. And there is no way to communicate, although it is already very close. But for a while, Suemo hadn't thought of any good way to control the macaque in one fell swoop. Come, come into brother's arms. One hand dug in his pocket and pulled out the uneaten half of the bread and waved it in front of the macaque. Sure enough, the other party showed a look of interest and began to slowly move its body, and stretched out a claw, wanting to grab the bread over. Seeing this, Suemo backhanded the bread into his pocket, looked up at the monkey whose eyes were red with anger, and showed his teeth in a grin. Z, having been on safari for so long, when had he ever seen such an arrogant person? The humongous macaque was instantly enraged. With a jump in place, it pounced on Suemo. It had touched a tiger's butt, and today it was bound to make this human look good. Just like those small children in the safari park. Which one was pounced on by it, slapped twice, and didn't lie on the ground and start crying in pain. Coming, watching the macaque pounce over. Suemo squinted his eyes. His legs were perched dead center on the tree trunk. The palm of his hand probed out with a quick eye. With one hand, he grabbed the macaque's neck. Lifting the other party, he aimed at the tree trunk next to him and bang 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 knocked three times. Ooh, so able to carry it? The humongous macaque that had been knocked three times not only didn't faint, it seemed to be even angrier, showing its teeth and about to bite at him. It was all like this. Could Suemo possibly spoil the other party? Freeing his other hand, he went up and delivered a few big forced pockets. The macaque that smoked then rolled its eyes. Convinced or not? Still grabbing things or not? Oh, blaring at me aren't you? Little fist hammering your chest. Hammering you. A man and a monkey fought in the tree. The crowd below, who were originally worried, looked up with their mouths wide open. Collectively confused. Countless scenarios of catching the macaque were envisioned. There were even some people that had tears starting to brew in their eyes. The result? Good grief. You're teaching a child a lesson in a tree? One big pussy pocket after another. Never heard of it. Ha 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 ha. I'm convinced. Now this monkey will be honest for the rest of his life. It's like when my mom beat me up. It doesn't even stop. Hey, the zoo people are here. At this time, in the distance, a vehicle with a zoo logo stopped next to it. Several staff members responsible for capturing the macaque monkeys hurriedly ran down. Raising their heads, they glanced towards the tree. It was they who were dumbfounded. On the trunk of the tree, in front of a young man, there was an honestly squatting macaque monkey with its hands on its head, its whole body trembling, not even daring to raise its head, allowing the youth in front to reprimand him. This was their zoo's recognized humongous macaque. Mom yeah, even the most senior keeper couldn't do anything with this monkey. What is this youth on the tree? What? Can you take a humongous banded macaque and train it to be so obedient? Obviously letting go of it. Just this doesn't even dare to run away? Captain Chen, what kind of person is this? 
Chen Dali lowered his head in thought, breathlessly returned a sentence. People who are dying for money. Staff member, question mark. In full view of everyone, Suemo began to climb down, and that humongous macaque monkey, honestly followed behind, not saying a word. Honest really couldn't be more honest. It was completely different from when it went up the tree just now. Everyone looked happy. Ha ha, sure enough, monkeys are similar to humans. They are all bullies. After beating them severely, they are much more honest. The young man called Suemo right. I just went to the live broadcast room to take a look. Good guy. You guys guess how many people watch the live broadcast? Enough hundreds of thousands of people. Pop-ups more yo. All blocked the screen. From now on, I guess this monkey won't dare to run out again. Under the murmurs, Suemo loosened his hands and jumped down from the tree. In passing, he waved at the macaque. The other party winced and was busy jumping next to the keeper, honestly drilling into the cage. Thank you so much. At this time, a few keepers came over and enthusiastically shook Sumo's hand, their gratitude overflowing. Luckily, the monkey was caught. Otherwise, if it went on, a few of them, their jobs were afraid that they wouldn't be able to keep their jobs. By the way, may I ask if you are interested in working at our zoo? Monthly salary of 8,000. Five insurance and one gold are available. And there are two opportunities to go abroad to watch animals every year. Suddenly, a keeper thought of something and asked with a smile. Hiss. Without waiting for Su Mo to open his mouth, the sound of sucking in cool air resounded from the surroundings. The work of a safari park. Ordinary people could not enter. Moreover, the whole day is to deal with animals. And there are not so many deceptions. The salary is high. And you can travel abroad for free every year. Said to go to see the animals. There are animals in the place. Which is not a scenic area. Instantly, many people around cast envious gazes. Forget it. I'm still participating in the competition. Right. Have you brought your prize money? Suomo shook his head and balked. It was impossible to go to work. And it was impossible to go to work in this life. One could only live by wool gathering this kind of unit. Moreover, with the system in place, he was stupid. Catching a monkey can reward 2000. Eat more and run to work. Don't think about it anymore. Don't think about it. Hurry up and give the money. Let him go. You guys don't watch the news ah? Chendali next to him couldn't stand it anymore and opened his mouth to persuade these few people. His name is Su Mo. You guys can go to the internet to search. Last night's alligator eel was caught by him. The prize money of 5. 000 have gotten. A few days ago just from the sheriff's bureau. This guy has taken 130. 000 bonus. You say, he may go to your zoo to work? That is to work. Also have to prioritize our sheriff's bureau. Not better than your zoo? The crowd heard this. The eyes that looked at Su Mo completely changed. Many people pulled out their ears skeptically. Wife. Try hammering me. Did I hear wrong? How much? A few days to earn more than a hundred thousand dollars? Crap. Is money so good now? In the crowd. A young man frowned and looked at his wife in disbelief. Scram. You think they're all losers like you. A lanky girl next to him obediently gave a punch. The young man collapsed. Looking blankly at the sky. In his heart. He still didn't believe it. Is it this far inwardly rolled now? There were even people making money off of the sheriff's department bounty? Crazy. Hearing that Suemo had made so much money in a few days, many of the older women in the crowd were moved and rolled up their sleeves and rushed up, tugging on Suemo. They introduced him. Young man, the Amas see you are good. Have you got a date? Do you have a date? You say coincidence is not. Big mom happens to have a niece. Also like hiking and traveling, you have a common topic ah, uh, back to leave a contact. Do you like gentle people? Let me tell you, my daughter is a great cook. If you like hiking and traveling, Take her with you and you won't have to buy food along the way. Look at my granddaughter. This is the photo. The young have common topics. Will soon graduate from college? Like you such a boy. Chaos. The crowd was completely messed up. Suemo was also confused. This was also too enthusiastic. Wasn't it just two days of earning over 100? 000 dollars? How? Is introducing objects so crazy? Inside the live broadcast room, a smell of jealousy filled the air. Many men who don't even have an object are expressing their dissatisfaction with righteous indignation. Solid old iron. People than people gap so big? Thinking that I, Qin Du Yan Zhu, don't even have a girlfriend nowadays. Has this guy, Su, even started lining up? Fake. Must be all fake. Rehearsed. I don't believe it. Heartache upstairs brother two seconds. But, want me to choose. I also choose Su Ah. Two days to earn more than 100. 000. zero, zero. You can do it? What's a hundred thousand dollars? Don't forget. Brother Sue is still participating in the competition ah. Uh, with so much financial support. Is it hard to get the first place? That's a billion dollars. Crap. 
That makes sense. You guys, is it too late for me to go for the operation? Brother Sue, I'll buy a plane ticket right away. Wait for me ah. The atmosphere in the live broadcast room was joyful, and the crowd kept flirting with the many single dogs, gave round after round of blows, and in the OB office, the crowd looked at the screen above with sad faces, there's no way to play, another 2000 earned, it couldn't be faster, it couldn't be like this, and, nowadays, throughout the internet, Sumo's fame was even bigger than their program, you may not know the program hike around the world, but it's impossible not to know the name Sumo, the hot search alone hung seven, no, it's going to be number eight soon. The news about the one that taught the macaque monkey a lesson was about to come rushing up. Let me say this. There's a very serious problem in front of us right now. Really? Suddenly, the director said in a grave tone. Just a moment ago, we've already had five contestants withdraw from the competition. The moment these words came out, the entire audience was in an uproar. It had only been a few days. How could five people have withdrawn from the competition? It can't be possible. Right? The requirement for withdrawing from the competition is that one must walk out of the dragon country's borders. And it's only been a few days and someone has walked out? With skeptical eyes, the crowd looked at the director. No, it was just now. Five contestants were withdrawn from the competition because of arresting someone. I just can't figure it out. People's old ladies are all in wheelchairs. Is this contestant blind? Not saying that people are murderers. Even wheelchairs are pushed to the sheriff's office for people. Silence. Deadly silence. There was no way for the crowd to pick up on this. Moreover, since yesterday, everyone on the program team had vaguely interviewed that they were afraid that a contestant would follow Sumo's lead and go catch criminals to make money. As expected, before noon, there were five people who were withdrawn from the competition for catching the wrong people. The dilemma now is that we can't restrict Sumo from arresting people. But once there are more people who follow Sumo's lead and don't have Sumo's skills, the security bureau will have an opinion sooner or later. The director pinched his brows inside as he threw out the thorny issue. When the crowd heard this, they all fell silent in agreement. If it was said that Su Mo was on the hotspot because of his wilderness survival ability, there was no problem at all. And it was even good publicity for the program group of trekking around the globe. Naturally, everyone would be happy. But the actual situation is not like this. It's not clear if this guy is open. Ever since the first human trafficker was caught two days ago, it was an accident everywhere he went. I thought it would be another criminal arrest, and everyone was even prepared for it. Never expected. People changed. Instead of arresting people, it's time to arrest animals. Another crocodile finch eel. Another humongous macaque. Sometimes, everyone is wondering, Suemo this guy is not really in the security bureau inside the acquaintance. Otherwise, how can people just before the foot issued a bounty notice? The big guys have not waited to know it. You've already given to catch the end. God feed the rice to eat. Also not this feeding method ah, really driving a digger to the mouth hard stuff ah, I think, at this time, a guest of the program got up and spoke, analyzing for the crowd, just now I looked at the map, at most there are still more than 10 kilometers, Suemo will almost be far away from the city and enter the mountain forest area, in fact, director, there is no need for the big guys to think too much, in the end, he, Suemo, can get the bounty again, it's always a notice issued by the security bureau right? In the mountains and forests, animals are indeed quite a lot, but there is no bounty. It's hard not to think that he is sick, not hurrying to catch up, really run to find all kinds of animals to go? There's also an important point. There are few people inside the mountains and forests. In that kind of place if he can still run into criminals, to be honest, not going to buy a lottery ticket is really too much of a pity. No matter how good the luck is, it's not possible for it to be this good. Everyone nodded slightly as they heard this mentally expressing their approval. On the spot, someone took out a map and placed it on the table, and everyone looked down. What this guest said was indeed good, in another dozen kilometers. The other party was going to enter the mountain forest surrounded by mountains, and by then, not to mention the wanted criminals, it would be hard to run into a single person, and when they get out of the forest, but it is not the territory of Chengdu, at that time and then enter the city, make any trouble, also does not belong to the Chengdu Tuba. Think here. Director Hart feel a lot better, immediately clapped his hands and said, in that case, let's just observe for a few more days, I'll go and give a message back to the other people's security bureau, and when we walk into the mountains and forests, everything will be fine, I just hope, after Suemo this guy walks into the mountains, what kind of inexplicable bounty notice will be made out again, really can't carry it, people's security bureaus all have opinions ah, said what they program group is not have what channel can get the news ah, how you that contestant. A catcha accurate. Their security bureau so many people. 
all day trying to find the most wanted criminals. It is difficult to run into one. Just a few days of work. How many of you Sue Mo have caught? Even the department above that pays out bonuses is confused. What a guy. It's really the first time a person has been given a bonus so many times. Public Security Bureau. After Chen Dali returned. Not only did the program team hold a meeting. The leaders above their Public Security Bureau specially came down and held a meeting in their conference room as well. Moreover, the words were very sharp. Leaving no face for everyone. Including Chen Dali. Not that I'm saying. How many people do you have in the Public Security Bureau? Ah, uh, the hell with it? You can't even beat an ordinary contestant? Even so, public opinion. Can you consider public opinion? Do you know what the internet is saying about us now? The Chindu Security Bureau can't even catch the criminals. So let's all hurry up and get the reward money. Can you all bear to hear this? I'm telling you, I can't stand it. Really, do you know how many days I've been scolded by the higher-ups? Every time I apply for a reward, I get scolded once. People. We can't catch them. So be it. Animals should be fine. Right? What's the result? You guys can't beat Suemo alone in catching people? And you can't beat him in catching animals either? That monkey is able to fly how? Chen Dali you say. Catch the monkey when you were at the scene. How did people catch it? At once. Everyone's eyes all turned to Chen Dali. Climbed the tree to catch it. Chen Dali pursed his lips. Hating that he couldn't find a crack in the ground. What a regret. Why did he hesitate at that time? If I had known. I should have gone up the tree first. How could I let that brat Suemo grab it first? Moreover, according to what he saw, when this guy caught the monkey, it wasn't that dangerous. It was nothing more than giving a few big pussy pockets. And that humongous monkey followed down honestly. Oh, climbed a tree to catch it. Can you climb a tree? A sentence disliked Chandali's shame. Who doesn't know how to climb a tree? Alas, the whining can only be sent internally. It is a good thing that it can help our security bureau to catch the wanted criminals. Suemo can catch so many people in just a few days. What does it mean? It shows that our usual work is still not in place. Otherwise, the wanted criminals could not be Sumo's catch. Besides, the Express Hotel is close to the Security Bureau, isn't it? Why don't you guys go and do an inventory check when you have nothing to do? Fortunately ah, just now the program team notified. After today's journey, this Suemo is going to walk into the mountains. This recent period of time until the end of the month, all of you are all pumped up. Say what you have to solve a few cases. Otherwise, there's no need to think about the bonus at the end of the year. It's not even enough to pay Suemo. After the leader finished speaking, he swept a glance at the crowd, dried the water in his teacup in one gulp, and shook his head and walked away. After spraying such a meal, he was much more comfortable in his heart. In fact, strictly speaking, it should be a good thing for the reward notices to be sent out, and for some ordinary people to be able to provide clues or even help catch someone. However, once in a while is fine. If so many of them happened in just two days, it would make the people above look as if they were useless in the security bureau. This is not to mention him, even the head of the above. That cannot accept. However, the good thing is that Suemo this guy is finally ready to go into the mountains and forests. In the rare forest, cannot also catch criminals, right? If this can catch people, when the program is over, say whatever it takes to absorb this guy into the sheriff's department, not for anything else. If he catches 10 people a year, the reward money from the top will be enough to replace a lot of hardware in the police station. It's a good thing to hear. With such a person in place, the entire Chin Du security can be a lot better. The sun set in the west, facing the direction of the sun. After several hours of walking, Su Mo and the two of them were finally out of the suburbs and arrived in front of a large wildland. Not far away, there was a mountain forest that could not be seen at a glance. As long as they walked out of this mountain forest, even if they walked out of Chin Du's, it was always a small step away from walking out of the Dragon Kingdom. Hey, brother, take a look at the front. Are they the contestants of our program? What are they all squatting there for? Suddenly, the fat cameraman frowned and looked at the group of people at the foot of the mountain and said in confusion. At the foot of the mountain, there were dozens of contestants gathered. The reason why they waited here for no other purpose was so that they could go on the road with the contestant named Suemo. There were quite a few smart people. The program walking around the world required three years of walking in the wilderness and everything along the way needed to be earned, whether it was bathing, or changing clothes, eating, all of these required money, and the group of people left behind, most of them are people who can't think of ways to make money, that's why they came up with such a solution, since they can't make money by themselves, they might as well follow people who are good at making money, maybe at the critical moment, even if you can't eat meat, you can fish for some soup, I didn't expect ah, I thought I was the only one who was smart, how come so many of you think so ah, no, 
Old Sue yesterday you are not in the restaurant washing dishes? A day can also be quite a lot of money. Dry a few days to save enough money before going on the road also into ah. Don't mention it. Wash a hairline. Play two dishes a day. Wages are deducted. Fortunately the boss finally good talk. Otherwise I still have to lose out on money. Alas. I have to say. This rule set by the program group is really difficult. When we set off. We are not even allowed to bring clothes. Everything has to be figured out by ourselves on the road. For several days now. I'm just wearing a suit. It's all rancid. A group of people sighed and complained to each other. Even the photographer who followed them, a bitter smile appeared on his face. The monthly salary was indeed not low, but the sufferings were also real sufferings. According to the program's regulations, they are actually equivalent to the contestants. Along the way, in addition to being responsible for the live broadcast matters, they also need to work with the contestants to earn money. M. Otherwise, relying on a contestant to earn money to support two people. You think everyone is Sue M.O. How is that possible? Take the most miserable person inside them. Three days just not a steamed bun. This will be the whole person's eyes are straight. Look at everything like eating. Hey, is that Sue M.O.? Can be considered to have waited? Suddenly, someone exclaimed. Everyone looked over in unison. When they saw the large and small bags of food hanging on the two people, everyone was confused. Then they looked down at the half-steamed buns they had hidden in their pockets. Heart don't mention how aggrieved. Look at others. And then look at yourself. The same people. How can the gap be so big? The most excessive. That fat photographer body also hanging two rolls of toilet paper. Toilet paper. It's been a few days since I've used it. What is happiness? Two people go to the toilet together. I have toilet paper. You have fingers. Am I not much happier than you are? Good man. So many people are planning to go with us? What's the idea? Greeting everyone. After learning about the intentions of the crowd. It was Sue Mo who was speechless. Following him will definitely make money? How could that be possible? He is also looking at the system to sign in every day for good fortune? Besides, soon will enter the mountains and forests ah. In the mountains and forests need to walk for several days. Is that the food he brought are not necessarily enough? Then also need to look for themselves in the forest. So many people together. Then what kind of role would it be? Since they all think so, then let's go. It's not early anymore. We need to hurry and find a place where we can rest at night. Waving his hand helplessly. Suemo took the lead and walked into the mountain path. The fat cameraman turned the camera and filmed the dozens of people following behind. The moment the live broadcast camera had just been relayed out, the fans within Sumo's live broadcast couldn't help but spit madly. Wipe. This group of people is also too shameless. They have no way to make money themselves. This is their intention to die staring at brother Sue? Ha 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 ha. The miserable. I now really do not envy the people who participate in the program. Thousands of people ah. The final prize winner only one person. And. This is only a few days ah. At least in the city. And so on the back of the really no man's land. This group of people how to do. They won't starve to death? It goes without saying that the one billion dollar prize is definitely Sue's. Noah's walk around the world contestants. Don't know. Thought this group of people are beggars it. One by one is also too wretched. Hey. What do you care what others do? Immediately going into the mountains. You guys say. Sue is in the mountains. Can he still earn the bounty? It shouldn't be possible, right? This place doesn't even have anyone. Where can we earn bounty? Can't you dig for herbs? Quickly forget it. My family is from Chindu. The mountains here were all dug clean 30 years ago. Inside the live broadcast room, all the people had a sentence. Without a sentence first chatting, as the sky darkened. Suemo also stopped and stopped at an open space next to a stream. Together with the fat cameraman, they began to set up their tents. Before walking out of the suburbs, the two deliberately went to an outdoor store and purchased a lot of field supplies, and even prepared a clean hiking suit, just in case, this is not the tent will be useful? Don't look at it now as summer, but the night in the mountains is still very cold, with a tent there was no such problem, I kind of want to cry, a group of people were sitting on the grass, looking at the two people who were setting up their tents not far away, I feel as if it's better not to follow Suemo, look at them, they have tents, mosquito repellent lamps, and field electric stoves, they might even be able to cook and eat in a while. We're just looking at them like this. Isn't it hard on our hearts? Someone looked at the busy two people in a daze and choked out a sentence. The rest of the people's mouths twitched, and they lowered their heads. Yes. Wouldn't it be hard not to see yourself? Forget it. I won't look anymore. I'll go over there. The more I look the more I feel sorry for myself. That's right. Isn't it just a tent? Hot water? And food? Lao Tzu doesn't envy. Lao Tzu really doesn't envy. What's there to envy? My stomach is holding up right now. After drinking so much stream water, you just have a big lobster. 
I won't be able to eat it this time. Really? Oh 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 oh. Quite a few people dropped a sentence and walked towards a patch of grass on the opposite side of the stream. The eyes do not see the heart is not annoyed. People have money ah. Uh, moreover, the program group but the rules cannot ask for any items of other contestants unless in a life and death situation. Otherwise, it is considered a violation of the law. Serious but can be directly withdrawn from the game. Yo, how come everyone is gone? After tying up the tent, Suemo looked up and saw that the group of people who were staring at them just now ran away without a single person left. Smiling, he shook his head, waved his hand at the fat photographer. Fatty, take out the engineer's shovel, dig a hole and get ready to start cooking. Where's the steak? Bring out the red wine as well. The scenery is good tonight. It goes well with steak wine. Brother, you're awesome. Fatty licked raw, drew out the engineer's shovel and aimed it at the position drawn at Sumo's feet. A shovel dug down. Thud. The hand shook, and a metallic sound actually came out from underneath the grass. There was something? What is it? As soon as the shovel went down, Fatty was confused and looked back at Suemo, not knowing what to do. Hiss. Suemo sucked in a breath of cool air, associating it with the fact that nowadays it is not yet a new day. Still under the shroud of Lux Little Evil, it is forbidden to camp. It was hard not to meet something evil again? Come on, don't use a shovel. Try digging with your hands, muttered. Su Emo squatted on the ground, stretched out his hand, and carefully began to pick at the turf in front of him. His own tent was right next to him. He really didn't dare to take it lightly. In case after 12 o'clock, the signing fortune came with a big evil, then wouldn't he be done for? It was better to believe it than not. Under the shaking flashlight, looking at Su Emo squatting on the ground and digging the ground, the fans in the live broadcast room could not help but hold their breath and began to guess what exactly was the thing that just made a sound. This was in the mountains. How could there be metal buried inside the land? Could it be that it was a tool left behind by those who had once dug up medicinal herbs? What exactly is it? I was ready to go to sleep just now, but this time I'm energized again. I think it might be farming tools, right? Don't forget, this place is right next to the creek. It's likely that it's some kind of farming tools left behind by the nearby farmers that got buried in the earth over time. Right, don't scare yourself, I just don't believe it, this is a big mountain, what kind of strange and weird stuff can there be, it can't be a corpse, right, damn, the one upstairs is the devil, right, it's night time, can you stop scaring people, Sheen do this place is very evil, you do not know Sheen do underground our ancient tombs, hey, maybe yo, can it be that brother Sue has dug up some ancient tombs, it can't be that lucky, right, possibly ah, let me think ah, I remember the Cultural Relics Bureau once issued a notice. If someone finds an ancient tomb that has never been excavated and has great research value, it will also give a certain amount of rewards. Can't it? Are we going to make money again? I don't believe it. Just picking a camping spot and bumping into an ancient tomb. How is that possible? As the discussion intensified, the speculation of what might be buried inside was getting more and more outrageous. Ancient tombs, farm equipment, corpses, fishing rods, even inflatable girlfriends that had been left out in the wild came out. However, the popularity within the live broadcast room also began to skyrocket as Suemo dug deeper and deeper. Across the creek, after someone realized Sumo's movement, he sat up violently from the grass and immediately shouted at everyone, Don't sleep, all of you. Hurry up and look. Did Suemo discover something again? Otherwise, what's the point of digging a pit? Everyone hurriedly climbed up and squinted their eyes to look. Sure enough, they could see that Su Mo was squatting on the ground with the fat photographer. His hands were constantly digging the dirt in front of him. Beside them, a lot of soil had been piled up. It can't be cooking. There's no need to dig such a big hole for cooking. Then, go over to take a look ah. It's hard to dig out something precious. Maybe there's a bonus to take ah. Let's also go over to dig and try ah. Right. Hurry over to see. I have to say. Su Mo's this luck. Really against the sky ah. What the hell ah. How to find something again. Once the people agreed, they led their photographers to run to the grass where Su Mo was. Brother Su, what are you digging? Gathered around the entrance of the tent, all of them stretched their necks and stared at a pit in front of Su Mo. I don't know. I'm also wondering. Just now I was preparing to cook. A shovel went down and I heard the sound of metal inside. That's why I'm ready to dig and see. I should dig it out right away. Su Mo did not raise his head and returned a sentence. Once again, he lowered his head and dug. What kind of thing could it be? It was him who was also curious nowadays. Public Security Bureau. Sitting in the gate room, Monkler Jackets for Sale Chain looked up at the live feed in front of him. His brows wrinkled tightly. His eyes were dead set on Sumo's dugout soil. Something's not right. The more he looked at it, the more Monkler Jackets for Sale Chain felt that something was wrong. 
although things have not been dug out. But, under the harsh light of the flashlight, it is completely visible. The soil near the center, the color seems to have changed, as if it is stained with a layer of rust. Could it really be farm equipment, or something else? muttered the man. At this time, Chen Dali, who dragged his tired body into the door of the security bureau, glanced sideways at the concierge. Seeing that Master Qin had a grave expression and seemed to be engrossed in looking at something, he immediately stopped and pushed the door to go in. Uncle Qin, what are you looking at? It's so late and still not sleeping. Not me. You're old. You can't stay up so late at night. I heard the little girl in the archive room say that last night you watched that Sumo's live broadcast. Watched all night. Don't want to die? Hush. Don't talk. Watch. Master Qin glared at him, pointed to a stool next to him, signaling the other party to sit down and don't talk. Chen Dali's mouth corner twitched, sat on a small horse, looked up and watched the live broadcast screen within the cell phone. After seeing that it was Su Mo inside, his entire person was bad. In the afternoon, didn't he walk into the big mountain? What is this doing? No, this is what time it is. Immediately 12 o'clock ah, you in the mountains, the back of the tent are set up. Do not go and quickly sleep. Digging a pit to do what? Are you going to bury yourself? What's he digging for? I wish I knew. But, look at the soil next to it. But it is stained with a lot of rust. Buried in it should be an iron thing. In the end, what is it? Only digging it out to know. Gene Monkler outlet online touched his chin. Head began to analyze. The people inside the live broadcast room. Guess what it is? Even guess the corpse. Iron box. Can't it be that someone deliberately buried it here? Or, crouch. Suddenly. Chen Monkler Outlet Online's voice steeply pulled up. We'll listen carefully to Chen Dali. Scared a butt from the small horse sitting on the ground. What's wrong? Bomb. Bomb. What the hell? Bomb. As soon as he heard the word bomb, Chen Dali's hairs instantly exploded all over his body, and he jumped up in a hurry, and looked at the cell phone screen in a hurry, only to see in the deep pit, a rusty bomb tail, clearly appeared in the live camera, although only the tip of the iceberg was revealed. But it was enough to distinguish that this thing that was dug out was indeed a bomb correctly. The Dragon Kingdom, because of its history, was once the scene of a large-scale war. For so many years, the Dragon Kingdom had actually been searching for bombs that were left in the wild back then. The factor of the long age, most of the bombs had already lost their explosive ability. But there were still quite a few well-preserved bombs that still had the ability to detonate. Often when such bombs are encountered, professional departments must be notified immediately to go digging. Ordinary people are strictly prohibited from digging. Once something happened, it would be a big deal. What are you still waiting for? Hurry up and ask Su Mo where he is. Speed up and bring people over. Seeing that Chen Dali was still frozen, Grandpa Chin roared in anger. Bam ah! If this explodes, that would be a big fucking deal. In front of the tent, looking at the dug out of this thing, spare Su Mo bold. This will also be buzz on the head. The brain instantly became blank. Explosive. Bomb. How will dig out this kind of thing? Moreover, look at the size of the tail, buried in the soil of this bomb, afraid to be as thick as their thighs. Large ah, all hurry back. Emergency howled. Looking back, behind himself, in addition to Fatty, all the contestants who had just surrounded this place had long since run out of sight. One by one, they hid behind the trees, looking at the distant pit in horror. Outrageous, outrageous. At first, the crowd thought that it could be something good. But they couldn't think of anything else. Suemo casually chose a campsite. Tent entrance. A shovel actually dug out a bomb. This is a bomb. And also in the wild buried decades of abandoned bombs. Whether it was dangerous or not. There were no professionals among them. And people couldn't tell ah. I'm kind of convinced. When tonight is over. I'm saying nothing. I won't go all the way with Suemo. I'm just going to pick the garbage cans. I don't want to lose my life. It's too dangerous to follow this guy. Let's all think about it. We're either bumping into criminals or wild animals. And now it's even more outrageous. Even bombs have come out. Right right right. Brother you are right. And then follow Su Mo down. I guess sooner or later one day. We have to cool off. I just married a daughter-in-law ah. Cannot be cheap to the next door old king. I just want to ask a question. In the field dug out the bomb. Reported. The security bureau will not also give some reward ah. It's a bomb. It's not right not to give some money. Right? These words came out. Everyone was silent. That's right. Digging out a bomb. Something so dangerous. How about the security bureau? They would also give some bonus or something. Once they thought of this, everyone's heart was even more unfavorable. Now it seems that people can't be compared to people. The difference was too big. Moreover, all of them really don't have Sumo's ability to make money. Using criminals for bonuses, 
using bombs for bonuses, this kind of who can't stand it, as the saying goes, always walk by the river, where there is not wet shoes ah, anyway, they are not so bold, we are here to participate in the program, not to play life, don't end up not getting the prize money, life is also lost, in front of the tent, Suemo licked the corner of his mouth, looked back at Fatty and asked in a deep voice, still digging, fat photographer, question mark, brother, you really want money but not life, bomb ah, you still dare to dig, he was completely unable to be whole by Suemo, you notify the security bureau, go far away, just leave the camera, I'll try to dig it out and see, dropping a sentence, Suemo simply knelt on the grass and carefully picked out the soil around the bomb, it was only a few seconds, the forehead was already dripping with sweat, to be honest, if he didn't know it was a bomb, he didn't have any psychological burden at all when digging, but now that he knew, he really didn't dare to exaggerate his actions, afraid that if he didn't get it right, the bomb would blow up again, it would be fine if he was killed, if a vegetable or something, then what is the point of this life, however, this bomb and cannot not dig, because, in this guise, and, of the three bombs, one is in a good explodable state, the genus is a bit scary, name, bomber bomb, model, 50 kilograms, hazard, dud bombs left behind during the war 70 years ago, a total of three bombs, one of which is in a detonatable state, please be careful with the host, and if you successfully dig it up and turn it into the security bureau, you can get a bonus of 9, 000 yuan, and at the same time, the system rewards you with, a copy of the complete book of recipes for the wilderness, dangerous although quite dangerous, but this was the first time Suemo had seen a task where the system also gave a reward, moreover, with Sumo's intellectual thinking of only 6, it was a bomb in a state of detonation, so what danger could it be, he wasn't a bomber, how could he detonate the bomb as well, if this reason was known by Chendali, he would definitely give Su Mo a self-detonation on the spot. With this IQ, how did the program group choose on? And at this moment, the live broadcast room was likewise in a frenzy. Oh my god, Su really just don't want to die? All C is a bomb. Still dare to dig? Not. But where if I have Su brother to make money this spell? Now also not even caravan are not. Two spell. This is with life and earning bonus ah. Really want money don't life. I'm convinced. Sue brother I give you kneel down, all is in advance to participate in your head 7 okay, you're playing too big, bums, you dare to dig, I'm not good, if you touch the front of the device, maybe it will really blow up, tomorrow morning wait to see the hot search list, explosion or not, Sue's 12 is absolutely stable, a little bit scary, a few days of work, nowadays the hot search list, just as set for Sue, will soon take up half of it, Sue cheer, strive to the list of stars all dry down, what a mess of gossip can all go up, look at the people upset, I have goosebumps all over my body, not nonsense ah, uh, once our village ground dug out a bomb, when the commotion is big, the security bureau people, a village of us are transferred, really dangerous, when will the people from the security bureau come, a job like digging up a bomb requires a specialized department, right, the vigilantes probably can't organize this kind of stuff either, ha 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 ha, I just want to know what kind of mood the program director is in right now if he's not watching the live broadcast. Look, we dug up the bomb. Under the sound of the crowd's discussion, Suemo dug out the bomb bit by bit. A full 10 minutes later, a bomb that was half a person high was dragged out from the deep pit by him. It had long been rusty on top. Even many places seemed to have broken holes. And this kind of big guy was daunting to look at. F asterisk CK. It's so big. If this thing explodes, the whole mountain won't be flattened? Suemo gritted his teeth and said with a palpitating heart. However, at this moment, only he understood in his heart. In the deep pit, there could be two more bombs. Don't all come over. It seems like we haven't finished digging. There are still bombs inside. Looking at the contestants in the distance who were planning to come over, Suemo was busy shouting. Everyone's body shook, and they desperately ran back again. What? One big bomb wasn't enough. There's more inside? At the same time, the director of the program was driving a commercial vehicle, blocking a traffic light, and frantically honking his horn at a car in front of him. Are you sick? Can't you see that there's a stoplight in front of you? Destroy what destroy. You have what heavenly thing. Come. To say it out I listen. Tramp. The old man to dismantle the bomb to go off. You hurry to get out of the way. The other party heard. See the director's face pale. Does not seem to be joking. The red light are not waiting. A foot throttle leaped out. At the same time heart palpitating to the girlfriend next to him said, Mom yeah, now people are also too fierce. Dismantle the bomb to go? Scared me to death. The program group broadcasting hall. After the director stormed in, 
He didn't say a word of nonsense and immediately looked at several staff members, asking in a deep voice, What's the situation now? Has the bomb been dug out yet? Near the end of sleep, he deliberately took a look at Sumo's live broadcast, just to see, this guy is not honestly sleeping at night, looked at a glance, almost on the spot to the director directly sent away, the ghost screamed and jumped up from the bed, even his wife, who was sleeping, was kicked out of bed by him, bomb, staying awake most of the night, this guy Sumo actually dug out a bomb inside the campground, after learning that it was a bomb, the director didn't dare to stay any longer and left the door with his clothes, this is a bomb left in the wild, if he didn't get it right, it might explode, if it exploded, not to mention whether or not the program could continue, it was likely that even he would have to go in and step on the sewing machine, a bomb has been dug out, just now a few of us searched the internet for the model, if I'm not wrong, the bomb that Sue Mo dug out is indeed a dud bomb that was dropped in the field by a bomber during the war, and the model isn't bad either, in terms of power, it's enough to flatten the mountain next to it, after listening to the staff's report, the director's brain was buzzing, it could level a small hill, is it that powerful? Did the people from the sheriff's department go there? We called. They're already on their way. Director. Not only did the people from the security bureau go, the demolition department that specializes in bomb disposal also sent people to rush to the mountain. One of the staff members wanted to say something, but finally said stiffly, Now there's another tricky problem. After digging out the first bomb, Suemo has now started digging again. Based on the live broadcast pop-ups, we guess that in this pit, we are afraid that there is more than one bomb. However, there is also good news, the bomb that was dug out, probably because of its age, has lost its ability to detonate, and it shouldn't explode without a major impact, hearing this, the director's heart hanging in his throat was finally put down, as long as it doesn't explode, otherwise, there was really no way for him to do his job as a director, however, after planning so many reality shows, it was really the first time he realized that being a director behind the scenes could be so dangerous, always facing the consequences of going in and stepping on a sewing machine, it was him, in just a few days, it was really a bit of a top, peeing and starting to split, he's on fire, two on fire, there's a bomb inside, no, is this Sue Mo crazy, the people from the security bureau will be here soon, what can he do, is he the only one who can dig up a bomb, the director's roar echoed throughout the entire broadcasting hall, the night shift staff listened, and at the same time, the corners of their mouths twitched in one position, director, I just checked the news from 10 years ago, and if it's still valid now, back then, in order to collect these bombs left in the wild, the security bureau did issue a reward notice, which clearly stated that whoever could find a wartime bomb, the prize money would be a full 3, 0, 0, 0. This caused a big stir back in the day. Older locals of Chindu should all be a bit impressed. A female employee pursed her lips and raised her cell phone, her voice like a mosquito fly and said, the fans in the live broadcast, now all say, Suemo is really in order to take the bounty even life can continue to dig down, maybe it is for the rest of the bounty, after all, the security bureau came, dug out, he cannot have a bounty to take, then again, this guy this afternoon with the fat photographer two people in the sporting goods store, consumed nearly 10, 000 yuan, all the equipment is complete, our program guests have said, is that they are in the wild, now estimated that there is no sumo's equipment is complete, the words fell, inside the entire broadcasting hall, a needle could be heard, Everyone had a, I don't understand expression on their faces. They had seen people who wanted money and didn't want to die. But like Sue Mo, it was really rare. If people don't want to die, at least the rate of return is high. Take those robbers for example, who has seen those who risked their lives in order to rob a few thousand dollars. No, but Sue Mo is different. He is really playing with his life for a three thousand dollar bomb. He didn't even use a shovel. Just using a pair of hands to dig raw. Ah. Hurry up and call the sheriff's department urge them to hurry up and go, just say, just say that Sue Mo this livestock has gone crazy and the program can't fix it, under the helplessness, the director waved his hand and said feebly, forlornly walked into the office, took out his cell phone, looked down and thought about it, or decided to call his wife, so that the other party's heart is prepared, estimated, according to Sue Mo's speed of death, before long, he really needs to go in and step on the sewing machine, hey, wife ah, so what? Do you see if there are any more of my cleaner clothes in the coat closet? Load me up with a few pieces. Business trip? Right right right. Tomorrow I may have to go on a business trip. Time ah. Time is not clear for the time being. Maybe a few months. Maybe a few years. What project? What project you don't ask? With the sewing machine related. Inside the office. The director leaned on the back of the chair. Lifelessly explaining to his wife. 
the reason why he may somehow have to disappear in the past few days. Bottom of the hill. Rumble. Several vehicles from the security bureau roared to a halt in the wild field next to them. Chen Dali jumped down with a pair of reddened eyes and roared at all the vigilantes who got out of the cars. All bring out your milk strength to me. Within half an hour, you must arrive at the location where Suemo is. Where are the brothers from the demolition department? It's only at the foot of the mountain. You guys wear a hairy clothes? Wait until you go up. Quickly. Can't wait any longer. This guy has already gone down to dig the second bomb. The size of the bomb you all have seen. At the very least it's 50 kilograms. Once it explodes, what will be the consequences? No need for me to emphasize. The crowd's bodies shook in unison. Following behind Shen Dali. They took to their heels and ran towards the mountain in a desperate manner. While on the way, each of them were nervously focusing on the situation within the live broadcast, fearing that they would hear a loud bang. The situation where several bombs were all duds at the same time was far too rare. Hence, the staff of the demolition department said that if there were still bombs underneath, it was likely that one or two of them were in a state where they could be detonated. The moment these words came out, the faces of everyone present all changed. Team Chen. Suddenly, a vigilante located on the passenger side, moved his cell phone screen over and said in a trembling voice, Look, the second bomb has been dug out. No, how did this guy Suemo go down again? Inside. Is it hard to believe that there is still a bomb? In front of the tent, the fat photographer, with a small camera in one hand and a flashlight in the other, was sitting on a bomb with his legs spread out, riding on a bomb, lowering his head to illuminate for Su Mo who was in the pit while talking to the other side. Brother, what's wrong? Is there another bomb at the bottom? Are you telling the truth? Can a bomb be exchanged for three, zero 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 dollars at the sheriff's office? I'll shine it for you. Don't be in a hurry. Try to dig a few more up ah. Suemo bowed his head and carefully dug the dirt inside the pit. The two bombs had already been lifted up. And, through the system's note, the two bombs dug out in front. All of them were duds. As long as you don't go to death, like the fat man at the beginning, use the engineer's shovel to shovel the warheads. In general, absolutely won't explode. However, this last one is different. A well-preserved bomb with a detonation function. Even if Suemo didn't understand the principle of bomb explosion, he knew very well in his heart that this last one must be careful and must not be careless. Shine the light. Don't shake your hand. I can't see anymore. A low growl. Suemo dug up the layer of soil in front of him. Suddenly, his fingertips seemed to touch a piece of metal. And while his expression changed, Suemo was busy kneeling on the ground, and his hands began to dig up near the metal. A few minutes later, under the illumination of the light, an oval-shaped warhead with a cold light appeared in front of him. Good guy. So that's how it is. Murmuring softly, Su Mo sort of understood why this one bomb was well preserved, and it wasn't a dud either. It turned out to be butt on ground. The front two were dug out tail first. The warhead is in. The last one was just the opposite. The look of it, alive and ready to go to heaven. Another one? The rest of the contestants who had run out for hundreds of meters heard the fat photographer's strange shouts coming from the distance once again, and each one of them had an expression as wonderful as it could be. They were completely convinced, and have already decided in their hearts. Tomorrow morning. No, this evening will go far away. Even if it is a detour through this mountain forest, but also absolutely cannot be with Su Mo again. This guy is simply a livestock ah. Those who know, understand that you are digging bombs at the bottom. For those who don't know, they think you are digging for something precious. Look at the excitement of these two people. Dug up another one. Coconut. Is this the reaction of a normal person? No wonder the old people always say, what people find what people. It's really true ah. Su Mo was digging a bomb in the pit, and the fat photographer was sitting on the bomb, illuminating Su Mo. The cooperation can be said to be quite tacit. Can't pick out a single fault. Found it. Ten years ago the Sheriff's Bureau did issue this kind of reward notice. How much is a bomb? Three thousand? Suddenly, a photographer stared down at his cell phone screen and grimaced, looking up with a complicated expression. He looked at the bomb digging duo. If one didn't remember correctly. Three bombs, right? Nine thousand now? In less than two hours, people made another $9,000? $9,000 ah, can buy 9,000 steamed buns? Enough for them to eat for three years. I don't envy. Really, I don't envy at all. What's wrong with 9,000? Right, brother, we really don't envy. It's just 9,000? It's not just 9,000 buns. It's not just a five-star hotel to sleep in when you're tired? The same as the bridge to sleep. Do not eat buns. I cannot starve. Do not envy. Really do not envy. Come on. They are all contestants. Is it useful to talk tough? People sleeping Hilton. You lie in a bridge hole. People are tired. Nothing to challenge the challenge of their own soft underbelly. 
How do you get? The show's cell phone is not even for you to watch movies. Do you have a website? Do you have a website? I'll give you one now. Can you watch it? The members all have to be 100 bucks. But still the horse is not envious. I envy Gil is green. Everyone had lowered their heads in shame. The words were hard to curse though. But this is the truth ah. The same as on foot wind and rain literature may not be able to find a place to wash a foot. Press a massage or something. They. Think about it this way. At once. There were many people whose minds exploded. And they turned their heads and walked down the mountain. Can't look anymore. What if someone else sue mo dug out another bomb? What would they do? Can't they go up and dig it up too? Do they have the guts to do that? It would be better to go down the mountain now and honestly find a small restaurant to brush up on tomorrow's meal money first. Within a few minutes, a full ten people went down the mountain. Seeing this, the fans in the live broadcast room unanimously laughed. Let's just say, fortunately I didn't go to participate in this hiking around the world program. Otherwise, when I met Sue's kind of people who want money and don't want to die, my mentality is indeed easy to blow up. The problem is that other people still can't imitate it. Hey, the bomb is in the pit. You guys see that there are so many contestants on the scene. Does anyone dare to go up and dig? Dare not right. I'm curious now. Now Sue should still be in the Chin Du territory, right? If nothing else, the person from the security bureau who rushed here should still be an old acquaintance. Captain Chen? You guys say. In a moment, when Captain Chen looks at the bomb under Fatty's butt, what kind of expression will he have? Really? What spell Eve wool party? All are bullshit. In order to gripe 100 bucks to withdraw cash. Hate can't bury several years of relatives also dig out. Let people give him a cut. Really if bull. Learn sua. See people this wool gripping. All is legal income. Who also jump out of the problem. Anyway, I never thought in my life. Someone can rely on the bounty issued by the security bureau to become rich. Sue is definitely the first person. If I say ah, in the country what is the meaning? Hurry to go abroad ah. The Dragon Kingdom people do not earn their own people's money. To grips those foreigners bounty is only interesting. Under the crowd's murmur, Su Mo, who was located in the deep pit, had already dug out one third of the last bomb. At this moment, he was trying to find a way to dig up the remaining two thirds. However, for safety reasons, not being able to use an engineer shovel and only digging with both hands was too testing. Going on like this isn't a solution. Frowning, he muttered. Su Mo got up and stretched, and reached out his hand at the fat man above him. Give me a bottle of Red Bull. I'll replenish my strength. Otherwise, how about you come down and dig for a while? This last bit, it's too hard to dig. At this time, the fat man sitting above was unmoved, eyes staring blankly at Bullet beside Su Mo. What? Seeing Fatty's eyes were not right. Su Mo was also bewildered. Brother, brother, turn around and look. Is it my eyes that are blurred? How do I look at it? This bomb head behind you. It seems to be smoking. Really? It seems like something is mush. What? Su Mo's eyes widened, slowly twisted his head only to see that there was really a wisp of gray smoke escaping from the connection between the bomb head and the middle part, a charred odor began to fill the air. It's over. With just a glance, Sumo's entire body was dumbfounded. Smoke was coming out? How could it be smoking? He didn't do anything. Really, he could swear to God. He didn't even touch the slug. He just dug the soil. The smoke really had nothing to do with him. Now the question was, if it was smoking, the bomb wouldn't explode. Would it? Bring water. In the heat of the moment, Su Mo was busy yelling. Taking a bottle of water from Fatty's hand, he twisted off the cap and poured it down the top of the warhead. It was only after there was no gray smoke and burning smell that he breathed a long sigh of relief. Brother, what's the situation? Maybe the weather is too dry. Just pour some water. It's fine. Su Mo filled another bottle of water and returned without lifting his head. The fat photographer nodded and gave a thumbs up to praise. Brother, you're awesome. Bombs can be straightened out. No wonder you can come to the program. For the fat man's compliment, Su Mo gladly accepted it, isn't it? When there is a tendency to start a fire, put out the fire ah. Isn't this common sense? If the former substitute teacher knew that he doused the bomb that was about to catch fire with water, he must have been very pleased in his heart. Where's Su Mo? At this time, a deafening roar came from the distance. Chen Dali rushed in sweating profusely and looked at the fat photographer sitting on his butt on the bomb. At that moment, a wave of rolling hot blood surged to his head. The veins on his forehead bulged. The rest of the vigilantes who followed, as well as the staff of the demolition department, looked at the scene and stood in place, not even daring to breathe. Don't scare them. It's too dangerous. It's really a heifer tying a firecracker. Going to heaven? Bombs dug out in the wild dare to sit on it. The heart is also too big. Someone stretched out his hand, signaling the crowd to never speak loudly. 
In case the fat man on the bomb was scared and the other party did something overly aggressive, causing the bomb to explode, then the fun would be great. HM. Chin Dali took a deep breath, tried to calm himself down, greeted a few blasters, and carefully walked towards the side of the deep pit. After there were only a few meters left, listening to the sound of two people conversing not far away, everyone's legs went weak and nearly collapsed to the ground. Fatty, give me another bottle of water. This bomb really doesn't give face. Just now a bit of smoke is not even a problem. This is all starting to emit sparks. Hurry up. Give me two more bottles. Oh oh. Brother, if it is not possible, I also go down. We pull it out and forget about it. It is also convenient to pour water on it. Chen Dali and the others looked at each other in dismay, both seeing fear in each other's eyes. What did they hear? The bomb was on fire? You two still dare to dig when it's on fire? Don't you want to die? Steady. Chen Yan Hong. Su Mo. You two don't move. Wait for us to go over. Chen Dali gave a low roar. Sweat hairs exploded all over his body. Forcibly enduring his fear, he quickly came to the deep pit with a few blasters. Looking down, he took a look. There was no imagination. The bomb sparking situation occurred. All the people breathed a long sigh of relief. Looking at Su Mo who was holding a mineral water bottle, Chen Dali could not help but open his mouth and ask. You do not dig. Hurry up. You say I say you point what good? Can't you participate in the program properly? Is digging for bombs something you can do as an ordinary person? In case it blows up, do you know what the consequences will be? Hurry up and come up. Right. Just now what did you guys say about the bomb emitting sparks? Su Mo waved the mineral water bottle and poured it on the warhead again. Looking up at Chen Dali, his expression was relaxed as he pointed to a place and said, It's here. At the very beginning it was smoking. After dousing it with water, after not long, it started to emit sparks, like fireworks, but it's fine, this bomb shouldn't be able to blow up. Seeing Su Mo speaking with certainty, several demolition personnel's faces went black, one of them couldn't help but sternly reprimand. You guys hurry up, what do you mean the bomb won't explode? This kind of bomb is at least 70 years old, how can you guys know that it won't explode? Whether it will explode or not, who can't say? Sparking, tell you too, I haven't seen a bomb sparking and not exploding yet, inside that's gunpowder. Do you think it's flower na? Nah? With the other party finished. Z, a spark sprayed out from the connection. Lie down, lie down. At the sight of this situation, several demolition personnel immediately hissed and flew to the ground. Their souls scared away several times. Water. However, it was enough to wait for a few seconds. Another voice was heard coming from the pit. Immediately after, the fat photographer skillfully drew out a bottle of mineral water and threw it into the deep pit. The appearance, it seems to have been accustomed to it and did not take it to heart. It didn't blow up? Including Chen Dali. Several people were still a bit in disbelief. Never heard of it. Where had this happened? A bomb that was about to explode could still be doused with water. Go over and take a look. Several people crawled to the deep pit, taking a look downwards. Sure enough, the place that was sparking just now was once again back to business as usual. And the youth in the pit, incidentally, drank half the bottle of water in one go, casually throwing the bottle out of the pit. Gulp it really won't blow up? Up to this point, Chen Dali also had to believe Sumo's remarks that this bomb wouldn't blow up. Not sure. Never met this kind of situation. Can't it be because, this bomb itself is manufactured with defects. It simply can't explode? However, Team Chen, this is not a solution. It is too dangerous. We must immediately evacuate the surrounding people, and let our professionals pull the bomb up before we can do it. If we can't transport it over a long distance, we can only find a way to destroy it in this place. No way. Without waiting for Chen Dali to open his mouth, Su Mo below decisively opened his mouth to refuse. I can't stop now. Unless. Unless what? Did your security bureau issue a notice that a bomb like this really gives 3000? That last one. I have dug half a. Mineral water have used half a box. You say not digging on not digging. That money back? Chen Dali, question mark. Demolition personnel, question mark. Good guy. Thought it could be some kind of reason. Dare I say this guy is doing it for the $3,000 bonus? Come up, come up, give give give, the bonus will be given as usual. Hurry up and come up. Chen Dali's mind exploded as he roared, reaching out to pull Su Mo up. Don't rush, bring water, it's sparking again. However, before Su Mo could climb up, the bomb head connection underneath began to nourish sparks of fire again. It seemed to be a bigger spark than just now. At the same time that everyone's face changed, Su Mo loosened his hand, took the mineral water. Skillfully twisted the cap and dunked it against the connection. Seeing this situation, several demolition personnel shook their heads with bitter smiles. Reaching out, they pushed Chen Dali. Chen team, 
Look at this. This bomb should indeed not blow up. You, you let this kid dig it. Honestly, do you recognize this person underneath? Have any work Noah, willing to come to do our demolition work? Really, too talented. You'll give it a go in a moment. For the next half an hour, everyone became Sumo's assistants. After learning that the bomb underneath really wouldn't explode, everyone flocked over, looking down at Suemo who was digging the bomb. Brother Su, quick, sparks again, hurry to get water, not me, go down a few people to help, a moment of mineral water will run out ah, really, I didn't even think that I could observe people digging bombs up close and personal in my life, you guys are not aware of it, just sent out a circle of friends, and on the spot, I harvested 88 zanzan, and a long time not to contact the goddess sent me a message, said that their homes also have bombs, so that I have time to go over there at night to take a look at it, you guys say it's true? You quickly forget it. Be a good photographer. You run a hairline. After a lot of effort, the last bomb was finally dug out. Suemo wiped the sweat from his forehead and looked at the system prompting that the task had been completed. The whole person suddenly relaxed a lot. At first when the bomb was sparking, he was also afraid in his heart. But enough dozens of sparks, but also did not explode, is a person also accustomed to. After climbing up, a but sitting on the grass gasping for breath, Suemo reached out and tugged on the Captain Chen in front of him inquiring in a low voice, Captain Chen, is the bonus cash or punch card? Why don't you just punch the card directly? So what? This time, Fatty and I don't need to go back with you to assist the security bureau, right? This is in the mountains ah, you guys end up sending us, but you can't send us here, right? Chen Dali's mouth twitched, immediately reaching out and pointing, words succinctly said, go, now pack up and go immediately, the bonus back to hit your card, hurry up, within a minute, don't let me see you again. Do you see these two black circles under my eyes? I'm begging you. Let me sleep through the night. Okay? If this continues, in less than half a month, I'll die suddenly. Suemo scratched his head in embarrassment and immediately dragged Fatty to start packing. When he dug the bomb just now, it was already past 12 o'clock, and signing in had resumed. Finally, it was no longer a little fierce. Going on the road is going on the road. And he really doesn't know how to face people these security bureau people. Luckily, he would walk a few more days to get out of Chindu. Otherwise, it is estimated that after a few more days, the security bureau will have to give him a special bank payroll card. How embarrassing. Packing up the tent as well as various tools, Suemo waved his hand and went on the road with Fatty again. A group of people from the security bureau, looking at the two people who left, had mixed feelings in their hearts. A few of the demolition personnel who were seeing them for the first time, their hearts were filled with puzzlement. It was the middle of the night. Just letting people go like that? Discovered three such large bombs. According to the process, shouldn't they be pulled back to talk about the discovery in detail? And then properly praised praise. Standard procedure. How come the process has changed? Teen Chen. Just let them go? Someone questioned. A few vigilantes beside him immediately opened their mouths to laugh and snicker. This you don't know. Turn around and look at the program hiking around the world. Search Sumo's live broadcast. You'll understand. By the way. Since this guy has found the bomb, it is estimated that, in these few days you guys are busy, not that I'm bragging ah, you guys believe it or not, in a few days, all the bombs that are buried in this mountain, will have to be found by this guy, what are you waiting for if you don't go, is it hard to pull back to manage food again, demolition brothers, you do not know, our security bureau and this two guys are old acquaintances, two days ah, two days do you know this Suemo and the security bureau took how much bonus, a full hundred thousand or so, this guy's luck, I can only say, I can't envy it, really, during the daytime, is not it just caught the humongous monkey, took several thousand, at night this is another 9000, the same people, really, the gap is too big, listening to what the sheriff's department people said, several blasting staff blinked, looked up at the two people walking away, and couldn't help but mutter, so bullish, how hard was it to get a bounty from the sheriff's bureau, which one wasn't to capture important criminals or to assist in a job, in short, there wasn't an easy one. Two days to get over a hundred thousand dollars. How many people did these two guys help catch? Su Mo left, waved his sleeves once and left in style. At this time it was already midnight. The people who rushed to the broadcasting hall from the program team were completely unable to sleep. Everyone in the conference room also decided that they simply didn't need to go home and sleep. Because, this news of digging for bombs, although the hot search list was not yet time to refresh, the heat of the clicks, had already squeezed into the top ten and was even still growing, tomorrow morning, charged into the top 10 of this hot search, sure as a heavy bomb, completely fire out of the circle, according to reason, should be a good thing, 
However, when added to this one, there are eight hot searches that SuMO has hung on the hot search list. One person had bagged so many. The program team was also under a lot of pressure. The most important point, this guy SuMO dug out bombs tonight. Ah, in the end, they are smoking fire. I estimate that not only will it be on the hot search, it's likely that tomorrow's news will report on it. Speaking here, the director's voice paused slightly, and the whole person seemed unusually agitated. Our program team must be prepared. Tomorrow's traffic will be even higher. We must ensure that Sumo's live room is smooth. If not, open up a separate traffic channel. Don't squeeze in with all the contestants. By now, the director also figured it out. As far as Sumo could whole live like this, he estimated that in the end it would be hard to end well. Eight or nine is not far from the truth. Is to go in and step on the sewing machine. It's only been a few days. From catching human traffickers, to fishing for crocodile eels, and now we're already digging up bums. For those who haven't gone out of the dragon's territory, the constraints are more serious. If it's outside the country, he has not even dared to think about it. At that time, this guy is to call back and say that he got a tank, or an aircraft carrier. It is estimated that the people in the program, it is not unacceptable, since it couldn't be restrained. Anyway, this money that the other party had acquired was not only within the rules of the program group, but likewise did not violate the rules of the security bureau. Might as well let it go. This was not only his intention, but also the result of the many shareholders who had deliberated together. Then tomorrow's hot search. Is our program group planning to respond? A person below frowned and questioned. Right. The director nodded his head as an acknowledgement. All along, regarding Sumo's hot searches, no matter if it was good or bad, their program group had been silent, never giving a positive response. But tomorrow, the director decided to start giving a response with the program team. Support must be given to SuMO. Otherwise, the things that would be discovered in the future were getting more and more outrageous, and it was just too much to explain. Refreshed, it's on the list. Suddenly, someone holding a cell phone exclaimed, Crap, on the list is the second place in the hot search? What? Inside the conference room, the director exclaimed with a rather wonderful expression and immediately took out his cell phone from his pocket, tapped on the hot search list, and fixed his eyes on it. Sure enough, on the list that had just been refreshed, the hot search of Sumo's discovery of the bomb jumped up to second place. The messages began to grow at a speed visible to the naked eye. Almost as if it was refreshed once, hundreds more hot search messages would come out. This speed, the crowd let out murmurs with surprised expressions. Just now, they were still saying that it was bound to hit the hot search, but they just didn't expect that the momentum would be so fierce. To know, digging up the bomb until now, only less than three hours have passed. It won't all be curses. Right? Questioning our program group again for rehearsing in advance? With apprehension. The director clicked on this hot search, looked down at the comments below, and the more he looked, the more odd his expression became. The several hot comments located at the top were not any questioning remarks or bragging remarks. Rather, they were remarks that asked for help. Chuan Du reward, today I Wulong Mountain, found signs of injury to wild pandas, found clues, reward 5000 yuan hole, walking the globe program group. Look at our Chuan Du reward. Injured pandas are looking for days. Hurry up and let Su Mo contestants walk to our Chuan Du to ah. The prize money is sufficient ah. Yun Du reward. Anyone who provides information about the smuggling gangs will be rewarded with 8. 0, 0, 0 yuan. People are stupid and have a lot of money. Su Mo walk faster. Hurry over. Nan Du reward. 1. 0, 0, 0 yuan for the return of a telecom fraudster. No ceiling. What are you waiting for? Come quickly. Crazy. The hot search list went completely crazy. And, the director looked down at the several accounts that had posted hot comments. And surprisingly, all of them were not ordinary accounts, but official accounts. What did this mean? It meant that Sumo's method of participating in the program to get the prize money had been officially recognized. Otherwise, how could these official accounts leave such comments at the bottom? Are they crazy? Hiss. The director sucked in a breath of cool air, looked at everyone with a grave expression, and asked in a deep voice. Where should Sumo's next stop be after he walks out of Qin capital? This depends on Sumo's own plan route. To Chuandu, Yundu, and Nandu are actually all possible. However, there are already contestants who have taken the Yundu route. A slight nod was given. The director's heart was enlightened. This development really kind of caught him off guard. How could he not have imagined that the other local security bureaus were actually expecting Sumo to go over to get the bounty? Currently, it seemed that there were no more voices of doubt across the net. But, the director also found the fatal point. That is, the entire hot search inside. In addition to mentioning the name of their hike around the world program, all the content of the discussion, 
and hike around the world has nothing to do with, is the final grand prize of $1 billion in prize money, as if no one cares, they are all discussing what new reward Suomo will get tomorrow, there were even, the reward notices issued by Qin do more than 10 years, decades ago, the old graves were dug out, as long as it was within the validity period, without a clear end, they were all listed one by one, dismissed, leave a few people from the publicity department, in a moment let's discuss, how to send out the program's announcement tomorrow, waving his hand, the director steeled himself and had another in-depth discussion with a few employees from the publicity department, nowadays, it seemed that the program group didn't need to stand up to sue MO at all, because, there was no more skepticism ah, even the official account had started to invite sue MO over, this was the biggest support ah, Chen Du, General Administration of Public Security, early in the morning, Chen Dali, who had been busy all night and hadn't closed his eyes for a minute, was again called by his superiors to a meeting here, with a pair of panda eyes, Chen Dali sat listlessly in the conference room, listening to the head of the general administration of public security above to speak, and the purpose of holding this meeting was just one, to discuss about Su Mo who had recently been in their Chindu, obtaining bonuses like crazy, Gu Feng is the person in charge, last night was staring at the hot search for a full night, almost all the comments were read, in the end, he even went so far as to use his own son's hot search account to curse against several official accounts in other regions, it was so not something, it was said as if, they Chin Du were stingy and couldn't afford to shell out the reward money, when Su Mo arrived at their place, this group of people would understand then, what was meant by pain and pleasure, Chen Dali, here, suddenly, a shout came from above, and Chen Dali stood up with a jolt, many of the people present are not very familiar with this Su Mo, as the person you have dealt with the most, briefly introduced the situation of this Su Mo, yes, Chen Dali rubbed his face vigorously, trying to refresh himself, speaking about Su Mo's situation, he didn't even need to look up the information, he had memorized it long ago, moreover, all of the bounties that this guy had taken recently were ones that he had personally experienced, even how much money was involved, Chen Dali knew exactly, then I'll make it simple, everyone looked at him, frowning as they listened quietly, at the very beginning, Su Mo was in front of a kiosk in our security bureau's precinct and captured a trafficker who was wanted for 10 years, and again went down on the same day and captured the trafficker's accomplice in the same place, for the reason that it was late in the day, I used my own name and got a room for both of them at the nearby express hotel, then, in the next room, caught 10 fraudsters who had only just posted a reward, and 8 criminals who had committed robberies in the mode of ferry jumps, park, in front of the neighborhood, in the mountains last night, as Chen Dali finished speaking, the people present, were completely nonchalant, everyone had their mouths wide open, and all that flowed out of their eyes was skepticism, after saying so much, this person named Su Mo, is he really an ordinary person? It was the best vigilante of their security bureau. Arresting people was not this fierce. Moreover, the vigilantes are only responsible for arresting people, not animals. But this ordinary person can not only catch criminals, but also help catch invasive species, and even dig up bombs. This is a human being? You don't have to stare so wide-eyed. It's all true. Just now, the general administration of public security prepared all the prizes. Kufon let out a long sigh and looked down at the time. In a deep voice, he opened his mouth. Nearly eight hours have passed since last night. I estimate that this kid Su Mo should have slept up. What is the purpose of this meeting today? I just looked at the map. The distance from this guy walking out of Chindu. On foot, there must be a minimum of three days. And within these three days, I'm asking all of your departments to be ready to go into the mountains at any time. Especially the security bureau. I have a hunch that it won't be long before I'm afraid something has to happen again. The words just fell. A middle-aged man holding a cell phone on the left side, staring blankly, raised his head. I think, there is no need to wait. Something really happened again. Everyone take a look. In the mountain forest, Su Mo squatted in front of a deep pit with the fat photographer. Looking down at the box of arms below, both of them were dumbfounded. It was hard to find a place to camp. After sleeping up, the side of the tent somehow collapsed. Then it revealed a wooden box. Su Mo jumped down and dragged a box up. Opened it. It was actually a box full of orange bullets. Each one was as long as the ring finger. At a glance, they were not ordinary gun bullets. In the spirit of meeting his fate, Su Mo didn't even wash his face, turned around and jumped into the deep pit, lowering his head. He dug. Then, within two hours, a full foot in, the guys inside, that is, when Su Mo saw them, his forehead kept breaking out in cold sweat. Most of them were the old-fashioned kind of long guns. The rest were equipped with bullets. However, there were two boxes that were different, 
with dozens of earthen grenades neatly stacked inside. Seeing this situation, Suemo did not dare to act rashly, can only carefully fasten the box again. Today's share of luck is no longer a small evil, but a small good fortune. However, until now, Suemo can't see where G is at all, except for the shock, nothing else, especially the two boxes of earth grenades. It was even more frightening than the bomb last night. Don't wait, make a call, call the security bureau, don't call Captain Chen, I'm afraid he can't handle it in his heart. The two were on the grass, sitting face to face, Su Mo considered for a long time, raised his head and said to Fatty, the other party nodded approvingly, indeed can't stimulate Captain Chen anymore, didn't he say last night, he hadn't slept for several nights, this will tell him again, digging out so many weapons and ammunition, his heart is hard enough to carry it, think here. Fatty took out his cell phone and dialed the official phone number of the security bureau. Hello? The answer was a melodious female voice. May I help you? Yes. We found weapons, two boxes of 38 large caps, and the kind of long guns with wooden handles. There are five boxes, two boxes of grenades inside the kind of TV series that can explode once pulled and thrown out. And there are still a few boxes of bullets left. Do you guys care about the sheriff's bureau or not? Silence. The female operator on the other end of the phone. The whole person was confused. Hello, please repeat. What did you find? Weapons and bullets. Grenades, right? Not playing Jedi. Are you? Playing Jedi. Really? You guys hurry up and send someone. There should be more than these things under the pit. We haven't finished digging yet. Sir, it's very serious to tell you that spreading false news is a responsibility. Fatty was on speakerphone. Suemo who was on the side couldn't stand it anymore. Snatched the phone and said in a bad mood. You notify the security bureau's Captain Chen Dali. I'm Su Mo. You give him my name. He should understand. Just pulled back three bombs last night. But, you tell him ah, I really didn't mean to do it. Really, I just slept well for a night. This pit collapsed on its own. I really don't want to take the prize money from your security bureau. Really, not waiting for Su Mo to finish. On the other side of the phone came a burst of noisy sounds, accompanied by the eager hissing of several people. All right, hang up. It's getting late. We both should eat. Handing the phone to Fatty, Su Mo covered his stomach and said, Take out the steaks you bought yesterday and grill some steaks to eat. Saying dry. He did it. The two people divided up the labor. Started building a fire next to them to cook. The wooden boxes stacked up next to them made the fans who only came inside the live broadcast room early in the morning really not know how to spit. No. Is there any brother who didn't sleep last night? Can you give the brother a good explanation of what actually happened? Didn't we just dig up three bombs last night? Where did this dozen or so boxes of weapons come from next to it? I'm also wondering. I just clicked in. And it almost scared me to death. Is it this dangerous in the mountains and forests of Chindu? Just find a place. Can find so many weapons? Moreover. You guys found it. This batch of weapons preserved quite good. Those 3 8 die guy seems to still be able to use? This should be the weapons that were transported back then. Right? I don't know what reason they were buried here. And in the end, no one could think of anything? Luckily, it was discovered by Sue. Otherwise, there are so many weapons and gunpowder buried under the ground. Even grenades. In case there is some kind of mountain fire in this place, won't it be over? According to what the upstairs said, I think, the security bureau is not going to give Sue a bonus again? After all, so many weapons. Inside the live broadcast room, everyone fell silent at the mention of making money again. Zot XINA. Last night's bombs, the people from the security bureau said that the prize money was a full 9,000. Then today, with these dozen boxes of weapons and ammunitions, how much money must be rewarded again? When I opened my eyes early in the morning, I saw that people had made so much money. At that time, there were quite a few people whose minds exploded. Their own hard work, exhausted a month, are not as much as people earn in the morning. I should have known what to go to 996. To participate in the program is not good? Not only can you travel on foot, most importantly, can also make money ah. Look at Suemo this livestock. This is only a few days of work ah. Has earned more than a hundred thousand. One time, the official website of the program Hiking Around the World was blown up. Everyone's messages were surprisingly consistent. All of them were asking the program group to increase the qualifications. What a billion dollar prize. They didn't care. They just wanted to follow Suemo and enjoy the gorgeous scenery along the way. Aha. Uh -huh. That red. Red. Red, 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 red. Just when Su Mo was eating with Fatty, located on the outskirts of Chengdu, in a small farmyard, 
A white-haired old man wearing a somewhat whitewashed, old-fashioned military uniform was bending down to feed the chickens in the yard. Grandpa. At this time, a little boy holding a cell phone hurriedly ran out from the house, shouting excitedly at the top of his voice. Grandpa. Look, what you've been talking about all day turns out to be true. Not far from our home in that big mountain. Really dug out weapons and ammunition. Look at the 136 number written on the box. Exactly the same as what you said. Grandpa. You quickly tell me. How do you know that there are weapons and ammunition in the mountains? You know. Why don't you bring me over to dig it out? The white-haired old man looked down at the cell phone screen, blinked his old eyes vigorously, and busied himself by walking into the house, bringing his old glasses up, and waiting to see the boxes of familiar weapons and ammunition in the cell phone screen. Unconsciously, the old man was already in tears. The palm of his hand trembled as he held the cell phone. The mouth murmured in a low voice. Found it. After decades, it's finally found. Quick, go and call your father over. I want to go into the mountains. I want to see it for myself. Old comrades, weapons and ammunition found. You, you can rest in peace ah, on the way to climb the mountain. Chen Dali kept greeting the members of the security bureau. At the same time the heart also regretted. If he had known that it was like this, he shouldn't have gone down the mountain last night. Otherwise, there would be no need to climb again today. Moreover, discovered this batch of weapons and ammunition. The above is very important. I heard that there are a few of them Chindu, retired old man, have called to ask about the situation of this batch of weapons and ammunition. Sounds very important. Up to here, Chen Dali almost understood. Suemo dug out these weapons and ammunition. Should have a very special significance. It is likely that the year in the war period, because of special reasons, buried in the mountains in a batch. All hurry up. Thinking of this, Chen Dali couldn't help but wave his hand, allowing everyone to speed up. After two whole hours of non-stop rushing, they finally saw the two people sitting next to the weapons and ammunition before 12, noon. Did you guys go down at the bottom? Is there anything else? Suemo nodded and pulled Chen Dali to the deep pit, pointing to the dirt on both sides and whispered, Captain Chen, I just went down to take another look. There should not only be this much buried around, there is likely to be more. But after, informing you, Fatty and I didn't act rashly, not that I'm saying, the grenades in the box, how do I look at it? seems to be able to work properly. So, wait for you guys to dig it. After dazzling the meal, Suemo did go down to the pit and dug again with the engineer shovel. And at the system prompt, he decided not to dig. Good fellow, there could be more than just small arms and ammunition inside. According to the system prompts, there were even mortars. Suemo felt that, to be on the safe side, it is better to wait for Captain Chen to come and say, anyway, this place was discovered by him. No matter what big stuff is dug out in the end, the credit, not the bonus should also have a share of him. The only bad place. Look at this situation. Today is estimated to be enough to get on the road again. Hiking around the world can be too difficult. There are stumbling blocks dragging back all day long. Seeing Captain Chen looking at himself with a somewhat odd expression. After Su Mo finished, he added another sentence. Really, Captain Chen, I just want to participate in the program properly to come. This pit has nothing to do with me at all. If you don't believe me, you can look at the video of the live broadcast. I slept up and there was an extra pit here. Chen Dali did not say a word. Immediately greeted the people of the demolition department with the security bureau team members to go down to the pit and start digging. On the entire open space, except for Su Mo and the fat cameraman, the crowd was busy in full swing. And, there were constantly sounds coming out from the ground. Team Chen, a box of bullets. The brothers up there take it. I'm handing it up. Crap, it's a machine gun in here. Even this stuff is there. Looks like it's pretty well preserved. Lift it up. Lift it up. Hiss. Found a cannon. Come on people. Found a cannon. On the side of the open space. Su Mo listened to the sound that kept coming from the distance. The whole person's heart was despondent. Don't discover it. What the hell? Really dug out the cannon? There's no way to explain it ah. Now in the live broadcast room. Many fans have started to call in the body of calamity. It's true that everywhere you go. Something happens and it wasn't even a small matter. Ha 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 ha. I thought brother Sue didn't know fear. Feelings you also know fear ah. On the basis of the ammunition dug out now, this may be a certain team left here back then ah. The number is all the same. I'm concerned now. How much bonus will be given to our brother Sue? Without a few tens of thousands, I'm afraid it won't work. Even the cannons have it ah. No. According to my view ah. Send a hair bonus. On this kind of discovery speed, last night is a bomb. Today is a weapon and ammunition. I suggest ah, pull Sue back to the slice research it. This guy body absolutely installed a micro detection radar. 
Otherwise, choose which is not good, but wherever he chooses the other side, there is no accident, we are all good, there is no no accident, everyone think about it, see if what I said is true, somewhat reasonable, sleep fast hotel, there are fraudsters, sleep park, the lake has crocodile eels, sleep on the mountain, either bombs or weapons and ammunition, difficult to really have what detection radar, I propose, go to a deserted place, take off clean and let us check, hey, girls don't need to avoid it, right, we'd love to check it out too, looking at the increasingly outrageous pop-ups, Sumo's entire being was bad, what do you mean he has a detection radar in his body, can your family radar detect so many arms, nowadays, what he was worried about was not the fans in the live broadcast room or the program group of walking around the globe, but the security bureau ah, uh, especially the Chindu security bureau, the way Chin Dali looked at him just now, he started to look forward to it, old scary ah, uh, is it possible that he might not be allowed to compete? Muttering in a low voice, Suemo was apprehensive in his heart. He had to participate in this program no matter what. Because, if he didn't participate in the program walking around the world, the system might have to be lost Ah, At that time where to go to make money? Without money to earn. How to get to the peak of life and win to marry a rich white woman? Fatty, come with me. Lowering his head and thinking, while everyone was not paying attention, Suemo gently tugged on the fat man and kept giving the other party a wink. Let's hurry up and go. Don't wait for this bonus. Really, listen to my brother's absolutely right. And then wait, we too may have to retire early. The fat man heard. This is not good enough. There are still more than 100. 000 dollars and the card has not been spent. And now withdraw from the game. How bad it is ah. Uh, said. The two carefully got up. Looked back. Even the distant tent with wild survival tools also don't want bent over and drilled into the mountain forest. The reason why Su Mo didn't even want the prize money was definitely well thought out in his heart. The things dug out this time were too much and too big. Looking at the situation, these weapons and ammunitions alone, equipping a team of a thousand people would be no problem. Even the mortars were there. So you can imagine that once this matter broke out, nothing else. It's estimated that there won't be a single star on the hot search list. At that time, the Chin Du Security Bureau contacted the program team, wanting to absorb him. Then with the strength of the program team, dare to refuse people? Must not dare ah. Then he was forced to withdraw from the competition early. The system disappeared. And he was completely reduced to an ordinary person. No way. This is absolutely not possible. He had to finish the three years of hiking the globe even if he was consumed. Not for any other reason. Within three years, he must glean his way onto the Forbes list. Brother, you walk slower. Walk slower. In front and then past. There is a lake ah. Don't fall into the lake. I watch the road. Will not. Ah. The words were not finished. Suemo then let out a miserable scream and fell into a deep pit. Hiss. Stepping on the horse, who still put traps on the mountain. Ah. Lay a layer of grass. Can't even see it. This is not harmful. Grimacing. He climbed up from the ground. Looking at a rotting corpse at his feet. Suemo swallowed hard and was busy waving his hand at the fat man above him. Shouting with a crying voice. Hurry. Call Captain Chen. Found found dead people law. As Sumo's mournful screams rang out, the fans in the live broadcast room instantly exploded. Looking at the camera, the highly decomposed corpse, many people covered their mouths and rushed into the bathroom on the spot. Where's the mosaic? Mosaic? Hurry up with the mosaic? This is not a walk around the world contestant ah. The whole a plague of God. Just walked less than 10 minutes, and then found the body? I understand. Su won't do anything related to personnel. Really? Nothing. Especially fatty. Are you human? What's with the close-ups? Vomit. I'm just being cheap. What am I clicking in to see? Why don't you just go to work? What's the point of watching a live broadcast? Now it's good. I guess I won't be able to sleep for a week. How could someone die here in the middle of nowhere? And, did you guys notice just now? When Sue fell in, there was a layer of grass laying on top. This is obviously man-made. Is it possible that it's murder? No way. Why don't you find a pit to bury the murder? There is a reservoir not far from here. It's hard to find out if you throw it in the water. Why throw it in this pit? Everyone heard that it was a murder. The heart immediately gave birth to a kind of creepy feeling. Since yesterday, in this big mountain, other than the contestants who participated in the program and needed to leave Chindu, there was no one else who appeared here. It could even be described as off the beaten path. Inexplicably, a dead body was found. It was still in this kind of place. Not only were the fans unable to figure it out, even Chen Dali, who had rushed here urgently, looked at the highly decomposed corpse underneath, whose gender could not even be discerned with the naked eye, and the entire person was also clueless. However, surprisingly, the body was found. 
Investigating cases was their strong point in the security bureau. Within a few moments, the several forensic doctors who were helping to carry the weapons and ammunition temporarily changed their clothes, followed the ropes, and went down to the bottom of the deep pit. After a few people came down, Suomo grabbed the rope and climbed up, squatted behind a nearby tree and lowered his head to dry heave for half a day. Only after feeling smooth breathing did this turn around and walk back. Too outrageous. This is Xiao Ji. This is too scary. Even if he found weapons and ammunition, how come even the corpses were like a navigation device, specifically looking for him ah, how's it going? Squatting on top of the pit, Suemo asked in a low voice, the decomposition is too serious, need to pull back for detailed testing, however, can already confirm that this is a female, age is probably around 27 years old, the time of death, preliminary judgment, has been about 7 weeks, next to him, Chen Dali nodded, his face somber. A 27-year-old female could not have come to such a place alone, and, died in such a deep pit, the possibility of a homicide was very high, Su Mo, who was next to him, pursed his lips and blinked, took a look at Captain Chen, and was selectively silent, he did know some information, but, it was all prompted by the system, and he could not say it, otherwise, it would seem too outrageous, name, Gui Yun, gender, female, age, 26 years old. Cause, mechanical asphyxiation death caused by external force. Time of death, 45 days. The information prompted by the system this time was very detailed. The age, including the cause of death, the exact number of days of one's death, all listed out. With the results of the forensic identification, the difference is not very big. From this, it could be seen that the forensic pathologist of the security bureau was worthy of being a professional, and the initial examination was able to discover so much useful information. After taking pictures and leaving evidence, transport the body back for a detailed examination. After a full half hour, several forensic doctors climbed up. Chen Dali ordered in a deep voice to send the person back, leading Su Mo and the two of them. He returned to the weapons and ammunition excavation site. Having found the body, you two will have to return to the security bureau with us in a while to assist. What about after assisting? Where can we send it to? Su Mo's face changed and he hurriedly asked after him. The current location is in a big mountain ah. The other side can't send people to carry in for them, can only be sent to the foot of the mountain, crap, this was equal to one day and one night, not only did they not increase the distance, but they also stepped backward, can only go to the bottom of the mountain, but, can manage two more meals for you, Chen Dali quite inhumanly returned, at the same time the heart decided, hurry up and send this guy to another city, I can't stand it, really can't stand it, this side of the weapons and ammunition has not finished digging, the top has been urging the news and there's a nameless body over there, he's all alone, he can't handle it, rumble, suddenly, the sound of deafening engines came from the sky, the crowd looked up, only to see a dark green helicopter, covered in camouflage patterns, flying in from the distance, hovering in midair, it seemed to be looking for a landing location, hiss, this is a military helicopter, right, how come it came here in person, can it be that it's for these weapons and ammunitions? It can't be? This kind of wartime weapons and ammunition can't be used nowadays, right? It can only be centralized and destroyed. I'm not sure, but I have a hunch that these weapons and ammunitions dug out that can make the military helicopters rush here. I'm afraid they're quite extraordinary. The crowd whispered and watched as the helicopter landed successfully. And the ones who came down under them were several old men with gray hair and somewhat stooped bodies. One by one, they looked to be at least 80 years old. All of them were dressed in once old green military uniforms, looking excitedly at the excavated weapons and ammunition. It's these, it's these. One of the old men wiped tears from his eyes and choked. Back then, in order to escort these weapons and ammunition, how many people did we die? I didn't expect that I would still be able to find them in this life. Yes, it is a pity that, in the end it was not sent to the hands of the big forces, and the people, were finished fighting. The person next to the old tears, lost his voice and cried. The crowd looked at a few old men and could not help but respect them. It turned out that these weapons and ammunitions that Su Mo found, there was also such a story hidden behind them. Salute. At this time, an old man straightened his back and slowly raised his right hand. The rest of the people stood solemnly and looked at the weapon box with tears in their eyes. Old Chief, Escort Team Wang Shui completed the mission and finally found this batch of equipment. The atmosphere at the scene was heavy. Everyone listened to the several old warriors and understood the origin of this batch of weapons and ammunition. Several of them, it was the warriors who were responsible for escorting this batch of equipment back then. More than 200 people were attacked on the way, and more than half of them were killed in battle. In order to prevent the equipment from falling into the hands of the enemy, 
only to try every means to bury the equipment in an unnamed mountain. With the war raging, there was no more chance to dig it out, and when the war was lost, a few people have been looking for all these years, but the sea has changed, and the marks that were once made have long since disappeared. Unexpectedly, this wait, is decades have passed. Thank you, facing a few old warriors who saluted. Suemo was at a loss for words and was busy bowing nonstop. Back then, after the war was won, there was a reward issued. If someone can discover this batch of weaponry, the reward will be 50 whole dollars. Young man, a few decades ago, 50 is not a small amount. This money, you must take it. Looking at the 50 dollars handed over, Suemo cried and laughed. It's not a good idea to take it. It's not a good idea not to take it. However, in that era, 50 was indeed quite a lot. Then I'll take it. After pushing back for a long time, unable to argue with a few old people, Suemo could only load up the money. At the same time, without waiting for the program group to issue a notice, Sumo's reward of $50 once again hit the hot search. Hilton Hotel. Inside the presidential suite, Li Na looked at the ranking on the hot search list and raised her hand to slap herself. After confirming that it was not a misreading, she couldn't help but shed tears. What ah? How did so many things happen after a night's sleep? Moreover, this Su Mo is toxic, catching criminals on the hot search. She was convinced, helping to catch animals, writing on the reputation of the fishing man, and on the hot search. She also convinced. How? One night without rest. What did this guy do? Trekking around the world Sumo found three missing bombs last night in the advance. Surprise, the bombs are sparking, but they don't necessarily explode? For more information, please watch the live video of Sumo's contestant. Extra, extra, Sumo found a lot of well-preserved weapons and equipment in the morning, suspected to have been buried here on purpose. The old warrior appeared, told the origin of the weapons and equipment, 70 years of hard search, finally got what he wanted. Special reward Suemo players 50 whole dollars. Suemo found the body of a nameless woman, suspected to be murder. Over the course of the night, this guy named Suemo was getting more and more excessive. A full five hot searches were all related to him. And, Li Na cried even more when she took a look at the rankings. Apart from the big shot stars in the first place of the hot searches, from the second place onwards, it was actually all about this Suemo. Even the hot searches that were at the bottom a few days ago, because of the remaining few, the rankings all surged into the top 10 at once. Top 10 ah. Li Na really wanted to ask, does this guy know what the concept of top 10 is? If it was her, a night of live streaming with goods could definitely earn several million dollars. This guy, alone, accounted for so much. Who? What bullshit big brother? Ma da, played for two days, a penny is not given. The hot search is not on. I play with you Nima. Exasperated and cursed, Li Na carried her clothes, directly left the hotel and rushed to the airport. She was going to see the Suemo with her own eyes. How far can God go? Being on the hot search was like drinking water. On what grounds? The broadcasting hall. A group of people sat in their seats, looking up at the big screen in front of them. What was playing inside was exactly Sumo's live broadcast screen. As for the other players, they had already moved to that small screen next to them. And this big screen was purposely left for the player Suemo to use. There is no way. This guy is too able to live. Only last night after the meeting, was waiting for the morning to issue a notice to respond to the hot search situation, did not wait to send out, Suemo in the live broadcast room, found the weaponry again, this time, it is an entire weapon and ammunition that can equip a thousand people, various models, it can be said that as long as it can be seen in the TV series, within Suemo's live broadcast room, almost all of them can be found, even mortars were there, just to ask you, outrageous or not, no surprises, the crowd opened the hot search list, and as expected, it was on the hot search again, and it was still several at once. In the words of the director, it is estimated that this will be a hot search list one even dare not sleep, for fear that once the eyes are closed and opened, the list one is gone. Where did the fastest traveler go? Director, already out of the Qin Du boundary, just entered Chuan Du, but, walked in the mountains for two days and two nights. This contestant should stop today to rest and recuperate, and the food is also used up. Listening to the report of the staff next to him, the director nodded slightly. The first place had already all walked out of Chindu, and the last place Suemo, not surprisingly, returned to the security bureau to assist. And, the other party sent him and could only send him to the foot of the mountain. The director was even a little scared in his heart. Don't be a while. There are contestants are out of the dragon country. Suemo is still at the foot of the mountain. According to the degree of evil of this guy Suemo, it is not impossible. Only after digging the weaponry. This is not. Another nameless female body was found. Can Suemo still get out of Chin Du in this life? 
This is a question that everyone is now wondering about. Nowadays, our program group, to put it bluntly, so many fans, most of them come through the hot search or live broadcast platform publicity, just to come to see Suemo, but this guy has been going around in circles in Chindu, it's not a solution, not bad, now that another nameless female body has been found. According to the formal process of the security bureau, the one who found the body is Suemo, and it seems that he can't leave Chindu before the case is solved, right? What then? I'm afraid to keep going on like this in Chindu, now by arresting people and digging up bombs, the ability to get eyeballs is really strong. But what if one day this guy doesn't have such good luck anymore? What about the flow then? Looking at the crowd discussing underneath, the director also rubbed his temples with a headache. There really wasn't any good way. Who lets Suemo with his own strength? Hard to a trekking program, run into this kind of social program now, do all the good deeds, or can get a bonus kind of thing. In the event that one day his luck fails, it was estimated that the powder fall would also be very serious. After all, the route that was taken from the beginning was not a normal picture ah. Plus, now that the security bureaus of other regions had also come down and made announcements, it was pulling up the sense of anticipation. If it were to go down from there, seriously, the entire program would be ruined ah. In a moment, someone from our program team, personally go to the security bureau, talk to Captain Chen. In the next few days, if Su Mo if he finds out anything more about the bounty, can he not have to return to the security bureau to assist in the work? This back and forth, too much of a delay. The director bowed his head and thought for a long time. He could only come up with this solution that wasn't a solution. Today's Su Mo, the funds are absolutely sufficient. It was the Grand Hotel every night, and it was damn well enough to stay for several months. It was necessary to catch up with the progress as soon as possible. Because, once a contestant walks out of the Dragon Kingdom, it is going to open up the global live broadcast. At that time those foreigners take a look. Good guy, can they not say that they are shady? The player with the highest heat is actually the one with the slowest traveling speed. It doesn't make sense. It's fine if they lose face within the dragon country. But in foreign countries, they absolutely can't lose face. Moreover, according to their understanding, there were similar wilderness survival programs abroad. And when the time came for those raiders to compare, they would naturally use this to discredit them. Alright, today's meeting will end here. From this evening onwards, the broadcasting hall specially arranged two people. Just give me an eye on Sumo's live broadcasting room. Don't stop for 24 hours. Once there is any abnormal situation, immediately inform everyone in the group. I'm kind of looking at it. When will this guy be able to get out of Chindu, so that we, the people, can sleep a peaceful sleep? In the middle of the night, don't let the security bureau call me. My heart really can't take it. After the director announced the end of the meeting, the crowd left one after another. At the same time, Chindu security bureau. Su Mo together with the fat cameraman, with a very embarrassed expression, dazzled the other security bureau with another meal of roast chicken. You also don't say, the concierge, Mr. Sheen, bought this roast chicken in the neighborhood, and the taste is really extraordinary. The outside is crispy and the inside is inside. Not greasy. Simply cannot stop. The next door office. Chen Dali looked at the technician with a sad face and asked in a deep voice, still haven't found out the identity of the deceased? We must speed up. When the body was found, Sumo's live broadcast was on. Now that more and more people are paying attention to this case, the leaders above have sent word that we must solve the case by a deadline. The next morning, the sun rose. Su Mo, who had slept all night on the office sofa, rubbed his eyes and climbed up, skillfully walking out of the office, greeting the vigilantes along the way. He walked into the bathroom. That appearance. It was even more casual than the vigilante who slept here at night. Crap. Why is this guy back again? Wasn't he just sent away yesterday? What happened? I just wonder. These days whenever I come back from a mission, I can see this guy in the office. It can't really be our supernumerary, right? Bullshit. People are back to assist in the work. Last night in the middle of the night, and now Chen team is having a headache. Until now did not find out the identity of the female corpse last night. I heard that in the morning. The leadership of the general administration were scolded. I see ah. Uh, Su Mo this guy really better not to participate in the program, into our security bureau how good, on his take this bonus speed, with less than a month, our security bureau will be able to change the new car, I'm afraid that a variety of commendations to take the hands are soft, a group of people looked at Su Mo who was washing in the toilet inside, it was them, nowadays, they were also really convinced, it's such a pity that the other party doesn't work in the security bureau, not to mention the bonus, it was helping the society to eliminate so many dangerous hazards. How many commendations would this have to take? It was a second-class merit. 
It was probably enough. If they could have a team member like this in the security bureau, that dare not say in the country. In Chin Du is definitely the leading big brother. Gulp. Tilting his head back and spitting out the water from brushing his teeth, Su Mo looked in the mirror and straightened his hairstyle, turned around and walked out of the inside of the security bureau to the small courtyard. Before the identity of the female corpse was investigated clearly, the People's Security Bureau simply couldn't spare the manpower to send them away, so they could only wait here. Old Master, I'm despondent, ah, when can I leave? Sitting in front of the door on Master Chin's pony, Su Mo sighed and said a mouthful, you've got a lot of time on your hands, but you've got a lot of time on your hands, so you're not going to be able to do anything about it. Chin Monkler Outlet Store spoke quite nonchalantly, glaring at the other person without any goodwill. Last night, the two of them showed off five roasted chickens, and this still have the face to say that they are very depressed. When you were gnawing on the roast chicken, how could you not see it at all? By the way, this program of yours is held for three years. After three years the program ends, do you have any plans? Chin Monkler Outlet Online kicked the guy and asked offhandedly. He had worked for the sheriff's department for his entire life. To be honest, he had seen people with talent. But those who could be like Su Mo, whose talent could go against the grain like this, really hadn't seen a single one. It had only been a few days. If the other party is their security bureau, it is estimated that Chen Dali would have laughed his legs off. Just the commendation alone, would be able to get a soft hand. Therefore, Chin Monkler Jackets Outlet, want to ask this kid, three years later if there is no job, willing to come to their security bureau to become a supernumerary, although it is a supernumerary, but according to the speed of Sumo's achievements, it won't be long before he can be regularized. Taking the weapon we found this time, it was actually enough for a second class merit. Unfortunately, the other party is an ordinary person, can only get a bonus, at most can only give an excellent citizen award. Ah, uh, three years later? I don't know. Let's see how fast I can save money. If I can get a billion dollar bonus, I plan to retire early. Fuck off. Upon hearing this, Grandpa Chin cursed on the spot. You're only in your twenties and you're planning to retire? Why don't you just go into the crematorium and just start the next part of your journey how nice. Look at you. You're so old and still have such a big fire. Right. Eat popsicles? Fatty. Go buy some popsicles to eat. Suemo was not annoyed and smiled to appease Grandpa Chin. An old man and a young man sat in front of the security bureau and chatted without a word. At this time, the entrance to the household registration office. A group of people were lining up, ready to replace their new identification documents. Su Mo inadvertently looked back. The entire person's face changed instantly. Busy tugging on Monkler Chin, he opened his mouth in a low voice and asked, Grandpa, you are also considered a vigilante now, right? Do you have any equipment? Lend it to me. I seem to have found criminals in your sheriff's office. Monkler Chin, question mark. Chin Monkler Outlet Store, who was holding a popsicle in his hand, was confused chatting nicely. You said you found criminals again? No. This is the Public Security Bureau. What kind of criminal would come to the Public Security Bureau if he's got his head stuck in the door? Looking out for them? Really? I'll go ask. Don't move. I didn't wait for Mr. Chin to open his mouth. Su Mo stood up with a popsicle in his mouth, lowered his head and searched in the small courtyard of the Security Bureau, and finally under a tree, found half a brick, bent down and held it in his hand, and walked towards the crowd in line. Seeing such a familiar scene, the old fans in the live broadcast room, one by one, instantly spiraled. Here it comes, here it comes, this expression is too familiar to me. When I filmed that human trafficker a few days ago, Brother Sue was like this, what's wrong, there are still criminals inside the security bureau? Bullshit, how can any criminal be so stupid as to come to the security bureau? He came here to turn himself in, why would he need the host to do that? If he catches a criminal here, I'll show him shitting upside down tonight. It's so fake. Do you really think the police station is a food market? You think the sheriff's department is a food market? No. Don't we have any management in the live room? Block the spammer upstairs. Who didn't zipper up tightly and exposed you? And still faking? We all saw it with our own eyes. It seems you don't know that a big V have deleted their number. I also think a little too much. In front of people so many vigilantes to catch criminals. They are the professional. The first few times is nothing more than luck. Really think that the vigilantes are all waste ah. I am also hot search to come, anchor if this can catch, not above the old brother upside down to shit, old man stepping horse live eating shit, this life I do not serve anyone, I have not seen someone can catch criminals in the sheriff's office, want to money want to go crazy, as the popularity of the live broadcast room is getting higher and higher, came in a lot of skepticism towards Su Mo people, one by one, they looked at Su Mo, who was touching the brick, 
in front of his cell phone, revealing a look of disdain. The current program group was really crazy. In order to be on the hot search, they really did anything to actually say that criminals were found at the sheriff's office. What was this if not fighting for attention? Taking themselves seriously on the basis that they were here to assist in the work? The live broadcast room was immediately divided into two factions, both sides frantically sending out pop-ups and arguing. For the situation within the live broadcast room, Suemo was not clear. The current him, he had come behind a middle-aged man with glasses, well-mannered, reached out and patted the other party's shoulder, showed his teeth and smiled, opened his mouth to greet. Hey, isn't this Guoyun's boyfriend? Brother, we met last time ah, reservoir fishing that time ah, you forget? What? You recognized the wrong person. I don't know any Guoyun. Ding Song turned around and looked at the youth standing in front of him. A hint of panic flashed in his eyes and he denied it. Could it be that I recognized the wrong person? You are most likely mistaken. There was no way that anyone outside would know about his own relationship with Guoyun. It was that every time he went on a date, he also looked for places that were off the beaten path and he went over early, and would not go on the same road as the other party, just for fear of being known and triggering irreversible trouble. Moreover, it had been a long time since he had contacted Gui Yun, and he couldn't reach the other party even by phone, especially the last time they met in the mountains. Ding Song has made it clear with the other party, the two cannot continue to be so wrong. Otherwise, sooner or later, one day, will be known by his wife, once the time comes, once the time comes, his job, his family, can all be ruined. Although the last time, Guo Yun cried a lot. But from that time onwards, the two really didn't contact each other again. Hubby, what's wrong? At this time, a woman standing in front turned around and looked over with concern. Nothing, he recognized the wrong person. Are you tired? There's a child in your stomach. No you go sit in the hall for a while. When it's our turn in line, I'll go over and shout at you. Ding Song said with a smile. The woman shook her head and snuggled into each other. Looking loving. Suemo let out a long sigh. Looking at the two couples in front of him, he let out a TSK 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 sound. Unexpectedly, the murderer was someone else. At the beginning, the system suggested that this man had a relationship with the nameless female corpse, and labeled it as boyfriend and girlfriend. Suemo thought that the other party killed Guo Yun, until the appearance of another woman. The system completely gave the answer. The murderer of Guo Yun, is Ding Tsong's wife. What a complicated triangle relationship. However, they cannot behave too abruptly, only to recognize the wrong person as the reason. Let the other side reveal their own cloven foot. Moreover, according to Ding Tsong's performance, I am afraid that this guy does not know that Gui Yun is his wife killed. That is, that day when the two were dating in the mountains. This woman was following behind. A pregnant woman. Is so scary. Harm. You see this brain of mine. Recognize the wrong person. That day in the mountain reservoir. Ding led by his sister-in-law. Right. I went down the mountain but I saw my sister-in-law car right at the foot of the mountain ah, it should not be wrong. Suemo thought about it and decided to try again. Sure enough, the woman in front of her face changed greatly. Her eyes began to dodge. Ding Tsong, on the other hand, looked at the other party with a surprised face and a panicked expression. Right, sister-in-law, you don't know my friend Guo Yun, do you? With brother Ding in a company ah, since the last time I bumped into you guys in the mountains, I haven't seen Guo Yun again, as if he disappeared. Have you guys seen him? Sumo's mind is talking nonsense. But the couple in front of him obviously panicked. Husband, I am a little tired. Why Don? T we do it tomorrow. Go home first. Okay? Right right right. Go home first. The two people held hands. Ignoring Sumo. Turned around and was about to walk towards the door of the security bureau. Stop. At this time. Grandpa Chin coldly rebuked. Stopped in front of the two people. And looked at Sumo with an inquiring gaze. Seeing the other party nodding with a grave expression, he understood. Your wife is pregnant? How can you queue up if you are pregnant? Go go go. With me to the office and register you first. Without being told. Grandpa Chin greeted the two magistrates at the door and invited the two Ding Song into the office. No need. We still have things. Come back tomorrow. What are you polite about? It's right to serve you. Since you saw it, give us a hand to help. It's no trouble. It's quick. After sitting down in the office. Chin Monkler Outlet Online took the two people's old documents over and handed them to the security officer next to them. The other party understood, turned around and walked out. Inside the office next door, Chen Dali was holding the phone, his face ugly as he rushed inside. Leader, give us another day. Have checked the identity of the deceased. Three days? Not. Two days we will be able to solve the case. Really? When did I Chen Dali brag? Absolutely can solve the case. Suddenly, 
Two ID cards plus a note were handed to him. Gui Yun same company. Suspected murderer. Snap. Chen Dali slammed the table and growled at the phone. Don't look down on people. One day. Just one day. If there's no gain today, I'll take off my clothes. After saying that, he directly hung up the phone. What's the situation? The vigilante told what he had just seen and heard in the courtyard. Chen Dali froze for half a minute before coming back to his senses. Was it this Su Mo again? It wasn't. There has to be a degree for the heavens to feed you, right? Moreover, is God blind? Arresting people is their job. What's the point of always feeding this guy Su Mo? Let's go. I'll take a look. After saying that, Chen Dali walked into the next office with a grave expression. Outside the concierge. After the person led in the office, Su Mo did not follow him in and squatted down outside the gate room. The person was right. As for whether there would be any gains, this would depend on the skills of the staff of the security bureau. Thinking that people were professionals, they should not be wrong. Although he was full of confidence, but the live broadcast room exploded, especially the many black fans who were picking faults. Seeing that at this time he returned without any success and squatted outside, one by one, they were madly clamoring in the live broadcast room. Ha 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 ha. See what Lousy said? How come none of them are talking? Isn't it about catching criminals? Who is a criminal ah? People have just said that they don't know any Gui Yun at all. The anchor is talking out of his ass. But he also brought both of them to the office. Bah, really not a human being. Indeed, people are still a pregnant woman. In order to wrestle eyeballs, not even a little bottom line? Come on, come on, my shit is ready. Where are the fans in the live broadcast? Why are they all silent? Dare I say so? I said looking at the heat some wrong, I now seriously doubt ah, Su Mo behind actually have a team, not to mention the security bureau, I'm afraid that the program group have his people inside, otherwise, how can he show his face in everything, as for those prizes, you guys say, could it be that he, the team behind the scenes on purpose, in fact, it's not at all the prize money of the security bureau, it's all his own money, it's not a disguised way of destroying the rules of the competition, he should be fired directly, hiss, upstairs, when you say it like that, it seems a bit reasonable. The many fans who supported Su Mo were furious as they looked at the pandemonium of pop-up screens in the live broadcast room. This group of internet spammers, they really dared to say anything. Such words as buying the security bureau. They all dared to say it. The problem was that there were actually people who believed it. What? Put down? Is this the pregnant woman who did it? At this time, a cry of alarm came from the office door, drawing everyone's attention, with Ding Sun's wife's admission. The entire sheriff's office boiled over. Everyone coincidentally looked toward. Squatting outside the concierge. Is sunbathing a fat and a thin two people. Two god. Right? How to find ah. People are just to apply for new documents. You also do not know people. How can you see? People are in the mountains to kill criminals it? Can't figure it out. Really can't figure it out. I am convinced. Really. In this life I even my father is not convinced. I am now completely convinced that this Sue M.O. This person is not a child has what overpowering skills are, such as a dog-like nose. Otherwise, the explanation does not make sense ah, we spend so much effort. It is difficult to find a wanted person. This guy only a few days ah, caught so many people, and now even the murderer can be found. Talent. Once I think talent what is bullshit, now believe. Estimate ah, just now as the eyes of these two mouths are not right, was Su Mo found, so only went up to swindle a fraud, did not expect. This is what kind of fairy luck which can be swindled out. Don't say it. Su does not come to work in the security bureau, is definitely the loss of our entire Chindu, if he is in our security bureau. You guys just say, a month's bonus, how much can we take? Not only were all the vigilantes confused, Chen Dali who walked out from the office, his brain is also buzzing, he couldn't understand. The person was arrested in their security bureau. To know, the entire security bureau has how many security officers, which one has not undergone professional training. But everyone did not find. Only people sue M.O. a glance to see that something is wrong. Go up and climb a few words. And as expected, the murderer was really Ding Tsung's son. In the end, the murderer was really Ding Tsung's wife. In fact, the case is simple. A few months ago, Ding Tsung learned that his wife is pregnant, decided to clear with Gui Yun, the two about the reservoir in the mountains to meet. The pit was dug by Ding Tsung. Gui Yun, who thought he wouldn't let go, simply let go and only demanded a portion of the money. This result, Ding Tsung can accept, then dry fire, well at least to break up, and finally came to a breakup gun in the grass, was then followed by Ding Tsung's wife found, the result is very simple, Ding Tsung dug the pit, originally prepared for Gui Yun, did not think he did not use, her wife used, and both committed a crime, 
In less than a day, the case was solved and the murderer was caught. Logically, Chen Dali should be very happy. But when he thought that the person was caught by Su Mo again, or under their noses, he couldn't be happy. The credits and bonuses are visible to the naked eye, and they were taken away by this guy. As the case came to light, the picture style in the live broadcast room changed instantly. The fans who supported Su Mo jumped out in a swarm, and output madly against the black fans who had just raised questions. Where are the people? Where is the big brother who was just going to live broadcast the upside down poop? You come out. Where is the live broadcast room? Brothers say anything to go over to give you a show. If you can pull out the diluted. Rockets are for you to brush. Come out ah? Why don't you say anything? Mute? Yes. Isn't there another shit eater? I've never seen anyone eat shit in my life. Come out and show us. Where's the man? Is he a man? If you're a man. Come out. You're not deleting your number and running away again. Are you? Ha 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 ha. I realized. This group of people really do not see the previous video. Immediately words dare to say. Sue brother people this is the gift, can earn security bureau bonus, the way we all know, on this there are a few players also went to catch people to go, the final result, criminals are not caught, to others old lady caught, now still in the inside closed it, the qualification of the game are gone, I guess it's another case of taking money from someone, right, otherwise, why did so many people suddenly come out, it's not scientific, makes sense, maybe it's the same as last time, how much does it cost to send a pop-up screen, does the boss behind you still want people to see how I am? Zwan graduated a few years ago, and my parents are still alive. The atmosphere in the live broadcast room was unusually joyful, especially after the collective silence of all the black fans. Even people who usually only watched live streams and never opened pop-ups were involved at this time. Sheriff's Department. Office. Chen Dali fondly handed over the thousands of dollars in prize money to Su Mo in front of him. This is the bonus for assisting in the capture of criminals. Our security bureau itself. Not any bounty. Time is not early. In a moment I will send someone to send you to the foot of the mountain. You two go up the mountain by yourselves. However, don't have to find anything ah. And then find any weapons and ammunition. That mountain after all no one dares to go up. Really. People's Tourism Department phone call to me here. Is ready to develop into a tourist attraction it. You're this and airplane bombs. And weapons and ammunition. Corpses and whatnot. People really can't stand it. Already ready to choose a new site from the new. Su Mo heard this and could only scratch his head awkwardly, not knowing how to answer. There was no way. Whether or not he could discover something completely depended on the system's daily divination fortune ah. Anyway, by now, he also understood. Don't care what fortune. In the end, all of them could make money. It's just that the bad omen has a chance of losing money and meeting danger. If you can successfully complete it, you will still be able to reap the prize money in the end. This will not change. Moreover, after taking so many days of money, Su Mo himself also felt that the original money can still be earned in this way? It was better to the sky than what 996 is not in society now. He he he, promise it won't be. This time to go up the mountain again. The two of us will bury our heads in the road. We won't stop at night. We have to hurry to Chuan Du to be able to do it. I see the internet said that the Chuan Du Security Bureau can't wait. Su Mo grinned and joked. After walking out from the office, he got into a car of the Sheriff's Bureau. Subsequently, the vehicle once again rushed to the suburbs. Grandpa Chin, go, 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 go in. I'm looking for you for something. Without a second thought, Monkler Chin pushed Chen Dali into the office. What is your business? Squinting at Chen Dali, Monkler Chin pursed his lips and asked in a good-natured manner. Su Mo's one morning's work. Even the murderer has been caught. He since the beginning of the bonus. To today there are also three days. Right? Don't you have any thoughts in your heart? Chen Dali, question mark. What thoughts can there be? Is it hard to go and ask for the bonus back? How did I teach you such a stupid disciple? You hurry to apply with the above ah. Give Su Mo a whole supernumerary status ah. Otherwise, we'll soon arrive in Chuan Du ah. To the Chuan Du Security Bureau's urine. People will definitely not let Su Mo go ah. Quick. You call now. I watch you fight. Grandpa Chin roared in anger. Chen Dali sucked in a breath of cool air and hopelessly picked up the phone on the table. Drive slowly on the road. Standing at the foot of the mountain. Su Mo waved at the departing vehicle and greeted the fat photographer as he got on the road again. The reason for having already traveled once. Both of them didn't stop to rest on the road. Only wanting to hurry up and finish today's journey so that they could rest earlier. And on the mountain. There were still quite a few staff members responsible for digging up weapons and ammunition. And those transporting ammunition down the mountain. Kept rushing at the two men to greet them. Back ah, did the security bureau take care of the food? If it didn't, we sent boxed lunches over there. Do you want to eat something before you go on? 
We won't be able to find something again today, right, Su M O? Can't you wait? At least let us finish digging? We can't keep up with your speed. Hurry up and catch up. I watched your program. At present, you two are really the bottom of the list. Fight for your breath. Don't live on the road. One billion prize money. If you can take the prize money, what I say I'll introduce my sister to you. Long legs, proper big beautiful girl. Suemo exchanged pleasantries with the crowd and soldiered on in the direction of the reservoir. He discussed with Fatty before the two of them went up the mountain. When they walked to the reservoir in a while, they would take a good rest for two hours. And then tonight, they would rush all night long and walk out from Chindu in one fell swoop. This place could not stay any longer. Brother, I just did the math. Just these few days of work, in addition to the security bureau, we took the animal protection department, the demolition department of the several departments of the bonus. There are not many left. You really plan to give up ah, get lost? What nonsense. Without good humor. Suemo blared at this guy and said in a bad mood. Really think that this bonus is specially set up for us on the ah. Some take is good. You are planning to let me offend all the departments ah, not return to Chin Du in the future? However, Fatty is also right. It was true that he had taken bonuses from several departments. Of course, the one that gave the most money was still the security bureau. As for the other remaining departments, people generally do not send what reward notices ah, there is no way to earn. The two of them chatted with each other without a word, and finally rushed to the other side of the reservoir before the sun went down. There was no way. The body was found on the opposite side. It was Su Mo who was a little scared in his heart. Simply take a detour to the opposite side of the reservoir, building a fire to cook. Went to find some wood to go. Commanded. Su Mo pulled out in his pocket and froze in place. Where is the fire? No, isn't it on you? Where's the lighter? It can't be that it was left at the sheriff's office, right? F asterisk CK. Isn't that the end of it? You didn't take the pot either? No, we're going to the sheriff's department to make money, not to help the poor. You didn't take the pot either. How can we cook? After a careful inspection, the two were dumbfounded. After sleeping all night for the sake of it, the two had organized their backpacks at the sheriff's office. It was only when they entered the mountain that they realized, not only did they not take the lighter, they didn't even take the pot for cooking. As for some of the other food, there was quite a bit of it in the refrigerator at the sheriff's station. How do I get it? Suemo sat on his butt on the ground, rubbing his stomach that kept protesting, trying to think of what else could be done. Nope. Didn't the system give a wilderness survival recipe book in the end? This thing should be somewhat useful, right? Thinking of this, Suemo was busy looking for it in his mind. In the end, he realized that the reward was indeed given, but he had never learned it. On the spot, he finished learning the cookbook, carefully searching in it. There were ways that could be used right now. Building a fire was not difficult. Inside the cookbook were all sorts of ways to make fire in the wild, and there were several ways to drill wood for fire alone. The key was access to food, with the reservoir on his back. It shouldn't be so bad that he didn't even have a fish, right? Fatty, you carry the bag. Follow me down. I'll see if I can find anything beside the reservoir, said Dry. The two carefully came to the edge of the reservoir. Suemo bent down and picked up a stone and threw it in. Splash splashed a piece of water. Listening to the sound, it is not difficult to tell that the water inside the reservoir is very deep. It's better to go down to catch fish. What if I run into something big again? Captain Chen wouldn't be devastated, having just sent them here. Brother, you're not going to catch fish, are you? No need. Just take a look at the shore. Suemo took off his shoes, pulled up his pants leg, and carefully went into the water. A little while later, Suemo raised his head and threw an eel at Fatty's feet. Seeing that the picture was so normal, the fans who had been staying in the live broadcast room were a bit unable to accept it for a while especially those who came home from work and couldn't wait to open the live broadcast room. At this time, looking at Suemo who was touching the eel on the shore, they were all startled by this clear style of painting. Crap, I quit and took another look. Sure it's Su's live room ah. What the hell? What are you doing here? Can we do something serious? Catch eels that is you can do work? Ha 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 ha. Here a Chen captain. In the live room or not. Come and see it. The child are laughing not live. Today, the security bureau can rest. Su went to catch eels, will not live, really a little uncomfortable ha, huh? but, don't forget, we are a hiking globe, survival program, also in survival to find food, this is not normal, relieved ah, if the other contestants know, I guess they can be happy to die, now it seems, in the wild, money is not good ah, but also have to have the skills to do, but, Su brother is not once caught eels, the action is quite standard ah, weakly ask a question, eels for sale, I can give money to pick up, not for anything else, 
just for the anchor to go to the whole live op, catch what eels. The fans in the live broadcast room couldn't help but all start joking when they saw Suomo burying his head and pulling out the eels. After watching the live broadcast for several days, finally, it was time to see that Sumo was starting to do work related to the program. It was too hard. At this time, inside the broadcasting hall, the director's group of people looked at Suomo who was catching eels. All of them were relieved. Since the beginning of the journey up the mountain, the working atmosphere in the broadcasting hall was quite heavy. Even the few little girls who secretly sent messages on weekdays, today they didn't even dare to pull out their cell phones, fearing that they would annoy the director. Oh, it can be considered normal. I'm really afraid that this guy will come up with another whole corpse. Ah, it's too scary. The director rubbed his chest and said with palpitations, the back of my neck is sweaty. Give me a fright. Live program. Ah, not moving to get out of the corpse out. The above also have opinions. So how good? Ah, give a close up. I want to take a good look. How this guy catches eels. As the camera drew closer, only to see Suemo frowning tightly, one hand stretched out of the grass nest on the bank, is constantly groping. It's really quite professional. The director smiled and joked. Just, the words just fell. Suemo, within the screen, pulled out something from the grass nest. Crap, everyone couldn't help but burst out a foul mouth. It wasn't an eel? What is this? The director stood up from his seat, rubbing his eyes, frowning as he stared at the screen, an object in Sumo's hand that was covered in mud and sand, and couldn't help but look at the guests next to him. The crowd shook their heads in unison, completely unable to understand. What was Suemo holding in his hand? Why do I look like a sword? Or a sword? Sword? Hey, you don't say. It's really a bit like that. But isn't it too short? I've never seen such a short sword before. Everyone fixed their eyes on the thing held in Sumo's hand. Don't say. With the sword is really a bit like. However, with the swords that everyone had contacted on weekdays, it was completely different. Not only was it short, but the body of the sword was not thin. It even looked a little thick. It should be someone who brought a child to play in the mountains and accidentally lost it, right? The director said uncertainly. No. Suddenly, someone stood up with a miso expression of excitement, and the whole person seemed to be trembling. Mr. Nangong, you are? The rest of the people looked at them in disbelief, and they couldn't understand that it wasn't just a child's toy sword. Why could it make the guest of honor? Mr. Nangong, so excited, in order to attract traffic for the reason that walking around the globe invites guests. There are not only survival masters and global anchors, but likewise experts on humanities and history. After all, the contestants have to pass through quite a few famous spots along the way. With the presence of experts in humanities and history, they can also provide professional explanations for all the fans who have never been there. Mr. Nangong was an expert in humanities and history, and was very famous in the industry. At this moment, looking at teacher Nangong's excited appearance, a frightening thought violently appeared in the hearts of the crowd. It can't be, can't it be, Suemo digging eels, along with digging out this sword, is a cultural relic, crap, thinking like this, everyone was not calm, the guy who just said this is finally starting to go on the program's real survival project, in the twinkling of an eye, you pulled out an artifact, that's too much bullshit, right, you guys might not understand, the shape of this sword in Sumo's hand should be a bronze sword shape from the Qin dynasty, the sword is short, and thick, however, there are a lot of imitations of this kind of bronze sword. As to whether it's real or not, it needs to be authenticated on site to be able to do so. Mr. Nangong spoke in a deep voice to popularize it for the crowd. As the ancient capital of the 13 dynasties, Qin Du could be said to have many cultural relics, especially the ancient tombs. The most glorious achievement was none other than the construction of the Qin Du subway. It was also on the hot search at that time. On a subway line, thousands of ancient tombs were found, and because of this, the subway line was changed again and again. And these, the people present in Chindu, all understand. Therefore, at this moment, looking at the bronze sword in Sumo's hand, and combining it with the degree of Sumo's evil, all of them vaguely felt that this bronze sword artifact, was probably real. Mr. Nangong, I take the liberty to ask, if this sword is really a cultural relic, if it is generally handed over to the state, will the Cultural Relics Bureau give a cash reward? The director thought about it and asked a sentence that hit the key. If there was a reward, then according to Sumo's nature of obtaining bounty money, it was basically certain that this was a bronze sword artifact from the Qin dynasty. It didn't run away. If there will not be a reward given, then it is estimated that it is likely to be an Ultraman lightsaber that children play with. And the plastic one is also possible. This needs to see if this bronze sword is a real artifact. If it is an imitation, it is worthless. If it is real, then it also depends on how valuable it is. 
Speaking here, Mr. Nangong laughingly science, not all cultural relics are like everyone thinks. At every turn can be worth a lot of money, generally a lot of cultural relics. The monetary value is not high, especially in our Chindu. There are too many cultural relics buried under the ground. As for the bonus, the Cultural Relics Bureau will evaluate the value of the cultural relics and issue a comprehensive bonus, but does have this kind of regulation. After listening, the crowd's faces had an original expression, then looked up to the live broadcast. Whether or not it is a real cultural relic, no one can say. Reservoir sighed. Suemo looked at the bronze sword in his hand rather blankly. The hell with it. I clearly touched the tail of an eel. Why did I grab such a thing when I grabbed it with one claw? Short sword? And, thick like this, can it cut people? Brother, what did you dig out? An itchy scratch? It's too wide. A fatty squatted on the ground, handling the fat and tender eels, looked up and couldn't help but snicker. These are enough. You hurry back to build a fire. Don't dig. Just, Suemo, who was standing in front of the water plants. The whole person seemed to be somewhat lost in thought, staring blankly at the short sword in his hand. His face gradually began to turn red, and it seemed that his body was trembling slightly. What? Seeing this, Fatty hurriedly dropped the disemboweled eel and walked to the reservoir with concern. Gulp! Suemo swallowed a mouthful of saliva, looked up at Fatty and poked the other party's stomach with the head of the short sword in his hand. Does it hurt? Hiss. Nonsense. Can it not hurt? Fatty grimaced back. That's true. Call. To the security. No. This does not seem to belong to the security bureau. You go online and check. What is the phone number of the Cultural Relics Bureau of Chindu? Ask them. The engraved bronze sword of the Qin Dynasty Palace system. Is there any bonus? Is there any bonus for the engraved bronze sword of Qin Dynasty Palace? After listening to Su Mo's words, even if Fatty has seen more in the past few days, his brain will not be able to react. Staring blankly at the bronze sword. Brother, you mean, this thing is the Qin Dynasty. Crap. This is cultural relics. You wait. I immediately call. Cultural relics that can be worth a lot of money. After reacting, Fatty hurriedly wiped his hands on his body. Took his cell phone out and lowered his head to check the Cultural Relics Bureau phone. Su Mo, on the other hand, threw the bronze sword on the bank and bent down to walk in the thin mud to feel for it. Name, Qin Dynasty Palace System Engraved Bronze Sword. Category, Rare Cultural Relics, Grade 2. Turning it into the Cultural Relics Bureau can be exchanged for a certain cash reward. In response to this bronze sword, the tips given by the system did not state how much cash reward could be given. That is to say, although this bronze sword was made by the Qin Dynasty Palace, there should be quite a lot of it in existence. Therefore, the value was not high. However, these don't matter. Since a handful of them could be dug out of the mud nest, it meant that there was probably more inside. Suemo half squatted in the water and squinted his eyes and kept feeling around. Soon, yanked out a chicly shaped bronze wine glass from inside, washed it in the water and took a look at it. It is not as good as the bronze sword just now, but it is a third grade cultural relic, and after turning it in, there will not even be a bonus. Casually thrown next to the bronze sword, Suemo then touched it again. Time passed. After inquiring about the phone number of the Cultural Relics Bureau, Fatty dialed the phone and turned around with glee and excitement. Right. A bronze sword. Right. Just. Crouch. Turning around for a moment, looking at a large pile of cultural relics piled on the ground, the fat man could not help but burst out a foul mouth. Sir. Hello. If it's really a cultural relic, please bring it to the Cultural Relics Bureau for identification on site. And, if there's only one piece, the Cultural Relics Bureau can't do anything about it. Sir, are you listening? Listening. The fat man lowered his head and counted. Froze and came to the phone. I think you'd better send an expert? It's not one piece anymore. It's a pile. There were oddly shaped bronze artifacts piled haphazardly on the grass. There were short swords, wine cups, belts, and Su Mo, who was in the water, had already groped his way along the mud nests along the shore to a place 200 meters away. Fatty held the phone all the way, describing the shape of the artifacts to the staff of the Cultural Relics Bureau, while picking up the artifacts that Su Mo had thrown up and putting them together. In this little while, the artifacts were more than 30. With this, Su Mo was still touching. Seeing this scene, the fans in the live broadcast room coincidentally began to doubt life. It was too unbelievable. After praising Su Mo just now, he finally started to walk on the right path. The result, people directly came to a hand back to pull out. Damn pulling out so many artifacts. If it wasn't for everyone watching the live broadcast and seeing it with their own eyes, they really thought that Su Mo had gone grave robbing. This is cultural relics ah. You didn't touch it like this. One touch is one. If the grave robbers saw it, wouldn't they cry? It can't really be all cultural relics. 
Right? Is it possible that a group of cultural relics counterfeiting gangs are estimated to have discarded them here? After all, how are they all at the edge of the reservoir? If it is a gang of cultural relics is not better? Following the clues, if we can smash this gang again, let's just say, will the security bureau give us money? Fuck, we're busted. Man, let's not talk about money, okay? I was watching Sue make money at work today, but the boss caught me and docked me $200, so I'm dead broke. I've never seen a man who makes so much money. Good guy. Say good touch eel. You go touch cultural relics to go? My father usually liked to collect cultural relics. How do I look? These are like real on the ground? The shape is also like, the rust on it is also like, will not really be cultural relics, right? There must be dozens of pieces. That is, in the worthless, it must be tens of thousands of dollars, right? Don't talk about it. Where is the location of the reservoir? I'll go over right away. Touch one piece to get back my capital. Two pieces to make a big profit. Looking at the artifacts that were thrown up one after another. Everyone was dumbfounded. On this, Suemo has not stopped groping action. Just like a today not to the cultural relics bureau grips cry. Absolutely not finished posture? Ruthless. This determination to make money is really too ruthless. Brother, brother, don't touch it first. The phone has said. The Cultural Relics Bureau will come over later. We can't go today. Hearing the voice, Suemo looked up and wiped his sweat, turned back to wash his hands in the water and lifted his leg to the shore. While rubbing his waist, he rushed towards Fatty. Touching this thing is really tiring. The waist is really unbearable. More tired than fighting all night. Did you count it? How many pieces? What did the people from the Cultural Relics Bureau say? Ha ha, you don't know. When they heard that we have so many artifacts in our hands, they thought that we robbed the tomb and reported it to the security bureau on the spot, and will come with the security bureau in a while. Fatty grinned and said, after saying that, seems to realize that something is not right. The two people looked at each other with an odd expression of silence. After a long time, you mean, the people from the security bureau are coming too? Captain Chen? Suemo rubbed his temples, feeling a pain in his brain. Only at noon, he had given the other person, Captain Chen of the security bureau, that he would not do anything today. Just bury his head in the road. We will meet again later. Do you think it is awkward? Eel. Still eat or not ah? Uh? Eat. Suemo forced a sentence back. Got up and started to look for materials for drilling wood for fire. The whole out of so many artifacts. Really do not blame him. So many fans in the live broadcast can testify. He was going to dig eels ah. Uh. Who knows that there are so many artifacts underneath. Too pitiful. Security Bureau. After hanging up the phone. Chen Dali. Without a word walked into the bathroom and ruthlessly washed his face with cold water. The whole person was suddenly quite refreshed. Come a few people, follow me into the mountain in a moment. Walking out of the bathroom, he stood at the entrance of the hall and commanded a few vigilantes on duty. A few people looked up blankly, their faces full of surprise. Going into the mountains again? What happened in the past two days? Did you get into it with the mountains? In less than two days, they had gone there several times. What? Into the mountains again? Captain Chen. I really can't. I'll take a leave of absence. I really can't go on. My calves are swollen. Really? Can someone else go? I can't walk either. I don't want to climb any more mountains in my life. Didn't we close the case? Why are we going up the mountain again? Aren't the weapons and equipment being transported by other departments? There's no need for us to go. Don't be anxious. It can't be. Suemo that kid seems to have gone into the mountains? Captain, don't tell me that this kid found something again, right? Several people saw Chen Dali slowly nodding his head. They froze in their chairs, not knowing what to say. It was too good. This was a fuck up with their security bureau. Moreover, it was just an ordinary mountain. Were there really that many strange and weird things inside? Bombs? Weaponry? Corpses? What is it this time? That is, if someone informs their sheriff's bureau now that Su Mo has found aliens in the mountain, it is estimated that no one will be surprised. Just haven't seen someone so capable of whole living. Let's go. We'll enter the mountain with the staff of the cultural relic department in a while. Upon hearing this, the crowd collapsed. This is the discovery of cultural relics? Good lord. As long as Qin Du can have a reward for the department, really not one of them will be spared? Subsequently, Chen Dali led a few people to the car and rushed to the foot of the suburban mountains to meet up with the staff of the cultural relics department. Captain Chen, really trouble you, should not have informed you, but, we really think it is too fishy. Dozens of cultural relics ah. We even suspect that the person who called is not privately digging some ancient tomb. Otherwise, how could so many cultural relics be found? A captain of the cultural relics department who was responsible for leading the team, enthusiastically pulled Chen Dali's hand and shook it. 
and was embarrassed to explain. No, I know who made the call. Ah, the captain of the cultural relics department froze and was puzzled. Have you bonuses brought? Chen Dali thought about it and opened his mouth to ask. What do you mean? Sending bonuses is also approved by the above will be sent. And cultural relics need to be identified. No identification who knows the authenticity. See the other side of this answer. Chen Dali is not good to say anything. Nodded his head and led the way in the front. We all went up the mountain together. Oh, can be regarded as staring at the Department of Cultural Relics. Even bonuses do not bring. Meaning to sue MO with that fat man. Pull back to the Bureau of Cultural Heritage? Still too young ah. Chen Dali really want to take out the cell phone. Tune to the hot list. So that the Cultural Relics Bureau of this captain to take a good look. Notify them of the discovery of cultural relics. What kind of person is it? It's almost like they're griping and crying at the security bureau. Okay? I heard that the highest bonus issued by the Cultural Relics Bureau based on the value of the artifact was a full million dollars. Think about it. I do not know why. Chen Dali Hart actually vaguely some expectations. To the extent that Su Mo obtains the bonus evil, it is estimated that the Cultural Relics Bureau's reward of one million cannot run away. Looking at the appearance of a few vigilantes lightly hiking, the people of the Cultural Relics Bureau were also confused. Busy pulling Captain Chen to ask in a whisper. Captain Chen, you, often go up this mountain ah? How do you even know which place has a pit? By the time the crowd arrived at the reservoir, it was already moon over the trees. The several staff members of the Cultural Relics Department who followed the group, their expressions were getting weirder and weirder as they went along. Especially, along the way, they could also see quite a few people from other departments who were carrying box after box of things down the mountain. What one said made them even more inaudible. Old Chen, I told you, when we bumped into Su Mo during the day, a few of us were thinking, guessing that it won't take long for you guys to come up. And it's true, isn't it? What's going on? What did you find this time? The rest of them couldn't help but laugh aloud when they saw Chen Dali's ugly face. After understanding, they realized that the feelings in a few days, Su Mo really fast gripped the security bureau to cry. Not only did he take enough bonuses, a full hundred thousand or so, most importantly, who doesn't know now? Chen Dali's security bureau doesn't even need to catch criminals or go out to find any clues of criminals. The whole service for Su Mo will become, after all, a security bureau of hundreds of people. Really can't catch Su Mo alone. Go go go. Hurry up and carry things down. Don't be angry with me. Without good humor, he angrily rebuked. Chen Dali led a few people to turn a direction and walk towards the other side of the reservoir. The more they walked, the more the captain of the Cultural Relics Bureau lost his mind. And without being told, he pulled Chen Dali to a stop. Captain Chen, say what you will. What is this Su Mo? Is it possible that he is someone from your security bureau? How come so many people along the way know this guy? Is there something we're not clear about? He was really dumbfounded. What did it mean that wool gathering had made the sheriff's bureau cry? The fact that someone was able to fulfill the bounty means that someone helped catch the criminal. Ah, shouldn't that be a good thing? And, those people who just went over, the box carried in their hands, although they did not open, but how to look like a box containing weapons and ammunition ah, so many people in the mountains, what exactly are they getting? Oh, Su Mo is what people, you a moment to the reservoir will understand, but, sort of I advise you ah, now apply with the leadership above to apply for application, it is best not to get what to go back to the identification of the matter, the artifacts if it is true, the scene on the bonuses sent forget it, but do not take each other back to the Bureau of Cultural Heritage. The otherwise, you just guess. Such a big piece of mountain forest inside. How many cultural relics can be buried? Chen Dali smiled back. The people again on the road. Vaguely can already see the fire next to the reservoir. It should be the place where Su Mo landed with the fat photographer. Su Mo, walking to the edge of the reservoir. Chen Dali shouted. Hey, coming. Su Mo, who was holding the bronze sword in his hand and picking the mud from the soles of his shoes was busy turning back, lifting the bronze sword to welcome him. Seeing that Captain Chen's face wasn't very good, he opened his mouth to explain while resting a long way away. That what? Captain Chen, you have to believe what I said. I really catch eels in the water to come. Did not think I can fish up cultural relics. And then again, this belongs to the Cultural Relics Bureau. Is the people notified you? Really has nothing to do with me. By the way, the Bureau of Cultural Relics came? You are it? Hello hello? Come on. Give these artifacts valuation. Donate to you can take how much bounty. Money to give. We do not delay. A moment still have to go on the road. But, I tell you ah. The edge of the reservoir inside the mud. There should still be some cultural relics have not been dug out. Take time out of your time. You send people to see. 
Cultural Relics Bureau of several people did not reply, are with a kind of dumbfounded expression, staring not far away, set on the fire a small bronze tripod, crap, what do you want to do, this is a bronze tripod ah, you set up on the fire as a pot, aren't you afraid of poisoning, the captain showed his teeth and ran over, stretching out his hands to hold the bronze tripod down, but felt a little hot, could not help but stand in place, while stomping his feet, while whispering angrily, this is a cultural relic, do you understand cultural relics, not you, Song Tian Na, you use this bronze tripod to cook eels, I, it was him, looking at the scene in front of him, also did not know what to say about the discovery of cultural relics these two people, can't it be baked and eaten, roasted eel how fragrant ah, what do the two people think ah, how can you use the bronze tripod to cook eel, moreover, how thick is the bronze tripod, how can it be boiled, don't get excited, don't get excited, it's not just a bronze tripod from the Qin dynasty, it's not very valuable, there are several more over there, by the way, this wine cup was pounded with garlic by me, it shouldn't be anything, right, after seeing the other person alone, pulling out a bronze wine bottle from underneath the bronze tripod, which seems to still have undried garlic paste, the whole person nearly fell to the ground, pointing at Suemo for half a day, he couldn't say a word, captain, the artifacts are all real, yes, at this time, several staff members responsible for identifying the artifacts, holding flashlights with magnifying glasses in their hands, turned around and shouted, how many pieces are real, all are real, a total of, 37 pieces, the captain of the cultural relics bureau, question mark, 37 pieces all true, it's not right, it wasn't this many when they called then, was it, in the time it took to eat a meal, these two people pulled out a few more pieces, when did real artifacts become so common, when did real artifacts become so common, if you just find a reservoir and pull out a few, you can pull out so many, ha 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 ha, see if I'm right, I told you that the antiquities bureau would be dumbfounded when they came, right, dumbfounded, all true, during the daytime, I looked at Sue digging out these things are not quite right, do not look like a fake, hiss, if there are so many artifacts along the shore, you guys say, this place in the reservoir, could it be a cemetery, I've heard that the entire underground of Chengdu, any place, could be a tomb, which is so exaggerated, upstairs buddy said this, when I was a child I believe, until one day my father lied to me that our family land has cultural relics, good guy, old man stepped horse foot turned over three days off, the three acres of land all turned over, not to mention the cultural relics, I even a dime did not find, eyes wide open, watched the old couple scattered pod seeds in the back, since then I understand, where there are so many artifacts, real miserable, forgive me for not having a thick smile, have a say ah, Sue can be an average person, although find a place, can dig out so many weapons and ammunition, and in this reservoir next to even the body can be found, I think, if there is an ancient tomb underneath, it seems that there is nothing wrong with it, old me just wants to know, how much can I claim, didn't Sue say just now that these artifacts don't seem to be worth much, the fans in the live broadcast room couldn't help but laugh as they watched the cultural relics bureau captain's exasperated appearance, it could be seen from here, the cultural relics bureau didn't seem to pay much attention to the recent events in Chindu, otherwise, hearing the name Sue M.O., they should be able to think of what the outcome would be, for the prize money, the artifacts need to be brought back to the Cultural Relics Bureau and then evaluated before they can be released to you. The captain of the Cultural Relics Bureau took a deep breath and said according to the standard procedure. Just, the words were just finished, only to see this youth in front of him, ruthlessly sticking the bronze sword on the ground with a meaningful glance at him, without saying a word, took off his shirt. Puff, a fierce plunge into the reservoir. Not, the captain of the Cultural Relics Bureau was confused, looking at the dark water. Then looking at the rather calm Chen Dali next to him, for a long time he could not come back to his senses. Are we reporting it to the security bureau? Someone jumped into the water and killed himself. Someone said weakly. Immediately, they realized again that something was wrong. Hadn't they followed the people from the security bureau here? But the problem was, people were pissed off by the captain and jumped into the water. Ah, how come a few vigilantes seemed like nothing was wrong and weren't anxious at all? See, I wrote how to say it. I said let you apply to the leadership above to apply for application. Nimbus to reward issued. And then nothing happened. Now well. Chen vigorously squinted at the people of the Cultural Relics Bureau. No good advice. Now hurry up and call it. Do not have to mention the bounty thing. I estimate that. Suemo this guy is listening to the mountain again. The heart collapsed. It is not easy to go down once. Take so little bounty. It is not cost effective. Wait. A moment is estimated to have a big guy up. In an instant. Chen Dali incarnated as an old celestial master, 
and even pinched a few times in his hand in a decent manner, looked at the staff of the cultural relics department in a daze. However, there is a sentence to hear. People are not at all what jumping into the water to kill themselves is going down to the whole cultural relics to go. No, what kind of person is this guy? Come someone, give the captain of our cultural relics bureau a good talk. What is this guy Su M.O.? Then, a vigilante who took out his cell phone came up and narrated in front of the crowd with his eyebrows raised. Hey, where is that fat guy just now? At this time, someone exclaimed, turned his head in the side to look for. Obviously that will also squat on the ground to show off eels. How this will even people cannot be seen. Really damned professional. Chen Dali took out his cell phone and looked at the live screen inside underwater, and couldn't help but curse. It was too outrageous. Where did the program group of hiking around the world find the two immortals? Su Mo can do the whole job alone. Even if it's not enough, the cameraman who is with him, who doesn't show his face on weekdays, can be so fierce at the critical moment? Reservoir Ah, in order to get the live picture out, so desperate? Without saying a word, carrying the camera jumped? A few minutes later, after listening to the story of the security bureau team members, and confirming the diagnosis on the hot search himself, the captain of the Cultural Heritage Bureau jumped up with excitement as a whole. Gods and immortals. Not only can he catch criminals, he can also dig up bums. With the degree of the sumo contestant's work, the reservoir, we must notify the leaders immediately. Yes, sir, notify them immediately. The security bureau was afraid of being wool gathered, but the cultural relics bureau is not. They are not afraid that the artifacts you donate are too valuable, but they are afraid that you won't be able to find the artifacts. Valuable cultural relics. The Qingdu Museum inside is not no. The highest reward is only 1 million only, and that has to be national treasures of cultural relics. In this a small reservoir, can be found in the first level of protection of cultural relics are not good. How can there be national treasures of cultural relics? Think here. The captain of the Cultural Relics Bureau did not dare to stay, took out the phone to the side, and urgently began to contact the person in charge of the above. Inside the broadcasting hall, everyone held their breath staring intently at the not-too-clear live broadcast screen in front of them, and could only vaguely see Sumo's silhouette. At this time, it seems to be sinking without stopping. It is the people present, also did not expect. This reservoir in the mountain, actually have more than 10 meters deep. And, there is really everything underneath. Even abandoned cars are there. How to drive up ah? Uh? However, looking at Sumo's non-stop swimming movements, the artifacts didn't seem to be under the water. What exactly this guy was going to do? Everyone couldn't guess. There can't really be an ancient tomb, right? Or is it under the reservoir? Teacher Nangong had studied humanities, history and culture for his whole life, but he had rarely heard that ancient people would build their graves in water. And, it was a vast project to build a cemetery underwater. Ordinary small families would not do this at all, nor did they have the strength to do so. Mr. Nangong, you mean there are tombs? It's over 10 meters deep ah, uh, during the daytime, you can't see under the water either. Someone raised a question. Those present, their knowledge of ancient tombs was limited to television programs. Therefore, everyone coincidentally turned their heads and looked at Mr. Nangong. This, you need to ask Su Mo. I think you should be clear that when ancient people are buried, they are very concerned about feng shui. Therefore, the graves in many places are not detected by machines, but, deduced through the study of feng shui, Su Mo was able to discover the cemetery. I'm very skeptical ah. Did this guy once study feng shui? Right. What did he study in college? I'll check. On the spot, someone opened the database and pulled out Sumo's basic information. Looking at the words on the major column, they were a little taken back for a moment. What specialty ah? The director prodded. Aviation service major. What? Everyone grew their mouths and exclaimed in shock. Aviation service major? Wasn't this just flight attendant? Isn't it? Now that the air service major even has to study feng shui? It is estimated that it is likely that Sumo's weekdays like to study feng shui aspects. But, you guys seem to have overlooked a key. Sumo this pair of house side can not only be only him ah. There is also this fat photographer Chen Yanhong. This guy is also very powerful. The courage is really big. So deep reservoir, without any diving equipment. Holding the camera jumped down. Hired someone from where? It's really awesome. Don't look at the two people going last. I am now more and more optimistic about Sumo's combination. As the survival master finished speaking, the crowd then realized that the water, hey, you guys, look, suddenly, someone stood up violently, pointed at the blurry picture, and screamed, everyone looked up, unexpectedly, they squinted their eyes, trying to make their vision clearer, hiss, teacher Nangong sucked in a breath of cool air, rubbing his eyes vigorously, 
and involuntarily stepped out from behind the table, taking a step in front of the large fluorescent screen, tilting his head to look at a blurry object inside. The whole person was so excited that his whole body trembled. Big, big news. Fast, immediately notify the cultural relics department. Not, where is the car of our program group? Quickly, we also have to hurry to the reservoir. Otherwise, it's too late, if I'm not mistaken. This, chair set on the mud wall with a black body and nine dragon heads should be a dragon chair. That's right, Shin Jiozhou. The map of the nine states is engraved on it. Quick ah, send a car to rush to the reservoir. Heavenly discovery ah. A few moments later, the entire broadcasting hall was thrown into a big mess, completely exploded. The director of the Museum of Cultural Relics Bureau, staring blankly at the picture in the cell phone, just short of disliking the cell phone directly inside the eyeballs. Really, actually is true. Does not make sense ah. Never heard of it. This thing back then followed who accompanied the burial. Hiss. Come people. Come people. Immediately, several staff members rushed in. Curator Zhang Xingchang panted heavily, wiping the sweat that oozed from his forehead due to his excitement, forcing himself to calm down, rushing a few people to command, immediately notify the relevant departments, immediately blockade around the reservoir, at the same time notify the staff of the cultural relics department, within half an hour, immediately rushed to the collection of cultural relics bureau, in is, notify to go to Kyoto for a meeting of a few experts, overnight to book a plane ticket to fly back, come back, immediately rushed to the direction of the reservoir. If this thing is true, it is definitely a national treasure level cultural relics, the value is incalculable. Below the reservoir, there is a high probability that there is a large tomb. This is a discovery that shocked the world. Quick, all move to me. No wonder Zhang Xingchang was not excited. The entire Dragon Country excavation of cultural relics so far, in addition to those artifacts that have been dispersed overseas, the real control of their own hands of national treasures level cultural relics, only 64 pieces only, many of which are tightly preserved and will not be open for exhibition. If the dragon chair is true, it is really the dragon chair that the Qin Emperor sat on back then. That is definitely a national treasure level cultural relics undoubtedly. What kind of person is the Qin Emperor? The first person to start the country. It is this person who unified the six countries, pacified the nine states, and collected the power. Although the Qin dynasty was not in power for a long time, but it can be said that the development of the later generations has laid a long-term impact. Unification of weights and measures. Cars with the same track. Books with the same text. This one piece. Until now. Thousands of years later. Mankind is still in use. Such a dragon chair is enough to shock the dragon kingdom and shock the entire world. However, Zhang Xingchang is now more interested in nothing more than the picture of this person who found the cultural relics. See what the pop-ups in the live broadcast said. If it is not the captain of the Cultural Relics Bureau of the Stimulus, the other party will not be angry. Jumped into the reservoir. Not to mention more than a dozen meters deep mud wall. Difficult to drag and pull up the dragon chair. As for whether there was really a cemetery underneath, he felt that there should be. By the fact that the other party was able to find so many artifacts so easily, it would not be difficult to guess. However, just whose tomb was it? I'm afraid that the entire reservoir would need to be drained completely to find out. Very quickly. Within half an hour, the entire main arterial road of Qin Du was filled with vehicles from various departments traveling at a rapid pace, and even some trucks were pulling large pumping equipment. The crowd along the way, seeing such a scene, are frozen in place, not understanding exactly what had happened. Why could make so many departments come out together, and the direction to rush to seem to be the outskirts of Qin capital? What's going on? What's the big deal? Why do I see that even the people from the Cultural Relics Bureau have come? the security bureau, the fire department, and even the water conservancy department have gone, crazy, what's going on here, I don't know, however, so many departments together, tomorrow's news will certainly report it, hiss, how many years we Qin do did not have any big news, this time is to be against the sky ah, you see the back of the group of reporters car, good guy, we Qin do have so many reporters, look at following behind are dozens of cars, as the departments concerned that rush there became more and more, one after another, and the speed are extremely fast, both sides of the street, also gradually stood full of people, with odd expressions, they watched the scene, there were speculations as to what heavenly event had happened that could make so many departments come out together, to know, many departments were responsible for areas that were not even close to each other, crap, so it's Sue's live broadcast, I told you who could be so awesome, so it's Sue M.O., suddenly, a scream came from the crowd, and immediately afterward, it started to become tumultuous. Many people fought to squeeze through. 
Wanting to ask each other what this person's name that was shouted was actually? It's hard to. So many departments were out tonight because of this person? How is it possible? In the middle of the crowd, a young man with a flushed face, trembling, raised his cell phone up and shouted at everyone. I didn't expect it. Just casually clicked in to take a look. I didn't expect it. It's really because of Brother Sue. You guys can take a look on the hot search. It's the one who's very famous in our Chindu in the past few days. The contestant who took part in that walking the globe. Sue M.O. After he finished speaking, many people present took out their cell phones and looked down to check the hot search list. Without looking, they didn't know. One look was a shock. People who usually didn't pay attention to network news would look at the names of the people on the hot search list with amazement on their faces. Good guy. Just a few short. This guy will be the entire hot search list to round off. Even that brother Fong, who was not moving to open a concert, didn't even make it into the top 10 ah. I remember. That night my husband also said it, their fishing circle out of a godman. In the artificial lake to the alligator finch eel fishing up. People enough to reward $5,000. Did not think. Originally is this person ah. 5,000 count what? You take a good look at the hot search written. People in a few days. From the security bureau took more than 100. 000 yuan bounty. My god. This is a person? There are still people who can make money by arresting people? Hummer monkey. Isn't this the monkey that robbed my kid's candy cane the other day? So it's this Sue M.O. who did the people a favor and caught it. Good job. This person is not simple. Damn. He dug the bomb in the mountain? I said these days why so many cars to the suburbs. Feelings are people in the mountains dug out weapons? This. As more and more news broke out. The crowd on the street was completely silent. Everyone froze and looked at the lake of cell phones. Such an unbelievable battle. It was really something that one person could do. And it was still within a few days. It was too terrifying. Wasn't it? Especially this speed of earning money. The average day is a daily income of more than 10,000 ah. If you have this ability, why do you still participate in the program? Isn't it good to go and get rich? Then tonight. Seems to be the discovery of some cultural relics. This. 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 Isn't this a dragon chair? When a behemoth was pulled up from the reservoir, the people who gathered together went completely crazy. What? Catching criminals, fishing, and digging up bombs again, and now even the dragon chair has been dug up? Stop it. Hurry up. What are you waiting for? Go home and fetch a shovel. Where is this mountain? I'm going to try digging too. Yes. Let's go and have a look. Dragon chair. I've never seen a real dragon chair in my life. Let's go. At that time, there were quite a few people who really returned home, brought their tools, and traveled to the nameless mountain forest in the suburbs. There was just one thought in everyone's mind. Since that Sue M.O. was able to find so many things in the mountains within a few days, they were just as unlucky as they were. They could always follow and have a bite of soup. One time, at the foot of the mountain outside the suburb, there was a sea of people and a bustling crowd, next to the reservoir. The first to arrive were the people from the hiking around the globe program, except for Mr. Nangong, who was interested in cultural relics, squatting next to the dragon chair, oblivious to observing. The others were standing together, sizing up the contestant in front of them, Su M.O., with eyes that looked at aliens, especially the program director. At this time, looking at Su M.O., in his heart, he didn't know how to spit out 10,000 slots. Tonight's incident, it could be said to have poked a hole in the sky. Dragon chair ah, even if you saved the galaxy in your previous life, you can't be lucky to this extent in this life, right? Not to mention Chindu, when tomorrow's news is sent out. I'm afraid that the entire cultural relics sector of the Dragon Kingdom will be shaken. Even foreign collectors will not be left out. National treasure level cultural relics ah, how many pieces in the whole Dragon Country? The value of each piece can really be described by the value of the city. And Suemo found this one is a little different. What is a dragon chair? In ancient times, this thing symbolizes the highest power. Under the sky, just one person can sit, implying the status of 10,000 people ah. How could this guy dig it out? Moreover, they have been paying attention to the anchor screen. Therefore, everyone understands in their hearts that if it wasn't for the stimulation of that captain of the Cultural Relics Bureau, it seems that Sue M.O., this guy doesn't intend to bring up this dragon chair under the reservoir. Crap. What are all looking at me like that for? Facing the crowd looking at the monkey's gaze, even if Sumo's mental capacity was strong enough, this would be a bit overwhelming. Busy pulling fatty over, muttered in a low voice. Look at this situation. The leaders of the program group on the two of us have a lot of opinions ah. A moment when the Bureau of Cultural Relics came. Let's hurry to ask. How much this thing can be the prize money? Take the money and hurry to go. Do you hear me? Equipment and so on. Temporarily do not. Fatty nodded heavily. Took a look at the director and others. 
his heart recognized Sumo's premonition. Can it not be opinionated? After leaving this for a few days, it was that other people's contestant who had been starving for a few days that had climbed outside the boundaries of Chindu. Today several thousand contestants, really only the two of them remained in Chindu and didn't walk out. Tonight, looking at this formation, it's probably hard enough to walk again. If they didn't do well, they would have to be dragged back to the city of Chindu. You are Su Mo, right? Nice to meet you. I'm the director of the program. Just address me as Director Sun. Hello? Hello? Su Mo was busy extending his hand and shook the other party's hand, then awkwardly stood in place. After a long time, only then did Director Sun couldn't help but ask, with the bounty taken this time, you guys should be able to catch up properly, right? Of course, the program group will not interfere with the way you compete, but, I think it, the money you two earn, really, is already enough for you to go the whole way, not to mention walking, you two are just crawling around the world, it's also enough for the two of you to splurge, that's right, director son used the word squander, looking at Mr. Nangon's disoriented appearance, it wasn't hard to guess that the dragon chair should be real, what does this mean, on the way here, director son really inquired about the cultural relics bureau's rewards for donating cultural relics, although it does not stipulate how much the rewards for donating national treasures are, but for other cultural relics, the highest reward can be up to 1 million, that is to say, in front of this two guys, immediately will have a million hiking fund, on this amount of money, not to mention a week around the world, is to walk around the world, save a little also enough to use, and, definitely live a flavorful life, there is no need for any camping, no need to save on food, all of them, even if the conditions allowed it, two people could hire a person who specialized in cooking, and then rent a serving person, which wasn't impossible, at the thought of this, director son's entire body was in a trance, and his heart was already pondering how he could suppress the matter of Sumo's $1 million prize and not let the other contestants know, otherwise, the remaining ones really couldn't see any hope at all, the others were still worrying about a steamed bun for tomorrow, people already have $1 million, how can we compete, compare it with their lives, yes yes yes, director you're right, starting tomorrow, the two of us will definitely catch up with the progress, don't worry, Su Mo nodded honestly, according to the system's tips, he was just aware that there were indeed cultural relics under the reservoir, but he was not clear that the value of the relics was so high, the minimum could give a bonus of 1 million dollars, this was a million dollars, from today onwards, he and Fatty, as long as they were passing through the city, no longer need to consider living in an express hotel, the start is Hilton, anyway, it couldn't be spent, not at all, hopefully, what you said is true, but, I am now representing the program team to solemnly thank you. Suddenly, the director's son in front of him had a sharp change in attitude and actually bowed at Suemo in front of everyone. Uh, no, no, it should be. And, honestly, I really don't know what's underneath. If it's not that guy stimulating me, I'm not even willing to jump in and take it. Suemo awkwardly waved his hand and kept backing away. No, this is what you should do. Director son solemnly said, to be honest, Initially the program group budgeted around $90 million for publicity. Up to now, with your own strength, you have monopolized many names on the hot search list, and saved a lot of money for the program group Ah, uh, preliminary estimation. The publicity in the dragon country can be stopped, and after arriving in the foreign country, just take out $30 million for publicity. Su Mo, question mark. After hearing this, the whole person was bad. What? Saving the program group a full $60 million through himself? Crap. Could this be said without sending himself some money to support it? Where's the dragon chair? Where is the dragon chair? At this time, a group of people from the Cultural Relics Bureau hurriedly ran over, swarming to the front of the dragon chair, carefully surveying the dragon chair in front of them with a gaze that was more careful than looking at their own daughter-in-law, and that captain of the Cultural Relics Bureau, with his face full of smiles, carefully followed beside the several leaders. Curator, fortunately today it is me who came off, if it is not me. This dragon chair do not know when to pull up, really, it's fortunate that I stimulated stimulated Su Mo player, otherwise, he wouldn't have jumped into the reservoir in a fit of rage, so that he could finally find this dragon chair, I'm not taking credit, the truth is, moreover, according to my observation, there are probably quite a lot of cultural relics under the reservoir, this time our cultural relics bureau really showed its face, I am happy at this time from the bottom of my heart, Zhang Xingchang turned back with an odd expression to look at this guy, rushed to the side of a person waved, I said you remember, after going back, hurry up and step on the horse and transfer this person to the logistics department for me, speed, also thanks to you to stimulate Su Mo, that's good, I also stimulate you, 
Go go go. You also jump inside the reservoir. If you can pull up a cultural relic. In the future. I'll let you do this curator. Crap. Not bragging ah. I really kneel in front of the screen cut out three times. Su God is too awesome. Dragon chair can dig up. Waiting for tomorrow morning. The internet will still blow up. A million dollars in bonuses ah. My horse only 3000 a month. Do not eat or drink I have to do how many years? The gap between people is also too big. Really regret. Why I do not follow to apply for the photographer ah. Fat people can do. I can also do. This time the other contestants of the program are estimated to be desperate. Right? There is no way to compare. Not necessarily. The roadmap for trekking around the world. I looked at it. There are a total of three routes. One is over Mount Everest. One is across the sea. The last one is to walk the deadly desert. No matter which one. Once out of the Dragon Kingdom. The money is really not very useful. You must have enough wildlife survival skills to be able to do it. To put it bluntly. If it is in the sea. Money you also can't buy anything ah. Indeed. The route I also looked at. One of the routes that passes through the most cities should be over Mount Everest. But that is Mount Everest. Can it be over? There are quite a few explorers who die on Everest every year. If I look at it. You guys are just worrying blindly. If I'm Sue. When I get out of the dragon country I'll withdraw from the competition. With this one million dollars. I don't know how nourishing I'll live in the future. There's no need to take part in the competition again ah. The fans in the live broadcast room fell into a heated discussion. On the one hand. There were quite a few people who thought that now that Sue Mo was in the money, he had already taken the absolute initiative, and all that was left should be to properly choose a route that suited him, and then walk through the tournament. After all, a million dollars is nothing compared to a billion dollars, and there are many people think, Sue Mo has this ability to make money, there is no need to participate in the program adventure, whether it is over Mount Everest, across the sea, or walk across the deadly desert, a little bit of carelessness, it is likely to meet the life-threatening, the loss is not worth the gain. Not as good as out of the dragon kingdom directly after the withdrawal. And then take a million. And then use the old way of making money does not smell good? The mother-in-law said that the public is reasonable. Even a lot of public fans, a time also numb, do not know how Su Mo will choose in the future. But as far as the current situation is concerned, it looks like, at the very least, in the dragon country, Su Mo's life on foot with fatty should be quite nourishing. Beside the reservoir. What, the bonus will take a month to arrive? After hearing this news, Sumo's face pulled longer than a donkey's face. Zhang Xingchang was a little embarrassed and said, if it is other cultural relics, the bonus will generally be approved within 10 days. But, this one you found, to be honest, it is too shocking. It must be identified by the people who came from Kyotogwa before the bonus will enter the approval stage. I hope you can understand. Looking at the museum curator in front of him, the tone of the person's lowly tone, Suemo is the heart has more dissatisfaction, but there is no way to say it. Otherwise, really have to drag them back to the Chindu Cultural Relics Bureau to assist in the work again. It was not easy to climb up the mountain. What to say he is not willing to go down again. Otherwise, when can he really get out of Chindu ah? That's fine. The bank card. The security bureau's Captain Chen knows. At that time you guys ask him for it. Curator you can't lie to me ah. Really don't need us to follow back to assist in the investigation. Right? Don't notify us again tomorrow that we have to go down the mountain. This broken mountain I really have enough. Now I just want to hurry up and walk out from Chindu. Otherwise, I'm afraid that one day, Captain Chen will give me another beating. When the people next to him heard this, they couldn't help but smile wanly, especially Chen Dali. At this moment, looking at Su Mo's scared appearance, he coldly grunted and walked over. Reaching out, he heavily patted his shoulder and snickered. This point you can rest assured. Catching criminals which has to find cultural relics to make money. You see, you work hard to catch a criminal, but only 20, 000 bounty. A cultural relic is millions. That more money. Hard understand, right? And, to be honest, ah, I have been doing so many years of the security bureau captain. Really a little unconvinced. Come, this you see, said. Chindali pulled out a wanted notice from his pocket and shoved it into Sumo's hand. This is, lowered his head and took a look. Su Mo couldn't help but be deeply attracted by the 100, 000 dollars bounty hanging on it. He he, this is the wanted notice that we just received from the Nandu side at noon today. A fleeing drug dealer leader. Catching this person. There is a full 100, 000 yo. But it's a pity that the other party fled in a direction that doesn't seem to be Chindu. What? I'm just showing you. You're really planning to catch it? Seeing this kid, Su Mo, with a leaping expression on his face. Chen Dali was also annoyed. I was thinking of poking fun at this guy, but I didn't t expect. 
to really take it seriously? What do you want? Don't blame me for not warning you. How ferocious the drug dealers are. You have a little number in your heart. Moreover, when this person escapes, he is not a person around him. It is likely to be a group of people. You quickly die. Hey, I'm just taking a look. I can really go catch these people. Suemo scratched his head and started packing his traveling bag on the side, since the bonus would only be issued a month later. It wasn't like they had to follow them back to the Cultural Relics Bureau. Looking at the meaning of the Cultural Relics Bureau, it seems that starting tomorrow, it intends to drain the entire reservoir and then take a good look to see if there is really a cemetery underneath. These had nothing to do with themselves either. A few minutes later, then we're leaving ah, really don't need to go back to assist in the investigation right? No need, just go. The crowd smiled and waved their hands, watching the two people walk into the dark mountain forest. After a long time, Chen Dali took a long breath and said with some emotion, when this guy didn't leave, I was looking forward to a day and night, looking forward to hurry up and get out of Chindu, but now that he's gone, this heart of mine is still empty. However, Sun Director Ah, this Su Mo contestant of yours, when the program is over, he can't take part in any more programs, he must come to report to our public security bureau to be able to do so. The leaders above can have sent out words. The supernumerary position has always been reserved for him at. Didn't you say it just now? Come to our cultural relics bureau. Bullshit. It is clearly our demolition department. Okay? Nonsense. Just now this guy Su Mo promised us the fire department. The program team looked at a group of. Various departments competing for the captain. Coincidentally shook their heads helplessly. Damn it. The program had only just begun. This guy Su Mo had snatched up such a good deal. They had to work hard too. Today's Su Mo, that was alone occupying so many hot searches. If the heat doesn't go down, it would be a shame if he didn't enter their program film and television company as a star in the future. Hey, where is my wanted notice just now? This guy Su Mo really took it away? Suddenly, Chen Dali touched on his body and couldn't help but exclaim in shock. Early morning the following day, Thousand Degrees Company headquarters, the technical department went to work and refreshed the hot search list. A group of people looked at the refreshed list for a long time. What the hell? There's a bug, right? How come all the names are of one person? From the penultimate to the first place, they were all one person? Slaughtered the list? How is that possible? Who pinched me? Am I blind? It can't be. I remember our company's core technology. It shouldn't let the list slaughtering happen, right? Yes, the company has been established for so many years. Just to beware of others saying that we can buy hot searches. So the core technology is fixed. It's impossible for the situation of list slaughtering to exist. Just for this one. I don't know how many people have been offended. Then what's the situation? How come the names of Su Mo and Hiking Global are all up there? A group of people were dumbfounded. After being in the job for such a long time, the people who had seen the most were only occupying a few entries on the hot search list. How is it that in one night's work, what did this Su Mo do? Directly stepped on the horse and slaughtered the list, even breaking through the core technology they set? Discovered aliens? No. Cripes, it's not this guy Su Mo who slaughtered the list. You guys take a quick look. The accounts posted on these hot searches. Damn it, all of them are official accounts. Ah, uh, ha, when everyone heard this, they were busy squinting their eyes and clicking on each hot search. After looking at them, several technicians were skeptical as hell. People really weren't a system bug, because, the hot searches were all released by official certified accounts. There was no possibility of fudging them. This meant that so many official accounts, together, we're pulling popularity and sucking in traffic for this person named Su Mo? Ah, hiss, this must be reported to the boss immediately. Subsequently, several people took the materials and walked out of the server room. Not long after, the entire Thousand Degrees company exploded. Oh my god, isn't this the guy who hit the hot search a few days ago? I so want to have seen this guy's live stream. How did he butcher the list overnight? And still, so many official accounts released the news. This has never happened before, right? Hey. I've heard that this Su Mo just turned 20 this year, making money and so powerful, growing like a little puppy. No, I feel like I'm going to fall. I really want to give you a bubble of urine to wake up. You take a good look at it. Last night this Su Mo found a national treasure of cultural relics. No wonder it. The prize money is 1 million ah. Gosh, a million ah. This is enough for my mother to buy a number of packages. If my boyfriend is so powerful, I immediately go to learn that what a one horse. Hey, honestly ah. You guys really is not a bug? Too heavenly. This is estimated that those stars are crying to death. I heard. Some starlets in order to be on the hot search. All right want to about our boss. On this are not up. This Su Mo is really powerful ah. Not to arrest people is to dig the bomb. 
and even national treasures of cultural relics have been dug out. If it is not the hole in the live broadcast, what I do not believe that there are men can be so good to such a point. If it can come to a friendly, for several whole hours, the employees of Thousand Degrees Company had been discussing the name Sue M.O., and it wasn't just their company. All the movie and TV companies that had stars under their banner that were being hot searched were the ones that were really hardest hit. Was it easy for them to be on a hot search? Overnight. Not to mention that they couldn't keep their original position. Even the last place in the hot search was gone. It was butchered by a contestant from a reality TV show, Star Media. Inside the conference room, a needle could be heard. All the company executives were gloomy at this time, looking at the hot search list on the big screen not far away, and trying to think of a remedy in their minds. Let me say this, the executive president at the forefront, reached out and knocked on the table, frowning. I just got off the phone with the person in charge of thousand degrees, not only on the hot search list, but the 21st to 30th in the back. It's still this Sue M.O. I'm now focusing on warning you that the stars in your respective hands, during this recent period of time, all be quiet and try not to go to Miso Sumo's hot searches. The seriousness of the problem, all of you are mixed in this circle. You should know very well in your hearts, the official release, what it means. However, we can use the name of our media company to get in touch with the program group of Hike Around the World to see if we can let our star contestants also participate in this program. Using this way to attract attention, there won't be any trouble. And if the price is right, let them open it at will. As the executive president finished speaking, the people below couldn't help but brighten up. Right. Sumo's hot searches were all officially sent out. No one had the guts to rub each other's heat. But the program group was different. Nowadays even the program group, Hiking the Globe, was also brought up by Sumo's heat. The heat of discussion on the internet could simply be described as terrifying. Moreover, this was a live broadcast that was only in the Dragon Kingdom and not open to the international market. If one of their stars joined in, wouldn't they be able to take off even if they were lying down? The crowd had carefully studied Su M.O. as a contestant, and even after they had finished watching, they could only say bull. This luck of his was really not comparable to that of ordinary people. The president is right. If our stars can also join, and then with Su M.O. can spread out a little gossip, with Su M.O.'s horrible popularity, can completely squeeze into the ranks of the first-line stars. Does Mr. Lee mean female stars? Hiking program ah, uh, let the female star in. I'm afraid to be scolded. I think it's better to be a male star. Besides, the two men can be rumored. Is not more explosive? Wipe. Chen total this approach is a bit interesting ah. Uh. Find a small student with Su M.O. rumors. I think there is a mess. Just right. I have a hand just returned from the kimchi country. The whole of the pro mother do not know. Weak that way. Wearing women's clothes with women is simply the same. Why not go down to contact the Walking the Globe program group how to do it? Take advantage of the fact that Su M.O. hasn't gotten out of Chindu yet. And plant our contestants in. The crowd combined their efforts and immediately finalized the approach. In the opinion of media practitioners, utilizing a tactic like gossip to fire up a star was definitely the quickest way. Although the Su M.O. had so many official messages sent out, as long as the program group was willing, there were always more ways than difficulties. Even if the whole can't be scandalized, it can rub off on the heat of this wave of the program. After all, Su M.O., this contestant, the whole job is really too powerful. Along with all the contestants, as long as they can perform a little bit brighter, they can definitely fire up the whole network. This point, there was no doubt about it. Subsequently, Star Media's public relations department immediately contacted the Sun director of the program group of Hiking Around the World and agreed on a time to personally buy a shareholder with a few of its stars, rushed to Chindu to visit the program group. On the other side, Su M.O., who had walked for the whole night, was sleeping in a cave. At this moment, they were sleeping in a cave. Don't move. Suddenly, a dark muzzle was pressed against the fat man's head, and a strong man with dark skin, while roaring low, pushed the sleeping fat man in front of him. Don't move. Asleep. What are you doing? Fatty eyelids did not open, raised his leg and kicked the other side, rolled over and went back to sleep. This strong man who pushed him, looked back at his companion. The whole person was confused. Sap. A hard slap was given. The fat man instantly winced and sat up violently. Looking at the five or six strong men surrounding the cave entrance, and then look at the blackened muzzle of the gun in the hands of others, blinked in embarrassment, and silently pushed Su M.O. next to him. Brother, brother, came brother, looking for you. Su M.O. frowned and sat up, rubbing his eyes rattled. Must be dreaming, not awake, muttered a sentence, smoothly lay down again. Get up. A roar completely shook the two awake. A few minutes later. Su M.O. and Fatty held their heads in their hands and squatted in the corner of the cave entrance, 
looking blearily at the few people in front of them. Their clothes were covered in dirt, their heads were disheveled, their faces were bearded, and they looked like they had been drilling into the mountain for several days. Nan, there is nothing else, it is some wild survival tools, and there is not much to eat, but, there is money, and there are tens of thousands in the bag. At this time, one of the people rummaging through the luggage, turned back and rushed to a middle-aged man sitting at the mouth of the cave and said, the other party nodded slightly and silently aimed the gun at Suemo. What are you guys doing? Big brother. Wilderness survival. Out to play it. Suemo answered honestly. At the same time looked up at the other party and hurriedly lowered his head again. Name, Yunnan. Gender, male. Active in the Nandu generation of drug lord small leader. Ruthless. Killing two narcotics officers are wanted. Capture and send to the security bureau. Can get a reward of 300? 000 yuan hole. Gulp. Suemo swallowed his saliva and silently clutched the wanted notice in his pocket. If not wrong, this person inside the wanted notice was the Yunnan in front of him. However, didn't Chen Dali say yesterday that these guys didn't escape to Chengdu? How is it that in one night's work, they really let themselves run into them? After signing in last night, increasing his power a little bit, and his fortune was once again a small G, Suemo didn't take it seriously, found a place, and slept with Fatty, woke up and stumbled upon this group of people the ruthless drug lord leader, trouble, wilderness survival, it's just donkeys, Suemo returned with a nervous expression, big brother, can you take the gun away first, I just woke up and I kind of want to pee, really, at the same time, without moving, he touched the fat man with his leg and winked at the small camera behind him, signaled the other party to hurry up and find a way to put it away, otherwise, by this Yunnan found out that they were actually broadcasting live, this is not a lantern in the toilet, looking for death themselves? Ah Fatty understood, carefully moved back a small step, and stuffed the small camera into his butt pocket. Fortunately, the program group prepared a miniature camera. Otherwise, if it was once the old and bulky kind, this would be two people are afraid to have a heart on. Donkeys? Yunnan muttered in a low voice, turned back and beckoned a henchman over. He whispered a few instructions. He himself got up and walked inside the cave, sitting in front of the food belonging to Sumo's two men and gorged himself. You two come with me. The henchman pointed his gun at the two of them, pushed the safety, and said expressionlessly, Big brother, if you want money you take it away, if you want something to take it away it's okay, we are just ordinary donkey friends, we will definitely not talk nonsense, don't be like this, we are all out to make a living, there's really no need to be like this, really, Suemo saw this and his heart thumped, this is the intention to pull the two of them into the woods to solve it, even hurriedly yelled at the top of his voice, at the same time, Although the screen could not be seen in the live broadcast room, the sound could be transmitted very clearly, one by one. When they heard Sumo's cry for help, they all froze, combined with the picture they had just seen. It was already not difficult to guess what kind of people the group of people they met were. It can't be, in the deep mountains and old forests, where did the criminals come from, and there is a gun in his hand. This, Su what luck ah, this kind of people can meet. Don't say it, hurry to notify the security bureau, but the camera can't be seen. Completely don't know where Sue brother two people are now. How to find? I told you. Often walk by the river, which have not wet shoes. Now see. There is always Sue M.O. cannot solve the criminals. Now it is difficult. Hurry to set the seat. Late it is too late. Do you guys still remember the wanted notice that Sue M.O. took away yesterday? It can't be these people. Right? The drug lord mini leaders? If it's true, then it's really dangerous. This group of people kill without blinking an eye. Can we grab a gun? Can snatch one over? Maybe there's still an escape like, don't ever follow to the woods, the other side is planning to silence them, listening to the voices in the live broadcast room, everyone's heart was anxious, many people immediately took out their cell phones and dialed the emergency contact number of the security bureau, and reported the matter in the live broadcast room to the security bureau urgently, at the same time, Suemo and the two of them had already been pushed and shoved by a drug dealer and walked into the dense woods, the other party did not say a word from start to finish, behind them, he kept pushing the two with the muzzle of his gun. Big brother, you're from Nandu? My great aunt's husband is from Nandu. Maybe they know each other. You show mercy, and you can meet each other in the future really. But no matter how Suemo said, the other party is not moved. Until after walking into the woods, crouch down, hands on your head. Behind him came a hoarse voice. Suemo pursed his lips, gritted his teeth and pulled the fat man to crouch down on the ground, hands holding his head. Listen to my voice. Nowadays. It's too late if you don't fight for your life. The other party is clearly going to kill and exterminate. It's really unconscionable. I didn't do anything. He slept for a while. 
then came up to rob the money and food. So what? Even their lives are not spared. No wonder drug dealers, once caught, have to be shot at the least. If they're so vicious, it's not right to shoot them. What's more, that Yunnan also killed two narcotics officers, even more deserved to die. Rushing the fat man whispered a command. Sumo's entire body muscles were taut and his fists were clenched together. There is only one chance. Who? 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 Rough gasping sounds, unceasing, click, just at this moment. A subtle metallic sound came from beside his ears. Sumo's eyes widened as he fiercely kicked Fatty while lunging to the side. Fatty, the moment he landed, yelling at Fatty, Suemo rolled and jumped up. At this time, the strength enhanced by signing in for a few days came into play. Pying, swinging his fist, he vigorously smashed the other party's raised arm aside. Hyper, deafening gunshots exploded in the ears. The bodies of everyone in the live broadcast room shook, full of disbelief, their eyes staring at the dimly lit screen in death. The gun went off. Su, Suemo is dead? The entire live broadcast room was silent. Then, the crowd listened carefully, and no more sound came out. Everyone was confused. Walk around the world program building, inside director's son's office. I'm sorry, the program has already begun. It's impossible to add more contestants. Your star media's goodwill. We appreciate it, but, to be honest, there will be a lot of difficulties encountered on the way to trekking around the globe. Not to mention that it's already impossible to add more contestants. It's just that they can be added. And you guys, the latter words, Sun Director did not finish. However, the meaning had already been expressed very clearly. Looking at the several people in front of him, he spread his hands to reveal a helpless look. Cut. At this time, within the silent office, a disdainful voice suddenly rang out, only to see sitting on the chair on the left side, a youth with dyed silver gray hair, a row of earrings hanging from his ears, and a face as white as if he had been buried for several days. A trace of contempt surfaced on his face as he raised his head. Opening his mouth, he said, Director's son, if I remember correctly, when your hike around the world was being prepared, it was our star media that was invited, right? But at that time, we were participating in a top international song event in kimchi country and turned you guys back. It wouldn't be so petty, would it? You have to understand, with Kong Chen and I on board, your hiking globe, not to mention anything else, as long as you open up the rights to broadcast live overseas, when the time comes, how many viewers will be added to kimchi country alone? Can you imagine? Moreover, a vegetarian contestant, who was just lucky and made it to a few hot searches, with no fan base, does he really think he can stay on the hot search list? Ridiculous. Listening to the other party's unforgiving words, Director Sun's face couldn't help but sink. When he was preparing for the program Hiking Around the World, he didn't consider whether to imitate foreign reality shows and let famous stars participate, but he personally went to invite them, and not only did the other party not even see their faces, he didn't even finish his sentence, and then he was rejected. Since then, Sun Director secretly vowed in his heart, find what stars, all ordinary people, the same can make this program fire. As expected, after Sumo's outstanding performance, nowadays all the traffic stars in the Dragon Country, explicitly and implicitly contacted the program team, all asking if they could break the rules and join the program, even if they couldn't be a contestant, they could be a guest, the one that might be so shameless like Star Media was really the only one, especially this well-known star in front of him who even changed his nationality to kimchi country was even more overbearing, the whole program was as if it was a big loss for the group not to have him join, he he, no need, please return, Sun Director got up and pointed to the door, coldly said, you, you dare to reject me? Does your program group know how much appeal the two of us have in Kimchi Kingdom? And you dare to reject us? Well, the other party was still being unforgiving. One mouthful of Kimchi Nation. One mouthful of Kimchi Nation. Hearing that, Director Sun went up in arms at that moment. His tone also started to become unkind. First of all, the program trekking around the world has already begun. We are a 24-hour full live streaming type of reality show. There can't be any shady business. So let's not talk about how much popularity you have in the country of kimchi, how much popularity you have around the globe, you can't possibly be added midway through the program. Then again, if you want to succeed in walking around the world, you need to walk at least 30 kilometers a day, not that I'm looking down on you, but with your body, it's hard for you to even get on the bed, so how can you walk 30 kilometers? Finally, for the record, Suemo is a contestant of our program, if anyone dares to sabotage his participation in the program by illegal means, our program will definitely pursue the matter to the end. It's very dangerous to participate in the program. So go back to the kimchi country and be a star. I think you can sharpen your chin a little bit more. 
Did you see the halua when you were a kid? That chin. I guess it will be more popular in the kimchi kingdom. You, the two kimchi nation stars showed their teeth. Anger surfaced on their faces, and they were about to lash out. It was in star media. Those shareholders didn't dare to talk to them like this. A program director. Could it be that he really thought that their female fans in kimchi kingdom were vegetarians? Director son. Suddenly, a technician with a pale, sweaty face rushed inside the office, shouting at the top of his voice. It's not good. Sue M.O. Sue M.O. seems to have an accident. You quickly hurry out to take a look. Upon hearing this, Sun Director waved his hand, didn't have time to bullshit with Star Media's Ian and Young People anymore, and walked straight out of the office. Shiba, let's go over and take a look as well. The two looked at each other, cursed in a low voice, and followed suit. Inside the broadcasting hall, after Director Sun walked in, he only saw that the entire inside of the broadcasting hall was silent. Everyone was sitting in place in a state of disorientation, and the big screen live broadcast picture that belonged to Sue M.O. looked like it had been covered with a layer of black cloth. There was actually not even a picture. What's going on here? It's a female staff member next to him, with tears in her eyes, choked. Just now, Sue M.O. with Chun Yanhong was controlled by a group of thugs. The other party had guns in their hands. And then, then they pulled the two people into the woods and seemed to have beaten them to death? What? Director Sun's body shook busy holding the table next to him, his face full of incomprehension. Wasn't it? Wasn't it fine last night? How could one night pass and meet criminals again? And it's still a gun-wielding criminal. It is him. At this time on Sue M.O. bumped into criminals of this chance, also was admired to the ground. Never seen such. Did you see it? If Sue M.O. really had an accident, then their entire program group would be finished, and he would probably have to go in and step on the sewing machine. At the end, we could see Sue M.O. resisting and then the gun went off right after. As to whether it really hit, we didn't see it. But, Director Sun, at such a close distance, the chance of hitting is too great. Have you notified the security bureau yet? Already notified. Captain Chen led the men and rushed to the mountain at fire speed. Wait a little longer. It should be fine. Just a few gunmen. It shouldn't be a big deal to sue M.O. Director Sun comforted everyone's emotions, while also comforting himself. As for the people from Star Media who were standing on the side, the two starlets glanced at each other in tacit understanding. Their faces turned even whiter, swallowing a mouthful of saliva with difficulty. They were busy pulling the head of the company to leave. Too scary. Isn't it participating in a program? How come there were even gun-toting thugs? In their perception, all variety shows, aren't they all rehearsed? Can it be that all the news on this hiking around the world hot search is true? Is Sue M.O. a god? One person did so many unbelievable things. Hyper. Suddenly. In the dead silent broadcasting hall, a gunshot came violently from the audio. Immediately following it, the crowd heard a very familiar voice. Fatty, take the engineer's shovel. Don't rush. Rush slowly. Grass your grandpa. Is it easy for me to earn some money? Still want to rob the old man. Don't beat them to death. A person can change a lot of money. Go. In the woods. Suemo panted heavily, holding the pistol with both hands, hiding behind a big tree, kept shouting at the fat man on the opposite side. No, Fatty, what time is it? Why are you still carrying a camera? This is my job. Fatty returned without hesitation. Professional, too damned professional, said with reason, not a single rebuttal. Don't move. Where's the person just now? Has he been dealt with yet? At the last moment, fortunately, he reacted quickly, kicking away the fat man while rolling and dodging. Thinking about it now, Sumo's scalp was a little numb. The bullet just grazed his ear and flew past. And to this day, his right ear is still in fiery pain. However, with the efforts of the two men, they finally managed to subdue this drug dealer. However, it also managed to attract the attention of the other drug dealers in the cave. Deal with it. I jumped up and stepped on it a few times and fainted. Brother, what do we do now? The bag stepped on several tens of thousands of dollars. Was robbed by this group of people. Ah, say what you have to rob back. Too hateful. Bought so much food. Let them spoil it. Fatty gritted his teeth and roared. It could be seen. This guy was truly angry. Don't be in a hurry. Hide first. Touch the side in a while and take a look. Sue M.O. soothed. Carefully lay on the ground and poked his head out to look out. Because of the reason that he had a gun in his hand, the few people on the other side didn't dare to act rashly. The same as he was exactly the same as Fatty. Also hiding behind a few trees. Hyper. Suddenly, the turf in front of him crashed Sumo's face. He was busy putting his head back. Exasperated. He cursed in a low voice. The tricky place came, although he had a gun in his hand, but the problem was that, except for shooting guns inside the game, in reality, 
not to mention shooting a gun, just touching it didn't even touch ah. The Dragon Kingdom is the same as the world he was once in. The management of firearms can be said to be one of the strictest countries in the world. Ordinary people have never even had the qualification to touch a gun in their entire life. After the live broadcast was restored, after seeing Su Mo and Fatty unharmed, the boulder hanging in their throats finally fell. However, after seeing that the two were discovered by the drug dealers, and everyone on the other side had a gun in their hands, the crowd couldn't help but get nervous again. Where did the people from the security bureau arrive? This is a drug dealer ah. Sue's hand is a pistol. Although the fat man grabbed an engineer's shovel, but the gap is also too big. In case people surrounded, there is no place to run ah. Look clearly okay? Brother Sue's appearance does not look like he can use a gun at all. Which person shoots with a pistol and jumps out from behind a tree? You think you're playing CS? This is a pistol? I can't. I'm so nervous I'm going to have a heart attack. If it's not possible, brother Sue hurry up and think of a way to run, right? Drug dealers ah. This kind of person kills without blinking. How can we do it? No, can't go. The terrain in the mountains is too complicated. Now that there is a live broadcast in place, stalemate, at the very least, the security bureau can know the location of the drug dealers. In case brother Sue runs away, such a large piece of mountain forest, where to find the drug dealers ah, once you go down the mountain, think about the consequences, this is a group of outlaws, it's neither here nor there, what can we do, how can Sue and Fatty be a match for the drug dealers, inside the live broadcast room, everyone was anxious and kept thinking of various ways for Sue Mo and the two of them, moreover, everyone also understood in their hearts, the reason why there was a stalemate today was because things happened too suddenly, the drug dealers have not yet figured out the bottom of Sumo's two people. Once they really found out that the other party didn't even know how to use a gun, it would definitely surround them right away. This is a donkey? Yunnan gritted his teeth and leaned behind a tree, clenching his teeth and letting out a low growl. A donkey friend could be so bold. Seize a gun with empty hands? Moreover, most importantly, if the other party was really a donkey friend, why didn't they flee immediately after grabbing the gun, but even dared to turn around and return? What is the purpose? Two people's baggage they carefully checked. In addition to some food and money, then is the field survival supplies. There were no other valuable things at all. No. Suddenly, a drug dealer next to him poked his head out, squinted at a small lens poking out from behind a tree across the street, and the entire person was dumbfounded, muttering incredulously, Brother Nan, something's not right. How come there's a lens in these two people's hands? What do they want? Can it be that they are filming us? If that's the case, hiss then it's a problem, now online, but there are many people who come to the wild live survival, these two people will not be live, right, if this is the case, then we will definitely be exposed ah, this word came out, boom, Yunnan only felt a stream of hot blood surging to the top of his head, nearly having a brain hemorrhage on the spot, live broadcast, the two livestock in the distance were actually broadcasting live, ma duh, this is how much to look down on their group of drug traffickers, all this kind of situation, the two of you don't hurry up and think of running, the purpose of retreating back, actually live broadcasting, is it a human being, even want to rub the heat of drug dealers, this is a normal person can do out, who, m, Yunnan took a deep breath and bit off a piece of dead skin at the corner of his mouth, chewing it in his mouth while squinting his eyes to make plans, a few seconds later, he had a decision in his heart, let's go, regardless of these two, go at speed, since it's on air, no surprise, the Chindu security bureau must have gotten the news. Maybe they're on their way here right now. It's hard to run out. We can't turn the car over because of these two people. Fire a few shots. Then let's go. After ordering a few words in a low voice, several people simultaneously stood out from behind the tree and fired wildly at the two trees in the distance. After enough dozens of rounds were fired, the people looked at each other and turned their heads to quickly rush into the distant mountain forest. F asterisk CK. Are you crazy? Bullets don't cost anything? Sumo's two men held their heads and hid behind a tree, not daring to move at all. Brother, these guys ran away. What? After the gunfire stopped, Fatty poked the camera out to take a look and couldn't help but roar with a red face. Chasing or not, mad. They took our money and ran away. Chase. Suemo gritted his teeth and without any hesitation, jumped out with his pistol, squinting his eyes. He looked at the shell casings on the ground, waved his hand at Fatty. The two also carefully drilled into the mountain forest. At the same time, the foot of the mountain, faster, 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 Chen Dali, with red eyes, stared at the cell phone screen in his hand and roared at the vigilantes who jumped down from several vehicles, the other party is a vicious drug dealer, there is an order from above, if you encounter resistance, you can be shot on the spot, repeat, 
Encounter resistance, be shot. One last point. Make sure to ensure the safety of our supernumerary Su Mo and Fatty. Do you hear me? The sound was like thunder, exploding at the foot of the mountain. Everyone stood by and after nodding their heads heavily, they quickly rushed towards the mountain with five people in a squad. Hyper, not far away. The bark of a large tree crumbled out of the debris. The fat photographer was lying on the ground, blaring at the camera aimed at Su Mo behind another tree, shouting at the top of his voice, Brother, you shoot, we've been running along for almost an hour. You really didn't fire a single shot? No, is your gun a water nuisance? People are trying to kill us. You should at least give them a little color. Su Mo licked the corner of his mouth and took a look. In the dark woods, where is the figure of the drug dealer? Who to shoot? Moreover, he was a humanoid tracer. He couldn't hit anyone at all. How can I hit them? Save bullets understand? This is a pistol. The range of a pistol is limited. The distance is so far away. It has exceeded the effective range. I don't shoot naturally there are reasons why I don't shoot. Okay, the other party ran away again. Don't be idle. Hurry up and chase people. Suemo walked out behind the tree, looked up and observed the direction, spoke extremely fast and explained it fatty. And, I estimate ah, gone this hour. A few traffickers can keep rushing us to shoot. Bullets must have not much left. Think about it. A moment to oust them. We still have bullets in the gun. They have no more. Watch and learn. After hearing this, the corner of Fatty's mouth twitched vigorously. He was able to eat, but it didn't mean he had intellectual problems. It was doubtful that Su Mo could not make a gun at all. However, it's useless to say so much now. They have been chasing for more than an hour. The other party also took away their tens of thousands of cash, and even snacks to Hua Hua clean. This can be tolerated? Most importantly, Fatty felt that one thing, Su Mo was right. The other party may not have many bullets. After all, when this group of talents started, they looked lousy. They didn't even have a bag on them. It was impossible for them to be carrying a lot of bullets. Brother, you're really cultured. Listen to you. When we bump into each other in a while, you'll fire a shot first. Come on, cut the crap. Hurry up and follow me. Su Mo gritted his teeth and nodded his head, carrying the pistol, with a cat's waist, quickly weaving behind tree after tree. Front, about a kilometer away from the two. Yunnan and the others were panicked. They could already hear the sirens of the security bureau coming from the foot of the mountain, but those two guys behind them were like fucking dogskin plasters. They couldn't get rid of them, especially that skinny guy, in addition to the cave entrance, jumped out and fired a shot, chasing this more than an hour. Really not a shot ah. Yunnan several drug dealers were confused, completely confused, behind this two people want to do. If you turn around and shoot, two people reacted unusually quickly, directly to the tree behind a plop, not even show their heads. In the past to counterattack, the other party had a gun in his hand, and having already lost one of his men, Yunnan didn't want to and couldn't take this risk again. Once the delay was long, when the people from the security bureau rushed up, everything would be over. F asterisk CK, I found out. These two people are just sick. Dead chase not let go. How many times we have changed direction? Every time can catch up. Hell, brother Nan, really can't do it. Let's just stop and dry the two people and then run. Or else behind the back of the two people hanging all the time, run out of the room also have to be let out of the point ah, that's right, if we can't do it, let's do them, there aren't many bullets left, I even have some doubts that these two guys aren't intentionally consuming our bullets, if we keep running like this, it won't be long before we run out of bullets, listening to the murmurs of a few of his men, Yunnan gritted his teeth fiercely and made a decision in his heart once again, stay, it was necessary to settle these two people first, otherwise, it would be hard enough for the few of them to run out. The large force of the security bureau was bound to have already gone up the mountain by now, and was probably encircling towards their location. Time waited for no one. All hide well. Shoot bullets accurately. Once the two catch up. Fuck them. A few people nodded with stony faces and spread out to ambush behind the nearby large trees, squinting their eyes, deadly staring at the position behind them. As long as two people dared to rush up, they would immediately be would be beaten into a sieve. This wait. Ten minutes had passed. The entire forest was silent. Su Mo, who was burying his head in the road, suddenly pulled the fat man back and raised his index finger, signaling the other party not to speak. What? Something's not right. Su Mo said in a deep voice and immediately squatted down behind a tree, pointing to a layer of yellowish fallen leaves on the ground and explained. Look ahead. Are the broken leaves gone? Ah Fatty looked up and froze, nodding his head. Inwardly, he was shocked beyond words. All along, no matter how many times the other party changed directions, Su Mo was always able to accurately find it. 
and Fatty thought that Sumo's nose was so sensitive that he could smell the drug dealer's flavor in the air. Unexpectedly, it was actually found out through the dead leaves under his feet. Brother, do you mean, this group of people should be in the woods in front, waiting for the two of us? This word came out. The fans of the live broadcast who had been tense all the way through, had sweat seeping out of their palms coincidentally. Waiting for them? What did that mean? The drug dealer finally couldn't stand it and was ready to solve the two su mo? Details? Too detailed. I also followed the whole way. How did I not pay attention to the dead leaves under my feet? But, the other side does not run. Just ambush in front. The hand is not much bullets. Sue is not able to rush through it. Right? I'm afraid that the people from the security bureau will come up for a while. I think it, with brother Sue an ordinary person, can do this degree has been very remarkable. If it is me, I certainly do not dare to catch up. Really want money don't want to die. However, if it's me, 300,000 prize money in front of me. I guess I also dare to chase up. 300,000 ah, too much. One day room down payment. I have to save how long to save out. Don't you all realize that this group of drug dealers shooting skills are also very poor? After so many shots on the road, they never hit. Even worse, it's still better than brother Sue, right? I have been to the shooting range when I was abroad, and I have touched the pistol in Sue's hand. To put it bluntly, Sue's pistol's safety is off now, and at a glance, he doesn't know how to shoot a gun at all. Ah, uh, can't be? What's all this nonsense upstairs? Dare to say that my Sue man doesn't know how to shoot a gun? Isn't this the traditional craft of your men? Anyone else can't? Suddenly, the pop-ups that were fluttering on the screen all disappeared in a flash of effort. Everyone was staring at the screen with wide eyes, staring at Sue M.O. who climbed out from behind the tree, only to see that he was holding an engineer's shovel in one hand, kept his head down, and crawled to the right side of the position. The crowd froze in place. They did not dare to look at this scene in disbelief. According to the direction of crawling, Suemo was planning to go through from the side? He didn't even bring a gun? Just holding an engineer's shovel? Rustling, in the lonely woods, under a big tree, two drug dealers lay on their backs in the withered branches and leaves on the left and right sides, their expressions grave, their eyes staring dead ahead. It can't be that we guessed wrong, right? How come no one has caught up with us until now? One of them pursed his lips, moved gently to change his position, touched his accomplice on one side with his foot and said in a low voice, do you think we can still run out? The sheriff's department will surely have gone up the mountain by now. If we don't run, it's hard enough ah. I don't want to go in and step on the sewing machine. Alas, Nan is also, have said, run is right. He has nothing to do. Kill narcotics officers for what? This is good. Would have been able to run abroad. The person next to him did not say a word. His eyebrows screwed together, hearing what his companion said. He was equally speechless. All right, cut the crap. Stepping on a sewing machine? Once caught, there's no chance of stepping on a sewing machine. The Dragon Kingdom's tolerance for drugs is almost non-existent, and getting caught is pretty much a shooting. And I can't whine a little? No, you can whine if you want. What are you kicking my shoes for? Stomped my shoes off. At this time, one of them felt a coldness in his feet, and a choking smell of ice began to fill the air, and could not help but curse in a low voice, looking sideways and downward. Nima yo, you haven't washed your feet for half a month right? The socks are stepping on the pulp. Suddenly, the drug dealer's expression was stunned, only to see a youth holding an engineer's shovel, who was holding his shoes and kept rolling his eyes. It's, without waiting for the other party to open his mouth, Suemo pounced on the spot and swung the engineer shovel against the drug dealer's head. Bang slapped, seeing the gambling dealer's two legs taut. Bang lay hard, he hastily raised his head, with the drug dealer next to him came to a four-eyed relative. Corner meets love. A glance is you. The drug dealer at this time the whole person is stupid, even the gun in his hand forgot to raise up. What the hell? When did this person touch up? Wasn't he behind them? Moreover, there were brothers ambushing in that direction on the side. Don't shout. Seeing that the other party was going to get up with his gun, Suemo fiercely pressed one end of the engineer shovel against his neck and threatened through gritted teeth. If I go down with this shovel, just say, whether your brain can still stand? Put the gun down. Brother Nan. Just. Suemo apparently somewhat underestimated the drug dealer's level of resistance, and even ignored the engineer's shovel in front of him, yelling at the top of his voice, F asterisk CK, cursing in a low voice, Suemo decisively raised the engineer's shovel and smacked the other party in the face with a shovel. At the same time, his body instinctively lunged to the side, picking up the drug dealer at the very beginning, he blocked in front of himself, Fatty, come over here, turning back, he yelled at Fatty who was hiding in the distance. Suemo panted heavily and dragged this drug dealer, hiding with his back against a big tree. Shao Kai? 
Ma da, brother Nan, it was touched up by those two beasts. What a few losers. They were all touched up and didn't even realize it at all. Not far away came the sound of exasperated drinking and cursing. Messy footsteps came. It was getting closer and closer. Go Dong. Suemo gritted his teeth, swallowed a mouthful of saliva, nodded at the fat man behind another tree, and carefully stood sideways behind the tree. Three. Stretching out three fingers, in front of Fatty, he started counting down. Two. One. Under Fatty's horrified gaze, Suemo directly threw the unconscious drug dealer in front of him. Shoot. Shouting. He jumped out himself from the other direction. And the moment he landed, his speed increased to the extreme. Hyper. 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 Accompanied by the sound of a gunshot. The fans in the live broadcast room were dumbfounded. Each with a dull expression sitting in front of the screen for a long time without words. What did they see? How could they not imagine that at such a close distance? Suemo actually dared to jump out and use the unconscious drug dealer to attract the other party's attention. And. Stepping on the horse. Succeeded. Crap. 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 It's so much more exciting than a blockbuster action movie. Brother Sue wouldn't have practiced, right? This guts are too scary. He dares to rush out? The other side has three more people, all with guns in their hands. So awesome. I'm kneeling. Really? I'll see who dares to say that Brother Sue's live broadcast is rehearsed in advance in the future. Just this kind of formation. Come and rehearse one for me to see? The drug dealer who threw it out was killed on the spot. It was too menacing. The general public really cannot do. However, Fat brother is really dedicated ah, are such a time, holding the camera's hand, but did not shake, a dare to rush, a dare to shoot, this is a combination of gods and goddesses, scared me to death, sue brother like this, after not into the security bureau really a pity, not afraid of danger, quick reaction, no wonder the security bureau want to do everything possible, want to give sue brother to do a supernumerary status, on this kind of player, not specialize in catching criminals, simply is the loss of the security bureau ah, uh, envy can't come, really envy can't come, anyway, I don't dare, that can be all drug dealers, murderous drug dealers, after Suemo rushed up from the side, swung his engineer shovel, and smoked a drug dealer down again, everyone could tell, when this guy rushed out, I'm afraid he had already envisioned it in his mind, after decisively dropping the engineer shovel, bah, the moment a mouthful of thick phlegm was spat on Nan's face, Suemo held the other man's wrist with both hands in a death grip, aimed at the lower third, and quickly and decisively raised his knee. Pang sound. Ah, this drug dealer let out a miserable scream. His legs were in an inner eight and together, kneeling straight on the ground. F asterisk CK. When Nan wiped his face and busied himself with a few steps back, he realized that up to now, the youth in front of him, who claimed to be a donkey, had already finished off all of his men. Hyper, raising his hand, he fired a random shot. Nan did not hesitate to turn his head and run, not a trace of attachment, broken, up, Nan, Nan brother, you run Nima ah, you come to help the brother ah, Nima lousy are broken, he is just one person, your hand have a gun, you run a hammer ah, looked at Nan scattered and ran, the drug dealer kneeling on the ground covering his crotch cried, looking at the youth who climbed up from the ground, only fear and bewilderment remained in his eyes, so many of them were outlaws who walked on the tip of the knife for years, in the end, how could they have ever imagined that they would be attacked by a young man camping in the wilderness? They would be fucked by a donkey who was camping in the wilderness. Even brother Nan was scared out of his wits. Brother. Big brother. Don't move me. Really broken. I surrender. Shot I admit it. Can you hurry to call an ambulance ah? Uh, I feel that when I move there is a ball is going to fall out. The strong man trembled and begged for mercy. He was not talking nonsense at all. It really seems to be broken. It's all numb. Ty. Suemo smacked the guy with an engineer's shovel until the other party fainted before he narrowed his eyes and glanced at the drug dealer's leader who ran into the depths of the woods, waved at Fatty, dragging the several drug dealers all over. Another person was given a shovel. After making sure that they wouldn't wake up in a short time, he left a few words on the ground for the sheriff's department, busy getting up and chasing into the woods again. $300,000 of bounty. Can be all this nan? Risked so much. Must not let this guy to run away. Quick. From which direction did the gunshots come from? On the rugged mountain road. Chen Dali was panting heavily, his side ear carefully identifying the direction from which the gunshots came just now. Team Chen. It should be that way. At this moment, the narrator team member reached out and pointed, saying in a deep voice, Just one gunshot. I can hear it really well. It's coming from over there. It's not far from us. Well, quick. Speed up. A big hand waved. Chen Dali and dozens of others rushed into the woods with a swift figure. They really didn't stop for a second along the way. 
It was hard to hear the sound of gunshots again, which meant that Su Mo shouldn't be in trouble yet. Initially, when they rushed here, Sumo's live broadcast was still a foggy appearance, and it was impossible to distinguish what position it was in. So Chindali simply put his cell phone away and didn't pay attention to Sumo's live broadcast anymore. With his many years of experience as the captain of the security bureau, he thought, thinking through his head, he probably couldn't imagine that the two of them, Suemo and Fatty, actually dared to chase after the gun-toting drug dealers when they were facing them. There's the smell of blood. The crowd hoofed it to catch up. Ten minutes later, suddenly, Chen Dali stopped abruptly and frowned as he sniffed in the air. A strong odor of feet wafted through the air. However, there seemed to be a hint of blood mixed in. There was blood? That meant someone had been injured? Who could it be? Spread out. All be careful. A low roar was given. The crowd spread out in a fan shape around the area, carefully searching forward. After walking past a few large trees, looking at the scene in front of them, everyone's brains went down at the same time, blankly looking at the unconscious few people under the trees. Hiss. No, who will slap me? Isn't this group of people the drug dealers on the wanted list? Who was given the solution? And one died? Who else could it be? Wasn't it Sue M.O. who found them? It can't be. Brother Sue is so fierce. Just brought a fat photographer. Ah, people have guns in their hands. The two of them can solve so many people? And they weren't even hurt? It's the two of them who did it. Teen Chen. Look at the faces of a few drug dealers. There's a steel stamp on their heads. What? Phoenix brand engineer shovel. Fuck, isn't this the brand of the engineer shovel that Sue and the others had? I've seen it when I was digging for bombs. And yes, that's the brand. Chen Dali took a deep breath and waved his hand to signal everyone to keep quiet. Quickly stepping forward, lowering his head, he examined it. His eyes inadvertently skimmed over the land beside a few criminals, only to see a line of large letters written on it, and even his name. Captain Chen, I'm sorry, one person died. However, it wasn't us who killed him, by the way. There's another person shattered. Please call an ambulance to come. We'll go and catch the leader of the drug traffickers first. For details, you can pay attention to the live broadcast room. The live broadcast room number XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
livestock ah, this is in the mountains, can run so fast, I am also convinced. The corner of Chendali's mouth twitched as he squinted at the drug dealer leader running in front of him. Miserable. It was truly miserable. One shoe had run out. The entire person was in a sorry state. And just like this, he was still desperately running wildly. Wait. Suddenly, Chen Dali was stunned. Squinting at the building in front of him within the live broadcast, he himself then looked up to see that direction in reality. And after seeing it clearly, the entire person was bad. At a glance, it was at least 10 kilometers away from them. Right? Good guy. How capable are these three people of running? After a while, they had run out 10 kilometers? Accelerate. Step on the horse. One by one. You guys, catching criminals can't fix this brat suimo. Don't even be physically unable to fuck with others. Run faster. Roared. Everyone's speed suddenly increased, showing their teeth and running forward furiously. On the other side. On the way down the mountain. That's right. Suemo also didn't expect that this Yunnan's desire for survival could be so strong that he ran hard from the upper mountain road to the lower mountain road on the other side. Just this was not enough. So many times along the way, he fell into a pit. This guy's speed wasn't affected at all. Run. Keep running. You're just running to Everest. I'm done with you today. Sumo's fire was also run out. He was the contestant of the program walking around the world, but he couldn't even run from a drug dealer. Wouldn't it be a joke to pass it out? Run. Why don't you run? The words just fell. Suemo saw Yunnan, who was a few hundred meters away in front of him, stopped, then turned around, seemed to see something fearful, and without saying anything, scattered and ran over in Sumo's direction. Humph. Subsequently, a chilling humming sound came from the front. Suemo looked sideways. His whole body sweaty hairs exploded. He was busy yanking the fat man who rushed forward and roared with a red face. Quick. Up the tree. Up the tree. Hell. How come there is such a large group of wild boars in the mountains? Quickly get up the tree. Ah, Nan ran all the way here. His mental capacity was even greater. At the sight of a group of black, staring at a ferocious gaze of wild boars, the whole person also collapsed. It was too magical. If he had known that it would be like this, he wouldn't have brought a group of people to run towards Jindu in the first place. This place was too evil. The people are not even a problem. Where did such a group of ferocious wild boars come from in a good mountain? Aren't you afraid of hurting people? Screaming miserably, Nan didn't care about the two donkey friends who had been chasing him next to him. And with lightning speed, he jumped in place and climbed up a tree with his hands and feet in a desperate attempt. Crap! Suemo stopped abruptly and looked at the drug dealers who had already climbed up the tree within three seconds. The whole person was confused. Get on this tree! Pointing to a big tree that the drug dealer climbed up. Suemo pulled fatty and started to climb up this tree as well. Nan! Who climbed to the tree trunk in one breath? looked down, it froze for several seconds, grimacing, he raised his pistol, aimed it at the top of the head of one of the people below and pulled the trigger without hesitation, kata, the sound of an empty shell came, no bullets, what the hell, how did you run out of bullets at the critical moment, brother nan gritted his teeth, raised his head and looked at the large black boar that rumbled and rushed over like an armored car, and was busy shouting at the bottom of his voice to the two people, brother, not, big brother, i'm wrong okay, big brother, you are my own big brother. I surrendered into it? You don't organize me. Don't go on a tree ah. Uh, you guys at least change a tree. A moment wild boar rushed over. Everyone is in a tree. In case of collision. Are not living down ah. Uh. Just. The youth at the bottom looked up and grinned. Unperturbed. Even even the movement of climbing the tree was a few points faster. Hoomph. Soon. The moment the black boar surrounded him. Suemo also climbed onto the tree trunk. Right next to the drug dealer Nan. The two of them glanced at each other. A toe-snapping awkwardness filled the air. Make way. Hey. That drug dealer. You move in a bit. Make some room for me. The fat photographer panted and climbed up. Probed and said. Don't mess around ah. See this weight of mine? If I shake this trunk as hard as I can. Just tell me if it'll break? Nan looked down at the waist-thick tree trunk. Then looked at this fat man's weight. And without a word silently moved to the side. The three of them squatted side by side on the tree trunk. All a little embarrassed to open their mouths. Too embarrassing. A moment ago, they were still fighting to death, but now they are going to sit together and bond? Then what? After a long time, Suemo took the lead to open his mouth. When you go in, give us both a letter at that time. It is estimated that you are enough. However, what is accounted for? I can help, so I will do it for you. We have someone in the security bureau. Yes, there are people. Other dare not guarantee, but, we greeted. After you go in, absolutely no one hua hua you. I heard that inside the stabbing of Leather Swallow quite serious. Really drop. Listen to this. 
Is this speaking human words? Nan looked at the two men with a complicated expression and sighed helplessly. Lao Zi admitted, since the first day of drug trafficking began, can anticipate this day? However, Lao Zi is to think through the head, but also cannot imagine. The last one day will be this way to fall into the net. Two Tramadol. Su Mo grinned. In order to beware of this guy's dog jumping over the wall, can only keep appeasing the other party. Alas, don't think too much. The world is unpredictable. The large intestine wrapped in a small intestine. Life is like this. Some people are born mules and horses. Some people are born Rome. The gap is still very big. The next life to work hard. Don't go ask you again. By the way, you bounty has 300,000. The two of us took this money, but also strange embarrassed. This way, what style of urn do you like? Within $30,000. At that time, brother will order one for you. Don't be polite. Also through you earn this money. The fat man on the side was shocked as a whole, pushing hard to push brother Sue. No, big brother. Is this how you usually persuade people? Isn't this giving people advice to death? I thought that the drug dealer would be infuriated in fight with the two men. I didn't expect that. The most marginalized brother Nan. The whole person is actually quite calm. To Sue Mo said the words, and did not take it to heart. Because, squatting on the tree trunk, he could already see, not far away in the woods, a group of vigilantes had already rushed up. M. Running was hopeless. The gun was also out of bullets. Fighting back was also a pointless struggle. Instead of being arched to death by a group of wild boars underneath, he would rather be taken in and shot. Have a big red one. Festive. Big brother. Don't worry. Big red. I remember. Suemo nodded and patted his chest to ensure that he would definitely order a big red urn for the drug dealer in the end. The two had a conversation. It was transmitted to the live broadcast room through the camera. And everyone listening to the bizarre chatting content of the three people really couldn't imagine that in the end, it would end up with such a result. Since when were drug dealers so nice to talk to? And, Suemo what kind of chatting ghost talent is this? The person is not dead yet. All chatting to give people top urns. Or a big red one? Is that thing still festive? This day chatting my brain hurts? Genuine cannot read. And, this drug dealer is also a talent. You resist ah. Everyone is in the tree. Just like this concede? Can we not give in? The bottom is a bore ah. Upstairs brother a look has not been a pig arch. The old pain I tell you. Ordinary pig arch you a bit. At least have to lie down for a few months. Wild boar arch a bit. Immediately in situ ascension. Anyway, if it is my words, I also resign to fate. By the wild boar arch dead. Can trample too scary. No. Where did this place get such a bunch of black boars? No one cares? If there is such a group of wild boars, even if a tiger encounters them, it will probably be scared away. And if they run down the mountain, how harmful it will be. Don't worry. Let me check ah. Fuck. This is a wild boar breeding base out. Online also hangs pig search notice. Find a black wild boar. There is a reward of $500? What? What? 500 a wild boar? There must be 10 at the bottom. Right? Doesn't that mean that brother Sue has made more than $5,000 in tears? Oh my god. Is god blind? How can you make money everywhere you go? The people in the live broadcast room went crazy. It was really crazy. For the extent of Sumo's wild ways of making money, he really didn't know what to say. Arresting drug dealers was fine. After all, it was people who bumped into them. But you chuck drug dealers. The last 300,000 bounty to determine the hand. And then bumped into a dozen wild boars. A head in $500? This. People drug dealers make money are not as wild as your way ah. Hiss. In the woods. Chen Dali sucked in cool air. His eyes stared at the scene in the live screen. And his mind went blank. How did three people, still squat on the tree and chat, can't understand it ah, and, what did you guys do ah, how come there are so many black boars under the tree, inside the broadcasting hall, everyone on the program walk around the world watched Su Mo and Fatty all the way through, how they chased the drug dealer Yunanju to the point of collapse, and how the three of them strangely reached a settlement in the trees, to be honest, everyone's brain was buzzing until now, director son, just now a few contestant photographers called, they, they asked, can they withdraw from the competition without stepping out of the Dragon Kingdom? At this time, a staff member who was responsible for the wiring, came up and said with a nervous face, Director Sun's face changed slightly. At the same time, the heart was also considering this matter. The rules were dead, but people were alive. He also understood that no wonder the other contestants wanted to withdraw. Truly, this Sumo's whole way of living was too wild. Nowadays, counting, the trekking funds are already more than a million dollars which makes others how to compare. If this guy is not always messing with money, just burying his head in the road, it is estimated that this will be the first place is already the other side. After all, 
completely do not have to consider the problem of funds, how can the speed can not catch up? If I had known, the first place would still be in a small town restaurant outside the mountain. Scrubbing dishes. Although the progress was first, it was necessary to stop and earn funds to do so. Director Sun deliberated for a while, and ultimately refused the withdrawal request of a few contestants. No, you tell a few people that it's okay to be slow, but, they must walk out of the Dragon Kingdom before they can withdraw. The staff nodded and turned to the other side to reply. Hey, Crouch, at the same time, a survival master among the guests, with an odd expression staring at his cell phone, looked up and shouted. I'm convinced, really, I'm really convinced, back then when I was begging for survival. But if I had this skill of SUMO, I didn't end up starving for days. What kind of luck is this? What is it? The crowd chased after him. The survival master pushed his cell phone over, signaling the other party to look for themselves. Everyone gathered around and looked down at the phone, only to see that on the program group's message board, there was a user named Wild Boar Tycoon who left his contact information and claimed that the 10 wild boars under the tree were all from his farm, and thanked the program group for finding the wild boars and not causing any casualties. Finally, the wild boar tycoon was willing to award Suemo 10, 000 yuan to thank the other party for finding the wild boars. After reading the message, the crowd looked at each other and all sighed. Another $10,000? The drug dealer's $300,000 had already arrived steadily, and the wild boar underneath actually had a reward of $10,000. How could this be spent? It simply couldn't be spent. Wild boars all have money ah. Uh. I'm numb. When is making money in the dragon kingdom? Is it already such an easy thing? Too envious? Catch a drug dealer, can reward so much also even if, how, run out of a group of wild boars, also have money, can't it be wild, who can do the math for me, how much money does Suemo have now that hasn't arrived, is there a million and a half dollars yet, the program's crowd looked at Suemo, who was still squatting on the tree, and couldn't suppress the envy flowing out of their eyes, rushing to give money ah, uh, who could not be envious, ten thousand dollars was more than a month's or even two months salary for many of them, what about Suemo, if you add in the drug dealers, they earn several years of their income in one day. If I had known that participating in the program would be like this, why didn't they go to do the job that Fatty did back then? The people from the security bureau have also come. All watched the live broadcast, the hot search on. Alas, all media companies have all refused. And then send a notice. The program has begun. We will not agree to anyone. So that the stars are involved. We are a vegetarian program. Finally, the director instructed a sentence and walked into the office with an expressionless face, pying, the moment he closed the door, director son rubbed his face vigorously, the whole person relaxed a lot, and put the washed and packed clothes, and put them away again, the clothes for stepping on the sewing machine could not be used for the time being, however, according to the speed of this guy Sumo's whole job, he himself would probably not be able to escape going in and stepping on the sewing machine in the end, too ruthless, drug dealers ah, dare to chase like this? Do not want to die? Sun director do not dare to imagine. If the drug dealer shot Suemo to death, in the limelight, he is the director of the program. What will be the consequences? He really didn't dare to think about it. Director Sun wiped the cold sweat from his forehead, sat on the sofa, and lowered his head to watch Sumo's live broadcast. Although the drug dealer surrendered. The. Mountain. In the woods. Chen Dali and a group of people were carefully lying on the ground, looking at the distant grunting black boar and were discussing ways to deal with it in whispers. Teen Chen, unless we shoot and kill all the wild boars. Otherwise, I checked the habits of this black wild boar. And boy, when a blind bear encounters a group of these wild boars, he can only run away. He can't fight them at all. Is there any way to draw the wild boar away, so that the three people on the tree can come down? This stalemate is not a way ah, uh, and then wait for the day will be dark. Then more bad, how can I lure it away? What if it doesn't outrun the boar? Wouldn't that be cool? The crowd whispered and discussed. Chen Dali looked at the wild boar circling around the tree, and the whole person was despondent. Shooting was indeed a solution, but there was also a risk. Ten fierce wild boars, if you can't kill them all at the first time, you'll be in trouble. Faced with the rage of the boar, close range, that is, they are also hard enough to do over, and finally may have to go up the tree. Fatty can be in the live broadcast ah, at that time, their security bureau's face were to put. Although looking for you after Suemo appeared, they would not have much face left, but also cannot be a little Noah. Pung, pung, pung. Suddenly, the crowd discussed in a low voice. There was a violent crash in the distance, accompanied by the boar's angry grunt. Crash into a tree? Chen Dali and the others looked up, only to see a few larger boars, a few steps back, lowered their heads and suddenly increased their speed. 
violently crashing into the tree. Clatter. Shaking off countless leaves. Looking upwards along the tree trunk. Sumo's three people at this time were holding the tree trunk with their hands in death. Not daring to move. Looking at the boar underneath in surprise. Trouble. Prepare to shoot down. Chen Dali roared lowly. Now was not the time to hesitate. Once the tree was broken, the three Su Mo above. It was estimated that they didn't even need the wild boar to make a move. They were afraid that they would fall to their deaths. Click. Everyone pushed the bolt and stood up from the ground. Nervously, they raised their guns. Don't. In the nick of time, Su Mo hugged the tree trunk with one hand and shouted at Chen Dali and the others. Don't shoot. One shot won't kill you. The words just fell. The boars under the tree raised their heads in unison their scarlet eyes glaring at the group of people standing up in the distance. Hoof. A black boar at the head grunted violently and quickly rushed up. The rest of the boars followed closely behind. With their heads down, they ran wildly. Crap, I didn't do it on purpose. Standing on the tree, Suemo looked at the wild boar that went straight to Captain Chen and the others. The whole person was dumbfounded and kept pulling the fat man to explain to the drug dealer. You two are witnesses. I really didn't do it on purpose. Yes, I testify that you specialized. Fatty froze and returned. As the wild boar chased after Chandali and the others, Su Mo was busy jumping down from the tree. For three whole hours, the wild boar chased Chandali a group of people to run all over the mountain. And eventually, the wild boar was physically exhausted, simply lying on the ground and humming. Only then let the rushed Su Mo a few people caught up. Everyone worked together, successfully subdued the ten wild boars. In the middle of the way, Nan had also wanted to escape. But, the youth who chased him was simply too chicken thief using a belt to tie the two hands together, and there was no way to run if he wanted to run, under the last resort, Nan really wants to tell this guy, wise to this point, when what donkey ah, is it not good to follow him to do peanut eating work, who, 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 after a long time, Sumo's entire body was lying on the ground paralyzed with exhaustion, panting heavily, suddenly remembered something, reached out and tugged on Captain Chen who was on the side, Captain Chen, you're not going to tell me that I have to go down the mountain with you guys again in a while, right? It was so hard to go up the mountain. But if I follow back down again, there's really no way to participate in this competition. How many days has it been? Ha, huh? by now, we haven't even walked out of this mountain. What should we do? According to Su Mo's estimation, the first place person is estimated to have walked out of Chindu a long time ago, and he has been circling around in the same place. Whom? Chen Dali took a look at this guy and nodded his head without any goodwill the whole how we want to take you back. The person arrested was the leader of the drug dealers on the wanted list, and had to be followed back to assist in the work. It's all standard procedure. Aren't you clear in your heart? A sentence. Dislike Su Mo speechless. Yes. Calculating carefully, in a few days of work, the number of times he and Fatty went back to the security bureau was more than the number of times term went home. Alas. Sighing, Su Mo could only resign himself to his fate. Chen team. Sometimes I am also very bitter. I am wrong. Really, I really know it is wrong. Chen vigorously skimmed his mouth and said that this kid can be considered to understand the seriousness of the problem. According to Sumo's speed of catching criminals to go on, fortunately, this guy is participating in the program. It is necessary to get out of the Qin Du. Otherwise, in the Qin Du so caught on three months, their leadership of the security bureau, designated to get a bank loan to go, simply cannot afford to reward Ah. Too excellent is really bitter. Listening from the other side of the mouth to say so don't force the face of a sentence. Spare Chen vigorously good temper. At this moment also broke the defense. All get up. Escort all the drug dealers. Back to the city. Getting up and pointing to a team member who was crouching behind a tree in the distance and thieving. He scolded a few times in a stern voice. What are you still squatting behind the tree for? Laughing? One and all still have the face to laugh? Don't you feel ashamed? People are just two people and caught so many drug dealers. Don't you feel bad in your hearts? Why are you smiling with your teeth showing? You're pissing me off. The one behind the tree. What are you looking at? Hurry up and get up for me. Speed. After roaring for a while, the people dared to be angry, and were busy getting up and standing up, pulling the drug dealer and walking down the hill. Captain angry. As security officers, the crowd heart can also understand. Yesterday, the Qin Du general administration above the leadership, but also said that their security bureau it, with the horse hired people Su Mo or the kind of wages daily, is every day there are bounty applications handed up, if the money if the security bureau members took okay, but the problem is, people are people enthusiastic masses su mo capture, money is also people take, it's no exaggeration to say that the people su mo caught these people, if they put on a magistrate, now at least two levels up, in the team, the atmosphere was heavy, 
Su Emo with fatty followed at the end, lowered his head and did not say a word. Hey, brother Su. At this time, a vigilante gently tugged him, standing in a rather odd posture, red-faced and whispered, Do you have paper in your bags? Give me some paper. Ha, huh? there is. Su Emo reached out from his pocket and pulled out some toilet paper and handed it to the other party. He recognized who the other party was. Wasn't it the vigilante who just hid behind a tree and was severely criticized by Chen Team? Gone are ten minutes. Want paper for what? With a puzzled gaze, Su Emo turned back and looked backward. The whole person was dumbfounded. Crap. This brother just lifted his pants without wiping his ass? Fatty watched the other party take the paper and stick it into his pants, muttered dumbfounded, lowered his head to think, and quickly walked over, unloading the water bottle from his body. He handed it to the other party. Brothers, you are really not easy ah. Uh. Come, here is still a little water. You dip a little water. Have passed ten minutes. Are dry above it? The corner of Sumo's mouth twitched, and he quickly turned around and quickly caught up with the large force, after assisting the security bureau this time, saying nothing can't arrest people within the Qin Du range. Look at what Captain Chen has forced his own team members into. Cursed people do not even dare to wipe their ass. Hard to dry out. From this, we can see that the security bureau's opinion of themselves are big to what point? The water friends in the live broadcast room, looking at him to follow and return to the sheriff's bureau again. The atmosphere suddenly turned joyful. Ha 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 ha. I'll tell you a joke. It's been three days. Su is back in Chindu again. What year can this Nima go out from Chindu? It's open. It's open. Let's just say, when brother Su comes out, will he be able to walk out of Chindu next time? I'm counting bombs, weapons and ammunition, corpses, national treasures and artifacts, and drug traffickers leaders. Crap. This mountain in Chindu is really a bit evil. What kind of stuff is there? This is a person with a person cannot compare. I just in the first place that live room it. That guy heard Su to return to the Chindu. Our happy bad. On the spot broke a few plates. A day and do nothing. This is the live room inside the mouth cursing it. However, to say convinced, we are really convinced. Do not care Su go fast or slow. People are really making money ah. Uh. Other people to participate in the hiking around the world program. Almost all to suffer. But we sue as long as we can get out of this mountain. Wait until the city. That day is not to let all the people envy death. Over a million dollars. How long will this take? Little Sue. Auntie's words always count. When you don't want to work hard anymore. Auntie here is always welcome you. Ah 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 ah. Auntie is here again. Auntie take a look at me okay? Nowadays. Some of the old fans in Sumo's live broadcasting room. For the situation of catching criminals. Is already not strange. There is no way. Since coming in. The player Su Emo really did not stop for a day, but wherever you can get a bounty, this guy is not letting go of one thing, in this mountain alone, how many bounties have he taken, I don't know if the next time he goes up to the mountain, he'll run into some kind of bounty earning job, everyone was secretly looking forward to it, even open the disc in the live room again, nightfall, in the dark and incomparable mountain forest, several strong men walked into the mountain forest in a hurry, constantly observing the footprints on the ground with a flashlight, suddenly, one of them waved his hand, and all of them gathered around at once. Not right ah, on the ground this is. How to look like pig s hoof prints. Is the signal that Xiao Nan sent in the end accurate? Are they sure they're heading for the mountains? Brother Hao, can't be wrong. Nan left in a hurry at that time, with goods on his body. Definitely want to hide the goods in the mountains. Since there can be pig hoof prints here, it means that. There is a pig in a nearby place. Or, let's touch the past. Look, next to a little brother. Dripping eyes analyzing for the crowd. You guys think ah, when Nan ran with the people, but there is nothing food, there are pig farming, maybe, Nan they are already in the pig farm. When the crowd heard this, it made sense, a group of people with a gun in their hands, no food, found the pig hoof prints, hungry eyes are green, no need to think, definitely looking for this farm to go. Immediately, a group of people followed the pig's hoof prints, and touched towards a place at the foot of the mountain, at the foot of the mountain. The night color was thick. Xin Du on the fattest black boar breeding base. The boss Meng Fu enthusiastically pulled Sumo's hand and kept shaking it in gratitude. Thank you so much. These days I am worried about the day and night cannot sleep. The loss of a few wild boars is nothing. I am afraid that I did not find this group of wild boars before injuring people. That would be the end. I farmed this as a black wild boar. Fighting strength fierce. Fortunately, let you guys subdue. Thank you so much. M. Quickly. All come in and sit down. See the sky is about to rain. You guys this will then turn over a hill down the mountain. The road is too difficult to walk. Don't say. Stay in my place for a night. 
A moment later to give you a stewed pig's head to taste. Don't be polite. All come in. Suemo looked at Chen Dali. The other party looked up at the sky with thick clouds and nodded helplessly. Looking at this situation, it was indeed going to rain in a while, and they had been traveling through the mountains since the afternoon. Until now, almost every member of the team was exhausted, and if they wanted to get out of the mountains, they had to go over another small hill. And once it rained, it would indeed be dangerous. And, the drug dealer leader was still being held in his hand. For insurance purposes, Chen Dali also felt it was better to stay at the farm for the night, and wait for the rain to stop early tomorrow morning before going down the mountain. Thank you so much then. You're welcome. Just these 10 wild boars are worth more than 100, 000 dollars at the very least. The one to say thank you should be me. Mengfu was also a quick person, warmly welcoming the crowd into the farm. After sitting down in a parlor. Here, this is 10, 000 dollars of thanks. You must accept it. The crowd watched Mengfu take out a stack of cash and hand it to Suemo, and they all looked away, with mixed feelings in their hearts. This scene, how similar it had been. How many times have they seen it in these few days alone? You guys sit and drink some tea first. I'll go stew a pig's head for you. Mengfu exchanged a few pleasantries with the crowd, turned around and walked out of the parlor, heading to the kitchen to prepare the meal. Right. This you put away. At this time, Chen Dali handed a folded document to Su Mo. Security Bureau Supernumerary Su Mo? Su Mo spread it out and took a look at it, and looked at Captain Chen in puzzlement. What does it mean? This became a supernumerary? It wasn't right. If he remembered correctly, if he wanted to become a supernumerary of the Security Bureau, the examination was also quite difficult. Moreover, the other party hadn't consulted him either. Ah, right. You keep this. From now on, you'll be a supernumerary security officer of our Chindu Security Bureau. Of course, a special case, you don't have to report to the Security Bureau until the program is over. But, since you're a supernumerary officer of ours, from now on, any criminals you catch, understand? Don't understand. Suemo shook his head blankly. What's the difference? Stupid. Nan, who was squatting next to the sofa, couldn't even look at it anymore and spoke out. What's not to understand? It's equal to you being a supernumerary vigilante in the future. The people you catch, not only will the security bureau have a commendation, you will also receive a commendation unique to supernumeraries. After accumulating a lot, you can be converted in the future. What's not to understand? For example, if you caught Lao Zi, in addition to the bounty this time estimates will also give you a third class merit or something. After the drug dealer Nan said this, Su Mo probably understood in his heart. It means that, if he catches criminals again in the future, he will not only get the bounty, but he will also get a commendation from the security bureau. Good thing ah. Uh. No, Team Chen, we are about to walk out of Chindu, so the criminals we catch in the future will also be considered as the Chindu security bureau? Regarding this issue, the leaders of the security bureau had deliberately held a meeting when they issued the supernumerary certificate. And according to the extent of Sumo's wickedness, he would inevitably catch criminals wherever he went. Then the criminals that were caught, where exactly did they belong? In the end, after the majority of people raised their hands to agree, order Chindali at any time 24 hours on standby. Always pay attention to Sumo's live broadcast dynamics. Once found outside of Chin do arrested criminals, immediately go to the criminals will be brought back. By the time the local security bureau knew about it, I'm afraid the person had already been brought back to Chindu. I'll go pick up the person when I time. This matter doesn't need you to worry about it. Feel free to race. Chen Dali dropped a sentence, leaned back on the sofa, and began to rest his eyes. So what? I'm going to the restroom. Su Emo swept a glance at the crowd, seeing that all of them were leaning on the sofa tiredly, and there were even quite a few who had already fallen asleep. He muttered in a low voice and pulled Fatty to get up and leave the parlor. It was in the middle of the night. The farm was silent. Even a group of black wild boars that were kept inside the steelhouse pig pen seemed to have fallen asleep. Where is the toilet? Find what toilet? Don't wake up the pigs in a while. Just go. To the outside of the gate. Su Mo carried his pants. Straight out of the gate entrance of the farm. And walked into a dense bracked field. At this time. On one side of the path. Brother Hao and the others carefully touched the farm gate. Brother Hao. The door isn't closed. Touch in and take a look. All be careful. Brother Hao whispered instructions and gently pushed the large iron door open. What's going on? Suddenly, a voice came from behind them, and Hao and the others turned around sharply, lighting up their dark muzzles. Hiss. Suemo narrowed his eyes, sucked in a breath of cool air, and was busy gently tugging on the fat man on the side, signaling the other party not to act rashly. What kind of divine luck is this horse? How did he run into drug dealers again in this place? 
What the hell? Moreover, it is that he also cannot understand. Good guy. There are dozens of vigilantes in their team ah. Uh, this group of drug traffickers do not want to die. This all dare to catch up, or strutting ready to enter the farm. Drug dealers, don't talk, said in a deep voice. Suemo quickly locked the leader of the other party. The middle-aged man named Brother How through the system notes. The other party had a gun in his hand. It was hard enough to survive the chaos. He could only think of a way to introduce this group of people into the farm and notify Captain Chen and the others to take action. A thought came to mind. Brother How. Suemo showed his teeth and smiled, lifting his pants while walking quickly out of the bracked field. Brother Nan was just talking about you guys. Why are you here? These words came out. Brother How and the others looked at each other in disbelief. One of their own? Craning their necks to look the other party up and down. The crowd really couldn't recall that there was this person in the drug trafficking team. However, the other party was able to call out Brother How and Brother Nan in one breath in such a dark night, so he was definitely one of their own. Seeing that the crowd didn't say anything, Pying, Suemo instantly hammered a youth next to him and said in a bad mood, What are you waiting for? Go go go. All go in. Nan and they are all hiding in that house. This place is just a janitor at night. Got killed by us. Go. The crowd was uncertain. Followed Suemo into the farm. All the way to the outside of the steel-framed pig pens that the farm owner had just warned against approaching. Nan and the others are probably asleep. I'll open the door. You guys go in first. Suemo reached out and twisted open the door while saying expressionlessly. The entire pig raising room was pitch black. Unable to reach out and see anything. The crowd looked at the black doorway. Their hearts were a little resistant. All of them are asleep inside. Seeing this, Suemo enthusiastically pulled how inside. Then waved at the crowd. Don't all be so outgoing. The entire inside of the farm is full of our people. They haven't eaten. Right? What's that? Brother Nan and the others are asleep in the innermost part. You guys call out to him. They haven't eaten yet. Right? I'll go and stew a pig's head for us. Standing in the doorway. Suemo smiled and finished. Immediately pushed Fatty. The two quickly walked out of the breeding room. Clang. Bringing the heavy door with him. He locked it by the way. Brother. Inside are all wild boars ah. Will it be alright? Fatty put his ears up and couldn't hear any sound inside. Couldn't help but ask with worry. Don't give the whole dead. Not dead. Suemo skimmed his lips and said in a bad mood. Inside the black cannot see anything. They cannot see the pig. The pig should not see them. Alright. Go. Hurry to call people. The two listen carefully again. To make sure that there is no sound coming out. This is busy running to the parlor. A few minutes later. Leaning on the sofa. Rubbing his eyes. Chen Dali's entire body was dumbfounded. Wait, you found a drug dealer at the door? It's not. A black light. How do you know that people are drug dealers? There are guns. There's a gun? Then how come you didn't hear a gunshot? Oops. Chen team. I saw the other side with the fat man pull out a gun. That dare to make a sound? Definitely do not dare ah. Can only think of ways to pretend to be Nan's people? To obtain the trust of the other side. Did not grow. This group of people to Nan really trust. Let me lead into the pigsty. This will be in the pigsty. This word came out. Even squatting on the ground Nan. Legs are directly split. Followed in the time. The boss of the farm but one by one introduced. That steel pig room inside. Can raise nearly 50 black wild boars? Male and female. Big and small have. How fierce are the wild boars in the farm? Nan had experienced it firsthand. How's group of people were tricked into wherever they were. And they still came out alive? Hiss. After Chendali heard this. His back teeth jerked and he really didn't know how to spit. The effort of peeing. This guy is alive again. Sometimes Chen Dali can't figure it out. Now really what kind of people can drug trafficking? Pig pen so big flavor. Really can not smell it? Can be cheated to where to go. His mom opened the door for him. And he arrived home. Quickly. Quickly. Go to call the boss of the farm. Pig pen should have monitoring. Hurry to see what is the situation inside now. A thought. Although the drug dealers all deserve to die. But. As a vigilante. Do not know is just. Since I know. Cannot stand by and watch a few drug dealers were wild boars hole. Chen Dali jumped up and shouted. And a group of people quickly rushed out of the parlor and ran to the kitchen in the back. After briefly explaining the situation to the boss of the farm, the other party immediately brought the crowd to the monitoring room. In the steel pig pen, there was indeed a surveillance installed. And there were quite a few of them. At the same time, Hal and the others groped the walls and sniffed the air. Always feeling that something was wrong. In particular, after personally feeling his way past a pigsty door, Brother Hao frowned tightly and reversed his position to feel again. Ma duh, don't go. Deceived. The one just now wasn't Xiao Nan's brother at all. This touch should be a pigsty. How many years did I raise pigs before I got into this line of work? 
I definitely won't make a mistake in touching it. It's a pigsty in here. Go back. Hurry up. Where's the gun? A moment to collapse the gate. When the crowd heard this, they immediately touched the side as well. Not to mention, what Howe said was exactly right. Touching it did look like a pigsty gate. Only the wooden one was replaced with an iron one. Hey, it's the pigsty. That's right. I've even touched the pig. One of the strong men bent down and reached out to touch on a black boar's brain, grabbing the pig's ears and shouting, Brother Howe, you have raised pigs for so many years. How is this? Still a pig's hair really long? No ah, uh, there are horns next to the pig's nose? Crap, what kind of pig is this? The crowd could not see where the other side was, and through the description, it was really inconceivable to imagine what kind of stuff this guy was talking about. Kata. Suddenly, just then, the lights of the entire steel pig room all turned on, blinding. Brother Howe and the others were blinded in a flash, closing their eyes at the same time. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. After opening his eyes, the burly man who had bent down and poked half of his body into the pig pen and was grabbing the large ears of a black boar, violently let out a scream. How? How? The wild boar. Here is raising a wild boar ah. Under the gaze of this wild boar in front of him, the strong man is a movement that does not dare to move, slowly loosening the ears of others, snapping a laugh. Pig brother, you go on sleeping. Go on sleeping. This ear is long and beautiful. Hair is long and big. Humph. With a low growl. All the black wild boars in the entire pig pen were as if they were rioting, roaring in unison. Open the door. Seeing this, even though the crowd had guns in their hands, they didn't dare to stay here any longer. Frantically, they ran towards the entrance of the pigsty and slapped the door. Brother Howe was also confused. He is raising live pigs yes, but, damn well never raised a wild boar ah. Especially, at a glance, all that poked their heads out of the pig pen were all dark and ferocious looking pig heads, not to mention how creepy it was. Clang. Just as several drug dealers were frantically banging on the gate, a sound of a steel frame breaking came. It wasn't big, but it was clear to the ears. The crowd's movements came to a halt and slowly turned around, only to see that a pig pen's iron gate had been smashed open, and there were seven or eight black wild boars of considerable size charging and running out wildly. Their dark hooves rubbed gently on the ground. Their eyes were murderous, staring at Brother Howe and the others. The look was as if it was about to charge. Quick, quick, get on me, Naya. Get on me. I'd rather be shot than run over by a pig. Don't pull me. My pants are falling off. Don't pull me. Let me get out of the way. The pigs are coming over. Brother how? Brother how? Your grandfather ah. You climbed so fast for what? Pull a brother ah. Brother how? Several people scrambled to climb to the doorframe. And the mournful screams kept echoing in the pig pen. Surveillance room. Looking at this scene, Chen Dali and the others were also bewildered. At the same time, they looked at the farm owner. The pigs ran out. Can the people still be saved? The farm owner shook his head. No. The pig pen door crashed. No one can go in. However, I these wild boars usually take a nap. This will be 11 p.m. Tomorrow after 12 p.m., the pigs will take a nap and will be able to open it then. When Su Mo heard this, he shut up decisively. Good guy. Meaning, these drug dealers inside have to hang on the door for 13 hours? Sinful ah. Right. Teen Chen. These few are also drug dealers. Does the security bureau have a bonus? There should be one for death, right? Chen Dali. Upon hearing this, everyone in the room was silent then, all looking at Su Mo with an incomprehensible look, especially Chen Dali. He was truly numb, completely unable to figure out. After catching so many drug dealers, how should the bonus application report be written when the time comes? It was this Su Mo again. After catching so many drug dealers before and after, Apart from the ones on the bounty that were clearly labeled as drug dealers, the rest of those, according to the rules of the Public Security Bureau, would also be given a portion of the bonus. After all, there are people who take the initiative to provide clues of drug dealers, thus allowing the Security Bureau to successfully arrest people. It is also considered to be a great fear for the people in addition. Not to mention, not only were the clues provided by SUMO, even the people were arrested by others. If they didn't give a bonus, would the security bureau be able to live with their conscience? Yes. According to the regulations, all the people who can provide real clues about drug dealers will receive varying cash rewards. When the many vigilantes heard this, they were in tears. Another stepping horse was earning bounties in front of them. It was still the drug dealer with the most bounty. Not only that, today's Su Mo is already a supernumerary of their security bureau, and while earning the bounty, he should also be able to earn commendations from above. And if things go on like this, it won't be long before this guy earns enough commendations to get transferred, right? If there is money to be taken, this group of people will probably be fine for a while. Boss, 
Where is the stewed pig's head? Is it ready yet? It's all starving to death. Suemo waved his hand indifferently and didn't even ask how much the reward was. He directly pushed the farm boss to the kitchen. Two hours later, everyone ate and drank enough, sent people to squat at the entrance of the breeding room and listened to the sounds inside. The rest of the people looked for a place to have a beautiful sleep, and through the live broadcast screen, although Chen Dali and the others didn't report that another group of drug dealers had been found, the General Security Bureau had already gotten the news from the live broadcast, and while the people were sleeping, they gathered a lot of manpower and rushed to the farm in the mountains at a rapid pace. On the speeding SUV, director of the General Security Bureau, Ning Fan, was sitting in the co-pilot seat, constantly pinching his brows. Ning Bureau, the portrait comparison came out. Now being held inside the pigsty this person, is always active in the Nandu borderline near the Hao brother. This guy is a big drug lord, easily will not show up. I did not expect, this time to be able to load in our Chindu. Once the news broke out, Nandu Drug Enforcement Administration is afraid to will immediately send people ah, a captain at the back, holding a tablet computer with the live camera inside the silhouette comparison for a long time, and finally nodded with certainty, softly said, if I remember correctly, in Nandu's anti-narcotics bounty, this brother how has a reward of half a million dollars, right? Too scary. One Yunnan is 300,000. The others, even if the last one was 50,000, that's almost 500,000. Plus this how, if I remember correctly, a few days ago, did the Cultural Relics Bureau still have a million dollar bounty that wasn't given to the Suemo? The people who can sit in this one car, the lowest level is a captain. In Chindu is also considered to have seen big waves. But now hearing this reward amount, a few people are completely nonchalant. How long has it been? Less than a week, right? From their security bureau already gleaned so much money? A full million? You know, the person was caught in their chin do, and this credit should also be chin do. So, the bounty money, naturally, should be the chin do security bureau out? Otherwise, the anti-drug department of other people's nandu can't wait to pay this money. Often active in the borderline drug lord ah, caught this kind of person. This is how big the honor. A mere half a million dollars is nothing. If you can interrogate the drug dealer's bank account outside the country, and finally recover the money, I'm afraid that a hundred five hundred thousand would be more than that. For that matter, Ning Fan knows all about it. Ning Fan knew it all too well. Don't look at the fact that we are all working for the country and are not in the same department, but there is the same competitive relationship. Such a big credit. Naturally, it could not be given to Nandu. How much money is left in the bounty that our General Security Bureau has in reserve right now? After lowering his head and pondering for a while, Ning Fan opened his mouth and asked, Before I came here, I purposely inquired about the money inside the account. There should still be more than $400,000. I'm afraid that it's not enough to pay Su and Mo the reward this time. The first captain returned with a complicated expression. There was a time when all of them had never thought that this bounty set up by the General Directorate would one day not have enough money. It was true that they had never seen someone like Su and Mo who was livestock to such an extent. It's too evil. Going anywhere can meet get a bounty case. The scope included, but not only human, even animals, cultural relics, bombs. These are in it. In short it is a sentence. As long as the money can come, this guy is the one who will not refuse. Hiss. The corner of Ning Fan's mouth twitched, gently rubbing his temples. Trouble. The reward money was actually not enough. They had only met to absorb Su Mo as a supernumerary. And in the future, even if they went out of Qin Du, the person they captured they, Qin Du, had the right to bring back. And regarding this, the crucial thing was the bounty money. No money, people a temporary worker, give you catch a hair ah. But the problem is, not to obey can not ah. A full week's work, perhaps at the beginning, Ning Fan and the others did not believe the extent of Sumo's evil. But by now, it is really unconvincing. God is really driving a digger to feed the food. Chen Dali's entire dozens of people couldn't catch more than one person from the other side. Moreover, there is the most important point. This is only in the territory of Qin Dua. It won't take long. Su Mo this guy is going to walk out of Qin Du, traveling to other places. In Qin Du can catch so many people. In other places must be the same ah. Loan. In the name of the General Administration of Public Security, go to the bank and take a loan first. First send out the bounty this time. As for the later. It seems that I also have to go to the top and talk to the leaders. Su Long, Ning Fan spoke in a low voice, and the crowd ended the conversation. Compared to the general administration of law and order that was preparing the loan, the program team had a much bigger headache, especially Director Sun. At this moment, looking at the several drug dealers inside the live broadcast room, hanging on the door, crying in pain, the whole person had been in a trance for several minutes. Director Sun, 
the General Security Bureau called just now. They've already rushed towards the mountains, asking if the head of our program group is following. At this time, the little girl who was responsible for the wiring opened her mouth to inquire in a very low voice from the side. Not going. Director Sun shook his head and refused without hesitation. What were they going for? Watch Suemo receive money? The program was run like this. He really didn't know what to do. Almost all of the traffic was gathered in Sumo's live broadcast, but what this guy was doing had nothing to do with Trekking Globe. Either he was arresting someone, or he was on his way to arrest someone, or he was on his way to collect the bounty. Wait until tomorrow to break the news that Suemo has arrested so many drug dealers. How many players would have to break down? No, you immediately contact Suemo in Chen Yanhong. Tomorrow morning, the program group personally send people to send them out of Chengdu. Must, by the way. To seek the views of all the contestants, agree with the program group to sue MO from out of Chengdu contestants. Each person rewarded 300 in cash, immediately issued. In the end, Sun Director helplessly made a decision. Chengdu this place is too evil, especially that mountain. It was at the risk of being scolded by people, saying whatever. The two sue MO had to be sent out of the Chengdu land tomorrow. He couldn't stay any longer. If he stayed any longer, he was really afraid that after the three-year program was over. These two guys would still be in Chengdu, Nandu, located in a small city near the borderline, in front of a motel. Any contestant who participated in the program group of trekking around the world had already come over the mountains of Chengdu and came here to recuperate. And one of the most important reasons was the need to earn enough money to be used for a week in this small town. This route was one of the more mountainous routes along the Nandu out of the mirror. And it was this route that most people chose. After all, climbing mountains was much easier than swimming in the sea. Crap. You guys hurry up and look at the message sent by the program. What does it mean? Isn't this cheating? The program team sent Su Mo out of Chengdu? Suddenly, a contestant crouching at the doorway, holding his photographer's cell phone, looked at the announcement released by the program group inside and exclaimed. At that moment, everyone's expression was slightly stunned, and they all joined the photographer, checking the announcement issued by the program group. Hiss. After reading the contents, everyone sucked in a breath of cool air. The program group actually didn't need Su Mo to go out of Chengdu by himself, and purposely sent someone to send out Chengdu. And, the announcement said very clearly that most of the contestants were consulted, and all of them unanimously decided to agree to this method. Why? I can't figure it out. Someone muttered breathlessly from the side. What else can't you think of? At this time, a middle-aged man next to him did not have the good sense to explain for the crowd. The program team asked me. Anyway, I agree. You all come from the other side. May not be clear about the degree of this Su Mo evil. Not bragging, I really saw with my own eyes. This guy is too evil. Nima, spicy bomb, are smoking sparks, he in order to bounty money. All dare take mineral water pouring bomb. On this, the last really did not explode. Let's put it this way. If the program group does not send this guy out of the Chin Du, I doubt ah, in the Chin Du that mountain. You believe it or not, Su Mo just grips the bounty of the security bureau can grips into the richest man in Chin do. Really, take the time to look at this guy's live broadcast more. Roughly calculated, this guy now like funds, almost have almost 2 million. You guys think about it, do not hurry to send this guy out. The program can still run? This words came out. Many of the contestants present, revealed expressions of surprise. Not everyone was paying attention to others at all times, and quite a few of them belonged to the type of burying their heads in the sand. That is to say, regardless of how others went about it. They themselves moved forward according to their own rhythm. And in the view of one type of person here, how could there be an animal like contestant like Su Mo? Walk around the world program prize money of 1 billion ah. You do not hurry to seize the time to walk. How to start on the road to get rich? It doesn't make sense. The problem is, people are really successful. Although the road did not walk much, but the money is really not less earned ah. Nearly 2 million trekking funds. May I ask? Is this Su Mo contestant a heifer mounting a motor and preparing to spiral into the sky? F asterisk CK. After someone carefully browsed through the hot search list, they stubbed their eyes and burst out a foul mouth, unable to stop themselves from exclaiming, Is this guy really a human being? Good guy. But any work that can get bounty is not spared ah. Digging for bums, looking for weapons and ammunition, digging for cultural relics, even drug dealers dare to catch? When the crowd heard this, they were speechless. Immediately, there were quite a few people who got up in a huff and walked towards the distant streets. Hey, what are you guys doing? What else can we do? People stepping horse funds have almost 2 million. Lousy which still have time to discuss with you here ah, uh, what can be discussed? Hurry to earn some meal money to prepare to go on the road. Otherwise, when people traveling progress to catch up with us,
but also compared to what ah, while there is still a distance advantage, desperately pulling this advantage ah, quite a few people heard this, and likewise rushed to their feet and flooded into the small town, frantically searching for work that could be done on a part-time basis, although Su Mo, the player, is very powerful in making money, but walking, is really not possible, all the way to make money will be delayed, the people feel that they just need to tighten their belts and always pull the distance, Sumo's threat to them is not as big as they think, in the end, hiking around the world is still about hiking, what's more, when they arrived in no man's land later, the competition could be survival skills, and money was not always good, at one time, the store owners in the entire small town were going crazy as they looked at the people who came to their doors looking for work one by one, what the hell, why somehow so many people came to their place to look for work, what place is suffering from a disaster, get lost, this is a shampoo room, what can a big man like you do? What are you doing here as a man? At the entrance of a barber store with pink lights, the boss's wife crossed her arms and furiously scolded several contestants out. A few people looked at each other and busily turned around to go to the next store again. There was no way out. In a moment's time, everyone was mad. The small town was this big, and there was only a limited amount of work that could be done. With so many people pouring in at once, the role was too much. Even the work of brushing dishes was now starting to line up. It's too scary. Early morning the following day, Nandu Highway Exit, the commercial vehicle printed with the logo of the program group of walking around the world slowly stopped at the side of the road. All right, get off. This time the situation is really special. There won't be a next time. Moreover, Su Moa, as the director of the program group, I solemnly warn you, enough money is enough. What is the original intention of our program group? Think about it. Catch up with the progress properly. Really, can't you see? Captain Chen of the Security Bureau looks at our program team in that way. Su Mo opened the car door and scratched his head in embarrassment. Okay, director, don't worry, Chin do that mountain, not me, is really too evil, with me it's okay ah, uh, from now on, you just watch it, fat man and I just bury our heads in the sand and rush, absolutely not so much to do, patting his chest to guarantee a sentence, Su Mo and Fatty stood on the side of the road, smiling and waving at the commercial vehicle. Witnessing the director and the others walked into the toll station. Brother, how do we go now? Find a place to land first. It's not easy to get out of Chindu. We have to plan the route properly. Muttering, the two of them walked along the side of the highway and started walking forward. Right. Also have to find an outdoor goods store. Lost so many things in the mountains. Rebuy a little. First find a bank. Withdraw some money and say. Two people are discussing. Crunch. A black rickshaw tricycle stopped in front of the two people. The dark-skinned tricycle driver grinned, pointed to the seat in the back and asked enthusiastically, Taking a ride? Cheap. 30 to the city. Su Mo looked at the tricycle driver from top to bottom and was about to wave his hand to refuse. The program group had stipulated it. The use of any transportation on the road was not allowed. And once used, the distance traveled would not be counted. However, this tricycle driver in front of him seems to have a billion-point problem ah, because the system prompt happened to ring out at this time. Name, Su Erniu. Gender, male. One of the members of the Nandu tricycle theft gang. Focusing on stealing cars for 30 years. Especially human tricycles. With wheels or without wheels. Steal them first. Twisted to the security bureau can get a bounty of 300 yuan. Su Mo licked the corner of his mouth. Looking at the tips given by the system. The whole person was even a little embarrassed. Walking $300 ah. Or their own up. What to think ah. Master. How did you know we were going to take the car? Just came down from the car. A look at your big bag. Iron must take a car ah. This place is in the suburbs. Just I want to go back to the city. Do not sit in my car. In this place can be difficult to hit the car. Also not expensive. Give 30 on it. How about it? Guaranteed to be delivered to the place. Sue Ernia looked at the two guys and said with some impatience. Today's luck is really good. Idle nothing when. Sneak to the suburbs to come. Did not think. Someone can be stupid to this point. Lock the tricycle on the pole. Then Su Ernie applied the lock, ready to ride the tricycle to the city to sell it to go. I didn't expect, just turned up from the lower road, and saw two people on the street. Anyway, being idle is also idle. Pulling on two people, can also earn 30 more? Why not? Okay. Su Mo nodded, jumped up on the tricycle with one strong step, sat down on the side, waved at the fat man, signaling the other party to come up as well. Crunch. However, after the fat man came up, the tricycle made a crunching sound, and the tires sank at a visible rate. Su Ernio stomped hard on the tricycle, and it didn't move. He couldn't help but look back at the fat man among the two and weakly asked, Bro, how heavy are you? 
around 180, the corner of Sue Ernie's mouth twitched, and he regretted it then, no wonder it couldn't be peddled, together with the luggage of two people, his own shouting price of 30, seems to be less ah, uh, master, things are heavier, so let's do it, add some money to you, how about 50, give us pull to the place, in two, Sue Ernie's mouth should be down, simply show teeth and stand up, the whole but not next to the seat stepping on the tricycle, just like that, the tricycle wobbled on its way, however, seeing this scene, the fans in the live broadcast room couldn't guess what was in Sumo's heart, and all of them quarreled in the live broadcast room, didn't the program group explicitly state that absolutely no transportation is allowed, brother Sue is breaking the rules, right, if you can ride a tricycle, good guy, don't forget, Sue has millions of dollars, completely able to hire someone and pedal a tricycle around the world ah, upstairs look is new to it, lousy put the words here, to Sue's urine, I do not even need to see, this tricycle driver absolutely have problems, otherwise, Sue that is what people, someone who wants money but not life, it's impossible to raise it from 30 to 50, I don't believe it, right, 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 I don't believe it either, let's all guess, this tricycle driver wouldn't be some kind of wanted criminal, right, then this is too tragic, pedaling a tricycle to turn himself in, what if brother Sue is wrong, he might really be a pedicab driver, he's so tanned, and he's quite skillful in pedaling a tricycle, he looks like a veteran, don't organize it, watch it and you'll understand, anyway, I don't believe brother Sue doesn't know the rules of the program, if you're not a criminal, you'll have to return to this place in the end, the distance you traveled doesn't count at all, is it hard to start the whole job again, I just like to see the whole job, what's the point of walking and stuff, discussion pop-ups floated across the screen like snowflakes, everyone discussed for a long time, although most of them felt that there was something fishy, but up to now, the rickshaw driver had behaved flat out, moreover, people pedaled really hard, along the way, the buttocks have never been next to the seat, how to look like an honest tricycle driver, Sue M.O., who was sitting at the back, looked at people's vigorous appearance, and the whole person was also confused, the system couldn't possibly be wrong, when did the thief who stole the tricycle work so hard, according to Sue Mo's past experience, all the thieves, most of them are lazy people, just to be able to eat a mouthful of easy meal, and then go to steal things, but in front of this Sue Ernie how to see is not like a habitual thief ah, with this kind of perseverance, what's wrong with doing something, master, can you go a little faster, I'll add another 20, to you, Sue M.O. thought about it and raised his head to say another sentence, Sue Ernie wiped the sweat from his forehead, panted and looked back, nodded without saying a word, another 20 more, this tricycle color is relatively new, sold to others, the minimum can sell a 300 or so, plus pull these two people's money, today's day is equal to earn 370 yuan, oneself really a big smart ah, however, there is a say one, tread horse pulling these two livestock, is really tired, if not for the fact that I held a urine in advance, it is difficult to pull these two people, originally up to 20 minutes of travel, now have run almost 40 minutes, not yet arrived in the city at, by the way, where are you guys, 5 more minutes and we're almost in town, you guys need to give me an address, wait ah, let me see, Suemo busily greeted Fatty and took out his cell phone, called up the map, checked where the nearest security bureau was, and after selecting a good location, this was the only time he pointed out the direction to the other party, master, no need to go to the city, see that road on the left, just go all the way to the end, yes, that's the road, trouble you ah, uh, if it's not possible, I'll add another 20, ah, uh, Su Ernie raised his head to look at the road sign, and his pedaling of the tricycle came to a screeching halt, if he remembered correctly, there seems to be a security bureau on this road, right, dare to go, however, the other party added another 20 yuan, a day will earn 390 yuan ah, are enough to go to the red house at night to have a good wave, moreover, the appearance of these two people at the back, how to see cannot be what plain clothes, at the very least, Su Ernie's impression was that he had never seen such inhuman plain clothes, he couldn't possibly let himself pedal a tricycle to turn himself in, could he, it was impossible, quickly, Su Ernie made up his mind, twisted the front of the tricycle, turned into a nearby road, crunch, 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 the tricycle wobbled, fast falling apart as it trudged forward, a few minutes later, there it is, looking up at the sign of the security bureau, Su Mo reached out and pointed inside the security bureau and whispered, right inside, ah, uh, no, no, that is the sheriff's station, how can I ride in, buddy, are you teasing me, pull you a trip is not easy, you will not want to renege on the debt, right, master, you said to pull to the place, this way, you pull to the door on it, 
how about it, to the door I money will give you. Su Emo pulled with the other party at the back without relenting. The two of them, one in the front and one in the back, red-faced and rough-necked quarreled. No, why are you unreasonable? Is it easy for me to pull you guys on this trip? My pants are all wet, and you still want to not pay? Why don't I pay? You haven't arrived at the place, how can I pay? Are you going to pay or not? Give ah, the last dozen meters. You pull a while ah. At the entrance of the security bureau, a security officer looked at the two people who were quarreling, frowned, and walked over quickly. What's going on here? Walked over to the magistrate reprimanded a sentence. Surprised to look at the two people. The heart how can not understand. Look at the appearance of the two people. Almost at the door to fight. How do you think ah? How dare you make trouble at the door of the sheriff's office? He does not give money. Su Ernie's heart did not mention how aggrieved he was, reaching out and lifting his pants. He cried, I'm a tricycle puller. From the highway intersection pulled these two people, said pull over to give 70 yuan, the results to the place. This person does not pay. You look at my pants, the two of them with baggage together. The whole time I was standing up pedaling tricycle. Buttocks do not dare to be next to the seat ah, it is not easy to pull the, do not pay. You judge, is it easy for me to earn some money? When the magistrate heard this, his face darkened. He looked at the two people who were still sitting on the tricycle. Good guy. There are really all kinds of people. People have stood up and pedaled the tricycle. The highway intersection is not short from here ah. All the way pedaling over is really not easy. On this, even dare not give money? Why not give money? Magistrate tone low questioning. He car stolen. Su Mo honestly answered. Su Ernie broke his defense on the spot. Turning his head with a red face and cursing angrily. Are you a human being? Stolen car what? The stolen car didn't pull you guys ah? Did I pull you all the way to the place? Stolen car. You can not pay ah? There's no justice in this world. Sheriff, don't you think they should pay? Besides, the car. Whom? Said. Su Ernio's face turned white, and he couldn't he say anymore. Mom yeah. Said exposed mouth. No. How does this guy know his tricycle is stolen? Turning his head. Su Ernia figured it out. Feelings behind this two people is intentional. From the beginning to the end did not even think to give money. Is running to let him pedal the bike to surrender. The bad, right? Really pants are wet. Not even if you don't give the money. You still want to send yourself in. Stolen? The sheriff was also confused. Showing his teeth, he looked at the two people in the car. Then at the tricycle driver who was still standing on the pedals. And seemed to understand in his heart. Come on, get down. Hold your head and squat. How did the tricycle get here? Pointing at Su Erniu, he said in a stern and angry voice, stolen from the ground. Su Erniu clasped his head with both hands and returned with a red face. This time, the fans in the live broadcast room were stunned. Unanimously, their eyes widened. It was really stolen? Crap. Why do I somewhat sympathize with this three-wheeled stealer? Brother Su is too inhuman, right? Obviously you can catch the other party on the spot and then notify the security bureau. Ah, uh, you have to let people pull the two of them over personally. Real dog ah, too doggy. However, this car thief is also stupid and pathetic. You say you have stolen a tricycle. Why do you still think of pulling people on the road? This is good. Right. People also pulled. They also went in. Really bull. I'm just concerned. Does the sheriff's office give any money? To Sue's temperament. Do not give money to the work. That is absolutely impossible to do. I guess there is also a bounty to take. Nandu Security Bureau's nightmare came. Ha 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 ha. Good out of the chin do. I heard that the Chindu General Security Bureau seems to go to the bank loan to go. I don't know if it's true or not. This is not the time that the Nandu Security Bureau headache? Come on. Come on. It's open. Let's just say. How long will it take for Sue to get out of Nandu? Will it be the same as Chindu? And in the end, if it wasn't for the program's hand, Brother Sue would have no hope of leaving Chindu in his life. This kind of money-making method, I really envy ah. No. I resign today forget it. I also go to try to go. People with people almost what ah, I do not believe it. Sue can do. Why I can not. Not to say more. A day can earn a 200 bounty. I am satisfied. Under the laughter in the live broadcast room, Sue Ernie along with Sue Mo and several others, were brought into the security bureau. After settling down in the office, Nandu security bureau Captain Han Shaodong warmly shook hands with Sue Mo and praised him. After interrogation. Good guy. Next door that Sue Ernie was not only a car thief but also a member of the Nandu car thief gang, Nandu mountainous roads, it can be said that every family will have a human tricycle, conveniently used to pull goods, this gang is focusing on this point, recently is crazy crime ah, the most excessive time, people an old man to lock the tricycle on the ground, just go in a toilet effort, 
Out later. Good guy. Tricycle just left the locked wheel. The rest of the parts. All gone. Thank you so much. The stealing tricycle gang in our south are very crazy crime. Catch a long time. Did not expect. Can be considered to catch a member. Han Xiaodong was all smiles. Su Mo and Fatty exchanged a glance and coincidentally looked at the wall clock. The time had already reached noon. It was almost time for mealtime, right? This is the bonus issued by our security bureau. It's not much. Only 300. Mainly also because this person is not the leader of the theft gang. If he is the leader, we offer a reward of 3000. You guys take it. By the way, you don't need to have a burden on your heart. We will definitely eliminate this gang of criminals as soon as possible. And will definitely not let the other side retaliate against you guys. And retaliate against us? Upon hearing this, Sumo's eyes lit up. Looking at this scene, Han Xiaodong's smile came to a screeching halt and his entire body was dumbfounded. Something wasn't right. How is it that looking at this youth in front of him, the moment he hears that the theft gang might retaliate, his eyes light up? Have a disease? So what? Captain Han right? You guys this noon tube meal? We just a request. Other all do not matter. Retaliation does not care. Is that? Eat a meal. Cannot give us two again sent to the highway toll station intersection to go. Ah, uh, send you back again? Han Xiaodong froze. Yes, send us back again. This, later we deal with the time is still long. Slowly you will understand. What? Cafeteria where is it? You are busy with your. Do not have to care about the two of us. A moment after eating. Give us to arrange for an individual to send over on it. Su Mo just like a familiar appearance. With the dumbfounded Captain Han said hello. Followed by a group of security officers ready to eat behind. Into the cafeteria. At the same time. Inside a scrap collection station in the suburbs. Right three. A few burly men with cigarettes in their mouths gathered around to fight a landlord. One of them blew the ashes of his cigarette. Looked down at the time and frowned. Where's Ernio? Didn't he say he was coming over to sell tricycles? The buyers have all come over. Where's his tricycle? Where did he go? Did he carry it? This is too slow. Go to the group to send a message to ask. See when to come over. Immediately there was a junior. Took out his cell phone and sent a message in the internal group. Soon. The junior brother put down his cell phone and shouted in exasperation. Brother, Ernie let the two traveling ones give point. This will all be sent to the security bureau. What? A group of people threw away their cards at that moment and stood up angrily. In Nandu. How dare someone point out their tricycle stealing gang? Don't want to mix? Who all saw it? A moment called over to ask. See if there is a picture. Martyr. Dare to point Lousy's people. Find. Must find out these two people. The strong man with a cigarette growled angrily. Nandu Highway Toll Gate. The toll collector looked at the two people who appeared in front of him again, poked half of his body out of the window and waved his hand vigorously. Take a car to the station. You can't stop a car here. Not taking a car. We're waiting for someone. Su Mo waved his hand, sat down with the fat man on the street tooth, took out the sign made at the security bureau from his bag, stood it in front of him, and kept surveying the passing vehicles. According to the intelligence obtained at the security bureau, the criminals nowadays are really too professional. There are gangs of tricycle thieves. Knock it off. Must be knocked off. Not only can we reap the cash rewards, but we can also complete the system mission. That's right. After sending that Sue Ernia to the security bureau, the less developed system in Sumo's mind once again released a new mission. Meet in Nandu mission. Successfully transfer the three-wheeler theft gang to the security bureau. Obtain a rich bounty and at the same time, announce to everyone that the free men are coming to Nandu. No matter whether they are criminals or the security bureau, they must be ready to complete the system mission. Reward, Master Locksmithing Technology. After reading the mission reward given by the system, Su Mo was confused for several minutes. Locksmith skills? The system is planning to stop him from being a human being in the future? Isn't locksmithing an essential skill for thieves? What's the use of giving it to him? Walking in the thief's way so that the thief has no way out? Isn't that too much of a show? Crunch. At this time, a cab stopped in front of the two. The driver lowered the window and raised an eyebrow at the two. Where to? Taking a car? No ride. Fatty shook his head and refused the driver's good intentions. Adding one more sentence before finishing. We're waiting for a tricycle. Not a cab. One sentence. To the driver master all said will not. Back to look at the highway intersection behind. And then look at the two people in front of him. The whole person dumbfounded. Brother. In this place can wait until the tricycle? Not. You guys from abroad. Right? Highway intersection ah. Uh, Tricycle is also not allowed to go on the highway ah. Besides, tricycle pulling people can be expensive it. I'm this hit the table. Childish. Never cheat customers. Come up. Is not to go to the city? Thank you ah master. We will wait for the tricycle. You go. 
Su Emo saw the cab driver's reluctant face, smiled back, sick, dropping a sentence, the cab driver obscurely closed the window and stepped on the gas, let go of a good cab not to sit, actually going to wait for a tricycle, this is not purely sick in the head, really do not go, cheap, to you two people count cheap, anyway, I also empty car back, what, get in the car, guaranteed to pull to the place, a few seconds later, the dark green cab backed up again, and the driver probed and shouted, empty car to go back is really a little too loose, can piggyback two people back, more or less can come back some gas money, master, really don't sit, hey, you two people interesting ah, only ride a tricycle, well said, two people just do not sit in a tricycle, cab driver pinched his eyebrows, simply pushed open the door and walked down, open more than 10 years of cab, what kind of passengers have not seen, is the kind of no money to ride, intends to pay for the meat of the girl, he has encountered, really the first time to meet dead to sit in a tricycle customers, it is difficult to, recently south have tricycles began to steal business with the cab, this can be tolerated, the first time I saw the car, I was in the middle of the car, I was in the middle of the car, I was in the middle of the car, I can't stand it, must ask clearly, two, old brother also drove a lot of years cab, the first time to see have to take a tricycle, besides, this place is remote in the suburbs, the tricycle pulling passengers cannot be pulled to this ah, you guys tell me, is it contacted the driver, tricycle driver, do you have contact information, let me see, I can tell you, our Nandu taxi company has a rule that prohibits human powered tricycles from carrying passengers on the road, if you catch one of them, you can get $200 from the cab company, this is robbing our business, oh, Suemo heard, isn't this a sleepy person sending a pillow? Catch a human tricycle hustler. And the cab company even awards money? Don't be anxious, big brother. Let me ask you, if this person stole the tricycle and then went to hustle, catching one like this, does your cab company also award money? Cab driver, question mark. Completely stumped by this question. Stealing a tricycle and then going to hustle? What kind of person can be so brainwashed to such an extent? Anyway, he hadn't come across it before. Taking a ride? When he was planning to ask the two people about the situation of tricycles carrying passengers, suddenly, across the road in the distance, several human tricycles appeared side by side, and a strong man in the first place waved his hand at this side. Going to the city no? Cheap. Go. Su Emo looked up at the other side of the pedal tricycle a few people, immediately carrying the bag, excitedly stood up. What Su Ernia said was really good. This tricycle stealing gang of theirs is very united. Sneaking out the news that two tourists had been sent to the security bureau, the rest of the brothers would definitely inquire about the situation and then come to the door to retaliate. And here they are, one of the people at the head of the group. There is even the leader of this tricycle stealing gang. Suemo broke his fingers and quietly counted. The ringleader security bureau rewarded three zero 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 dollars. One of the remaining car thieves rewarded three hundred dollars, and the cab driver alone rewarded two hundred dollars. The other party had a total of five people equivalent to this trip down, he could earn several thousand dollars, this business profit can be ah, master, we'll leave first ah, how comfortable the tricycle is to sit in, before leaving, Suemo pointed out to the cab driver that the other party is a theft gang, so don't follow them, or else it will be bad if something happens in the end, but in the ears of the cab driver, Suemo said words, that is not a clear provocation, can a pedicab be as comfortable as a cab, do you really think it's a convertible sports car, wait, do you know the rules? Chin do tricycles are not allowed to carry passengers. What are you doing? Get out of here. If you say one more word, I'll hammer you. Do you make the rules? Why can't tricycles carry passengers? If you dare to talk too much, I'll hammer you later. Sitting on the tricycle, dangling cigarette tricycle theft gang leader. Su Ernia's big brother Su Daniu, low spit a mouthful, viciously pointing at the cab driver, threatened a few sentences. Su Mo2 people will be welcomed to the tricycle. A group of people pulled the two people and rushed straight onto a side road. Crap, the cab driver was confused for a few seconds. Turning around, he ran to the front of the cab, picked up the intercom, pressed the intercom button, and angrily shouted inside, Who all is near the highway toll station? I am Lao Li. All hurry to come. Stepping horse, bumped into a few tricycles carrying passengers to rob business. Good guy, evil very ah, uh, but also to hit me it. Hurry to come people. That's right. Cab driver shook people. As we all know, no matter which city's cab drivers, that is united. One party is in trouble. Eight parties support. Soon, one voice after another, came from the intercom. F asterisk CK. It was only stipulated above that human tricycles are not allowed to carry people. Wait, brother will be there soon. 
What's going on? Still want to beat up people? Where did this group of people come from? So arrogant? I happen to be pulling my mother-in-law, once the provincial boxing team champion, now rush over, can still be bullish like this? Immediately too, five minutes, not a few minutes, in the highway toll station near the cab, Chi Chi raised the signboard of not picking up passengers, swarming to the old Lee's location convergence, the rugged path, Sudania was tired as hell, the sweat on his forehead was like rain, falling drop by drop, it was heavy, especially the fat man in the back, saying that he is all fat, only 180 pounds or something like that, he doesn't believe it at all, for this weight, he didn't sink this much when he stole two old sows in the village, no, big brother, where are you going to pull for us, I don't think I've told you the place yet, right, Suemo looked back at the several people pedaling the tricycle and following behind, reached out and patted Su Dania's shoulder, asking with some concern, you guys aren't any bad guys, right, I can tell you, in the morning, there is only a stomping tricycle, good guy, we obviously want to go to the city, I do not know how this guy thinks, hard to pull us to the sheriff's office to come to a surrender, you say we are wronged or not wronged, the people of the sheriff's department and sent us to the highway intersection, this tricycle of yours, it can't be stolen too, right, you guys can't turn yourselves in, right, fatty forced a smile and secretly gave Su Emo a thumbs up, to say it's not a person, it has to be brother Su, obviously you are the one who lured people to the security bureau, how come here, into people have to turn themselves in, if you let that Sue Ernie a herd, shall not cry to death, listen to the voice from behind, straighten the waist, stand up and pedal bicycle Sue Daniu, the corner of the mouth ruthlessly pumped, and did not answer, the brother of his own family, he understands very well, although the brain is a little less bright, but then stupid, that fucking also had degree ah, how can they steal a tricycle, and then ride to the security bureau to surrender, simply illogical ah, besides, obviously on the road there are brothers have seen, the second cow was pulling is these two people, there's no mistaking it, it must have been these two backpackers behind them that gave Ernie a point at the sheriff's office, no, we bought all the tricycles ourselves, don't worry, as for where you're going, this is the path, aren't you going to the city in the end, it's faster to walk here, Sudanio said without looking back, gritting his teeth, he strenuously pedaled the tricycle, the few brothers who followed behind, looking at the tricycle in front of them that was about to fall apart, a wave of admiration for big brother Sudanio suddenly rose in their hearts, in the end is the big brother, is not the same, tricycle wheel hubs are crooked, on this can pull to run, yes, but, these two people in the car are also really not something, Ernie was not just stealing a tricycle, as to give to send to the security bureau to go, I heard that Ernie pulled these two people, then on the road tired, pants are dripping, sink ah, just that fat, bullshit 180 pounds, 180 pounds can give tricycle pressure like this, then your brother as far as the whole time to stand up and pedal, inevitably not possible, a moment move are put bright, wait until the scrapyard, give these two people a good lesson, horse, in Nandu, in addition to those drug dealers, fraud, no one dares to provoke to do us to steal a tricycle it, a few people whispered, riding a tricycle to follow behind, is blearily watched big brother Sudaniu, pedaling tricycle over one after another steep slope, sometimes they are scared, afraid of the tricycle on the slope and then slip down, there is no way, it's just too heavy, I don't know what these two people have packed in their bags, it doesn't look big, how can it sink like this, all the way to no words, Sudaniu huffing and puffing stepped on the tricycle, halfway down the shoe fell off a, do not dare to stop and pick up, once stopped, I guess no longer pedal, however, soon to the scrapyard, victory is at hand, waiting for the purchase station, behind these two people, is a great ability, today also have to hate in the purchase station, we have to teach them a lesson they will never forget, the tricycle, is not that good to sit on, rest for a while, this is one of our relatives house, brother, really can't pedal, the crotch of the pants are almost rubbing out the sparks, really, you too this is also too heavy, what is loaded in the bag ah, wiping the sweat, Sudania jumped out of the car, patted the slightly trembling thighs, good words pointing to the scrapyard, let me have a drink of water, it's just that you guys also take a break, what, Suemo looked up at the sign of the scrap buying station, tricycle purchasing station, good fellow, really not avoiding it at all, specializing in tricycles, however, as for what the Su Daniu in front of him said about his relative's house, Su Mo did not believe it from the bottom of his heart, it was obvious that this scrap buying station was most likely the landing place of their gang, it may even be a place to sell stolen goods, any stolen tricycle, all sent here, replace the parts, add spray paint, another brand new tricycle, 
Sell it back to someone else if you can. Come back and steal it back to modify. Hiss. Perfect industry chain ah. Uh. Okay. It just so happens that we are also tired. Go in and have a seat. Sue M.O. grinned. Got out of the car with Fatty. And the two walked into the scrapyard. After walking in. It was a large open space. There were many tricycles dismantled into parts placed on the open space. There was even a device that looked like a processing plant assembly line next to it. This is. Oh. This is my relative processing tricycle. Collected a lot of scrap tricycles some parts can still be used. Can be grouped together anew. Increase income well. Now the society more volume ah. Uh, do not increase the income of the waste station cannot go on ah. Uh. Sudania cheerfully said a sentence. At the same time rushed a few henchmen winked. The other party understood. Immediately, one of them turned around and locked the door. The rest copied the steel rod on the ground with their hands and stared at the two suemo with a playful face. You guys. Hoomph. We what? I see that you two are really tired of living. Dare to send my brother to the security bureau. Today I say anything to make the two of you pay the price. Doing this business for so long, no one has ever dared to report us. Seeing the two people with blank faces, Sudania's heart did not mention how energized he was. Immediately licking the corners of his mouth, his eyes swept viciously, his tone gloomy. Do not say, today if you can come up with $50,000, a moment to let you two leave well. If you cannot come up, which part of the body is worth $50,000? Leave which? Can't discuss it? Suemo put down his bag on the side, looked up and said without seeing any panic. Negotiate a fart. Martyr. Is it easy to steal a tricycle? Tell me about you two. Are you human beings? Ah, brother Ernie pulled you guys, but there were brothers on the road who saw it. They were tired and rolled their eyes. You guys ended up sending people to the security bureau. Just ask you guys, won't your conscience hurt? Beat them. With a loud roar. Several people raised their steel rods and were about to rush up, pying. In the nick of time, the large iron gate was violently collapsed. Dozens of green cabs at the entrance opened their doors at the same time and walked down a group of cab drivers. The leader, oldly, reached out and pointed, shouting angrily, that s right, it's these dogs, not only want to rob our work, but also trampled ready to hit the old man, on, the ground to dry down, don't hurt the two guests, we are a serious cab company. What are we waiting for? Xiao Wang, your mother-in-law is not the provincial team champion? Copy guys on ah, did not wait for Su Danyu and others to return to their senses. They were flooded by a group of angry cab drivers. Nandu Security Bureau. Ning Fan looked down at Su Ernia's statement and was laying out the next tasks to a few vigilantes. This gang that stole the tricycles. Ah, over the recent period of time, it's been too rampant, completely ignoring our public security bureau. Moreover, this group of criminals is also very cunning. Through the interrogation of Su Erniu, we've only just realized that after stealing the tricycles, this group of people would disguise themselves as human tricycle drivers, thus escaping from being pursued and apprehended. Starting from tomorrow, let our people strictly investigate the rickshaw tricycles near the market. Once any abnormality is found, immediately bring them back to the security bureau for investigation. And then, just now the Su Erniu accounted for, their gang has a nest, is a scrap acquisition station. But, this guy mouth hard very, where the acquisition station is always asked out. A moment you notify the industry and commerce department, line up a listed buying station or what? Go visit once, sitting below a few people. Keep recording tomorrow's task with a pen. The theft of tricycle gangs, recently can be considered the biggest case they solved. It couldn't be helped. Although they were the security bureau, in a place like Nandu, many cases had specialized departments in charge. And in general, they merely played an assisting role, just like drug traffickers. For example, there was a specialized anti-drug squad in charge. Moreover, the drug traffickers ferocious degree. Their ordinary security officers are also very difficult to be each other's opponent. Often hardtop, may be counterproductive. As for murder and robbery cases, they are more or less related to drug traffickers in Nandu. Finally, there are only a few cases of fraud, or network fraud. For this aspect, not to mention their security bureau, even the departments above. On this new type of fraud, can come up with a solution is not much. Even many fraudsters, are hidden abroad. Apprehension is very difficult. Well, a moment all go down and get busy. Although it is a gang that steals tricycles. But, the above bonuses can still be. Especially the leader of the gang that steals tricycles. A full reward of $3,000. Whoever catches this person in advance, turn around and be sure to treat a dinner. I will personally apply for you for a certificate of appreciation down. The other criminals, one person also has a 200 bonus. All get on the ball. The crowd couldn't help but grin. Just needing to find out where the scrapyard was. 
this bonus could be said to be 80% already in hand. One criminal would have $200, the leader had a full 3,000, almost catching up to their one month's salary. When the crowd heard this, how could their hearts not be excited? Not only is there credit to be taken, there are also bonuses. What a good thing. Ding bell. Suddenly, the wired phone outside rang. The female vigilante in charge of the wiring picked up the phone with one hand and held a pen in the other, ready to take notes on the paper. But then she heard words that made her freeze, turning her head for help. She looked at Captain Ning Fan. Captain, what's wrong? Seeing this, Ning Fan quickly walked over and picked up the phone with a frown. Hello, this is the security bureau. I'm Captain Ning Fan of the security bureau. How can I help you? Soon, a somewhat familiar voice came from the other side of the phone. Captain Ning, I'm Su Moa. We've only met this morning ah. That's the one who rode a tricycle to give you guys a ride to turn yourself in. You even rewarded me with a few hundred dollars. Remember? Aha. Uh -huh. Ning Fan answered. In his heart, he had a deep impression of this person. Su Mo. After all, if it wasn't for this person, they wouldn't have been able to catch the main character of the tricycle theft gang. Those who could be caught later on were all attributed to the Su Mo in the final analysis. That what? I am now in the suburbs of a waste collection station. You hurry to pull people. I count ah. A total of seven tricycle thieves. Which there is also a morning that Su Ernio's big brother. Su Dinyo. Big mom. You give him two more hammers. Ask if it is called Su Daniyu. Ah ah ah. Well, well, my big mom yo. You gently ah. The teeth are chipped. Ning team. You listen to it? That's right. It's Su Dinyo. Annette. You see when your security bureau to come over to pull where? I will have something to do. Really? I will get the bank to get money to go. Lay people off work. You guys hurry up ah. Not far from the highway intersection of a scrapyard. Good to find. You see which intersection stops the most cabs. It is here. Hey. Big mom. Big lady. Take it easy. Take it easy. Can't take a barbell to smash. A moment to smash to death. Can hear out. The other end of the phone is very messy. Even non-stop screams come out. However. There was only one thing that Ning Fan couldn't figure out. Since it is a den of thieves. How can there still be a big mom? A big mom whose teeth can be hammered away. How fierce must she be? After hanging up the phone, Ning Fan froze for several seconds. Come on people. Immediately rushed to the highway toll intersection. To see what the situation is, the work at hand first put a release. The morning in the tricycle of the two guys guys. Seems to give people to steal tricycle gangs to the end of a pot. Hiss. Where these two people are? The speed is also too fast. We just finished the meeting. Over there people on the end of the end. Really fucking evil. Waving at the crowd. Ning Fan muttered and got into the car. Several vans from the security bureau quickly drove towards the highway toll intersection. Tricycle acquisition station. The iron gate was erected on the wall. Inside the courtyard. The atmosphere that was quite harmonious. Feelings are so ah, little brother. Really we misunderstood you. I didn't think. You were deliberately looking for this group of tricycle stealers. Isn't this a big water rushing to the Dragon King temple? A family doesn't recognize a family anymore? Cab driver Lolly kept shaking Sumo's hands and said with a big smile, since you've already notified the security bureau, there's nothing to do, a group of us will leave first, I'll leave this place to you guys, do we need little Wang's mother-in-law to stay? Upon hearing this, Sumo's whole body immediately hit a jolt and shook his head vigorously, no, no, big mother is worthy of being a provincial team champion, it's just a few tricycle thieves, it's a big deal, you guys go your way, we'll stay and watch over the people. The people from the security bureau are fast. It's going to be fine. If it was not seen with his own eyes. Suemo will never believe that a 50-something-year-old mom. Good guy. Rushed up the moment. Did not wait for Sudania to react. The mom jumped and flew over across the distance. Come up that is a back consequence strangle law. At that time to Sudania a hole rolled his eyes. When the rest of the people saw this. Could they stand it? Naturally. They came up to help. Next. Big mom for Suemo on a vivid UFC teaching class. What cross fixed? Fruit strangulation. Elbow strike. Knee hit. Really one after another demonstration again. Without waiting for the demonstration to finish. Several criminals who stole tricycles all lay down. Crawl cannot even crawl up. Shao Sua. Big mom that will go first. In the south of the city have something you just talk. Understand? Hey. Suemo busily answered and watched the many cab drivers leave. A side of fatty stood next to Suemo. Held back for a long time. Coldly came a sentence. Too bullish. Brother, you say if I can also marry a provincial team champion's wife in the future, then I won't be able to walk horizontally? Hmm. Su Mo nodded, pertinently expressing his approval. Yes, I also think you can walk horizontally. 
the daily beating you, can only crawl horizontally, okay, don't freeze, where is Su Daniu, oh, how is it swollen so big, looking back at the person lying on the ground, Su Mo could not help but let out a gasp, without remembering wrongly, just now the big mom also gave a hammer aw, the power is really horrible like this, the provincial team champion, is different, come come come, all get up and squat, Su Mo lightly dragged Su Daniu and the others up and settled under a corner, clapping his hands, the whole person then relaxed, having earned a few thousand dollars again, he simply couldn't spend it all, however, after these few days of signing in, although the fortunes didn't change much, every day was either a small auspicious or an evil, there were no major fluctuations, but the attributes given by signing in, Su Mo can personally feel that his body has really become stronger, take strength for example, the previous self, absolutely impossible like that big mom just now, a hammer can give a person a few broken teeth, but it was different now, when he dragged Su Daniu up just now, he took the opportunity to give the other party a punch as well, and broke open his mouth to take a look, he really broke a tooth, or the back slot tooth, fierce ah, how many days has it been since he signed in, if he continues to develop, one day, he will definitely be able to outlast that big mom just now, the physical quality has increased so much, walking 30 kilometers a day is absolutely no problem, after everything was settled, Su Mo and the two of them found a tricycle and sat down, quietly waiting for the security bureau to come, the group of tricycle thieves squatting in the corner, glanced at each other, the iron man, tears flowed, especially Su Daniu who woke up, heart do not mention how aggrieved, have not yet waited to react to it, the big mom came up either fruit strangulation or cannon fist, a meal output, directly to him to cry, remember, the last time he was beaten and cried, or when he was in the second grade of elementary school, unexpectedly, after so many years, once again was beaten to tears, or by a fifty-something years old aunt, the heart is aggrieved, blue thin shiitake mushrooms, everything returned to calm, and only gradually did the pop-ups in the live broadcast room become active, it can't be helped, everyone was startled by the big mom just now, Nandu was really tough ah, big mom that fist swinging, ordinary people really cannot be, in the future something to say, listen, people say this how atmospheric, strong strength is not ordinary, nonsense, the provincial team champion ah, this can be given for nothing, in front of the professional, not to mention car thieves, without weapons, is a murderer, that cannot be the opponent of the big mom, no one noticed, our brother Sue's hand seems to be a lot better, I remember the beginning of the time, an arrest first in the ground to find bricks, and now also dare to swing a fist on the strength is not small, how do I feel? Sue's strength seems to have become a lot of it? It's hard not to. Hiking the globe really exercise the body. But the problem is, Sue has not walked much until now ah. Not much exercise at all ah. Ha 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 ha. I am now a little bit looking forward to the expression of the Nandu Security Bureau that captain. A look at the captain's appearance. It is estimated that they have not paid attention to the news on the internet. Simply do not understand what our brother Sue. The next should be hard grips Nandu Security Bureau. Right? Chengdu Security Bureau Captain Chen Dali presented an airplane boost for contestant Su Mo. Message, grip, grip hard. Nandu Security Bureau Captain Ning Fan is too young, and now he hasn't realized the seriousness of the problem. Surprised big brother upstairs. LOL, our team Chen has a deep grudge against brother Su. After Chen Dali swiped an airplane, the atmosphere within the live broadcast room became even more joyful. However, all the old people within the live broadcast room almost understood in their hearts. Walking? In Sumo's eyes, there was no such option as walking. It's the whole life to catch people. Take the bounty this way. Moreover, this is Nandu Ah, part of the area next to the borderline of Nandu, next door to the country that is not a general mess. It can be said that the criminals in this place are much more than Chin Du. Everyone is guessing in their hearts. Less than a week's work, Suemo and Chin Du gathered nearly $2 million in bounty. Change to Nandu then. How to double it right? After all, this place issued a bounty wanted can be more than Chin Dua. Most importantly, nowadays, the security bureau of Nandu is obviously still not clear about Sumo's identity, which is very interesting. Program team. In the broadcasting hall, a group of staff members including Director Sun, the corners of their mouths twitched as they looked at the pop-up screens in the live broadcast room. 10,000 slots in their hearts didn't know how to spit. Sumo was really using his own strength to harden the walking around the world reality show and bring it off course. Even with the audience watching the live broadcast, now the focus is not how to survive in the wilderness. Who walks the furthest? Who can carry the most hunger? Who has the strongest perseverance? It has just turned into a program to catch people and make money. As for the hot search list, nowadays, 
The program group no longer pays attention to the hot search list. There is no need to look at it at all. The first 20 items are all sumos. No one wants to squeeze up. Those who want to be on the list of stars, all kinds of methods have been exhausted. Even the well-known singer Fong, in the past, released the news of the concert. Although it cannot get the first, at least it will be the second. But now not to mention the second. The 20th cannot come. Completely ruined. The entire hot search list can now be said to have been rounded up by their program group. Other people don't want to be on the list. Quickly, where is the program team's phone number? Hurry up and lock up Nandu's mailing address. But any phone calls from Nandu. Don't let any of them call in. Suddenly, director Sun suddenly thought of something. His face turned white as he rushed the technician and ordered. This thought Suemo this guy out of Chin Du. Not so evil. It seems that I am still too fucking young. Not Chin Du people that mountain evil. Is Suemo this guy is too evil. This Nima are past half a day. These two people equal to less than five steps. Now the record is still in the highway toll station exit road teeth. According to him this whole law. I think. Wait for us to finish this program. Not I return to the mountains. Otherwise, I have enough chances to dare to go out ah. Shall not let the people of the security bureau hate death? Don't believe you guys look at it. Not two days of effort. The Nandu security bureau of this Captain Ning fan. Immediately will be exactly the same as the then Shendali. Ironically have to find me. Upon hearing this. The crowd lowered their heads, forcing back their laughter. To say how director Sun was feeling right now, that was really painful and happy. Although hiking around the globe hadn't gone out of the Dragon Kingdom yet, but with a contestant like Su Mo, it was really the effect of the program that was directly pulling up all the stops, occupying all of the hot search lists. So it could be said that he had succeeded in planning this program, even if the success is a little off track, but it was still considered a success. As for the painful part, there was nothing more painful than Su Mo. This guy was too able to make a whole living. Take Chin Du for example. Now he really goes out with three layers inside and three layers outside. Afraid of being recognized by the security bureau. Once recognized, he will definitely be invited to the security bureau to drink tea for a few hours. Not to do anything else. Is to drink tea. Even the captain. Including a dozen people. Staring at him drinking tea. If they don't finish it, they won't be allowed to leave. It was obviously Su Mo who did it. Glean so much money from the security bureau. How come retribution fell on his head in the end? Hey, look, why is someone riding a tricycle in? At this time, someone exclaimed. The crowd was busy looking up. Sure enough, a dark, burly man, stepping on a miniature version of a pink tricycle, crunched his way into the scrapyard. Crunch, crunch, crunch. After the pink tricycle slowly and leisurely drove into the scrapyard, the dark and burly man sitting comfortably on top of it, rushed to the left side of a row of simple houses and shouted at the top of his voice. Danyo, brother Danyo, where's the man? Quickly come out to see. Today I get this tricycle how? Ha 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 ha, you are not seen. Good guy. Also do not know how this family thinks. To their own daughter painted a tricycle so small. Good looking. I took advantage of the little girl to go to the toilet. To ride back. See how much it's worth? It's small. But it's really good looking. Not. Not doing business today? Su Mo. Who heard the sound in the house. Licked the corner of his mouth and pushed open the door and walked out. Taking a look at the Han on the pink tricycle, he couldn't help but show his teeth and smile. I didn't expect that there would be an unexpected joy. There was one more person. Equal to another 200 bounty? Not bad. Not bad. Well, the tricycle looks okay. Push it over there. Suemo stroked his chin and pointed to the side, signaling the other party to push the tricycle over there. You are? Where is brother Dinyo? He's busy behind the house. You'll be able to see it in a moment. Push the cart over there first. Although the strong man was puzzled in his heart, he still pushed the tricycle over and placed it against the wall. Turning his head, he came over and rubbed his hands together and laughed. How much can you pay for this little tricycle? I pedaled more than 10 miles to get here, so you can't screw me over. Designated cannot pit you. Come, I let brother Dinyo personally calculate the money for you. Suemo nodded and led the opposite direction to the row of walls behind the house. Pung, 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 ah, subsequently. Dull fist sounds accompanied by miserable screams came. A few seconds later, the dark, burly man squatted honestly next to Su Daniu, holding a pair of panda eyes and not saying a word. How many people are in your gang? Su Mo squatted down and stared at Su Daniu and asked. Just the few of us. The battered Su Daniu. Now in his heart just one idea. The security bureau people come quickly. Hurry to him, and then do not go. If you let this animal in front of him in a moment to his teeth to hammer away. Too hard. I have never seen such. They are all characters running in society. At least have to speak a little morality. Hammer on hammer. 
Why or secretly hammer ah? After hammering, you still have to open your mouth to check if your teeth really fell out. Really tortured ah? Then this person is not your gang? Big brother. No, I'm really not in brother Dino's gang. I'm a retailer, working on my own. The tanned man immediately looked up to explain, squatting next to him and glancing at Su Danio's appearance. The darkened Hanyu immediately decided in his heart that he would answer honestly to whatever people asked, and definitely not lie. Good guy, didn't see to Su Danio beat up? Mother of the family don't recognize it? Face can be swollen into such, according to his guess, beat Su Danio's people. At least there must be more than 50. Otherwise, it could not be swollen into such. The brain door is big enough a circle. Look with the Taoist temple above the hands of the statue of the peach lifted like. Retailer? Suemo slowly nodded. His heart was probably clear. That is to say, Sudania's scrapyard is not only a den for stealing tricycles, but also a den for selling stolen goods. The tricycles stolen by the Nandu retailers would also be peddled here to sell the stolen goods. Thinking about this, a bold idea suddenly flashed through Sumo's mind. Although the retail tenants are retail tenants, they are also criminals who steal tricycles. So if they give it to the security bureau, there should be some rewards anyways, right? Do you retailers have contact with each other? Yes, we have groups. Ooh, you guys still have groups? Suemo was shocked, immediately put away all the cell phones of a few people, and persuaded in a pleasant manner. The crowd opened the lock screen of their phones, picked up Su Dania's cell phone, clicked on the chat software to take a look. Group name is quite inspirational. Get rich group. Lowering his head and thinking, Suemo used Su Dania's account and edited a message and sent it out. A stone stirred up a thousand waves. The dead group immediately became active. Su Dinyo, in order to give back to new and old brothers, this scrap collection station is holding a sell one cashback activity. Within today, anyone who can sell a tricycle in this scrap collection station, in addition to being able to participate in the raffle, another cashback of 100 yuan cash, with no ceiling. After this sentence was sent out, the group brushed the screen. Big bull brother bull. Wait for me. F asterisk CK. Just got my hands on one. It's a bit far from you. I'll stomp over now. Victory intersection there is no brother in. Come over to give a hand. Three tricycles. I fucking one person pedal over ah. Sold the cash back to you. Looking at the active atmosphere in the group. Suemo nodded with satisfaction. From this, it could be seen. Sudania's reputation was still quite good within the tricycle stealing industry. Good guy. The farthest one. A hundred kilometers away from here. Just this are willing to pedal over to support the scene. What to say today also have to wait for this person. Not for anything else. Human tricycle ah. People pedal hundreds of kilometers. Have to be tired into what kind? In any case, it must be sent to the security bureau to rest. After making up his mind, Suemo simply made an acquisition of tricycle cashback sign. Pulling the fat man will be tables and chairs and benches dragged out of the door. In front of the door while basking in the sun. While waiting for the arrival of these retailers. Do not say. Cashback activity is really powerful. Not five minutes of effort. The first retailer riding a tricycle came. Locking the tricycle. After Suemo gave three cannon fists, the other party also honestly squatted beside Sudaniu. Alas, bumped into a ruthless person. Looking at the crowd's drooping appearance, Sudaniu sighed long and lamented in a small voice. Half an hour later, several cars from the security bureau roared over from the dirt road. They stopped at the open space in front of the scrapyard. Ningfan pushed open the door and jumped down with a healthy step. The rest of the people followed closely behind. With a grave expression, they glanced at the scrapyard, and their gazes coincidentally converged on the two people sitting at the door. After taking a look at the sign leaning against the table, everyone was dumbfounded in unison. Cashback? Cashback for selling tricycles? In his entire life, Ningfan had never heard of such an outrageous activity. Hiss. You too. Where's the gang that stole the tricycle? Not being able to think carefully. Ning Fan quickly ran over with a group of people. Captain Ning, right? All inside it. You guys advanced into the yard. Let me see ah. This person has arrived on the path. Immediately come over. You guys advanced into the yard. Don't be found. Suemo looked down at his cell phone and greeted the people and advanced into the yard. He himself probed and looked at the path in the other direction. He only saw a tricycle wobbling up the slope. And busily and warmly greeted him. It's the group's Zhang right? Come on. Come on. Fast enough ah. More than 10 kilometers of road. Less than half an hour to pedal to the, at a glance is a master. Come in come in, are waiting for you inside. Under the other party's astonished gaze, Suemo had a laugh and welcomed the person into the courtyard. Hiss. The moment he walked in, Zhang, who had stepped over a dozen kilometers, looked at the dozen or so vigilantes in the courtyard, and his entire body was dumbfounded. 
When Ning Fan and the others turned around and looked at the dozens of people dragged out from the back of the house, and then looked at this person Su Mo let in again, they were similarly dumbfounded. It's too magical, right? Where did they get so many tricycle thieves? Inside the scrapyard, there are 30 people squatting on the open space. Everyone drooped their heads, a look of hopelessness. Among them, there were quite a few people who glared angrily at Su Daniu in front of them. Selling tricycles for cash back? That's it? Ma da. To them to fool over. Not only cash back activities did not see. Everyone received a three gun punch. And now by the security bureau control. Go and at least have to step on the sewing machine for half a year. Su Daniu is too pitiful. Anyone else? Ning Fan looked at so many thieving children who stole tricycles and asked this young man named Su Mo next to him with a considerable headache. At the same time, with a hateful face, he swept his eyes at the team members he brought with him. All look. Someone else, a tourist who came to Nandu, was able to come up with this kind of method to wipe out the gang of tricycle thieves. What about you guys? You're all professionals. How come you can't come up with this kind of solution? There should be one more person, a bit far from here. I guess it's almost dark when they come over. Su Emo lowered his head to send a message with Su Dania's cell phone and raised his head to reply. There's one more person? Then let's do it this way. These people we first all bring back. Here to stay two people on duty. As for you. Also with us to return to the security bureau to assist in the work. Hearing again to follow the return to the security bureau. Su Mo Hart is 10,000 reluctant. Ride in the car and follow back. A moment will not still have to send them both over? Team Ning. Quietly pulling the other party's clothes. Su Mo scratched his head and awkwardly said. Can I not go back with you to assist in the work? I think. There's nothing to assist. It's just a record of how these people were found. Do you think this is okay? Everyone is quite busy. Really? I really need to go to the bank in a while to withdraw money, and then late if it is too late. And then, in the morning, you said catch a tricycle thief, the security bureau reward 200 yuan. This counts? Does the retailer also count? You do not need to count. I have counted. Sudania words is rewarded 3000, right. The rest of the people are 200 ahead, a total of 29 people. The last one did not arrive is not counted. This is, 8800 yuan. This money, you see the sheriff's bureau is now to give the cash, or go back to the play card? Ning Fan froze, his brain buzzing, looking at Su Mo with a face full of disbelief. He saw the other party blinking and looking at him, pinching a bank card in his hand. The heart seemed to understand something. Crap, the feelings that this guy could wipe out the tricycle theft gang was not a chance event at all. It was just running to get the bounty, right? It was indeed correct for the security bureau to reward a tricycle thief with 200 yuan. But the problem is, no one would have thought that it would be possible to catch so many people at once, had a sentence. When the crowd heard this, they stifled their laughter and pulled out their wallets, and at the same time, their hearts were filled with curiosity about that Su Mo who was not far away. I have seen powerful, but really have not seen powerful into this, making money from the security bureau, absolutely unique. In the past, which one of the people with a bounty, not by chance to find the trail of criminals, like this Su Mo, take the initiative to find criminals really is unique. At the very least, all of them in the Nandu Security Bureau had never stumbled upon this situation. A few minutes later, here, this is a reward of $5,800. You count it. Su Mo accepted the money with embarrassment and commented pertinently. Team Ning, you're really creditworthy. Nandu Security Bureau is different. Right. If there's nothing else, the two of us will leave first. I'll leave the rest to you guys. There's still the last person. Don't forget to arrange for someone to wait. Well, Let's go. Let's go. Ning Fan waved his hand impatiently. His heart was full of mixed feelings. There was always a feeling in his heart that he had been ruthlessly gripped by the other party. It seems that, in the future, this kind of action of what to catch a person to reward 200, absolutely can't have it again. One time let the Su Mo give education. Good guy. Bring the person in the morning. In one day, in their sheriff S bureau made a big several thousand dollars. Who can top that? The money that was supposed to replace the computer was all gripped away by this kid. Rumble. Suddenly, a tractor roar came from the doorway. Pying. A strong man with a tiger's back. Jumped down with one strong step. Dragged down a tricycle from the tractor. Didn't lift his head. And roared at the door. Where's Su Daniu? I've had enough today. Haven't I? Horses. Hundreds of kilometers ah. In order to give you to support the scene. I specially hired a tractor to pull to me. You cash back activities reliable or not, the fare can be reimbursed not? I head up, looked at the dozen or so vigilantes who came out from the door. The strong man blinked in confusion and froze in place. Okay, don't unload it, your big cow brother is waiting for you inside. I said so, 
hundreds of kilometers how to pedal so fast, dare to hire a car to come ah, Suemo waved his hand, couldn't help but joke, turning his head, he handed the person over to a group of vigilantes, Ning team, this person's bonus is even, that what, we will go first ah, after saying that, he hurriedly pulled the fat man towards the path, as for opening his mouth for people to send, didn't you see that Captain Ning's eyes were red? How is it good to let people send again? Behind him, the strong man who hired the car to come, after seeing so many peers squatting in the yard, the whole person collapsed, jumped up and cursed, a few vigilantes could not pull. Su Din Yo, lousy with you to fight, you tread horse as a person? I took a tractor to come ah, all the way did not dare to stop a bit, just to give you a show, you just lie to me ah, sheriff, I want to report, this Su Dania steel tricycle before but also stole the village's old sow, I can testify, that night I followed the, Su Daniu, I'm not finished with you, what is that, tractor master people are innocent, you who is not to give people fair reported ah, Su Daniu lowered his head and said nothing, regret ah, had I known that the damn people are so fierce, he had a brain cramp and went to report what revenge, this is good now, the word of mouth blew up, and when he came out later, Nandu couldn't stay any longer, the other side, after walking for nearly half an hour or so, Su Mo and the two of them came to the highway toll gate again. Raising his head, he looked at the toll collector inside the window. The other party rubbed his eyes vigorously, his face full of surprise. What the hell? How did these two people come back again? Toll station entrance. The afterglow of the setting sun was reflected on Su Mo and the two of them. Brother, when are we leaving? Fatty rubbed his stomach and asked weakly. Rest a bit more. Just walked over. Today may be enough to fetch money. But, well earned another 5,800, a moment after entering the city, brother to you to arrange, the night to live in a big hotel, Su Mo said with a smile, since there is money, naturally, it is impossible to sleep on the street, although it is participating in the program, he does not want to think of other players as well, that is, there is money in the pocket, the night cannot afford to live in a hotel or something, even a steamed bun, have to break into three pieces, divided into three days to eat, this is to participate in the program? This is not properly suffering to come? This is still in the country. Once out of the dragon country, many places will be even worse environment. Then still live? Naturally, when you can enjoy it, you have to enjoy it desperately. Anyway, according to the system free man this setting, as long as the courage to enlarge, every day can earn a lot of money. Brother, I rare you like this. Atmosphere. I give you. I Chen Yanhong is also a man. Not good to change. Or else. This life I'll be with you fixed you. Brother, you see this okay? After finally taking the bounty, I will first go to surgery. Stop. Suemo was busy stopping the fat man. Good guy. This still want to follow himself for life. At least take a look at your own conditions. The looks of the first let alone. Is really shabby enough? A smile even the fucking eyeballs cannot see. This is the amount of food. Suemo think he can not top. That is now participating in activities. Every day through the system can earn enough money. Otherwise, according to the amount of fat show off rice, sooner or later have to give him to eat bankruptcy. Meatloaf can do a dozen in one meal. Finally that night, people farm boss stewed a pig's head, we all a piece before nibbling. Look up, on the table, there is only the skeleton of the pig's head left. The rest, were all finished by the fat man to show off. Thoughts brother received, surgery and what not. Forget it, brother can't carry it, really can't carry it. Okay, don't waste time hurry up and get on the road, one day, the two of us can say that we haven't taken a step, tonight we have to walk to the city by all means, getting up, the two people refueled each other, carrying the traveling bag ready to go on the road, however, just after walking out a few meters, boom, a deafening explosion came violently from behind, Sumo's movements were stunned and he quickly turned back, only to see a heavy truck loaded with goods, crashed head on into the stone pillars of the toll station entrance, and rolling smoke began to rise, Miserable screams continued. Countless employees of the toll station, with terrified expressions, ran out. F asterisk CK. Go over and take a look. It was too late to have any hesitation. Su Mo dropped his bag and ran towards the highway toll station with Fatty in a desperate manner. At this moment, under the gray smoke, the fans who stayed in the live broadcast room, stood up unanimously, looking at the figure of the two people running wildly in the past, a heart involuntarily hung in their throats. Crap. So dangerous. What is Sue running over for? Hurry to notify the fire department. What is this big truck pulling inside? Why is it smoking all the time? It can't be anything flammable or explosive, right? 
Brother Sue must have gone there to save people? Can't you see there are several toll collectors trapped inside the toll window? Why can't he go over there to save them before the fire starts? I think Sue is good. Participate in the program is right. But, can lend a helping hand in the case? How can you turn a blind eye? Are all people in the dragon country? Can save naturally have to save? There is no bonus. I'm willing to pay my own money. Don't talk nonsense. Sue people are still very upright. But, saving people is indeed a little dangerous. But don't start a fire. I was wrong. Say it out not afraid of everyone laughing. Just heard the sound. I thought Sue brother and fat man will leave directly. Did not think. It is I stepped on the horse's too small man. Fire. Fire. Pulled a gas tank? Crouching. A car of gas canisters? Finished ah. In a burst of flames rose. Rushing up dozens of meters into the sky. Instantly dying the surrounding scenery all red. Everyone stared at the horrifying scene with wide eyes. Their minds going blank. The entire heavy truck was filled with all gas tanks one after another. Once it exploded, how shocking would the power be? The crowd didn't dare to think about it any further. Quickly save the people. The person in charge of the toll station, looking at the toll window that was about to be engulfed with red eyes, gritted his teeth and rushed over. Pying. Just. A figure in the distance. Rushed horizontally from the opposite side to the front of the window. Not far from this figure, there was actually a fat man holding a video camera recording. Seeing this scene, the person in charge's entire body was confused. Not, this which ran out of the person, how to carry a video with them. However, although it feels a little strange, but, can see that the other party is really saving people. Can it come out? Suemo gritted his teeth, looked back at the big truck that was on fire, and shouted at the top of his voice to this little girl inside the window. It's you. Chu Yao's face was bloodless, and she instantly recognized who this person in front of her was. It was no one else. It was none other than one of those two people who kept appearing outside this window of hers. No, the door is locked. The key is broken inside. Is there a needle? Give me one. Suemo probed and looked. Sure enough, a key was broken in the lock cylinder inside. Ah, needle? Yes, give me the needle. I have a way to open the door. Hurry up. The fire will burn over soon. Chuyao's body shook, busy looking down in the drawer for a needle. Soon, a staple was handed out. It's too short. It's impossible to open. Really? Moreover, the lock core is broken dead. This situation. She didn't wait for her words to finish. The door opened. This youth standing in the doorway, without saying a word, pulled up her hand and ran wildly towards the distance in a desperate manner. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else inside? Suemo panted heavily, straightened up and asked with a frown. Where's that truck driver? Where is he? Are the gas canisters empty or filled with gas? If they are filled with gas, people must be evacuated immediately. The truck driver? These words came out. Everyone's expression froze slightly. And only then did they realize that just now, they only cared about escaping, and completely failed to notice if the truck driver was still trapped in the truck. Seeing the situation, Sumo's heart thumped, busy turning his head to look, only to see that under the broken windshield of the big truck, there seemed to be a person unconscious on the seat, who, took a deep breath, Suemo took a look at today's fortune, Shao Ji, there shouldn't be any danger if it's little Yoshi, right, with a thought, under the astonished eyes of the crowd, Suemo turned around and waved his hand, all of you back off, back off a few dozen meters more, after saying that, without hesitation, he ran towards the big truck, and at this moment, in the rear compartment of the big truck, a blazing fire had already ignited, a long way away from each other, one could feel the scorching temperature, scorching heat, all the people's faces were reflected into red, everyone looked at Su Mo who ran towards the location of the burning truck in a daze, their palms clenched tightly together, their fingertips pinched white, what kind of person is this, the person in charge of the toll station's expression moved and murmured softly, tourist, Xu Yao on one side immediately spoke back, when I went to work in the morning, I bumped into these two people, carrying big bags and small bags, Looking like they came to our Nandu to travel. But, these two people seem to have gotten lost. Walked for a whole day. And finally came to our toll station entrance again. Although the heart does not understand. Two big men. How can they get lost for a whole day? But, in the moment of crisis. Can come forward. Risking so much to save people. Chu Yao admire two people from the bottom of her heart. Only one thing I can't understand. A person rushed in even if. How the fat man with the camera. Also followed into the fire inside? So professional? How long does the fire department have? Five minutes at most before they arrive. Hearing this, the crowd's heart couldn't help but clench up. Five minutes? Now that the fire was already burning, although the crowd had been evacuated, but the back of the big truck was pulling all the gas canisters, 
so whether there was any gas inside or not, no one was sure except for the truck driver, in case there really is, once an explosion occurs, I'm afraid the entire highway intersection toll station will be gone, rush again, can people be saved, crowd back up again, must save this truck driver out, whether it's really pulling full of flammable gas is crucial, the head of the toll station said worriedly, his eyes dead set on the two figures in the distance, it must be rescued, the truck must be full of empty canisters, the rest of them didn't say anything, similarly, they were silently praying in their hearts, if it exploded, the entire highway toll station would cease to exist, and by then, the loss would be too great, if they were empty tanks, the loss would still be within acceptable limits, a time, countless gazes converged in front of the truck, Suemo with Fatty, brother, what to do, hurry up ah, a moment to roast me, Fatty red-faced, yelling at the top of his voice, is there money to be taken for saving people, f asterisk ck, the fire is so big, save the people, say what also have to treat us both to show off a good meal right, the corner of Sumo's mouth twitched, and he came to the vicinity of the car door at fire speed, reached out and tugged at the door under the depression, and found that no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't yank the door open, to know, he had signed in for so long that his own strength was already not low, it was all capable of holding a small 200 pound fat man for a few dozen meters, with this, he couldn't even yank the car door open, what the hell, can't open it, Fatty was also anxious at the side and kept stomping his feet. Take off your pants. Suddenly, Suemo turned around violently, took a look at the exposed belt on Fatty's waist, and shouted in an undoubted tone. What? Fatty's entire body was confused. Quickly, give me the belt. I can open the car door. Speed. I am sweatpants. No belt. Just you have. You nama. People a moment to save out. Dazzle rice. Barbecue crayfish beer. Swish. As soon as I heard this a fat a pair of eyes are straight, simply did not even unbuckle the belt, one hand tugged the pants, a strip to the bottom, bending down and pulling out the belt, handing it to Su Mo at the same time, he also came over and observed the situation of the truck driver inside through the glass, I'll compensate you with a new one in a while, Su Mo snapped the belt, shoved the metal in front into the truck's lock hole, twisted it back and forth, and yanked the door open with a fierce yank, tow people, hissing, he yanked the truck driver by the collar and dragged the other out of the car. Quick, drag him out first. Seeing that the fire was getting bigger and bigger, the two didn't dare to make any stops. Su Mo dragged the truck driver and ran wildly in front of him, while Fatty held the camera in one hand and lifted his own pants with the other hand, and ran desperately towards the outside. People saved. Good job. These two people are really good ah. Thank God. Hurry to wake up the truck driver. Ask the gas tank pulled inside the car there is no gas. Kow wow. The fire department has not yet come. People are all saved out. These two people really bully. Say what we toll station also have to give people reward ah. The crowd was busy welcoming up. Handing water. Wiping sweat of the sweat. Just for fatty pants for the little girl. All of a sudden came to three. Call someone first. The person in charge shook the truck driver and shouted with a red face. Is the injury too severe? How come you can't wake up? All get out of the way. Seeing this, Suemo breathlessly pushed the other party away thinking that being so gentle, not to mention that people are fainted, even if they're asleep, you'll have a hard enough time waking them up, however, this is not even a matter, after walking with Fatty for such a long time, on the method of waking people up, Su Mo felt that if he dared to call himself second, absolutely no one would dare to call himself first, who has paper, saying back, Xu Yao immediately pulled out a few tissues and handed them over, then, the crowd watched with dumbfounded faces as this youth on the ground slowly rolled up the paper and stuffed the truck driver's nose respectively. Immediately afterward, both hands covered the other person's mouth with death. I thought this would be the end, but it wasn't. The fat man holding the camera on the side, at this time also squatted down, in the truck driver's ear next to the non-stop sneer. Your wife is mine, your son is also mine. Not only sleep with your wife, but also beat your son, can you bear it? Can't bear it still don't hurry to wake up, still not awake? Put. Sure enough, the words just finished, the truck driver violently opened his eyes, his eyes full of fear. Miso jumped up from the ground, dreaming, treading horse, scared to death old man, just say well, when did he marry his wife, even his son has, good guy, it turned out to be a dream, snap, Su Mo stood up and gave a big force pocket, showing his teeth, hoping that you fell asleep driving, you stalled, hurry up and say. Those gas cans you pulled in your car are filled up or not? Are they empty or full? You give people toll booths have collapsed. Do you know? Sleeping and driving. You are much more serious than drunk driving. Hurry up and think about it. Is it empty or full inside? 
The crowd looked at the truck driver's appearance and hated his heart. Fell asleep? Driving such a big truck? Traveling on the highway? Actually dared to fall asleep? At the thought of this, all the toll collectors at the toll station couldn't help but feel a pang of fear in their hearts. Fortunately they had crashed into the pillar. Otherwise, once they crashed into the toll window, could they all survive? Hiss, I remembered. Remembered. How I fell asleep on the horse. Inside the gas canisters are empty. Just two are full. The rest are empty. The truck driver looked back and the whole person froze. Sitting on his butt, he cried and wailed. I'm too tired. I really didn't mean to fall asleep. It's over. It's over. It's over? I have to go into jail. Right? Ma duh. I haven't married my wife yet. Suemo glanced at this guy, turned his head to the person in charge of the toll station, and pointed to Fatty's hand that was carrying his pants in a serious manner. You are the person in charge of the toll station, right? Then what? Reward even if. A moment you probably still have to deal with the scene. But, belt how to report to us, right? Toll station in charge, question mark. Don't go. Today thanks to you too. The belt is nothing. Say what can't go. Must properly thank thank you. Yes. And me. The crying truck driver also raised his head, tugging at Su M O with a grateful face. Luckily you guys saved me ah. Uh. Otherwise, I guess it's bad enough. I admit when I made a mistake. But, you guys can't leave. Before I go in, I have to thank and thank you guys anyways. A few minutes later, several fire engines whistled. Down the firefighters did not say anything. Quickly began to extinguish the fire. Not only that, even the sheriff's department arrived. The truck driver was brought under control on the spot. However, the people from the security bureau looked at the fat and thin two people in front of them, and their expressions were quite wonderful. Oh, Team Ning, that what? Is really fateful ha, huh? meet again. Su Mo awkwardly greeted. It's quite fateful. Ning Fan pursed his lips and nodded expressionlessly. Could there be no fate? Within a day, this was the third time we bumped into each other, right? It was too much fate. Early in the morning, these two people had lured the tricycle theft criminals to pull them to the security bureau and had thought that this would be the end of it. I didn't realize that it was only in the afternoon that the gang of thieves had been wiped out. Money also took. Shouldn't it have stopped? This is good. Do not arrest people. Change the courage to save people. Ning Fan really do not understand. These two people really travel to Nandu? Nowadays, for those who are traveling, are all the journeys on the road so colorful? Brother Shao Su. At this time, the person in charge of the highway toll station ran down from a car in the distance, and without a second thought, he pulled Sumo's hand and shoved an envelope over, excitedly saying, don't refuse, just now you also said, you two are in a hurry, this is a little bit of my personal feelings, the money is not much, but you must accept it, really, to be honest, if it wasn't for you two stepping forward, it's impossible for our toll station employees to evacuate so fast, in case someone really has an accident, I as the person in charge can't absolve myself from the blame, what's more, in the end, the trucker was also rescued by you, out. It's a blessing that he's fine. Be sure to accept it. Buy a good belt for our fat brother. Seven pie wolves. Thank you so much. I still have a job here. Otherwise, what to say also have to treat you two to a good meal. Really. Thank you. The other party's enthusiastic appearance. The whole Suemo is a little embarrassed. However, touching the thickness of the envelope, it feels that at the very least there must be more than $2,000. Buying a seven pearly wolves belt is more than enough. Even the night's barbecue crayfish is also enough. Then, I'll take it. Be sure to take it. Ning Fan, who was on the side, stared at the envelope in Sumo's hand, and his whole body was bad. Making money again? Not. Is it so evil today? It wasn't enough to make so much money from their security bureau, but to make so much from other people's toll booths? When was it possible to make money like this? Here it comes. Here it comes. It's this expression. Here Chindu Security Bureau Chen Dali. Chen Team. This expression you look familiar? Ha 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 ha. This captain of Nandu people are also stupid. Do not ask. Su make money the way is so wild. Indeed should give some affordable rewards. Light verbal rewards have no use ah. Or money is the most real. If it is not Su rushed in at the last moment. The last toll girl enough to save out. Once the accident. The toll station this person in charge of the dry to the end. Brothers. Don't forget. This is only the first day ah. Can say. Nowadays Nandu's security bureau are afraid to remember brother Su. Right? Is there really no one who watches the live broadcast? Still don't understand Brother Sue's identity by now? It's better if you don't understand. Isn't this more exciting? Right right right. Do not know the identity is really good. But, the problem came ah, the day will soon be dark. Sue two people to now still in the highway intersection toll station it, 
tonight can still walk to the city? According to past experience, I estimate that it is enough to be difficult. The body of the natural disaster is so horrible. Where to go where something happens? The fans in the live broadcast room, looking at the expression on the face of the captain of the Nandu Security Bureau, started to snicker in the live broadcast room. This expression was too familiar to them. When they thought about Captain Chen Dali of the Chengdu Security Bureau, wasn't this the same expression at the very beginning? From bewilderment to shock, and then to the final lifeless numbness. Now it looked. Nandu, this security bureau captain, still had a long way to go in the future. After all, this is only the first day of Sumo's arrival in Nandu, and he hasn't officially started the whole job yet. Clang. Clang. Just after Su Mo and his two men finished assisting the security bureau at the scene and were ready to leave. Suddenly, on the main road behind them, there was an ear-piercing scuffling sound. Brothers, wait, wait. Su Mo and his two men turned around and looked at the truck driver who was rushing over accompanied by a few sheriff's deputies with a puzzled face. I have to go in. As soon as he came over, the truck driver threw two brand new gas canisters in front of the two men and teased. However, the man's words absolutely count. Just now I pulled out in my pocket. Cash is not much, but also all ripped. Brother ah, old brother is not the kind of ungrateful person. The grace of life saving. Ah, what to say also have to repay you. But this goodbye. I do not know when I will be able to see you again. Today if I do not thank you. Go and I step on the sewing machine is not at ease ah. Come on. There's really nothing else to give. These two gas canisters you take. Are new. Not the back of the truck. In the cab. Must be received ah. More will not say. All thanks. Gaga thanks ah. Go ah. Finished. People were led by a few vigilantes to the car. Leaving Su Mo two people in the wind messy. Looking down at the two gas canisters on the ground. Su Mo and Fatty exchanged glances and were both dumbfounded. Hiss. Brother. This brother is a bit interesting ah. Too much horse temperament. How do you think ah. We have to walk to the city. I just asked. At least 15 kilometers away ah. He gave us two gas canisters. How to go ah. How can we carry them. Fatty's hands were trembling slightly as he carried his pants. It's too scary. Carrying gas canisters for 15 kilometers. How long does this have to go on? Hey hey. Not. Brother. The good intentions we appreciate. You take the gas canisters back ah. I de nima ah. You fucking this is to thank me? You give me two gas cans. How can I do? Reacted Su Mo. Busy rushing to the distant start of the security bureau van waving. Shouting at the top of his voice. Su brother. Chen brother. Ga just thank you. Don't send it. The truck driver poked his head out. Waved his hand. And pursed his lips in emotion. Take a look. Really good people ah. Saved his life not even willing to accept two gas cans. In today's society, there aren't many such kind-hearted people. Shouted back, violently pulled the window closed. Cannot look at it anymore? If you look at it anymore, the fierce man will fall into tears. Although the gas canister is not worth money, but it is all his heart. Say anything must let brother Sue accept. The car is gradually moving away. Sue M.O. stood in place. Furious, jumped up and cursed. After a long time, highway intersection leading to the city on the main road. A fat and a thin two-people youth. Body hung full of luggage. Shoulders respectively carrying a brand new gas canister. Walking hard. Chin Du Security Bureau. The security room on the side of the main entrance. Master Chin leaned back in his recliner. Squinted at Chen Dali next to him. Smashed his mouth twice. And instantly transformed into an old Ian and young man. Turning on the mocking mode. Alas. Dali ah. You say I brought so many disciples back then. Now only you are still the captain of the security bureau. Right? Everyone else has become a director. You say you're not too old. Why don't you have some awareness? You have to branch up ah. That is the master I'm old. Otherwise, there is Su Mo this kind of player in. Within a year, if you can't sit on the director, you this is designated as a little bit of intelligence problem ah. That what? Your old aunt is in the hospital psychiatry it. Or not. Tomorrow morning you go to check check it? I look at you sad people. Eating are not good. Chen vigorously lowered his head. Did not say a word. What can I say? What can I say? This master of his own year is also considered to be the Chin Du Security Bureau within the ringing a person. Do things, just like the Monkey King stepped on the wind and firewheel. Where to go where the sparks? The top boss alone. Let the old master sent away several. I, you what you, I see you on the bed are difficult. What eyes ah? Chin Monkler outlet online glared in a bad mood, sighed a long sigh, and said in a serious tone. You've watched today's broadcast, right? What do you think? Speaking of this, Chen Dali did have some feelings in his heart. This Su Mo is indeed evil. If not personally contacted, I really think that this guy is not hanging. Have not seen such an evil person. Just like, 
With those criminals rushing to let him catch, a void cannot be avoided. I want to kick you to death. Jean Monkler outlet store stared at his eyes and growled. That's what you feel? Go go go. Your life captain is at the end of the line. I kind of see. You press is not lack of heart. You have no heart. M. Chen Dali, question mark. Speak well. Why still curse? Captain don't want some face? Master. Then I'm not a poor learner? Besides, all day is too busy ah. Which have time to pay attention to so much ah. Come here. I'll give you a good analysis. Master Qin took a deep breath. Pointed to the live broadcast screen on the table. And analyzed it head on. You see? Nowadays the Nandu Security Bureau is not clear about Su Mo's identity. But, the heat is so high. It will immediately understand what Su Mo is. And at that time, how do you think Nandu will react? Just Ning Fan his father that urination. Exactly the same as when I was young. Ironically, he will try to do everything to make Su Mo a supernumerary as well. However, fortunately we started early. Now Su Mo is a supernumerary of our Qin Du Security Bureau, right? Hasn't the contract been signed? The program team also agreed, right? Chen Dali nodded, thinking that he could not agree? Isn't that what you said? Nothing to go to the program group to hang around. Once you run into that sun director, no matter what reason, even if it is a parking violation will do. Say whatever you have to bring back and watch the other party drink tea. This is not, even drink a few days, people finally agreed ah. Then what are you waiting for? Why are you still staying in Chindu? Your team members have all dried up to Nandu. You stay in Chindu to cook na? As the captain of the security bureau, you're relieved that you're not following along personally ah? Seeing that Chindali hadn't realized what the problem was, Grandpa Chin really hated it. If you ask me, doesn't the Chindu Security Bureau still have two deputy captains nowadays? You hand over the work to them. You will drive the car and follow Su Mo from a long distance. Once you catch any nationally wanted criminals, what to do? Do you understand in your heart? Aha. Uh -huh. If he said so, Chen Dali understood in his heart. Isn't it just going to rob Nandu's credit? But is this really good? Would the Nandu have an opinion? You don't need to care if Nandu will have an opinion. Are you stupid? Su Mo arrested someone. Won't you secretly drag them to the Chindu territory and arrest them again? Nationally wanted criminals. Where do people run? Who can manage? Besides, above the leadership of the loan. No, the loan is nonsense. The security bureau is subordinate to the state. Lack of money? No lack. It is Su Mo again can catch. Award how much money also award up. The important thing is merit. Merit understand? The first thing you need to do is to get your hands dirty. In today's society, not to mention their work as security guards, even as a waiter in a restaurant that are all rolled up in blood. If you don't fight for yourself, when will you be able to get ahead? When will the Chin Du Security Bureau emerge in the country? Su Mo this guy evil degree, is an opportunity ah. As for the Nandu Security Bureau, maybe after they knew Su Mo's identity, they would do something even more outrageous than them. As long as they could catch criminals, catch big criminals, without violating discipline, whoever caught more would show their face at the top, and the more resources they would get. Look ha. Huh? In just a few days of work, although the top scolded you every time, but did the sheriff's department's car change for you? Did they buy you a new computer? Don't you understand? I scolded you because I love you. These days, there's no more bounty applications. So did they scold you? I don't even look at you. Don't understand. You quickly give me a roll to the second hospital. Take a good look at this brain of yours. Finished. Chin Monkler outlet online pointed to the cup on the table. Go and pour me a cup of water. Really? My daughter was really brain kicked by a donkey back then. How can I follow you? To teach can not be taught? Froze what? Hurry up and bring it over. Chen Dali busy get up. Respectfully handed over the teacup. At the same time in the heart also thought carefully. Father-in-law Chin said right. The small case is also even. Since Su Mo is their Chin do security bureau people. That catch the nationally wanted criminals. Naturally belong to their Chin do catch. That's right. Lao Zi Mousi has been enlightened. After thinking about it. Chen Dali hurriedly walked out of the concierge and rushed into the office to start packing things, watching the other party go. Master Chin spat out a mouthful of tea froth and shook his head breathlessly. This IQ, do not watch the gate is really a pity. Let you secretly follow. Naturally have to follow the reason. Not long. Su Mo this guy but out of the country. Foreign countries are not compared to the domestic. There is no one to support. Can become? And, with this kid's piss, in foreign countries also arrest people if. TSK TSK, this can be too much fun. Saying that, Grandpa Chin grinned, incomparably looking forward to when Su Mo would step out of the foreign country. To know, the place that is far from Nandu. In recent years, there is no less scourge of the people of the Dragon Kingdom. Fraud, karma waste, drug trafficking, 
The Scourge can be the people of the Dragon Kingdom. So far, there are still a lot of people who are tricked into going over there and engaging in criminal activities. And this, is also one of the reasons why he let Chindali secretly follow Suemo2 people. At the same time, Midnight, Nandu, a lively food street, Clang, Clang, the owner of the barbecue stall looked at the two gas canisters in front of him. The whole person was quite confused. Boss, come to two gas canisters of barbecue meat. Horse, exhausted me, this way to carry me. Waist cannot straighten. Fatty sat on the chair with a big grin, pointing at the two gas canisters and shouted at the barbecue boss. Don't bake more ah, just two gas canisters. The surrounding diners, looking at the two gas canisters in front of them, coincidentally raised their heads and looked at the two people sitting at a table. There were whispers. See, I told you, this barbecue tastes good. It's just not normal, right? See, these two people carried their own gas tanks here just to eat some barbecue meat. What a fight. This is the person who really loves to eat. TSK, TSK, TSK. First time I've heard of grilling two gas cans. How does this count? Ha 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 ha. The boss is probably confused. Two gas canisters can sell how much money? How much can two gas cans sell for? Just bake them for how much? The little girl in charge of ordering, this time holding the menu, standing in front of Suemo, looking at the two gas canisters, the brain is buzzing straight, turned back to look at the boss for help. How can I order? These two people just brought two gas canisters over. What if they order more and don't pay in the end? Little brother, these two gas cans have no way to point out. And, I have not sold gas cans. This thing can be worth how much money? I really do not know. That what? We can also pay by cell phone. There is no cash. If you can the gas canisters will be carried back to you in a while. The boss handed the roast meat in his hand to the person next to him and came over with a smile on his face. Do we look like people with cell phones? Hearing that the gas canisters still have to be carried back. Suemo broke his defense on the spot. From the intersection of the highway to carry a full 15 kilometers over. You let us carry where to go? When they stay at the hotel, people will see that they have carried two gas canisters, so they will report it to the security bureau. Those who don't know, would think that they are preparing to go to the Yellow Springs together at night. Ah, uh, a sentence to the barbecue boss said it won't happen. Let's do it this way then. Two gas cans and a 150 piece roast for you guys. Is that okay? Two beers. Fatty reminded in time from the side. Shang, two beers. The boss nodded in turn to walk into the store. I've seen oddballs. I've never seen such an oddball, carrying two gas tanks over to eat barbecue. What was the idea? The thing is, there's a guy with a video camera, visiting the store? Take out yesterday's skewered meat and grill it for these two later, and see if there's any expired beer, and bring it up to these two. Is this okay? Yesterday's meat can be a bit. The waiter in the back kitchen pursed his lips and carefully reminded. It's okay, on a bit of technology, who can eat it out? All day long to sell still less? Also did not see people eat out. The boss waved his hand, obviously not taking it seriously. Nowadays, open a barbecue stall. The cost of how much ah, alone labor every day is quite a lot of money. The rest of the meat, it is hard not to throw it away? Waste is shameful. Freeze it for a night. Use technology to process it tomorrow, and you can still sell it to others. Moreover, the whole food street, his family barbecue meat business is the best, is a certain reason. He has a secret recipe ah, anyone who eats the barbecue meat here. Go back and think about it. Have to drool. Outside. Alas. You're not. How did you guys also come here? Chu Yao and his family sat on the next stall table. Side face glanced. Eyes froze. Incredulous blinked. Got up and quickly walked over. Enthusiastically greeted with Su Mo2 people. You guys eat barbecue ah. Do you want to go to our table? It just so happens that I don't have time to thank you during the day. My treat. Go to our table. Su Mo looked up. Finding that it was the little girl who charged at the highway intersection during the day, she smiled and waved her hand. No need. We ordered. And. No need to thank us. It's all due. Then. Can we put together a table? Chu Yao turned back and waved at her family, carefully asking a mouthful. It's okay. Sit down. Immediately. Chu Yao's parents walked over with a few elders of the family, thanking the two gratefully. Just now. Their daughter was saying that if it wasn't for those two traveling people during the day, she was afraid that she would be in danger. And as the family listened, they couldn't mention how scared they were in their hearts. I didn't expect. Fate is so wonderful. A turn of the head effort. The daughter actually found the two people next door. The benefactor of life. I have to thank them tonight. A group of people are talking and laughing. Talking happily. Not long after. The roasted meat that Su Mo and the two asked for was brought up. All eat. All eat. Don't be polite. Greeting the crowd with a smile. 
Suemo picked up a skewer of roasted meat and just handed it to his mouth, when suddenly his movements were stunned. Today's sign-in has been refreshed. Does the host sign in? Looks like it's a new day. It's possible to sign in again. Sign in. Suemo muttered in his heart. Signing in is successful. Today's portion fortune, great evil omen. Avoid gathering, riding in a car. Marriage, appropriate to enter the earth. Strength plus two, taste plus one, face value plus one. Suemo, who had just opened his mouth, looked blankly at the fortune in his mind and froze. Great fortune? Crap, why would it be a great fortune? There were so many jinxes. And, what's the most outrageous thing? What the hell is it appropriate to enter the earth? Meaning, is it appropriate for him to be buried tonight? It's out of line. The last few points of attributes added are good. Again, strength. And, for the first time, Suemo also knows that the system signing in ability can actually increase the face value. Isn't this where the Hikikomori generation comes in? Gulp. Swallowing his saliva, Suemo placed the roasted meat on a plate and secretly tugged on the fat man who was frantically showing off his rice on the side. Eat slower. Eat slower. Wipe your mouth. Looking for you for something. What? Fatty slammed a glass of beer and looked up with a grumble. The barbecue in this house is really flavorful. It's so delicious. It felt like two gas cans of barbecue simply wasn't enough to show off. However, the money was all in Sue's place, so if it didn't work out in a while, there would be another ten gas cans of roast pork. He he. Seeing Chu Yao's family's gaze is all thrown over. Sue Mo smiled sarcastically, pulled Fatty to twist his head and asked in a low voice, Hurry up and eat. After eating let's hurry up and go. Within five minutes must go. Understand? Jealousy gathering ah. Ghost knows what terrible things will happen. Nowadays. Suemo was quite convinced of the system's fortune telling. Accurate batch. Right. Look at my face again. Has anything changed? Fatty shook his head. What's changed? Didn't you feel that it has become handsome? Suemo dragged the other party and disliked his face to only two centimeters away from the fat man at once. Take a good look. Brother. In my heart. You've always been the most handsome. There's a change. I can't see it. Fatty said from the heart. M. The ambiguous appearance of the two people. It made the Chuyao family sitting next to them. It was quite embarrassing. One of them, a middle-aged woman, quietly pulled her own daughter, Chu Yao, with a rather complicated expression, said, So what? Are you done eating? Finished? Let's hurry home. Don't think about it. Don't you see? You want to be the third party? Or to two men as a third party? Mom said nothing to agree. People. These two young men. Hiss. One look is true love ah. Chu Yao froze and nodded her head. Her own mother did not say. She also saw it. It is indeed true love. Under the public, the two hooked shoulders, face to face, whispering, don't mention how ambiguous it is. Especially that Su Mo. From time to time, he would also raise an eyebrow at Fatty and smile. You kid really has a vision. Listen. Mom. Goosebumps were rising. Chu Yao could never have imagined. No matter what. That one day, she could be stuffed with a mouthful of dog food by two big men. Sinful ah. Brother. You're not eating this meat, right? It's all cold. The two men muttered for a while before turning around. Fatty looked at the roasted meat on the plate, picked it up with his hand, and without waiting for Su Mo to open his mouth, he showed his teeth and bit into his mouth. Crunch. A toothsome sound came out. Ah, Fatty's entire body was bad. Busy lowered his head and spit into the plate. Su Mo came over to take a look and was instantly on fire. Boss. Boss. Immediately shouted angrily. Shouted the boss over and said in a bad tone. We ordered roast lamb, right? Yeah, how's the flavor? It's not that I'm bragging, on the whole street, just our family's roasted meat has the best flavor. After eating a meal, keep wanting this flavor every day. The boss smiled and nodded, obviously quite confident in his secret recipe. Can you not be confident? Since using this secret recipe, once a month could only earn a few thousand dollars at most. But nowadays, the least amount of money a day would be more than 10,000. In less than a year's time, the garage he replaced the new. Everyday diners are endless. Oh, I don't know about the flavor. I just want to ask you. I ordered roast lamb, right? Then you take a good look. Can you tell me? Roast lamb inside. Where is the chicken bone? Look, is this a chicken bone? The moment these words came out, not only did the boss's face suddenly change, Shuya's family also put down the roasted meat in their hands and frowned at the plate on the table. As expected, there was what looked like a bone from a chicken breast, mixed in with some roasted meat. How can that be? My store uses genuine lamb meat. You must be looking at it wrong. How could there be a chicken bone? Besides, can chicken meat taste the same as lamb meat? You guys have tasted the meat. Does it taste like lamb? Looking down at the chicken bones on the plate, the boss's face sank and he defended in a cold voice. 
He even went so far as to inquire at the diners at the next few tables. All of you ordered mutton as well. You guys also say if it tastes like mutton? The rest of the people looked this way, especially when they saw the two gas canisters by the table. An intriguing expression surfaced on many people's faces. Young man, not me to say you. This barbecue restaurant has been opened for more than a year. We often come to eat. We have never stumbled upon any chicken bone situation. And, the two of you, one of you is still carrying a camera. It cannot be intentionally come to eat for nothing, right? So, then I seem to understand. From the beginning to carry a gas canister over. I feel wrong. Which people have nothing to do. Carrying a gas canister on the street. Maybe the chicken bones are the two of them to put their own. Boss don't worry. We are old customers. Eight here in your how many times. The taste is really no say. There will not be a problem. Can not really. If you can't, report it to the security bureau. We'll testify for you. Yes. 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 These two people just embraced together. Whispered and muttered for so long. And smiled sinisterly. Maybe they are looking for a way. Listening to the crowd's murmurs. Suemo sucked in a breath of cool air. Successfully provoked by this boss. The chicken bone he had watched the fat man spit it out with his own eyes. How could this be fake? As for carrying a gas canister. Wasn't that thinking about getting out as early as possible? Okay. Report it to the security bureau. We'll wait here. Right. Give me another 100 roasted beef. 100 chicken wings. 100 mutton. 100 sheep waste. Narrowing his eyes. Suemo took out a stack of money from his pocket and slapped it on the desktop, saying in a deep voice, It's not that there's no money. There's plenty of money. Roast meat. Okay. Roast for you. The boss gritted his teeth, picked up the money and instructed the employee at the side to call the sheriff's office to report it, and turned around and walked towards the back kitchen. Bring out today's meat. For real. And roast it for these two. Hoof. Call the sheriff's department? Through here. He could tell that these two were definitely not intentionally looking for trouble just ordinary people. Otherwise, they wouldn't even be confused about the department. Food safety issues, this doesn't belong to the Law and Order Bureau, but the Food Safety Bureau, non-professionals, that is, into his back kitchen, cannot see any clues, dare to use this approach, naturally have long thought of countermeasures. Therefore, the boss was emboldened from the bottom of his heart. Outside, Suemo didn't say a word, quietly waiting for the staff from the nearby security bureau to come. As for Fatty next to him, he was still showing off his rice with his head down. Chicken bones were eaten inside the mutton. Obviously this guy didn't put it in his eyes. No matter what was eaten in, what was sent out in the end was the same anyway. Doesn't matter. All right, stop eating. You'll be eating your way into the hospital in a while. Seeing that this guy was still madly showing off the roasted meat, Suemo interrupted the fat man in no good mood and looked back with a gloomy expression. Only to see that the barbecue boss was still really on the stove and started to roast meat for him. The mission isn't coming yet? Since it was a great evil omen, there was a high chance that the system would release a quest, knowing that the skewer of roasted meat just now was supposed to be his to eat, and it was the fat man who grabbed it with his quick eyes. The thought had just flashed through his mind. The system prompt sounded. System task release, as a hiking globe trotter, the other side with chicken meat pretending to be lamb, is a provocation to you, is a person cannot tolerate. Investigate the reasons behind the barbecue store business explosion. Exposure of low-quality barbecue meat technology ruthless work. The task is successful. You can get the Food Safety Bureau Cash Reward 5. 000 Yuan Hole. The system is attached to the gift. Barbecue book recipe. The task fails. Dazzle finished. 30 pounds of low-quality barbecue meat. High hospital 3-month treatment. Looking at the task released by the system. Suemo acted quite calmly. Technology ruthless work? What the hell? Never even heard of it. However, since the system could say this. It meant that there was definitely something wrong with this barbecue restaurant. It was just hard to be discovered. Then again, there was another point. It seemed that the wrong department had been notified. Food safety really didn't seem to be under the jurisdiction of the security bureau. It's you two again? Suddenly, Ning Fan led the two team members down from the car and stood by the table. Looking at these two people in front of him, he really wouldn't be able to do it at all. People said that it took 10. Zero 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 times of looking back in the previous life to exchange for a single encounter in this life. Good guy. In one day, he met four times. What did he do in his previous life? Look at this guy called Suemo. Eyes blind? Otherwise, how could it be so coincidental that today, in one day, a total of four times went out, and every time was related to this person? What have you stumbled upon again? Ning Fan let out a long sigh, swept a glance at the barbecue restaurant in front of him, and asked helplessly. First, Suemo stood up with a grave face and a sincere expression. 
first bowing deeply at Captain Ning before speaking with full apologies. I have to apologize to you. Really, Captain Ning, listen to my explanation. I also found out. Really damn evil. So late. How is it still you on duty? And then, I reported the wrong department. By the way, where do you have the phone number of the Food Safety Bureau? Can you give a call? I want to report. This barbecue restaurant is a whole life store. Selling is not at all what serious barbecue meat. Do not believe you can taste. Barbecue lamb inside the chicken bones. This is not a lie? Boss, where is the boss? Have some eyesight. Hurry up and give Team Ning a handful of roasted lamb with chicken bones. Quick order the drops. Finished speaking. Suemo rather inhumanly turned back and winked at the clueless barbecue store owner. Little bastard. I have acquaintances in the security bureau, and I've seen them four times a day. Let's ask you if you're afraid. Ha! Huh? Seeing that this guy Suemo had a nose for what he said, Ning Fan simply waved at the boss, and after calling the other party over, he narrowed his eyes and questioned. Seal up the raw materials in your back kitchen first. You two follow in and watch. I'll notify the Food Safety Bureau to come over now. Although food safety does not belong to the jurisdiction of the security bureau. But, if the merchants really give the lamb inside mixed with chicken, this belongs to the category of costing, obtaining a huge profit. It can be characterized as a criminal act. However, whether it is true or not, everything still has to wait for the food safety bureau to come to say. The owner of the barbecue store glared resentfully at Suemo, gritted his teeth and nodded, leading the two vigilantes into the store. Fortunately, some of the raw materials had already been put away and it was hard to find out without careful inspection. Moreover, it would be the middle of the night, people from the security bureau don't rest ah. After coming, it is also impossible to check very carefully, not to mention, want to detect whether there is really chicken meat inside the meat skewers. This has to be sent to the professional department to be tested to test out. Thinking of this, the kebab boss immediately stopped worrying. Advantage on me. No fear. Even if it is finally found out, the big deal is to lose some money and finish the job. Change the place to reopen is. With the secret recipe, where can't we make money? I heard that people in Chindu love barbecue meat. If not, this side cannot stay. Go to Chindu to open a store. The barbecue boss had even thought of a way out. Wait for a while. Ning Fan sat down next to Su Mo, staring at a pair of quite scary eyes, constantly sizing up the other party. Hiss. Seeing this, Su Mo sucked in a breath of cool air, feeling that the hairs in his armpits had exploded from looking at him. This eyes, it was a bit scary. Team Ning, what's wrong with me? Weakly asking, Su Mo was apprehensive in his heart. According to the progress of his walking with Fatty, if he wanted to get out of Nandu, that is, counting by 50 kilometers a day, he would have to walk for about 10 days before he could completely walk out. If the road hole work more, then the time will not say. The program's people also said that, like the last time they sent it out of Chindu, that was a special case, and it wasn't likely to happen again. It's not a problem. I just want to ask you, the two of you are out traveling? Right. Suemo nodded slightly, trekking around the world. It counted as traveling, but it was just poor traveling. Then can I ask you guys, you came from Chindu? Where do you plan to travel to? How long will you be traveling for? Without waiting for Suemo to open his mouth, the fat man who had been trying to interject, brought his plate-sized face over, dug in his pocket, and placed his documents in front of Ning Fan. Captain Ning, let me tell you this question. About this. I'm more familiar than Sue. After training, this is my photography license. You can take a look at it. We are starting from the western wall of the Qin capital, and ending at the eastern wall. Along the way is a total of. Wait. Two city walls appeared in Ning Fan's mind. One in the west and one in the east. How could he not understand what the fat man said? Start from the west and end on the east. Don't you guys just turn around in place and take two steps, and then you'll be at the end of the line? Good man. How high are the walls? Can you get lost to Nandu? That distance should be close enough. No, just hear me out. We are starting from the west city wall, then circling around the globe, and finally ending at the east city wall. Fatty finished. Ning Fan was completely confused. He did not dare to look at the two people incredulously, and only after holding his breath for half a day, did he ask with a trembling voice, Are you guys, planning to go around the earth on foot? Eat too much? Sell yummy to go ah? Do not make money? Earn ah? Suemo froze and returned. Didn't we just earn several thousand today? Your sheriff's office sends out money ah. Ning Fan, question mark. After asking this sentence, he regretted it. Wasn't this finding pain in himself? Almost forgetting about this, these two guys had only taken several thousand in bonuses from the security bureau during the daytime. However, it was hard to believe that this was how these two guys made money along the way. 
You guys don't want to tell me that you went around the globe on foot and this is how you made money along the way, right? Coming from Chindu is also like this. Don't be anxious. You guys let me be quiet. Can you reveal how much money you guys made at the Chindu Security Bureau? Su Mo looked at Fatty in embarrassment, signaling the other party to answer this question. Otherwise, he was afraid that if he said it, this Captain Ning in front of him would beat people up. It was only the first day in Nandu. What would be the consequences if people knew that they had gleaned millions of dollars in prize money in Chindu? It's not much. Let me think about it. Fatty snapped his fingers and did some decent math. We first caught two human traffickers. Then there was a fraud gang, a fairy jump gang, a drug dealer gang, and on the way, we dug up bombs, arms, cultural relics, and also retrieved ten black wild boars. Silence, with the table where a few people were at as the center. Everyone within 10 meters of the vicinity was as dumbfounded as if they had been struck by lightning. Don't be anxious, how do I sound so familiar? This fat man said all this, I seem to have seen it ah, wait ah, I remembered. Isn't this what's on the hot search list recently? Crap, I also remembered. Can't be, it can't be, brother Su and Chen Yanhong photographer? Crap, where's the live broadcast? Hurry up and open it. Martyr, hurry over, don't let these two guys run away. Bump into the real person really come to us. What Su Mo and Chen Yanhong? Who's going to tell me? I'm in a hurry. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Isn't Chen Yanhong my old aunt's name? When did she come? After a short silence, the crowd boiled over. At the very beginning, it was the tables closer to Su Mo's few people that were discussing. But, gradually, like a starburst, more and more people opened their cell phones, compared the images and the live broadcast, and after determining that it was Su Mo from the program hiking around the world. All of them surged over unanimously. Even quite a few barbecue store owners, carrying uncooked lamb kebabs, ran over, giving quite a few customers who were waiting for the grilled meat a silly look. Hey boss, the meat isn't cooked. What are you doing? It's not cooked? We'll just eat it, cooked or not. That's it. Don't yell at me ah. I'm watching the idol to go. The kebab store owner threw the lamb kebabs on the table and ran towards where Su Mo and the others were without looking back. Crap. Even though Su Mo was psychologically prepared. This time he was scared and wanted to drill under the table. Too scary, right? In the blink of an eye, how did so many people rush over? However, in terms of who was the most confused, there was none other than the barbecue boss who had just walked out from the back kitchen. Looking at the entrance of his store blocked, emotional crowd, the whole person busy holding the table next to him, bean-sized beads of sweat kept seeping out from his forehead, hardly walked to Sue Mo in front of him, gently tugged on someone's clothes, and said with a crying face, Brother, Big brother, I'm wrong, not to brother, really, not to, the people of the security bureau is still there, it's just that the meat is not too pure, brother you don't shake so many people to awe, the owner of the barbecue meat store looked at Ning Fan for help, he only saw that the other party's face was red at this time, and he was obviously agitated as well, he was really scared, good fellow, in a few minutes of work, so many people had shaken from where, even the old lady on crutches had come, the calling power was too strong, Phew, Ning Fan took a long breath, reading all the news about Su Mo online in one breath, and just said that the name sounded a bit familiar, remembering that a few days ago, their security bureau was still discussing the situation of the Chindu security bureau, being taken away so much prize money by a contestant of the program, which was bound to be impossible if it was in their Nandu. Now Ning Fan still remembered how credulous the members of the security bureau were at that time. On the first day, they took several thousand. How would they live in the future? All right. I understand. Ning Fan patted the other party's shoulder in a serious tone and stood up from his seat, turning his head to stare at the crying barbecue store owner on the side. People were evil to this extent. What else is there to argue about? Will it still end when a corpse is peeled out of your store later? I think, there's no need to wait for the Food Safety Bureau to come. Tell us yourself, what are the problems with your barbecued meat? Hearing even the people from the security bureau say this, the owner of the barbecue store weakly looked at the people around him. Say it, right and don't bother to ask around. Brother Sue never accuses people wrongly. If he can say that there's something wrong with yours, there's definitely something wrong with it. I just purposely checked. Dare our Nandu's Food Safety Bureau to report a store for counterfeiting. There are still bonuses to take? When the evidence is conclusive, reporting an unscrupulous store rewards 200. Since it's prize money, it's absolutely not wrong. This barbecue restaurant definitely has a problem. In the crowd, many fans who had watched the live broadcast shouted at the top of their lungs. If there was no reward, everyone still had no bottom in their hearts, but as soon as they realized that there was money to be taken for reporting the store, then there was no running. According to Sue's way of earning bonuses, 
This barbecue store properly has a problem ah. I plead guilty. The entire owner of the barbecue meat store was flustered beyond belief and said in a trembling voice, lamb inside is mixed with chicken. Use lamb flavorings. However, I absolutely did not put more are in accordance with the minimum food additives put. Really, this word came out. Many people in the crowd who had not seen Sumo's live broadcast froze. There was really a problem. Mixed with lamb flavorings? Black heart to home ah, chicken what price? What is the price of lamb? This can be the same? No, you didn't finish. At this time, Suemo stood up and stared at the barbecue store owner, saying word by word, there must be something that hasn't been accounted for. I'm afraid it's more than just the issue of adulterated meat. When ordering, he purposely looked at the price of this store's barbecue meat. It is not very cheap, but the business can be hot like this. Other people's homes are only a few tables of people. This family is full. There must be something else wrong. There's no more. The boss gritted his teeth, dead set on denying it. This is his secret recipe. Absolutely can't say it. Otherwise, it's definitely not as simple as finding some money. Ironically, he would have to be arrested in awe. I know. Suddenly, a teenager in the store wearing a chef's uniform came out with a face of indignation, threw a packet in his hand on the tabletop, and gritted his teeth. This is the stuff mixed inside the barbecue. The business is also hot because of this. And, I want to report this boss, withholding wages for no reason. Last month I did a month, deducted only to give me less than one, zero 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 bucks, too black hearted. If it is not pressed my money for a month, I have long gone to report it. You little brat, I'll kill you. The owner of the barbecue restaurant took a look at the table and turned around to pounce on the teenage helper chef. Pung, pung, pung. Sumo's eyes were quick, went up and gave three cannon fists hammered the boss to the ground, and said in no uncertain terms, you're a big deal, no wonder the business can be so good, after eating it once, you want to eat it for the second time, you dare to mix shells inside the roasted meat, I think you're tired of living, the thing on the table, is not something else, it is a certain kind of plant husk that is strictly forbidden to be grown in the dragon kingdom, before arriving in this world, Suemo had once heard that some restaurants would violate the law by adding this kind of thing inside the food to make the flavor of the food more enticing, and if eaten for a long period of time, there was even the danger of addiction. Unexpectedly, he stumbled upon it here. Cuff them. Ning Fan reached out and dragged the barbecue store owner up, putting on a silver bracelet for the other party, nodding at Su Mo. He whispered, the reward from the Food Safety Bureau will come along with that 5,000, and it will be credited to your card at that time. All disperse, don't gather here. This time, it's still thanks to you. To actually find this kind of thing in a barbecue restaurant, it seems like there's something to be busy with next. For someone to be able to buy this kind of husk on the market, it meant that someone on the market was secretly selling this kind of thing. It absolutely could not be lightly spared. All right, then we'll hurry up and leave as well. Suemo sneakily swept a glance at the surrounding crowd and busily whispered back, pulling fatty and preparing to bolt as well. There were simply too many people. If they stayed any longer, they were afraid that it would be hard to leave. Gas canister. As soon as fatty pulled Su, he shoved a gas canister to the other party, lifted one himself and quickly drilled out of the crowd. On the road, the two of them lowered their heads, carried the gas canister, and walked as fast as they could. They didn't even dare to look back, afraid to follow behind those people catch up. A breath of running for nearly an hour, behind finally no one to follow. The two only sat down on the side of the road, each other despondent glance at each other. Brother, around the dark lights, there is no hotel. We sleep where tonight? Pitch a tent or not? Fatty lying on the gas tank, bored with twisting the valve. How could he not imagine? How could so many people in Nandu recognize them? Now it's over. In case they were recognized in the daytime, how could they still make their way? I think, no let's not go into the city. It's too dangerous to go into the city. Really, you didn't see it. Just now when I was running, an older woman almost ripped my pants off. It's too scary. Yes, you have a point. Suemo nodded his head neutrally. The fat man had a point. It seems that he can't go into the city during the day. Bitter ah. He himself just wanted to participate in a program and then gleaned on the Forbes list along the way. How did he catch fire? It was even if they were all little girls. The problem is, just now on the barbecue stall, the group of people who came over, the most agitated are all big moms ah. Speaking of this, Su Mo twisted his head and swept the surroundings. Just now, he was focusing on burying his head and running away, and it was not clear where he ran to. Eh? only to see not far away, an erected sign that kept flashing with red light, graveyard for the whole family, it's appropriate to go into the ground, Su Mo was dumbfounded, go, brother has a place, follow me, 
Lowering his head and thinking about it, Suemo still feels that he believes in luck, since the system has said that it is appropriate to enter the earth. Of course, it is impossible for himself to enter the earth, but, next to the place where he entered the earth is a little closer. It should not be out of the ordinary, right? I'm going to do it. Not to say, Suemo pulled the fat man, carrying the gas tank, all the way to the cemetery door jogging, standing in front of the window outside the gatehouse, probed his head and looked inside. Bang bang bang. After some hesitation, Suemo reached out and knocked on the window. In a low voice, he shouted at the inside. Anyone, can you open the door? Just now my old aunt's husband gave me a dream. Let me come to see him. Puffing. The dark security room. Curled up in the quilt oldly. The whole person hit a jolt. Violently opened his eyes. There is sound? How do I seem to hear someone shouting for my old aunt's husband? In the middle of the night. Where did the sound come from? In a trance. Oldly felt as if he was hearing voices, but as if he was in a dream. However, since he found this cemetery gatekeeper's job, every night when he sleeps, his head never dares to show outside the quilt. There is no way. The entire family joy cemetery. So far, a total of 10. 000 people have been buried. At night, the winds are so strong that it's scary. Don't mention how scary. But there is no way ah. ID card is black. Do not dare to go to the city. Looking for other jobs also cannot. Can only find a weekdays do not see what people work, so that the safety. However, old auntie husband won't be so evil, right? I just cheated you less than 100. 000 ah, dead can be found? Old Lee muttered, quietly poked his head out of the comforter and took a look at the window. Do not see, a look, at that time to the old Lee scared out of a white hair sweat. There are two dark heads, tightly affixed to the glass, staring at a pair of eyeballs staring at themselves. Hey, alive, alive. Suemo saw that the person in the comforter moved, and busily knocked on the glass again, shouting excitedly, Uncle, uncle, we are not bad people, can you open the door, homeless, give you money into it, really, we really come to see our old aunt husband, just entrusted the dream, really really, yes, come and burn something for the old aunt husband, fatty was on the side, and chimed in, Suemo also understood that knocking on the glass of someone's cemetery security in the middle of the night was really a bit excessive, after all, Many people in the Dragon Kingdom were quite superstitious, although he could not believe in it, but he could even activate the system, so it was not guaranteed that there could really be something unclean. People? Oldly sat up and rubbed his chest as he weakly spoke. Yes, people, we are people. Suemo grinned and nodded heavily, seeing that it was a fat and a thin two living people. Oldly couldn't help but breathe a long sigh of relief. His heart was quite relieved, slowly and leisurely putting on his clothes. He walked out of the security room and came to the big iron door. You two tell the truth. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? See what old auntie's lies don't pull. I've been doing this for three months, and I've never seen one come over in the middle of the night to burn paper. Through the big iron door, Oldly asked in a deep voice. What's your old aunt's husband's name? Which district is he buried in? Standing outside the door, Su Emo scratched his head in embarrassment. What is the name of the old aunt's husband? How the hell did he have any old aunt's husband? It's just a randomly made up reason. I didn't expect that this uncle who was watching the door was so responsible. There were so many people buried in the cemetery. Was it possible to memorize everyone's name? He's too curly. Is the security guard who looks after the cemetery so curly now? Oh, the two of us just have no place to go at night. Want to stay here for a night? Really? Uncle, who lied to you is a grandson. I deliberately counted. Today's fortune is suitable to enter the earth. We're not thinking. Into the earth and so on even if can be next to the place of the earth nearer to be also into, that what, we give money, a person stay a night to give you 200 into it, really not a bad person, don't believe you open the door to check check, we both are good people, Suemo tried his best to explain, trying to get the uncle to open the door, if it doesn't work anymore, he can only go in over the wall, it's just a pity that the two gas canisters, at least they can be worth some money, lost like this, thinking about it is really heartbreaking, crunch, Oldly looked down and thought about it. A person to give 200. A night is equal to earn 400 more dollars. This business can be. As for whether the two people would be thieves or something like that. This was something Oldly wasn't worried about. Who has nothing better to do at night than to come to the cemetery and steal what? And earn? That thing has been used by others. So there is no way to steal it back and use it yourself. Slowly open the door. By the light of the moon. Oldly looked at the two people in front of him with a grave expression. Carrying a large bag looking like a traveler. However, looking down, after seeing the two gas canisters, Old Lee was confused. You guys this gas canisters? Someone else gave them to me. 
Su Mo immediately replied back, reaching out and not moving his hand behind his back to tug on the fat man. Similarly, he also sized up the uncle in front of him, worthy of being his system. The fortune telling is really accurate. Only just reached the gate where it's appropriate to enter the earth, and bumped into another criminal. That's right. This uncle in front of him, the system gave a hint. Name, Li Shangli. Gender, male. Fraudster. Through improper means, their old aunt's husband's surgery costs 100. 000 whole fraud escape. Belongs to the online bounty on the fugitive. Arrest and transfer to the security bureau. Can get a bounty of 3000 yuan? What is fate? Isn't this fucking fate? In this shithole place, can run into 3000 worth of fraudsters. Uncle, is there a place to rest at night here? Can you take us there? We don't pick a place. We can sleep in all of them. Just as long as we can hit the ground. Su Mo and the two of them followed behind Old Lee and walked into the cemetery. Inside the security room there is just one bed, and there is not enough space. You can't sleep there. If you are in other places, there is a place where you can sleep. But, do you two dare to sleep? Old Lee eyes skimmed over the backpack on the skinny youth. Through the moonlight, can clearly see an envelope exposed outside. Looking at the degree of thickness, the inside is estimated to be able to have a lot of money. At once the brain flashed a little thought. This is already almost 3 o'clock in the middle of the night. Two big bags, sweaty and dusty to the middle of nowhere, but also carrying two gas canisters, to say there is no problem. That is absolutely impossible. Thieves? Oldly thinks the possibility is very high. If it is a thief wazi, the other side stole this money. Dare? It's good to have a place to stay. What's not to dare? Suemo smiled and answered. Looked down at the exposed envelope. Saw the uncle's eyes keep glancing here. Seems to understand a little. What the other party's heart is planning. Simply do not do anything. From the bag will envelope out. In front of the uncle's face to open. Pull out a few bills handed to the other party. Uncle, this money you take it first. Oldly took the money in a daze. Saw it clearly. There was at least 5,000 inside the envelope. 5,000 ah. With this 5,000, he was fully capable of exiting the country from Nandu. Never having to look at this bullshit cemetery again. It was less than 3,000 a month. And it didn't even care about food. Alright then, since you guys dare to live, then follow me. Said, Oldly led the two of them to the door of the warehouse. And after turning on the lights, he pointed at the rows of fortune coffins inside and said, The place that can sleep people is also here. As for whether you guys hit the ground or sleep in coffins, this depends on yourselves. It's getting late. You guys go to bed early. I'm going back. After saying that, Lolly returned to the security room with his head lowered. Brother, call the security bureau and report our location. Suemo pushed open a coffin, lowered his head and swept the back of the satin inside, turned back and commanded Fatty, a rolled over and drilled into the coffin. Call me when someone comes. Close the coffin board for me. The light is a bit harsh. The fat man's entire body was dumbfounded. I don't know when it started. How do I feel that Sue is getting more and more evil? This is the coffin ah. People's cemetery coffin ah. Do not know how many people slept. You don't say anything. You dare to directly lie in it? Hey, brother you sleep first. I'll notify the security bureau. Returning a cry. Fatty also sat in a coffin. Fiddling with his cell phone with his head down. At the same time. Return to the security room of the oldly. Trembling hands are clutching a kitchen knife. Face gloomy closed the door. At the entrance of the cemetery of full family joy, Chen Dali, who had rushed here urgently, parked his car on the side of the road nearby, looked down at the cell phone positioning given by the program team, looked up at the moon above his head, and the whole person was quite bewildered, shook the cell phone vigorously, discovered that the location of the two Su Mo people did not change. That means that these two people really ran inside this cemetery at 3 in the morning. How do you think? He really can't figure it out. There has to be a degree of boldness. What a death wish. Muttering through clenched teeth, Chen Dali slowly walked towards the glass of the security room. Using his cell phone flashlight to shine inside, he found that there was no one inside the security room, then went to the side and reached out to push the large iron door. Hey! While letting out a long sigh, Chen Dali put his cell phone away, rolled up his sleeves, and tumbled inside the cemetery. According to reason, Suemo this guy will never lack money on his body. There is so much money. Put a five-star hotel not to live. Run to the people's cemetery what to do. However, according to past experience, since it can come to the cemetery, it means that there is definitely a job that can be done in this place. Otherwise, it is impossible to come to such a place for no reason. It's hard not to believe that. There are criminals hiding in the cemetery? Or is there some criminal activity happening in the cemetery? The more he thought about it, Chen Dali felt that the greater this possibility was, 
Stepping on the concrete ground in the cemetery, Chen Dali carefully took out his pistol and walked forward with a grave expression, but when he just turned out and looked at the dense, headless tombstones, the entire person was dumbfounded. Good guy, buried so many people? How is this looking for two people? Thinking of this, he sat down in front of a tombstone, and took out his cell phone and opened Sumo's live broadcast. There were indeed a lot of pop-ups, however, the camera was motionless, facing several coffins, and listening carefully, there was even a slight snoring sound coming out. Sleeping? Helplessly, Chen Dali could only look through the pop-ups sent by his water friends one by one, hoping that from the pop-ups, he could obtain the location of Sumo's two people within the cemetery. I'm kneeling. Really? Brothers? I'm really kneeling. There's one to say one. Su and Fatty are really two livestock ah, sleeping coffin even if, but also the coffin lid are fastened. How do you think ah, are you not afraid of suffocating in there? Upstairs, this you do not understand it. This is what era, my father buried. I carefully looked at the crematorium coffin. People are breathable. Human nature, too human nature. Breathable can be okay. This is afraid that people did not die through. Convenient to come back to life? But, you do not think, this doorkeeper uncle a bit wrong? Let's say, if it is ordinary people, absolutely impossible to put Sue two people in. He not only put in, but also deliberately find a coffin warehouse to the landing. How to see are not right ah, not right is right. All think about it, Sue whole job. Which one is right? Maybe this janitor uncle has a problem. That's right. I see this uncle is only about 40 years old. Usually people of this age. It is impossible to go to the cemetery to do janitorial work. Hey. Hey. Look. Fuck. We guessed it. This uncle is here. Still holding a knife in his hand. Fuck. This person has a problem. When seeing this pop up, Chen Dali's pupils shrunk slightly and quickly looked into the camera. Sure enough. Only to see a middle-aged man slowly push open the door. Slipping a brightly shining kitchen knife in one hand, and walking in front of the camera with a gloomy face, in front of everyone's water friends, he began to rummage through Sumo's two backpacks. There's a coffin. There's a room. So it can only be this. Chen Dali gritted his teeth and stood up, looked up at the small two-story building in the middle of the cemetery in the distance, did not dare to be the slightest bit slow, and quickly ran over. The other side. Nandu Security Bureau. Ning Fan had just laid into the office quilt when his cell phone rang in the cold. He was busy picking it up and took a look. It was actually a call from the wiring center. Hello? Calls from the 24-hour wiring center were usually from the precincts, where there were emergencies. At 3 o'clock in the middle of the night, what could it be? Harboring doubts. Ning Fan answered the call. Is this Captain Ning Fan? Yes. Just now we received a report call. The Family Joy Cemetery located at the edge of your jurisdiction. Someone called and said that they had met an online wanted criminal in the cemetery by the name of Li Shenli. The switchboard center has already inquired and confirmed that there is indeed an online wanted criminal by the name of Li Shengli, who is a fraudster and has been on the fugitive for several months now. The operator spoke quickly recounting the situation. However, given the special location, a suspicion of mischief can't be ruled out, but just to be on the safe side, your public security bureau should send two people to the cemetery as soon as possible to take a look, and the phone number will be sent to your cell phone later. After hanging up the phone, Ning Fan sat on the edge of the bed and lit a cigarette. The Happy Family Cemetery? This was a place he was sort of familiar with. Because, quite a few of his family members were buried here. Even his own father, who hadn't passed away yet, had bought a grave in this place in advance, and at that time, he even went along to take a look. The cemetery was large and had a nice view. The old man bought several neighboring graves with a few friends. It was said that they could still visit each other's place when they had nothing to do at night in the future. Ning Fan still remembered how dumbfounded he was when he heard this. It was the first time I heard that they were all packed in urns and still thought of coming out at night to visit each other. How to string ah? Who is it? In the middle of the night to run to the cemetery for what? Can still find online fugitives? Really fucking evil. Muttering, Ning Fan walked out of the office, greeted the two team members on duty, quickly got into the car and rushed to the cemetery. On the way. By the way. Ning team, that what? Food safety bureau people gave us a call. Said to let tonight that Su Mo tomorrow personally to the food safety bureau to go. The bonus. They must give each other face to face. Do you think we are not to the other side to give a call? A member of the co-pilots team, remembering the call from the food safety bureau in the middle of the night, was busy reporting to Ning Fan. In person? Wait. I'll look up the phone number. I remember that this Su Mo should not have a phone. When you participate in the program, you can't bring a cell phone. However, that fat cameraman should have one. Found it. Ning Fan flipped through the call records and found the fat man's phone. However, looking down, his entire body was bad.
Then he flipped to the text message from the wiring center. The two phone numbers were compared. Hiss. Suddenly sucking in a mouthful of cool air. He immediately shouted at the top of his voice. Quick. Which one of you open Sumo's live broadcast and see what's going on now? Treadmill. The phone number given by the wiring center. Isn't it Fatty's phone number? These two are sick. What are they doing in the graveyard in the middle of the night? When several people heard this, they were busy pulling out their cell phones and opened the live broadcast with a stony face. Nowadays, the entire Chengdu Security Bureau can be clear about Sumo's identity and also completely understand how wild the people's path to a whole life is. More than three o'clock in the morning, ah. These two people in the cemetery call to notify the security bureau. How to think. How seepage na. Nah. Inside the warehouse where the coffins are placed. Oldly squatted on the ground. Constantly rummaging through Sumo's backpack. Next to the location. A lot of wilderness survival tools were lost. What kind of engineering shovels? Toilet paper. Band-aids. Lighters. Have everything. But just did not see the envelope containing money. Turning all the bags all over again. Lolly sighed and slowly stood up with a kitchen knife. Swept a glance at the dozens of coffins in the warehouse. That was quite a headache. No. The heart is so big. Saying that I'll let you guys sleep in the coffins. But you're really sleeping ah. Uh. So fat people. Can the coffins fit inside? Murmuring. Oldly walked towards the closest coffin to the door. Biting the chopper in his mouth. He reached out and opened the coffin lid. Probed and took a look. There was no one inside. Crunch. Closing the lid. Oldly went to open another coffin. Tonight. We have to get this money by all means. Don't look at the two stick boys. But in a real fight. They are not necessarily his opponents. Not to mention. The two people are now lying in the coffin. This is the opportunity. Three months of work here. Other did not feel clear. The coffin's in the warehouse. Lali's work but every day have to clean. These coffins how to open. How to close. Touch is clear. Once you sleep in. You can't open it from the inside. It can only be opened by someone from the outside. In other words. If these two people sleep in the coffin tonight. They are looking for death. With a chopper in hand. The world is mine. In a one-on-one -on -one situation. The other person is still lying in the coffin. Even a person can do it. By the time the coffin lid is opened and the chopper is placed towards the neck. The other party can only obediently take out the money. And then fasten the coffin lid afterwards. Hoof. By the time the two people are rescued. He or she is probably long out of the country. Inside the camera. Everyone in the live broadcast room. Watched with rapt attention as the uncle in the screen. Opened one mouthful of coffins after another. Searching for Sumo's two figures. It was them who couldn't figure it out right now. There were only a few dozen coffins in total. And half of them had been opened by now. There was no sign of Sue and Fatty. This janitor uncle's luck is a bit bad. Just now the fat man also did not shoot Sue actually sleeps in which coffin. I seem to have glimpsed a glance. It is a big yellow coffin. Above the carving of dragons and phoenixes. But. This uncle is simply to be anxious. Looking for so long. Still have not found people? Just like this. Also dare to come out to rob money? Luck is so bad. What do you think? You really think you're invincible with a cleaver in your hand? Brother Sue is not weak at all when he faces a gun-wielding drug dealer. And this uncle will probably cry in a while. Can't you use your brain? With Fatty's size. Just look for the widest coffin in the house. Other coffins? It's hard enough for Fatty to lie in. If you can't. Listen carefully to the sound of snoring. Can't you also find it? 
indeed. For my mother to see are anxious to death. Dry criminals dry to this point. Stupid dead. The crowd was watching oldly busy and sweating. Enough to check half of the coffin. Neither of them found Sumo's two figures. To be honest, whether Oldly was anxious in his heart or not, the crowd was not sure. But they were really anxious. Still haven't found them? Oldly frowned and muttered with a rather helpless expression. Hello. Suddenly, a subtle snoring sound came from within a large yellow coffin in front of him. Old Lee's eyes widened as he clenched his teeth in death. Gripping his kitchen knife and taking a step to this coffin. Putting his ear against the coffin board. He listened carefully. There was the sound of even breathing coming out from inside. That's right. One of them was sleeping in this coffin. Don't blame uncle for being ruthless. Uncle also has no choice. To take some money from you guys. Pursing his lips and muttering. Oldly raised the lid of the coffin with one hand and found that it actually did not move. Oh. Look at this memory of mine. This coffin is different. Sliding lid. Busy reversing direction. He came to the head position of the coffin. Ready to push open the coffin board. Suemo. However. At this time. A low roar came from outside. Frightening Oldly at that time. The kitchen knife flew out. Someone is coming? Hands and feet jumped to the innermost part of the room. Pushed open one of the coffin lids. Panicked and lied down in it. Without even considering it. And pulled the lid closed from the inside. Suemo? Fatty? Chendali pushed open the door and looked at the room full of coffins. At that time, his entire body sweat hairs exploded. Probing his head, he took a look. Only after seeing the survival tools placed on the ground did he gently push the door open. There were survival tools in, indicating that Su Mo and these two people were in this room. And the picture in the live broadcast, the middle-aged man just now was also in a coffin room. But Chen Dali also could not think of it. Nowadays the country does not call for cremation? How could there still be so many coffins in the cemetery? Su Mo? Weakly shouting. He saw that there was no response. To be honest. Chen Dali somewhat regretted it. Had I known that I shouldn't have listened to my master? What was the point of following Su Mo? People rode wild degree. He an ordinary person suffered? Wicked is not wicked ah. Even the middle-aged man who just appeared in the live broadcasting room also disappeared. When I think of this, Chen Dali's hand holding the gun also began to tremble slightly. He is the captain of the security bureau, yes. Also underwent professional training. But they were in charge of people. He couldn't intervene in the affairs of the netherworld either now. Nah. Bang 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 bang. Inside? Su Mo. Asleep? Bang bang bang. Fatty. It's dawn. It's time to get up feed. Bang bang bang. Dazzle rice law. Su Mo. Dazzle rice law. Bang bang bang. Chicken legs. Soy sauce beef. Fat. Woke up squeak ah. Hell ah. You two horse sleep in which coffin? At least give a signal. Okay? I'm a bit scared. Less than five minutes. Knocked the coffin board once Chen Dili. The whole person collapsed. There was no response at all. What should I do? What if I can't find anyone? Tap tap tap. Just as Chen Dili was about to knock once more. A burst of disorganized footsteps suddenly came from outside the house. His expression was stunned. Listening carefully. Quick. The live broadcast shows this coffin room. The criminal has a gun in his hand. All be careful. Don't be impulsive. Once the criminal dares to resist. After a fruitless warning. He can be shot. Charge charge charge. First ensure your own safety. 
On. Listening to the urgent hissing sounds coming from outside. Shin Dali had two big heads. Criminals? With a gun in his hand? Where did criminals come from? He had knocked all over again. Not to mention criminals. Even Sumo's two figures were not found. Moreover, the criminal people's hands are kitchen knives. Where the? Chen Dali's eyes glanced to the gun in his hand. Understood in a flash. Crap. Nandu Security Bureau people. This is to treat him as a criminal? As soon as he thought of this, Chen Dali ghostly push open a coffin beside him. Step like flying jumped in. Speed extremely fast lying. Closed the coffin. The technique can be said to be quite skillful. The entire coffin room regained its calmness. Where is everyone? Ning Fan. Who rushed in. Looked at the empty coffin room. And incredulously looked at the team members next to him. The two of them shook their heads once. And one of them. His face pale. Whispered back. There can't be ghosts. Right? How come they all came into this house and no one is left? Chin Du. In the broadcasting hall. Although it was immediately 4 o'clock in the morning at night. But in the hiking global broadcasting hall. Almost all of the people in charge. Including a group of shareholders. Were present. At this moment. Looking at the screen. The three people from the Nandu Security Bureau who started to pry the coffin. Several of the program's main investors turned their heads and looked at Director Sun with a bewildered expression. They had also paid attention to the remarks on the internet. Although they feel quite outrageous. But. Now this society well. Outrageous will have gimmicks. All thought it was the program director deliberately staged gimmicks to attract eyeballs. But. I've never thought about it. Until the Chin Du Security Bureau. The Environmental Protection Bureau. The Cultural Relics Bureau. The Nandu Security Bureau. The Fire Department. Contacted them one after another. The person in charge finally couldn't sit still. They rushed to the program team overnight. Then. Before they could even open their mouths to ask what was going on. They were deeply attracted by the big screen image in the broadcasting hall. One look at the popularity of this live broadcast room. Several people looked at each other and were shocked. It was past three in the morning in the middle of the night. And there were still hundreds of thousands of people watching in the live streaming room of their program group's contestants? It should be known that the live broadcast platform used by the program group. All the data was real and there was no falsehood. How much popularity is shown in the live broadcast room? How many people are really inside? But the question is, aren't we the program walk around the world? How can we still run into a cemetery? And what the hell are so many coffins? Ah. Uh, facing the astonished eyes of several investors. Director Sun was incomparably bitter inside. He didn't know how to explain. It's a hiking program, right? We don't have a rule that contestants can't go into the graveyard. Can't sleep in coffins. Right? You have to be reasonable. Right? That what? A few investors. I'd better introduce the Sue M.O. contestant. Probably more than a week ago. That is. The program began on the third day. To be honest. I have not thought to understand it. How can people be evil to such a degree? Do not bragging. This guy since the arrest of the two traffickers began. I am a night and a night sleepless. Sleeping pills one time dry ten pills. No use at all. Really can't stand this kind of eyes. Sun director invited several investors to the office. Sat on the sofa. Which slowly opened his mouth. By reason. I also warned this player. But the problem is. Really no effect at all. Promised to be good. Take yesterday. When going down the highway, Suemo patted his chest to ensure that he would absolutely rush. But the result? Ended people a theft of tricycle gang. 
and at night reported a barbecue meat stall. Tearful blood earns several thousand. Of course. The one who made blood money is him. And the one with tears is me. There's really no way out. But the main problem now is. You guys take a look at this set of data. In addition to the special circumstances. Illnesses. And the few contestants who were arrested. There are still three. 578 contestants left in our program. But 80% of the traffic. All in this live broadcasting room of SUMO. Then again. Although this contestant was tearfully making money all the way. And the distance he traveled was the bottom one. However. Our program doesn't stipulate that the bottom one will definitely be eliminated. So. It slowly evolved into this. And the fans who follow our program also like to see SUMO live a whole life. As director Sun finished speaking. Several investors rubbed their temples with headaches. Genuine headache. Just making money. Not walking. It was indeed different from the original intention of their show. But the problem was that the market recognized it. Since this is the case. It doesn't matter. If this player. You focus on it. And then. Try not to let the government departments contact us. Not my nonsense. As soon as possible. Let this player out of the country. To the foreign country. Just how we whole live. With us it's okay. Is that he is wanted by foreign countries? As long as it does not violate the laws of the dragon state. Love whoever it is. After a long time. The biggest investor raised his head and threw his voice to make a decision. They were all from the dragon country. As long as they didn't violate the laws of the dragon kingdom. Everything was within the rules and everyone could accept it. As for going abroad. If the whole thing was even more ruthless. It could fall into the realm of diplomacy. At that time. Their program group also do not have the ability to intervene. Not to mention. The design of the route. Many of these countries. Especially the European side. And their dragon not to deal with a lot. At that time. This contestant can then live again. Estimating that. The traffic of their program group could go up another level. If you guys say so. Then I'm relieved. Director Sun eased his breath. The big stone in his heart finally falling. The investors above had approved. Which was tantamount to recognizing Sumo's approach in disguise. Evil was as evil as it could be. Anyway. The point of view of the program trekking around the world within the Dragon Kingdom now was not about wilderness survival. It was just catching people alive and well. Catching people alive and well in a death-defying manner. Pying. At this time. The office door was violently pushed open. A staff member rushed in with a pale face and shouted at the top of his voice. Director. You quickly go and take a look. The contestant Suemo got angry and gave two gas canisters to light up inside the coffin room. What do you say to that janitorial uncle to light candles in advance? Where are the people from the security bureau? Sun director's expression was stunned. Pursued. The captain of the security bureau. Nandu security bureau was drying up in the coffin with Captain Chen of Chindu. Upon hearing this, director Sun took a look at the suitcase he had placed in the office. In his heart, he was incomparably grateful. Thanks to his thorough preparations, he had prepared his luggage in advance. Even if he was sent in now, there was nothing to be afraid of. Coffin room. Put. 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 The two gas canisters kept spewing fire. Oldly, who was held by a kitchen knife on his neck and lying inside the coffin, Kept his teeth chattering. Little brother. Not so much. Uncle ambushed. Really? Uncle wrong? You quickly turn off the gas canisters. A moment and then blow up. Cannot row off. Really? Uncle is cheating his old aunt husband 100. 000 dollars. 
not to the death penalty. Right? You cannot send me away now. Besides, really, people now advocate cremation. Cannot use the coffin. You let uncle out into it? The wood is burning. Suemo licked the corner of his mouth, squinted and glared at the janitorial uncle lying inside. Knowing that this guy has a problem. However, he really didn't expect that the other party's guts were so big that he dared to take a kitchen knife to ask them for money. Nor did he go out and ask around. Who doesn't know what he Suemo is now? He is a person who wants money but not life. Have not yet made money through you. All dare to come to rob their own money. Really tired of living. Don't be anxious. Burn a little more. Not I say you. A handful of years old. Have children yet? Your old aunt has husband s surgery money you dare to cheat. Just right. In advance. Let you feel the feeling. What is the feeling of being pulled out of the oxygen tube? Come. Open your mouth and suck two mouths of harmless gas. Su Emo coldly snorted and ignored it. Behind the position. Fatty was lying in front of a coffin. Constantly reaching out and pulling the frame. Chen team. Ning team. They are all their own people. Don't fight. Hurry to see Su. You are still discussing who will bring the people back. And then let Su ho for a while. Then the uncle of the gatekeeper should spit foam. The sky is bright. I'll take the person back first ah. Chen Dali limped and pulled oldly. Who was covered in smoked blackness. Walked to the side of the commercial car. Turned back and waved at Su Mo. Pushed oldly into the car and sat in the driver's seat himself. Squinted at the Nandu Security Bureau. The corner of his mouth twitched. And without a word he started the car and quickly left the cemetery. It was too hard. It was fortunate that the money this oldly cheated was cheated in Chindu. Otherwise, after working hard all night and even sleeping in the coffin, in the end, this criminal was still not his. That would be a big loss. Let's go too. Ming Fan touched his red and swollen cheeks and similarly greeted his two team members as they prepared to leave. Although he had a fight with Chen Dali because of the belonging of the criminal. But Ning Fan didn't take it to heart. When he was in school, he hadn't had many fights with Chen Dali. This time, the criminal was indeed an online bounty notice issued by Chindu. But there was one thing he couldn't figure out. A captain of the security bureau. Was he really this idle? Driving after people Su Mo. Just so he could bring the criminal back in the first place? Right. Su Mo. Hey. Team Ning you say. Su Mo ran over with a smile and whispered. Something wrong? Last night the Food Safety Bureau called to notify us. That bonus of yours? You need to personally go to the Food Safety Bureau to collect it. When you are free, you go over there yourself. And then. The treatment of our supernumeraries in Nandu is much better than Chindu. So think about it. After saying that, Ning Fan led the people away. Leaving Su Mo and Fatty standing on the side of the road. As well as two empty gas canisters. Brother. We only slept for a while in one night. What are we going to do during the day? Fatty snorted and pulled out his cell phone to check the map. He couldn't help but blink vigorously and silently wave the phone in front of Su Mo. It's over. Last night we were just running. We didn't even look at the map. It seems like we ran the opposite way. What? Su Mo exclaimed in shock. Holding the cell phone and looking carefully for a long time. The whole person sat on the side of the road disheveled. It was really running backwards. Originally. It should have gone through several cities. Then crossed a river. Walked through a large wildland. And almost reached the small border town of Nandu. From that place to exit the country. Even if it was completely out of the dragon country. But now. They were running in the opposite direction. 
Let's go. Let's go and get the bonus from the Food Safety Bureau first. Then after making purchases. All the way out of the city. I think. In the future. The two of us should go around the city. The city is too dangerous. Sue M.O. muttered. The two of them carried the empty gas canisters and walked along the main road. In the direction of the city. Hey. Wait. Suddenly. A cry came from behind. Sue M.O. and the two of them turned around. Only to see a middle-aged man in a suit. Standing at the entrance of the cemetery. Waving his arms vigorously at them. Thank you so much. If not for you guys. Our family joy cemetery. Still don't know how long we'll harbor this criminal. Sooner or later. Something will happen. I am the person in charge of the cemetery. This is a little bit of intention. No matter what. You guys have to accept it. Said. The other party handed over an envelope. It should be. It should be. Sue M.O. grinned. Took the envelope. Touched it with his fingers and froze in place. So thin? What's inside isn't money. Go slowly. The person in charge of the cemetery waved his hand and watched the two leave. After walking for some distance. Only then did Sue M.O. stop at the side of the road and took out the envelope. Opened it and found that it was actually a discount contract. 50% discount for buying a cemetery? F asterisk CK. After reading it, Sue M.O. couldn't help but be on fire. Is there a thank you for giving away this kind of shit? He was only 20 years old and he had to start preparing a cemetery for himself? Brother? Don't tear it. It might be useful. Don't give it to me. I'll load it up. Seeing that Sue M.O. was ready to tear up the discount contract, Fatty had a face of reluctance to seize it and put it away close to him. No. What do you want this thing for? Brother? You really swell. This thing we cannot use. Can be sold to others ah. Uh. When I left I have seen. Good guy. This cemetery a cemetery you know how much money to sell? 150,000. We can sell a few tens of thousands of dollars with this favorable contract. Right? Fatty Rueji blinked his eyes and raised his eyebrows at Suemo. Hiss. That's a bit reasonable. Su Mo nodded and no longer refuted. However, this thing shouldn't sell that well. Right? You can't just pull a random person on the street and then ask them thievishly. Master. Do you want a graveyard? Discount. Wouldn't that make people die in a moment? Don't care so much. First of all, these two gas canisters dealt with. Damn really is evil. Carrying gas canisters what is going on? Side face looked at the shoulder gas canisters. Sue M.O. said speechlessly. Then the two of them in the eyes of the passers-by surprised. Carrying two gas canisters squarely into the city. Toward the Food Safety Bureau location. Nandu. Food Safety Bureau. Several staff members were gathered in the hall. Frowning at the document issued today from above. Rectification? Rectification again? It was only last year that I remember rectifying. Right? Although there are quite a lot of people reporting recently. We've checked them all in the past. And apart from a little problem with hygiene. There aren't any major problems. Wait a little longer. See what Sister Lan says. The above have issued a document. Saying that what we Food Safety Bureau also have to seize a few substandard stores before we can do it. Right. Last night there was not a barbecue restaurant was sealed? I heard it was reported by a contestant of some program. The crowd whispered about the contents of the document. With the development of society, the issue of food safety was getting more and more attention. It could be said. The standard of living has gotten better. And many people are no longer like decades ago. Pursuing just being able to have enough to eat. Healthy. Pollution-free. 
hygienic, and real food. These are the first few elements that all restaurants need to have now. However, the increase in costs has led to a number of people being desperate, trying to save costs by all means and constantly pulling down food safety. Clang. Clang. Just when a few people were discussing. Hall door. Walked in two people carrying gas canisters. A fat and a thin. Looking a dusty look. But also both topped with a pair of heavy black circles under the eyes. You guys are? That what? We are here to receive the bonus. Just last night that barbecue store. You food safety bureau is not there is an announcement? Is there a reward for reporting a store successfully? Last night? One of the middle-aged women froze and immediately remembered that these two people were probably the two people who contacted them through the security bureau last night. Yes. 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 You guys sit down for a moment. I'll go call our captain. The money is ready. You guys can take it away with your signatures. That was it. Sue M.O. and Fatty found a seat in the hall and sat down. Hey. A few minutes later. Fatty sneakily bumped into the side of a non-stop coughing Monkler outlet online. Quietly pulled out the documents in his pocket and lowered his voice. Monkler. I see you are coughing for several minutes. The body is not very good ah. Look. This is not a coincidence? Then what? Have you bought the cemetery yet? Does the whole family know about it? I've got a contract here that gives a discount. 50% off. Monkler Outlet Store question mark. The fat man looked at the Monkler Outlet Store blankly and coughed violently a few times. And fell headlong from the chair. Boo. Numerous people sitting on chairs in the lobby. Waiting to check in at the Food Safety Administration. Watched Monkler Outlet online the man cough and fall to the ground. And stood up. Probing to observe the situation. No. You hammer Monkler outlet online? Sue M.O. turned around. Looked at the hands and feet of the fat man. And then look at the Monkler outlet store lying on the ground. The whole person is also stupid. Low voice tugged fatty asked. What did you do ah? I. I didn't do anything ah. This is not to see the old man has been coughing? I thought to ask to see people by the cemetery or not. Hell. The old man's ability to bear is too low. Do not buy it just do not buy it. How also blackmailed people it. Fatty also felt aggrieved. Back to Sue M.O. a sentence. Busy squatting next to the Monkler outlet store. Fearfully probed the nose. There is gas. Alive. Scared to death. Heart palpitating long sigh of relief. Looked up helplessly to his Sue M.O. At this time, the crowd in the hall also gathered over. Although many people have some sympathy for the grandfather who fell to the ground. But nowadays in this society, without a family fortune, really no one dares to go up to help the grandfather up. After all, on weekdays those elderly people touch porcelain blackmail things. Cannot be less happened. The first thing you need to do is to call the hospital. And then you'll be able to see what's going on. Look at you to the grandfather angry. What are you waiting for? Quickly help people up ah. I seem to have heard. This fat man is a cemetery sales. Just ask this grandfather wants cemetery to come. Too outrageous. You sell cemeteries business level are so wild? Personally ask me ah? The corner of Sumo's mouth twitched. Did not dare to have any stay. Busy instructing the fat man to call the hospital. While he himself picked Monkler outlet online up and leaned on the chair. Monkler. Wake up. Dawn. You don't scare me ah. You fall to the ground before you also observe to observe ah. We too really have no money. Just a cemetery discount documents. That what? You if you really want. Give you okay? M. I won't sell it to you anymore? Grandpa. Everyone is watching. 
Not to blackmail ah. After Sumo's rescue. Monkler outlet online he woke up with a red face. The first thing you need to do is to get a good look at the surrounding area. And then you'll be able to see what's happening. Looking around blankly. He once again coughed violently a few times. Gnashing his teeth and pointing at the fat man. With a thick red neck. His voice hoarse. How many discounts? 50% off. To say that fatty is also a talent. But also really froze back. F asterisk king horse. Why don't you say earlier? Monkler outlet online only a few days ago ordered the cemetery. 50% discount. You are not the employees of the Family Joy Cemetery. Ask your manager. The cemetery can be refunded or not? Suemo was dumbfounded by the side. Kept stroking the Monkler outlet store chest and softly comforted. Monkler? Don't get angry. We are not the employees of the cemetery. We are just doing people a favor and giving us a 50% discount on the documents. Since we all bought it, the location is chosen. Let's not change it. Calm down. You're an old man. Why did you come here on your own for what? Subsequently, the Monkler outlet online long sigh. Idle. Slowly recounted his experience to those around him. The reason why he came to the Food Safety Bureau was to cancel the store. Oh? Grandpa you mean? Next to your own family store. Opened an identical store. The taste is still better than yours. The exclusion is really dry? After listening for a while, Suemo heard and understood. Dare to say that this grandpa opened a store of haggis soup. Or decades old. Business has been good. And it is also a little famous in Nandu. However, just two months ago, their own home next door also opened a store of the same. At first Monkler Outlet Store didn't care. After all, catering business well. Then who tastes good? Who's more affordable? But the problem is here. The store next door. Not only the price is ridiculously low. And even the taste is better than his decades-old shop. This is something Monkler Outlet Store he couldn't figure out. He has been in business for decades. And he can say that he knows the profit of a meal like haggis soup very well. Next door to the store. Selling so cheap. That is not losing money? Alas. To say that this thing I also strange very. They sell the haggis soup I went to taste. Do not say. The flavor is indeed very strong. But Monkler Outlet Online I do not understand ah. Sell such a low price. Which has a profit ah. And. I boiled a lifetime of this kind of soup. It always feels like they have that flavor a little strong. I can't say. Monkler Outlet Store patted his thighs and shook his head hopelessly. Forget it. I guess people have a lot of strength. Just want to squeeze me this store. And then make money behind it. It happens that my kid is not interested in catering. And I'm old. I can't afford to toss it. So why don't you just come over and write off the store? And let the business go to them? Suemo frowned and fell into deep thought. Always feeling that things were not so simple. As a local chain do people. Haggis soup that is from childhood like to eat a kind of food especially in the winter, to a bowl of steaming hot bowl of haggis soup, crispy shortbread sandwiched with spicy sauce, that flavor, custodial eat, today a day body is warm, but the problem is, there is no reason a new store, can be sidelined for decades of the old name to such a, is the flavor really so awesome, Suemo did not understand, what's more, this is still in Nandu. System task release, to help Monkler Outlet Store guard the decades-old store. Investigate the store next door and the cats and dogs. And expose the success of the task completion of the Food Safety Bureau can be rewarded $2,000 in cash. The system rewards science and technology ruthless work of the book. Failure of the task. From now on. 
the host to eat the steamed bread inside, will be full of technology. At this time, the system prompt in his head rang again. And Sumo saw this familiar word again, technology ruthless work. It was exactly the same as that barbecue restaurant. Strange. What does the system mean? It's on a collision course with the Food Safety Bureau itself? There's money to be gained by overhauling a store? Hey. Brother. Crouch. Suddenly. Fatty pulled out a flyer from the side table and handed it to Suemo with a face full of excitement. Brother. You quickly look at. Good guy. Nandu of this Food Safety Bureau rich and powerful ah. In view of the recent frequent food safety problems. Special appeal to the general public. All those who report a catering store successful. Can get a bonus of 2,000 yuan whole? Suemo looked at this flyer. And in his heart. He sort of completely understood. Why would the system release such a task? Dare I say that the Food Safety Bureau had issued such a reward mission? Young ah. Uh. Too young. One store is 2,000. 10 stores is 20,000. 100 stores is 200,000. TSK TSK TSK. What a nice guy. The Food Safety Administration is a nice guy. Isn't this adding to his rise to the Forbes list? So what? Monkler? Where is your store? Walk walk walk. We Monkler outlet online have fate. Go to your store to see. Really? Haggis soup that is the flavor of my childhood memories. Say what today you have to satisfy me this desire. The matter of canceling the store. Let's talk about it tomorrow. Go go go. Fatty. What are you waiting for? Hurry up. I carry Monkler outlet store away. You carry the two gas canisters. The first time we meet. How embarrassing to go over empty handed. The two gas canisters just to give Monkler outlet store away. Without saying a word. Under the Monkler outlet store dumbfounded eyes. Suemo bent down. Carried the other party and ran out of the food safety bureau hall. A few minutes later. Suemo. Hey. Where are the two people who just received the money? A staff member with an envelope in hand. Walked out of the office and asked. Carrying. Carrying a gas canister ran away with an old man. An older woman who hadn't come back to her senses until now. Frowned tightly and pointed to the door. What? The staff member holding the envelope instantly froze. The money hadn't been taken yet. How come the person ran away? Moreover. It was still carrying a grandpa along with him. Hey. Where's the person you gave out the bonus to just now? Suddenly. Miao Lan. The captain of the Nandu Food Safety Bureau. Hurriedly ran out. Her eyes anxiously swept the people in the hall. And asked in an urgent tone. Ran. Ran away. Ran away? Miao Lan stomped his foot fiercely. Turned around and ran into the office. And in less than a few seconds. Put on his uniform. Waved his hand and took a few members of the team to chase after him in a fiery manner. Suemo. Unexpectedly. The one who came to their food safety bureau to collect money was this Suemo. At first. When she saw this name. She thought it was the same name. It wasn't until the security bureau sent over the other party's information that Miao Lan's entire body was confused. Suemo ah. She would watch this guy's live broadcast when she was fine. And had been watching it since the time of Qin Du. So it could be said that it was considered to be one of the old fans within the live broadcast. However. Lately. Work was just too busy. And since the guy had arrested the drug dealer. He didn't have time to watch the live broadcast himself. I thought that. With sumo speed. Nowadays. He should still be driving in circles in that mountain. But I didn't expect that people arrived in Nandu yesterday. The reason for being so uptight. All because. 
The Nandu upper level now pay strict attention to food safety issues. She is the captain of the Food Safety Bureau. The pressure cannot be said to be not big. But those unscrupulous vendors outside. It is very difficult to investigate and deal with. Take the food street for example. Often. The first one was only investigated. And the countless others behind them would immediately make changes and hide the offending raw materials. Even if they investigated, the harvest would be very small. But this Suemo is different. How evil is he? In the mountains can catch drug traffickers. And as long as there is a bounty, with Sumo's money-making nature, will certainly not let go of this opportunity. Money. The authorities above have already allocated down. It is absolutely sufficient. Now it depends on whether it can completely rectify the food safety problem successfully. Car. Several female members of the Food Safety Bureau looked at the captain with a puzzled face. One of them couldn't help but open her mouth and ask. Sister Lan. Where are we going to chase this person? And. This person. Is hard to believe that you recognize? Ha. Huh? Miao Lan smiled faintly and pointed to the cell phone on the stand. You guys take a look at the hot search list. And you'll understand in your heart that the person who is chasing this person is a man of God. If he is willing to earn our bureau's bounty, this rectification of the food safety problem is absolutely hand in hand. Sometimes, it's really not possible to be unconvinced. Just look at the Chindu Security Bureau. There were more people in the Security Bureau than in their Food Safety Bureau. In the end, didn't they also fail to catch the SUMO? People have to recognize the reality. What's more, if the food safety issue is not handled well, all of them are going to be scolded by the public pointing at their backbones. Especially what the children ate. It was even more important to keep a strict check. So powerful? A few people looked at each other. All of them were a bit disbelieving. And coincidentally took out their cell phones and clicked on the hot search list. It didn't matter if they didn't look. They were shocked at first glance. Good guy. Is the entire hot search list stuck in a bug? How come the Sumo's name was all over it? Ah. Sister Lun. I remembered. A few days ago my mom also said. If he has a son-in-law like other Sumo. This life will be contented. Can't it be? Is just carrying a gas tank that person? Why didn't I realize? Is he really that good at making money? How long has it been? And he's already made two million dollars? Two million dollars? Is it true? It's true what they say on the hot list. It's amazing. Not only catching criminals, but also finding so many strange and weird things. And making money at the same time? Did this guy save the galaxy in his past life? What kind of person can have this kind of luck? Hey! Do you guys think this Suemo has a girlfriend? With this program he's participating in. It's hard to believe that he's really going to go for three years? However, with this speed of his money making, it's estimated that in less than three years, the money earned on the road alone is probably going to exceed the bounty given by the program. A few young and beautiful Food Safety Bureau staff in the car. You said one thing. I said another. Praising Suemo to the fullest. There was no way. People were simply too excellent. Moreover. This time. Their Food Safety Bureau is also a blood money. Investigate and punish a bad nature of the store. A full reward of 2,000 yuan. And no ceiling. The upper departments approved to their funds. A full 200. 000 yuan. Enough to investigate and punish 100 stores. Just don't know. Suemo this time promised them words. Exactly how much bounty can earn. He he. Okay. Okay. One by one. All of them are people with objects. What? Want to follow someone to hike around the world? Nyalan laughed and joked. 
stepping on the gas with one foot. The car's speed suddenly increased. Before leaving, she had deliberately inquired about the information registered by that old man. So understood where exactly Su Mo and the others had gone. Can carry the old man ran away? What to do still need to guess. Must be the whole job ah. Nandu. The entrance to a village in the center of the city. In front of old Gao's haggis soup store. Clang. Clang. Fatty threw the two gas canisters at the entrance. Look sideways at the crowd lined up in the store next door. Sniffed the air and couldn't help but wipe his saliva. Brother. It really smells good. The streets are full of the smell of mutton soup. Monkler Outlet Store Gao. No wonder you have no business in this store. The smell of others is really tempting. Master Gao looked at the store where there was not a single customer. And then looked at the long queue of others. Could not help but reveal a bitter smile. Or. You go next door to eat it. To be honest. Monkler Outlet Store I have done decades of catering. Did not serve others. But. Next door to the store I am really convinced. Simmering this mutton soup. Do not know what secret recipe. Not only the soup is white. The flavor is even more enticing. I do not have business to admit ah. The level of people's chef. Really powerful. Grandpa I am convinced. This is not necessarily. Suemo stroked his chin and muttered in a low voice. Took a step to the door of the next store. And through the transparent glass. Took a look at the mutton soup that was being simmered. It was indeed very rich and white. With a layer of oil floating on top. One look at it could make one's taste buds open up. Let's go. Monkler. First taste your handiwork. In a moment you help buy two bowls from their house over. I'll compare and contrast. Pulling Grandpa Gao into the store. Su Mo sat in a window seat with a grave expression. If I'm not wrong, it's not that your craft is not good. It's that you don't understand the current high technology. What do you mean? Brother? What you mean is that this store next door is the same as that barbecue restaurant. In fact, in the rice hole live? Ah Fatty slapped his head. Stubbed his eyes and came to a realization. Right. But what exactly is the whole work? Not into the back kitchen. It is difficult to find. First of all. The comparison of the two compared to it. Not bragging. Grow up so big. I've drunk so much lamb soup. I've never seen can be white with milk powder like lamb soup. By the way. Ask Ning team of the security bureau if they are there. Let them come over to be a witness. The people from the food safety bureau are all young girls. I feel it's not too safe. It's better for the security bureau to be stable. Ah Fatty nodded. Skillfully took out his cell phone and dialed the phone number of Captain Ning of the security bureau. Next door store. Ning Fan. Who was drying a bowl of mutton soup. Frowned at the cell phone whose screen was lit up. What's wrong with you guys again? Su Mo looked at Captain Ning who appeared in front of him in less than half a minute. Half unable to say a word. It came too fast. Didn't it? Did they install locators on them? Otherwise. How could it be possible that the fat man's phone call had just been hung up and the person walked in through the door? I am right next door to eat it. Not. I found that you two are really not tired ah. Last night in the cemetery wandering a night. Not let you go to the food safety bureau to receive money? Not hurry up and get on the road. Why did you run to the city again? Ningfan was really afraid of this Su Mo. Truly. Last night he just didn't sleep for the whole night. And he was thinking of coming to finish the haggis soup and then go back to have a good sleep. Unexpectedly. He had just finished eating. And hadn't even waited to wipe his mouth. When the phone call came. If this continues. In a few days. He will have to die suddenly at work ah. Oh oh. You eat next door ah? 
Pagus soup? How's the flavor? What do you mean? Ning Fan was stunned. A bad thought suddenly flashed through his mind. Associating it with the extent of Sumo's evilness. At once, he felt his stomach flutter. It couldn't be. Could it be that there was a problem with the store next door? Otherwise, why would this guy Sue Mo ask like this? Don't scare me. I eat next door every day. Don't tell me that there is something wrong with their house. I've been eating for almost a month now. And I haven't seen anything wrong with my body. He he. Ning team. Honestly. I can't tell. It just feels strange. I'll know if I taste it in a while. Su Mo didn't directly say that there was a problem next door. After all, there was no evidence in his hand right now. Although through the system tasks, it can already be determined that there is indeed a problem next door. But everything is about evidence. Let's wait until we get the evidence. Here. Here. Young man. You taste. This is our family store's haggis soup. These two bowls are next door. Alas. Monkler outlet I also cannot figure out. I this mutton soup usually have to simmer for two days of time. Until the sheep bones simmer pretty much. Will not start to sell. But look at the color. It's really not as white as other people's. Grandpa can't figure out what the problem is. Su Mo compared the difference between the two stores. Don't say. The difference was still quite big. Inside the haggis are more or less the same. The only thing is the color of this mutton soup. There is an essential difference. One looked a little clear soup. While the other was so rich that the color of the entire mutton soup was almost pure white. Taste it? Su Mo pushed a bowl to Fatty. While he himself picked up a spoon. Took a little bit. And gently pursed it around his mouth. Gudong. Gudong. Was about to look up and ask Fatty. Only to see the guy wipe his mouth and set the empty bowl on the table. Su Mo, question mark. Let you taste it. Didn't let you dry it in one gulp, ah? Burp. Ah. Then I'll taste it again. Ah, Fatty blinked and smoothly brought up the other bowl as well. And in front of everyone, his tongue stretched out and licked a mouthful in the bowl. The flavor. I'll taste it again. Well, you can't taste it just by licking it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll take two more sips. In less than a minute. The two bowls of haggis soup that were brought over from next door all went into Fatty's stomach in a single gulp. Just this. The guy was still able to lick his face and boldly winked at Master Gao. Grandpa. Didn't taste it. Why don't? You go over and buy two more bowls over? Come on. Come on. Are you a cow? A meal can drink so much? Su Mo is thick-skinned. At this moment also cannot hold out. There must be a degree of white whoring. Good guy. Why don't you just take a rope and bolt it next to someone else's soup barrel? I'll try the grandpa's again. Su Mo lowered his head and drank a mouthful of the lamb soup from the high master's house. The stink was very heavy. And he could taste that it was indeed simmered from sheep bones. And. The one in the store next door. Although the sheep's head soup tasted like mutton too. The only thing it didn't have was this distinctive stench of mutton. I'm afraid this is where the problem lies. In front of the table by the window. The crowd looked at Su Mo who was frowning tightly. None of them opened their mouths to speak. The atmosphere was slightly gloomy. Only Fatty rolled his eyes. Taking advantage of everyone's inattention. Gulp. Gulp. Gulp tilted his head back and dried the two bowls of goat's head soup from Master Gao's house as well. Hey. Team Ning, you're here too? At this time, Miao Lan and the others who hurriedly came walked in. Warmly greeted the crowd and walked straight to Su Mo. Hello. I'm an old fan of your live broadcast. Hello. 
Hello. Suemo raised his head and got up. Shaking hands with the person. Immediately after. The crowd sat down again. Wide-eyed. They looked at Suemo and fell into deep thought again. The fans in the live broadcast room also had no bottom in their hearts. After such a long time, Su hadn't found the problem. What does this mean? It's very likely that there is no problem next door. Could it really not be a problem? I looked at the mutton soup boiled very successful out. However, when I myself at home boiled, the color of the soup is the same as this Monkler outlet store boiled. And will not be so white. This is why. It's impossible that there is no problem. My family is raising sheep. Can be said to have been simmering mutton soup drink since childhood. I tell you. How many days to simmer? This soup cannot be white like this. I have heard that some restaurants will now put milk powder when simmering soup. You say that it is not put powdered milk inside? Put milk powder? I heard that some restaurants put milk powder in the soup. Milk powder can still be tasted by someone who can't tell? Besides, it's already cheap. If you put milk powder in it, wouldn't the cost be higher? Is it possible that the boss next door's brain has been pinched by the door? Anxious to death. That is what the problem ah. The whole I now also want to go to dry bowl of mutton soup. But. Thanks to the fat brother with the sua. Otherwise. On the fat brother this amount of food. If with someone else. Not out of three days. It is estimated to starve into the ICU it. Ha 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 ha. In the blink of an eye. Four bowls of goat's head soup ah. All clean. Did you see Captain Ning's eyes? A hint of panic in the blankness. Hole quick. Hole quick. Didn't the people from the Food Safety Bureau come? Or our old fans of the live broadcast? Directly to the next door back kitchen to scrutinize? Not to understand? Everyone in the live broadcast room was anxious and couldn't help but start worrying for Sue M.O. The words were all put out. Don't let it come to the end and not a single problem was found. Isn't this a slap in the face? The crowd didn't say anything. Quietly looking at Sue M.O. who bowed his head and didn't say a word. But Sue M.O. hadn't been idle. He kept pulling with the system in his mind. Since he had issued the mission. But for the food safety issue. It was hard for him to taste it alone. Moreover. He had never worked in the restaurant industry. It was really unclear about the crooked paths inside. Ding. Given that what the host said has some truth. The system starts the bug checking program and rewards the host with a copy of the 30 cents cost mutton soup recipe. Suemo closed his eyes and looked at this 30 cents cost mutton soup in his mind. After reading it. Even he couldn't help but suck in a breath of cold air. 30 cents? Which of this tramps cost 30 cents? Inside the mutton soup. Pure and pure is all technology ah. Go. I seem to understand. Master Gao. You also come with us. I probably understand what's going on in the store next door. Not to mention selling it so cheaply. It's five dollars a bowl. I guess I can still make half. Su Mo got up. Squinted his eyes and said. Pushed the chair straight away and walked out the door. Next door store. Su Mo walked straight into the front of the store. Not waiting to open his mouth to speak. A middle-aged woman behind the cash register. Then pulled her broken voice and shouted. Line up at the back. What are you squeezing for? Don't you see how many people are in front of you? The store can't sit anymore. Come over and pay first. Then go to the back and line up. Sue Mo licked the corner of his mouth and took a look at this boss lady who was so bold. It is said that the customer is God. You guys are basing your business on the fact that you are God. You still have to pay the money and then you can go to the back of the line. You guys come. Getting out of the way. Suemo glanced at Mialan. From the Food Safety Bureau. Routine inspection. You guys do your cooking and lead us to the back kitchen to take a look. 
Miaolan took out her ID and waved it in front of the boss's wife and said in a deep voice. Uh. There's nothing wrong with our store. Upon seeing that it was someone from the Food Safety Bureau, the boss's wife immediately came out from behind the cash register and accompanied the crowd with a smile. What's going on here? Which shameless one reported our family? Is it the store next door? Don't be shameless. Our family sells cheaply. You have no business to be poor and crazy? Reported to our store? The back kitchen is busy. Do you think I should let the staff out and you can go in to check? Really? Our store procedures are all complete. Safety certificates also have. You see our business is so hot. How can there be food safety problems? The boss's wife caught a glimpse of Grandpa Gao who was following behind. And immediately sneered at her with a nose that was not her nose and eyes that were not her eyes. No one reported you. Today is a routine inspection. Go. Go directly to the back kitchen. Miao Lan said with a cold face. Seeing this, Suemo simply pushed the boss's wife away. And with the fat man, the two of them ran towards the back kitchen with great speed. After walking in. Hey! Crap! Looking at a person washing dishes next to the sink. Next to which stood a photographer holding a camera. Both sides could not help but exclaim. Washing dishes where? Unexpectedly. There were still contestants who participated in the program in the back kitchen of this store. Smiling. He greeted them. Under the other party's confused eyes. Suemo opened a few soup buckets and looked down at the color inside. Immediately afterward. Rummaged around in the kitchen. What is it? The person who washed the dishes was named Lu Wei. And was indeed a contestant of the program walking around the globe. Who had already walked out of the city and arrived at the small border town. But it was never expected ah. The role was too powerful. Nima. That border town. All of their program group players. All kinds of temporary work. Have been robbed. Not to mention finding a dishwashing job. Even if you want to go to plow the garbage can. You can't even catch up. There is no way. After starving for a day. Lu Wei and his photographer together. The two of them hiked back to the city. Intending to do a good job here for three days. Earn enough money for the road. And then go on the road. It looked like there was a delay. But in fact. There wasn't. With so many people gathered in the small border town. It would have to be said that the inner roles were simply not giving everyone a chance to live. Originally. If you brush the plate for a day. You can have a minimum of 100. The result. The reason why the competition was too fierce. From 100 to 80. Then to 60. And finally even as low as 30. In this case. Those in the small border towns would have to take a week or so off at the very least before they could leave. Otherwise. They couldn't even afford the manual fee for the visa. But Lu Wei also didn't expect that he actually met Su Mo here. Who is now a big name in the program. The photographer's bank card had millions of dollars in it. Seeing Su Mo running in. Lu Wei was so angry that he threw his plate into the sink. Is there still a way to live? It's okay for me to scrub dishes like this pussy. You have so much money in your card. Why did you also come to brush the dishes? It's okay. Do your job well. We have other jobs. Hey. Found it. Suemo pulled open a drawer, looked at the food additives placed inside, picked it up and took a look at the name. The corner of his mouth hooked up a smile, rushed to brush the dishes of the contestant and said hello, turned around and walked out of the back kitchen. What does he do? Lu Wei asked blankly. You quickly do not care about what to do. Just now the boss's wife are urging. You brush faster. Not. Way brother. Really? I shouted your brother. Said that a person brush an hour? I brush an hour to step on the horse a hundred plates. 
You just brush 50? Are you lazy? If you do this again, I'll quit. The photographer took a look at the other party and stopped again. And immediately broke down and said, Really? Not bragging? If you have suemo that ability, we eat and drink every day. Live in five star hotels. I will wash your feet. Not lick your feet into. Hurry up and brush it. Ah. Don't ink. Lu Wei sighed. Gritted his teeth. Buried his head and brushed the plate brush. Do not envy. Really not envious. What's wrong with having more money? I brush a day plate. The whole can earn 150 yuan. On this price? Do not know how many players envy it. People can't compare with animals. I can't. That's right. I brush my own dishes. Livestock can do whatever they like. As long as it does not affect their own dishes. Inside the open kitchen in the store hall. At this moment. All the diners have gathered around. Because. After these two people ran out from the back kitchen. The boss's wife's entire body was paralyzed in her chair. Just this kind of situation. There were also people from the Food Safety Bureau present. It would be strange if the store didn't have problems. Three flower eau de toilette? Ning Fan looked at the jar in Sumo's hand and looked at Niao Lan in confusion. This is a kind of stuff for making milk tea. A haggis soup store can't reasonably use this. Niao Lan recognized this kind of food additive. General milk tea store. We'll be equipped with this kind of three flowers light milk. Modulation of coffee or milk tea. In the national regulations allow the measurement. Can be added a little bit. But the problem is. This is a haggis soup store. What's the need for this? Where is the boss's wife? Don't say I'm bullying you ah. I'm also here to make money. The Food Safety Bureau people said. To report a store rewarded too. 000 yuan. It must be a solid evidence. The big guys are watching ah. I'll give you guys to simmer the reason why the mutton soup is so white. Finished. Suemo gripped the chef's hair. Snatched the apron. And wore it on his body with style. Picking up a large iron pot on the side. Those who are free can go to their back kitchen to take a look. Anyway. I didn't see a single sheep bone. Food additives are quite a lot. Gao Monkler Outlet Store. You cannot sell people's reasons. I find you. Why sell so cheap? The answer is here. Hey. Mutton soup inside but a little bit of mutton ingredients are not there. The bones in the pot. I guess it was put in when the store was opened. Right? While saying that. Suemo opened the fire of the stove. And in full view of everyone. Used the faucet to release half a pot of water. Gulp gulp. Shortly after. The water boiled. A spoonful of three flowers light milk. Color yet? Just ask you rich or not. No mutton flavor? Oh. Come. Yo. The bottle is here. And then a few drops of mutton flavor. The small flavor is not up at once? Come on fatty. Taste it. How is the taste of the mutton soup that costs 30 cents? Suemo scooped a spoonful of soup with a big spoon. Winked at the chef who kept sweating coldly on the side and grinned. Master. Do you see any difference between the process I boiled with you? No. No salt. The chef has long been scared silly. Both legs kept beating the pendulum. With a crying voice weakly returned. Boom. The many diners gathered beside them. Looking at the color of the soup in the pot. Completely froze in place. Many people looked down at the soup in their bowls. It was the exact same color as the color in the stepping horse's pot. Hiss. I just drank two bowls of this? It won't kill anyone. Right? Fatty worriedly rubbed his stomach. Unbelievingly took the spoon and gently sipped. 
Put some cilantro and garlic cloves. Doesn't it taste this exactly the same? Your family store enough black heart ah. Together with the lamb soup inside a little about the sheep things or not? It's all water and what's with the three flour milk? Brother? Is it really okay for people to drink it? The crowd looked over in unison. Obviously. They were also worried about this issue. And in this situation, all ten of them had hair on their chests. Problems will not come out. But, drinking this kind of thing for a long time, to be honest, a little bit of nutritional value is not there. Equal to you just drink a big bowl of tap water. Nothing more than the inside of the addition of a bit of technological means. Suemo smiled and spread his hands, popularizing it to everyone. In fact, in daily life, there are food additives inside many things. And the reason why there are such things then, one is to enhance the appearance of the food, as well as to make the taste better. But here is where the problem lies. Suemo also just completed the system mission and obtained the technology Ruthless Living recipes before he realized it. Some of today's businessmen, just like this haggis soup store, in order to save costs, use all kinds of food additives to synthesize the original flavor of the food. In this way, it can almost be said that the cost is pressed to the extreme. Because, there are no real ingredients in it at all ah. Drinking it is not so bad that people have accidents. But with this kind of stuff, can it be nutritious? Before crossing over, once in that world, a brand of milk powder had ruined many people. So far, Suemo is still fresh in his mind. Moreover, there is the most important point. In foreign countries, many food behind the packaging. People do not write without any food additives. But printed with this sentence. Not produced in the Dragon Kingdom. Safe to eat. When the people of the Dragon Kingdom see such words, what will be the feeling in their hearts? Can it be good? The safe to eat standard doesn't allow these people to just produce according to the minimum standard. Shouldn't a higher standard be pursued? Come on. I also taste. Horse. At the loss of my family and your family also filled the membership. So cheating ah. I said. Obviously eat full. Work is not enough strength. Dare to say that the problem is here. Where is the boss's wife? You give me out. You do this conscience does not hurt? They say drinking mutton soup to replenish the kidneys. Day your grandfather ah. I originally have three minutes. You give me less than two minutes to make up for the old man. My daughter-in-law is going to divorce me. I'll fight with you. Thanks to this young man. Thanks to the exposure. Otherwise, their family this mutton soup is not the more you drink the more thin. Sooner or later, it will be malnourished. It's against the law. Isn't it? Send these people in their family in. Yes. Send it in. Many people came up and took a taste of sumo sheep's head soup one after another. And they all became angry in unison. All take it easy. Seeing this situation. Ningfan exchanged a glance with Miao Lan. Immediately took out the silver bracelet from his body. And cuffed the boss's wife. I'll take the person back first. This already involves false publicity. You guys will send someone to seal the store in a while. And the store's funds will be frozen immediately. Miao Lan pursed her lips and nodded. Her eyes looked at Su Mo. Hand to hand. Exactly what else was unclear to this Suemo? Simmering San Mao mutton soup. This already belongs to the industry secrets. The general public will not say it. All dispersed. All dispersed. Turn around there are in this store recharged. In a few days to the Food Safety Bureau to come to a trip. Will be returned in full. After the righteously indignant diners in the store had retreated. Miao Lan instructed the people to immediately contact the other staff of the Food Safety Bureau and bring their tools to prepare for the seizure of this store. Cow! 
cow. Grandpa Gao stroked his chin and vigorously patted Su Mo's shoulder. Young man. Dare to be so. You can be regarded as a big help monkler outlet online. That what? Helped so much. Come you also send two gas cans? This monkler outlet store how to be good. Just now I let my old companion find you too filled. A moment you must carry away ah. Su Emo scratched his head in embarrassment. And kept pulling monkler outlet UK on him. Saying no need. The two gas canisters are relying on them. These two gas canisters are relying on them? They've been carrying them for a long time. I've been carrying them for a long time. And I've only just emptied them. But I've replaced them with two more full ones. Are they going to carry them for three years? It's too much. Su Mo. Not waiting for Su Mo to whisk out the door. He himself was blocked by someone from the Food Safety Bureau. And a thick envelope was shoved into his hand. Last night's reward from the barbecue restaurant. And today's reward. A total of 4,000. All in the envelope. Count it yourself. Speaking of which. As the captain of the Food Safety Bureau. I should thank you properly. By the way. How many days do you plan to stay in Nandu City? If it's possible. I don't know if I can find out a few more stores like this Haggis store during this period of time. Bonus you can rest assured. Our Food Safety Bureau is well funded. We're not afraid of you griping. Upon hearing this. Su Mo and Fatty glanced at each other. And light emerged from their eyes. Not afraid of weed? It was the first time I ran into a department where someone spoke with such bravado. We are going to go out of Nandu today. But. Within the entire Nandu. Not the restaurants in the city. The food safety problem also belongs to your management. Right? Is there a reward for reporting such a store? Suemo held back his excitement and asked carefully. Sufficient funds? Then this way. You leave the fat man's bank card. And then report the success of the words. Then we do not have to go to the city to receive money. Directly hit the card into it? This is convenient. By the way. You guys will not end up reneging. Right? He he. Won't. Xinlan grinned and gave the two a reassuring look. Just kidding. It's only two. Zero 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 for reporting a store with solid evidence. The other party is just reporting day and night. It's impossible to glean all two hundred. Zero 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 bounties in just a few days. Right? This is not catching criminals. A wanted man is tens of thousands of dollars. A store top is two. Zero zero zero. Moreover. People are participating in a program. It's impossible to stay in Nandu for too long. It's a great city to stay for three days. In three days. He could still report 100 stores? The more she thought about it. The more Miao Lan felt it was impossible. At the same time. The back kitchen. Clatter. 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 Lu Wei wiped the sweat from his forehead while letting the water in the pool go and shook his numb waist vigorously. What time is it? A few more hours of brushing. Today's 150 will be in hand. Ha ha. A good meal at night ah. The photographer grinned in relief. Indeed. Finally don't need to nibble on buns. You guys are still brushing? Don't brush the plate. The boss has been arrested. You still brush the fart ah. The store has been reported. A moment will be closed. Hurry up and leave. Ha? Huh? No. I have been brushing for most of the day. The boss was arrested. Wages? Serving dishes waiter. No good gas said. There is a fart of wages. Just now fortunately I ran fast. Or else. The gang outside can give me a hammer to death. You also hurry to run. From the back door to run. What is the time? But also think of asking for money? 
The store sells something problematic. And then let those who eat to block you in a while. Don't look at it as a dishwasher. In case they beat you up. It's not worth it. Really. Hurry up and run. After saying that, the person dragged the work clothes directly through into the soup barrel. A smoke ran away. No. Who stepped on the horse so unethical? I worked hard to brush two days of dishes easy? Ah. Well at least wait for me to get the money and then report ah. Lu Wei jumped three feet high. The whole person collapsed to the broken mouth. Don't yell. Don't yell. Hurry up. 80% is that Su Mo gave a report. A moment in the live broadcast ask. The photographer could not help but drag the cursing Lu Wei. And ran out of the store from the back door. Master Gao. The gas canister really don't want it. On the side of the road. Su Mo looked at the two gas canisters in front of her with a headache. And kept putting in a good word for Mr. Gao. Originally the luggage on the way was enough. Plus two gas canisters. Really can not carry. The two gas canisters are not worth the money. These two things are also not worth money. But also dead heavy. Look. Are you looking down on Munkler Outlet Store? Say what you also have to bring. Munkler Outlet Store I just followed your live broadcast. You are not hiking around the world? Isn't it just right to have these two gas canisters? Gao Munkler Outlet Store stroked his chin. His wise eyes surveyed the gas canisters. And came up with an idea for the two. In the city is okay. You have money can buy anything. But to the wild? In a while you guys go next door to buy a simple gas stove. In the wild is it possible to cook? Grandpa eats more salt than the two of you eat rice. Listen to Grandpa will be right. Think of the years. Monkler Outlet Store also traveled on foot. It is because there is no fire. Raw meat are gnawing ah. With ah. That what? Monkler Outlet Store there are still things to do. So I will not send you guys. Three years later to Monkler Outlet Store come to eat haggis ha. Gao Monkler waved his hand. And then did not give Su Mo two people the opportunity to open their mouths. And ran back to the store as fast as he could walk. We are also leaving. Waiting for your good news. Miao Lan. Who had finished seizing the store. Similarly waved her hand at the two in front of the car. Leading a group of people from the Food Safety Bureau to leave. You guys. Take it easy. Really. I haven't closed my eyes for two days. Let me go back and take a nap okay? Ning Fan patted Su Mo's shoulder and instructed in a serious tone. Shaking his head. He also left. Brother. Monkler outlet store people are real. Give us two full gas canisters in the store. If you ask me. Monkler outlet online it makes sense. If it doesn't work. Let's take it with us. By the way. Brother. You're not really going to go wool gathering food safety bureau. Are you? Will it be too delayed? I see that many contestants have gathered in the border town. Should we hurry over there as well? Fatty twisted the valve of the gas tank. Listened to the sound of running gas. And proposed from the bottom of his heart. Damn. All the way to make money to earn crazy. Almost forgot his duties. Must always remind the contestants. Always on the way forward. After all. Himself is a professional. Trained to be a strict photographer. Hiss. Suemo sucked in a breath of cool air with toothache and gritted his teeth. Carry it away. Mosquito legs are also meat. At least you can sell some money. See what place there is a waste collection station. The two gas canisters dealt with. By the way. The money from the Chindu Security Bureau has not yet arrived? To the. This morning to the. Card now has a small two million. Brother. Let's go shopping ah? Fatty busy pulling out his cell phone. Looked around. 
quite cautious to come over. Carefully displaying the SMS to Su Mo to see. Small 2 million ah. If this is seen by his own father, Lao Chun will not be drawn into the hospital on the spot? In this life, the bank card has not seen so much money. Go. Walk forward. Just to get some money. As for the wool of the Food Safety Bureau. Walk. Walk to the small border town. Is not it still a few days? You have a point. We have to catch up with the progress of this group as well. Suemo slowly nodded. Bending down to carry the gas tank. He walked forward along the main road. Although the progress of their walking was slow. However, the pressure was not as great as before. Because, the bottom two were no longer the two of them ah. But the two Lu Wei who had just brushed the dishes at the Haggis soup store ah. The fans in the live broadcast room. After hearing that the money had arrived and that the two of them, Su Mo, did not intend to pull the wool over the Food Safety Bureau, one by one sent pop-ups with righteous indignation. Swell ah. Only two million is enough? There are still two years. Eleven months and twenty-three days to go. And you're not even going to grip the wool? Is this still our brother Su? Is it a cold and fever? Is there any brother in Nandu? Hurry to call the hospital. Can't put Su Angola to a good check check. Who the hell want to see walking? We want to see wool gathering. We want to see the whole job. Yes. Shut down. Walking what is the meaning of? And then live ah. People Food Safety Bureau said. Not afraid of you wool gathering. What is this? This is a bare bones provocation ah. Is a person can not endure. Hurry to grip up ah. Don't be anxious. To our Sue's evil degree. The more he doesn't want to do anything. Often the more he will do. And. Stepping on the horse. I didn't expect. Now outside to buy meals are so outrageous? Is there anything we can eat without fear? We should let Brother Sue properly expose the exposure. So that we can be clear. Those food flavorings. Three flowers light milk are what the stuff ah. Hey. There's a noodle shop just now. Why don't Sue go in and take a look? Just in case there's a problem too? I do think we can hurry to go abroad. Brothers. It might be more exciting when we get there. After all. People's foreign security bureaus won't recognize Brother Sue's identity. Can you tell us how much money to withdraw? Two million dollars in the card? Sue to buy insurance not? Accident insurance. Cheap can be discounted. Under the gaze of the crowd. Sue Mo and the two of them came all the way to the entrance of a bank. Was about to go in carrying a gas tank. The two security uncles guarding the doorway shivered and immediately rushed out of the doorway. Pulling out rubber weapons and nervously looking at the two people. What are you doing? For? I can tell you ah. Here is the bank. See above the surveillance did not. All see clearly. Young man. You have what opinion can be raised. First put down the gas can. This is not a solution to the problem. Really? Have a good word. See you are not too old. Do things can not be impulsive ah. The security uncle was sweating cold sweat while persuading the two. While constantly gesturing to his colleagues at the back. Lowering his voice and hissing. What are you waiting for? Hurry up to report to the security bureau. Someone wants to bomb the bank. Carrying two gas canisters. Very ferocious. Let them hurry to send someone. Colleagues heard. Looked up to see the two people outside the bank. Face on the spot scared white. What era is it? How dare someone be so paranoid? Carrying a gas canister to blow up a bank. Or two people together? The security uncle did not dare to think too much. And immediately secretly dialed the security bureau. At the moment. The people who were doing business in the bank were all startled. 
Close the door ah. Hurry up and close the door. Don't let these two people come in. Husband? Where's my husband? What are you doing kneeling under the table when they haven't even come in yet? Is this how you love old mother ah? Divorce. Divorce. Who's hiding in the toilet? Open the door and let me in. What? What? I didn't wipe my ass. It's already time to wipe my ass. Open the door. I'll go in and wipe it for you. Bro. Open the door. Looking at the alarm sounded loudly. Panicked everyone in the bank. Sue M.O. Who was carrying a gas canister? Was instantly dumbfounded. Brother. Let. Us. This money still withdraw? Fatty licked the corner of his mouth and asked awkwardly. Hell. The bank damn well didn't stipulate that you can't carry a gas canister to withdraw money ah. What is everyone so nervous about? Uh. Uncle. Are you guys mistaken? Seeing that more and more people were gathering in front of the bank. Suemo carefully placed the gas canister on the ground and explained to the two security guards in a nice voice. We are here to withdraw money. Really? Look. This is our bank card. The gas canister is a gift from someone else. If you have a crush on it, I'll give you one. Don't report it to the security bureau. Don't report it to the security bureau. We are good people. We really didn't come to blow up the bank. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. What's the situation? He is so handsome a stick boy. That I looks like he is bombing the bank ah. Back off. Back off. Don't come over. The security bureau will be here soon. Security uncle that is quite professional. Say anything do not believe in front of the two people said words. Good people? In the bank as a security guard for so many years. I have not seen any good man can carry a gas tank to withdraw money. These two people in front of you. Are you sure they are here to get money? Not to ask for money? Alas. The great evil can be too outrageous. Sue M.O. sighed. Simply did not explain. Sat on his but on the gas canister. Waiting for the security bureau to come. There is one to say one. This matter today. Really don't blame him. Captain Ning not being able to sleep had nothing to do with him. Sue M.O. Oh. It's really strange. There are still people carrying gas canisters to the bank to withdraw money? What do you think? Also do not think about it. People can let you in? Hey. How do I look at these two people look a little familiar? They do look familiar. Why can't they remember? Crap. I remember. Aren't these the contestants of a recently popular program? What is called Walking the Globe program? People are still hanging on the hot search. Known as the Chin Do Most Evil Player Su Wool. All which grips wear. It's hard not to believe that there is a problem with this bank. Soon. Someone recognized the two Su M.O. After realizing that it was a celebrity on the hot search. Many people immediately put down their guard. Pursed their lips and walked up. They warmly greeted Su M.O. Even many people had already dug up in their pockets. Trying to find if there was a pen and paper. So that they could let others sign an autograph for themselves. Old man. Old man. Quick. Take off your jacket. Hurry ah. Uh. I go up to get a signature. What? What? I haven't cleaned you up in two days. Can't you see your own position? Numb. Hurry up and take off your jacket. Brother Sue. I'm a fan of your anchor room ah. Uh. Can you sign a name? Sign. Chest into it? Can be considered to our Nandu? Recently this period of time. I said well. How the street more so many begging people. One by one are also holding a camera. Feelings are walking the globe program team players. 
the two security guard uncles who were standing by, looking at the two people surrounded by the crowd, looked at each other and their minds went blank. Embarrassed to the point that their toes and their shoes picked up. Done. Not the bad guys. What to do? The sheriff's department was on the phone. You two again? At this time, several cars of the security bureau, whistling, rushed to the side of the road. And a dozen of security officers with serious expressions quickly rushed down. Ming Fan was wearing a pair of panda eyes with a complicated expression as he looked at the two Suomo in the crowd. Sinning ah! They had just been separated for less than an hour. And they were meeting again. Can there still be a way to live? If these two people continued to live like this, he would not be able to survive until the next week. At this moment, Ming Fan was finally able to realize a little bit of how Chen Dali felt at that time. There was really no way out at all. Ah. Uh, misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. It's all a misunderstanding. We came to the bank to get money. Really? Suemo pursed his lips and said with an embarrassed face. Close the line. You guys go back first. I'll watch them withdraw the money before leaving. Ning Fan took a deep breath. After waving his hand for the many team members to leave and evacuate the crowd, he personally led Su Mo and the two of them into the bank. Sleeping? What else was there to sleep for? Why don't you just follow these two all the way? And save the security bureau some gas money. This is a trip to run. People can carry. The car cannot carry ah. Aren't you getting money? Take it. Standing beside the two. Ning Fan said in a bad mood. I've decided. Before you guys leave Nandu. I'll simply follow you too. And save you the trouble of reporting to the security bureau. And once something happens. I'll deal with it for you on the spot. Fetch the money. Su Mo pushed the fat man next to him. Signaling the other to go to the counter to withdraw money. He himself kept calming down Captain Ning. What? Can't get it out. Why can't I get it out? Account number abnormality. How can my bank card account number abnormality? He had only just climbed a few sentences with Captain Ning. Just heard the fat man's alarmed voice from the front of the counter. Suemo frowned and quickly walked over. What account abnormality? Hello? It's like this. This gentleman's bank card was recently involved in an illegal transaction outside of the country and was remotely lost and missed the payment password three times. Therefore, the bank system automatically decided that it was an account abnormality and has locked the bank card. If you need to unlock it, you need to bring your valid documents in person and go to the account opening bank to unlock it. I'm sorry. For the safety of your account funds, the money inside has been frozen. And the funds are not available until the anomaly is lifted. The bank employee behind the counter patiently explained for the two. Involved in illegal transactions outside the country? Suemo was confused and looked blankly at Fatty. For the reason of participating in the program, his bank card could not be used. Therefore, all the bounties earned were all credited to Fatty's bank card. This guy was with himself every day. How could he be involved in offshore transactions? Scratch that. I remember. Brother. That night when I slept in the coffin. A text message came in. I think I clicked on it. It can't be because of this. The bank teller's sister blinked her big eyes and involuntarily pursed her lips. Sleeping in a coffin? Good guy. What are these two people? Road so wild? Must we go to the account opening bank? Su Mo quickly discovered the key to the problem. Yes. If you want to lift the abnormal state, you must go to the account bank in person. The account opening bank is in Chindu. Ah Fatty gritted his teeth and rubbed his cheeks with a headache. Hearing the bank teller say this, Su Mo's entire body wouldn't be able to do the same. Won't it? 
It was so hard to get out of Chengdu. Is it hard to go back again? Once they go back, the program group won't send them out again. So, when and how long will it take to get out of Chengdu? After a long time, a person holding a gas canister, sitting cross-legged in front of the bank, hopelessly looking at the passing cars. Life is really up and down too exciting. It was so hard to go to the peak of life. But now it was so good that the money inside couldn't be withdrawn. And the cash on both of them was only a few thousand. Brother? How about? We both walk back to Chengdu again? No way. Suomo shook his head. Looked down and considered for a long time. And finally made a decision. Holding the gas tank. He stood up. Turning his head. He rushed at Team Ning who was standing behind him. Ning Team. Trouble you to inform the Food Safety Bureau. You can prepare the money. Mad. Do not glean the 200,000. It seems that you cannot go on the road. Upon hearing this. Ning Fan was surprised to look at the two people. Only to see the two animals carrying a gas canister each. And walked straight to a row of restaurants across the road. The back kitchen of a milk tea store. Lu Wei was wearing a temporary work uniform and was consoling each other with the two photographers. Count us unlucky. Isn't it just $150 gone? Now is not another find a higher wage job. Do a good job. Dry two days to save up a few hundred dollars. Let's leave the country as soon as possible. I kind of understand. This Suemo is definitely a plague. In the future what to say also have to stay away from this guy a little bit. Right. The photographer nodded his head while brushing his cup. Brother Wei. You can think like this. Your heart is really good. If I say. The combination of the two of us. We definitely have the ability to compete for the championship. One counts as one. How can we suffer along the way? With money. In terms of walking speed. Absolutely no one can compare to us. I won't be stubborn with you if you say this. Lu Wei stretched his eyebrows and grinned. In terms of being able to endure hardship. He was definitely the best among all the contestants. Since leaving society. What kind of suffering hadn't he eaten? It was the black brick kiln that he had worked in. To participate in this program for him. The biggest difficulty is only the problem of money on the road. As for the no man's land. No food and so on. He can carry. He can really carry it. As long as he could win the championship. What he discharged himself and ate by himself again. It was really okay. The morning's work was gone. But it didn't matter. In less than an hour. Another job was found that was easier and paid more. Brushing cups in a milk tea store was many times easier than brushing plates in a restaurant. Hurry up and brush. Try to perform better. Maybe the boss can pay more in the end. Not bad. Do it. Why? The two looked at each other. Full of energy. Burying their heads. They just worked hard. For a time. They entered into oblivion. Even the quarrels coming from the store outside were not heard. Hey. Okay. You two don't brush it. So what? These two cups of milk tea are for you. The uniforms are off. In a moment from the back door. A few minutes later. The store manager walked in with a dead mom's expression. Placed two cups of milk tea on the side table. And said with a long sigh. It is really sorry. But. You guys also brushed half an hour. The wages. Then top two cups of milk tea. Our store was reported. People Food Security Bureau of the People immediately came. Suspended for three months. What? Lu Wei stared at the same photographer. Froze for several seconds. Reported again? Who is it? What the hell? Is it over? It is not easy to find a job. 
is ready to bury the head to do a big job at how to be reported again ah why don't you at least pay us for half an hour there is no money to pay you the money in the store are blocked the report is really a cruel person the captain of the security bureau is followed by others and now the boss is estimated to have a headache the whole bad will have to go to jail the store manager dropped a sentence shook his head and walked out of the back kitchen leaving lu way two people looking at the milk tea on the table speechless brother way hurry to go milk tea store cannot do do not forget just not far from this side of a barbecue store is not able to go to string meat cannot be delayed the two of us have to pivot up make money is important the photographer gritted his teeth and proposed a sentence go lu wei opened the milk tea sucked a mouthful threw his work clothes on the table pushed open the back kitchen door and left in a hurry the photographer was right isn't it just another half hour of work for nothing what's the point there was still work waiting for them in the back besides he doesn't believe in the evil of having one business closed down is it so hard to make some money two people walked in a hurry and soon came to a barbecue restaurant talked about the price without saying anything washed his hands and put on an apron sitting in the back kitchen on a small horse zipper busy half an hour later behind the barbecue store in a garden wha lu wei squatted on the ground emotionally broken down and wiping his tears stepping on the horse again and being checked what the hell once again he had worked for half an hour for nothing not to mention that he hadn't gotten a dime and he hadn't even brought out the clothes of the two of them the photographer squatted next to him looking up at the sky in doubt who is so unlucky is it him or was it viagra in one day's time drying 3 3 were seized by other people's food safety bureau you didn't wash your hands in the toilet did you how can you be so unlucky let's go i won't believe it go to that chain store and take a look soon lu wei who had been crying for a while immediately adjusted his emotions pulled the photographer to his feet and walked towards a chain hot pot restaurant in the distance again i want to understand let's grow a heart this time you see from the morning to do that store it is not a big store this kind of store is not guaranteed at all people's food safety bureau a check a quasi this time we go to this hot pot store such a big store it is not always out of the question right that makes sense go the photographer lowered his head and thought what viagra said makes sense ah large chain stores people's food safety is guaranteed it's when the food safety bureau comes there's bound to be no trouble their requirements are not high can work peacefully until nightfall even if a person earns 30 enough to pay for the night's meal also into ah the way no words the two knocked on the back door of the hot pot restaurant do you want temporary labor i see you guys posted a recruitment in the back a middle-aged man in a chef's uniform glanced at the two and slowly shook his head you guys didn't look at the front door our store was seized and this time the boss is having a meeting don't want anyone for now finished speaking the chef closed the door with a clang leaving lu wei and the two of them in the wind well this family hasn't even started working yet and it's already been seized i'm not going to do it i'm not going to do anything i'm going to find a bowl i'm not going to be ashamed today let's go to the street and beg for food damn it If I work as a temporary laborer in this life, I'll be hit by a car and die. Lu Wei collapsed and roared. 
will be next to the ground on the ground a broken dog rice bowl snatched over. Pulling the photographer on the street. At the same time. Inside the Food Safety Bureau. Everyone was gathered in Miao Lan's office. Looking at the live feed on the projector. It completely blew up. Sister Lan. This can't go on. It's too horrible. We don't have enough seals. It's only been less than three hours. This guy Su Mo has already reported 30 stores. And they're all still solid evidence. Yes. Go to send money to Shell We Are Quit. This time even the street did not go out. And let us shout back to get money. What to do ah? Simply do not need three days. This guy if you stay up to report a night. 200,000 bonus enough to stick to tomorrow morning ah. We are not hurry to report to the above. And then apply for some funds down. Or else. In the end. There is no money to give ah. Miao Lan blinked her eyes and looked rather blankly at the whole living Su Mo in the live screen. The bowels of repentance were green. Poor and crazy? Saying that you should feel free to report it was just a polite remark ah. Who would have thought? This Su Mo was really not polite at all. Ra ho ah. But also the whole justified. Do not give money or not. In this case. Not to mention 200,000. Three days to report down. 400. 000 cannot stop wow. Chin Du. Hiking around the World Program Team building. Director's son is hiding in the bathroom. Whispering to his wife to arrange the aftermath. It's impossible not to make arrangements. Nowadays. In Nandu. The entire catering industry has been driven crazy by Su Mo. In just one afternoon. The phone number of the program team was busted. And even his private phone number was frantically dialed by the owners of those seized. As well as not yet seized catering establishments. Initially. Director's son didn't care. It wasn't until someone was now driving to Chindu with the intention of settling scores with their program group that he urgently notified the security bureau. It was too scary. Many restaurant owners brought their families with them. Claiming that the program group. Su Mo. Would not give them a chance to live in the future. There were even. I heard that they were ready to plan to retaliate against him as a director. Hey. Don't ask. I can't go home recently. Just live in the company. Not. We are old married. You still don't believe what I said? I am the kind of person who can go to crime? Really no. It is the company has been busy recently. Sun Guide sat on the toilet. Settling the family in a matter of detail. By the way. During this recent period. You also go out less. If your son goes to school. If you really can't. You give him a leave. Really. I'm not kidding you. Once you find strangers in the neighborhood. Report to the security bureau at the first time. In a moment I'll send you the phone number of the captain of the security bureau. The words were not finished. A deafening roar came from the earpiece. Old son. What are you doing? Ah. Are you sleeping with other people's wives outside? You give me the truth. I can withstand. How? People still want to retaliate to our family ah? Uh? Son cannot even go to school? Don't you have any idea what your son's learning level is? He's tutored until midnight every night. And he's not even in the bottom two. So if he doesn't go to school, there's still hope? No. Tell me the truth. What have you been doing lately? You're in the sewing machine business and you're going abroad for a few years. Are you suffering from dementia? No. You wait. I have to go to your company today to take a look. What kind of program are you running now? What kind of program are you running now? You're so nervous all day long. It's weird if there's no ghosts. Wait for me. I'll be right there. Did not give Sun Director a chance to explain? Pang hung up the phone. Alas. 
sighed Long. Sun Director was frustrated. Stood up from the toilet and lifted up his pants. After turning around and pressing the flush button, the entire person blinked and froze in place. Looking down at the prepared paper in his hand, he swallowed hard. Finished. Nima forgot to wipe and put up his pants. Hiding in the narrow bathroom. Turning around a few times, Sun Director gritted his teeth and pulled out the phone. Dialing his wife again. Hey. A moment when you come to me with a panty with pants. Do not let people see. I am in the company men's room at the very inside this one. Come in after do not make a sound. Give me the phone to vibrate. The other end of the phone. There was a minute or so of silence. Immediately after that. The voice of collapse came out. Old son. The old lady stepped on the horses. Yuan Yuan. Percent dollar and percent and percent and end. After the son director hung up the phone. Pursed his lips and stood in the bathroom. Bending down to look at the next door. Found no one. Sins ah. I should have known that the planning of the program walking around the world for what? Other people's contestants haven't finished their three-year journey yet. He's gone crazy. If he lets the Sue M.O. continue. Will he have any hope of walking out of the building in this lifetime? How many people must be waiting to block him at the entrance of the building? The police station. Chen Dali sat in the concierge and watched Sumo's live broadcast together with Grandpa Chin. The two people watched the live broadcast and kept popularizing every technology-laced food for everyone. Even though they were not the Food Safety Bureau. They were also scared at this moment. A short afternoon. It can be said. There wasn't a single store that Su Mo checked over that didn't have problems. Most of the food in most of the stores had mostly violated the law by mixing a lot of things in that they hadn't even heard of on a regular basis. Even large hot pot restaurants had problems. A plate of fatty beef that cost hundreds of dollars didn't even have a tiny bit of beef in it. It was all chicken and duck trimmings broken up and synthesized out of it. Plus beef flavoring. So that the average person wouldn't even be able to eat it. The problem is serious. Chin Monkler Outlet Store stroked his chin and gritted his teeth. This is still in Nandu. Only one afternoon's work. So many problems have been found out. Why? Doesn't it make money to run a restaurant? Why are they all so blackhearted? If you don't watch this live broadcast of Suemo, you really don't know that there can be so many curves in the restaurant industry. It's too scary. In the future. What's outside? Do you still dare to eat? Chen Dali on the side nodded with the same grave expression. It was indeed somewhat appalling. Moreover. If Nandu could be in this situation. Their Chin Du was definitely no better. However. Both of them were worried about a problem. Although Su Mo was trying to earn a bonus from the Nandu Food Safety Bureau. But seizing so many stores among which there were quite a few large chain stores, was equal to offending how many people? Touching the interests of a considerable portion of people. You immediately set off and secretly follow Su Mo. At this rate, I estimate that ah, the people who want to retaliate are definitely not in the minority. Offending too many people. After a long time, Master Qin narrowed his eyes and commanded in a low tone. As soon as possible to let Su Mo out of the city. Along the way must be careful. Exposed out of these technology ruthless work. And then wait for public opinion fermentation up. Things really big. Not they a program group. Not we a security bureau can decide. Must be above someone open mouth only. However. Before that. Make sure to ensure Su Mo's safety. The person is quite powerful. The thing done is also right. But it's too reckless. Exposing the inner workings of an industry is not something a person can do. Right. Also send a few people to pick up the cruise mansion. Beware of people who are desperate to cause trouble. At the same time contact our Chin Du's Food Safety Bureau. Strictly investigate the food problem. 
Live broadcast SUMO gave all kinds of identification methods. The fans are so many. Now do not hurry to check. Sooner or later, people will have to poke their spine. After Monkler Outlet Store Chin finished, Chen Dali did not have any stops. Immediately found the location of Sumo's two people and drove to Nandu. The old master was right. It was necessary to get Su Mo out of the city as soon as possible. Stay any longer. The entire Nandu's catering world was really going to have an earthquake. Nandu. Nightfall. Clang. Clang. Next to a trash can on the street. Su Mo sat on the gas can with Fatty hungrily. The two looked at each other and both revealed a bitter smile. Brother. You're too ruthless. Had I known I wouldn't follow you? After watching this afternoon. Is there anything left that can be eaten? Alas. Su Mo sighed. At the same time. He admired the technological ruthless living recipes rewarded by the system to the core. How were those catering bosses doing? He wasn't sure. But. Since reading this recipe. There was no way for him and Fatty to eat in the city. Going to one would reveal a problem with one. There was no way to get in. Walk by don't miss it. Haven't eaten for three days. Ten cents is also love. Twenty cents is not too weird. Give some. Suddenly. On the other side of the trash can. A rather familiar voice came. Thanks. Ma'am. It doesn't matter if you don't have change. We have a payment code. Just scan it. Little sister. Fifty cents in your pocket for uncle. Uncle give you a dime what? Listening to the voice coming from the other side of the trash can. Su Mo got up and took a look. And was instantly happy. Isn't this the player Viagra who brushes dishes at the Haggis Soup Store during the day? Let go of a good part-time job not to do. Why did he still run to the street to ask for food? Yo! The results can be ah. Uh, to ask for this have two pieces. Su Mo and Fatty walked over to take a look and laughed and joked. You! Lu Wei froze when he heard the voice and looked up angrily at the other party. Finally. He figured out that the reason why he was investigated for drawing one family was all because this Su Mo reported it to others. Good guy. The two of them were forced to go to the streets to beg for food. People are good. Reporting a family is rewarded 2,000 yuan. I heard that in the afternoon. The little girl in charge of the food safety bureau to send money are crying. And finally their own sticker money to these two livestock on the pad. You still have the face to laugh. I tell you. Su Mo. You finished. You know how many people you have offended in Nandu. Immediately there will be people to find your trouble. Rich how? Rich you are also enough to be able to run out of Nandu to go. Lu Wei said indignantly. For this point. Sumo's heart is also clear. After all. From the time it was just dark. The live broadcast room was flooded with many people. Claiming that they must teach him a lesson. However. This kind of person twisted to the security bureau. And there was no money to be taken. Sumo's interest was lacking. Okay. You guys then want it. We will go on the road first. But. Yo. Who is this who threw two gas canisters? At least it can be worth 200. Right? Really look at the two poor. Are beginning to coax people little girl on the body of 50 cents. Su Mo simply pointed to the gas cans next to the trash can. Dropped a sentence. And pulled the fat man to quickly leave. Nowadays took so much cash from the food safety bureau. It's not like the meals in the city could be eaten. It was necessary to hurry up and finish purchasing and then leave Nandu city. It was necessary to rush to the small border town as soon as possible. Compared to the $200,000 in cash. The two gas canisters were really a drag. Besides. There is money now ah. Uh, although the money in the card can't be moved. 
The 200,000 in cash on his body is definitely enough to get out of the Dragon Kingdom. Therefore, instead of finding a place to lose the two gas canisters, it would be better to help these two poor people in disguise. What do you mean? Looking at the back of the two people who left straight away, Lu Wei and the photographer looked at each other. And at the same time looked at the gas canisters. It was worth 200 bucks? Although the program group strictly prohibited contestants from gifting things to each other. But that Suemo said clearly just now that this gas canister didn't know who threw it here. It should be fine for them to take it. Right? Take it or not? Take it. It's worth 200 bucks. Why? While the scrapyard is still open. Hurry up and carry it and sell it. And then we can go on our way. The photographer licked the corner of his mouth and encouraged. Dry. Go. You carry one. I carry one. Sell it first. I didn't he think. That this Suemo was still a little bit of humanity. In that case. During the daytime. The old man will forgive him. Lu Wei gritted his teeth and carried the gas canister. Rushed the two backs in the distance. Murmured with mixed feelings. Go! The two of them had one gas canister each and quickly walked towards the street entrance. Just walked out of the street. Crunch! 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 Several black vans violently stopped at the curb. Swarming rushed down a few pugnacious men. Surrounding the two men. One of them. A burly man with tattoos all over his arms. Sized up the two men and turned his head to a gang of henchmen. What did the boss say? Brother one. The boss said. Two people plus two gas canisters. One of them has a video camera in his hand. Yes. It is these two people. The boss means. To beat them up severely. So that the treadmill will meddle again. A little brother next to him stroked his chin and returned in a cold voice. Then what are you waiting for? Dragged into the alley. Money in place. People dry waste. This is that Sue M. Owet. A moment to beat you don't cry ah. Rest assured. We are not heavy. You do not have to report the security bureau. Before we came. We reported it ourselves. Beating people against the law. A moment a few of us go to turn ourselves in. But. The boss of the other people's money to give the money in place. It is to beat you up. You say you do something not good. Good to participate in the program to participate in the program. There are two gas canisters still do not know enough. Go to report people's store for what? Brother when waved his hand. And the people beside him rushed up in a swarm. Dragging the two into the dimly lit alley nearby. No. I'm not Suemo. He just left. Big brothers. It's against the law to hit someone. I'm really not Suemo. Leaning against the cold walls of the alley. Lu Wei with the photographer two people with a crying voice kept explaining. The gas tank can still be fake ah? Good guy. All this time. Still do not admit. You are not Suemo. Who is Suemo? Beating people to break the law who do not know. Lousy luggage are ready. Is to go into lockup for a few days? The money has been collected. Say what also have to do you a meal. Fuck you ah. I'm really not Suemo. Good guy. Still not admitting it? Beat him up. I'll fight you guys. Brothers. Don't hit the face. Hit the ass. Beat him. Go. The screams were endless. After a long time. Brother Wen gasped. Lowered his head and spat fiercely. Pointing at the Su Mo lying on the ground. Showing his teeth and shouted. Things for you to say clear. Remember. And then dare to report the boss's store. See you once to beat you once. Okay. I a few people to turn themselves in. You two be careful. Intimidated a few sentences. 
A group of people walked out of the alley. Straight to the car to leave. Really went to the Nandu Security Bureau to turn themselves in. Today's society. The streets are full of surveillance equipment. Completely different from the past. Don't think of running after hitting someone. Instead of running away. It is better to turn yourself in and fight for leniency. However. This time the boss gave a lot of money. One and others feel that it is to go in and lock up for a few days. That is also worth it. Agu. Step on my ass. Nima ah. Lousy is not su mo ah. A full 10 minutes. Lu Wei two talents climbed up. Each other's eyes with aggrieved tears. Difficult to drag two gas canisters. Slowly to the mouth of the alley. Being beaten up is right. People hit the wrong person is also right. But life must go on. These two gas canisters can at least be worth $200. Say nothing cannot be lost. Otherwise, this beating is not in vain? Su Mo. I'm not finished with you. I'm not done with you. Walking out of the entrance of the alley, Lu Wei lowered his head and cursed. And the moment he raised his head, instantly froze in place. Only to see in front of him, I do not know when. Surrounded over a group of physically tough Amazons, each with a chicken feather duster in their hands. Two gas canisters? That s right. Just you called Su Moa? My daughter how to offend you? Open a milk tea store easy? You give my daughter reported. Sisters? Beat them both. No. Auntie. Auntie. I've been wrong to death. I'm not Su Mo. Lu Wei hugged the gas canister. Pulling his voice and letting out a collapsing scream. Tough mouth? You're still not Su Mo. My daughter said. Carrying two gas canisters. And a video camera. Big mom can still recognize the wrong? Smoke him. At once. A group of tough big moms dancing chicken feather duster rushed up. Crackling against the two men's ass. Is a hard whip. After a long time. In the dimly lit alley. Ah. Stepping horse. You quickly give me a look. Is not my ass or swollen. Really painful ah. Lu Wei holding the root of the wall. Hard to climb up. Twisting his head to look at the chicken hair stained on his pants. With a crying voice rushed the photographer shouted. Don't. You look at me first. At least pumped you our ass. Big mom pumped me all thigh root ah. Hiss. To me our pumped split. Damn su mo. Nima yo. For this guy took two beatings. Brother. City can't stay I am afraid that someone will come again in a while. What should I do? As soon as I heard this. Lu Wei's eyes flashed with fear. He is really afraid. Especially just now a group of Amazons. Can see. People just want to export bad gas. Also really did not put the two of them how. Just with a duster smoked a meal. Even two gas canisters have not taken away. The camera is also intact. But damn it really hurts. You're right. Hurry up. Get out of the city right away. Not a moment to lose. Lu Wei looked down and thought. Not caring about the fiery pain in his ass. Dragging the gas canister. He headed out. All this pussy. Still dragging the gas tank does not let go. The photographer is also dumbfounded. Busy catching up. A pole Lu Wei. Full of puzzlement. Brother Wei. Are you crazy? What time is it? What are you dragging the gas canister for? In case the road is blocked again? Then what do you say? Lu Wei gritted his teeth and looked at the gas canister. Drinking in a low voice. I've fought. Is it possible to leave the gas canister here? It's worth 200 bucks. If you don't go. Isn't this beating a bit too wrong? In the end. 
No benefit at all. I'm not willing. The photographer was speechless. Turning his head and thinking about it, what Brother Wei said also made sense. Now that the gas canister was thrown away, didn't the two of them become big wrong seeds? The beating was taken. The gas tank was also lost. Just thinking about it, tears began to well up in their eyes. Brother, you're right. I don't believe in this evil either. Let's pick a small road and try to avoid the main road. It's unlikely that we can still be discovered. It's not too late. Hurry up. After making up his mind, photographer grimaced and shouldered the gas canister. The two also step out of the alleyway, hiding in the shadows, probed around and took a look. Seeing that there was no one on the road, they couldn't help but let out a long sigh of relief. Go. It seems to be safe. I told you. Revenge must also have a degree of it. Two sets of people have been great. It is difficult to come to a group of masters? Lu Wei muttered with palpitations, carrying the gas canister towards the street. The photographer followed behind, looking left and right to observe the surrounding situation. Having been beaten up twice, he had planned it in his mind, and then found that somehow rushed up a group of people. Without saying a word, first lost the gas canisters to run away. As for what brotherhood? Bullshit. Right? Cannot take the blame again. Otherwise, the pants have to be smoked. With the speed at which Viagra makes money, it's hard enough to buy yourself a new one. It's better to be smart. Oh. The two of them turned a street inside in unison with relief when they didn't meet any more danger. It was safe. But they didn't wait for the breath to finish. An orange and red fire truck suddenly blocked the way in front of them. Several firefighters jumped down with a stony face and quickly rushed up. Overwhelming the two to the ground with great speed. Take them away. One of them roared angrily and lo. It's these two people. Good guy. Too little regard for safety. Just now a group of Amazons gave you a report. Openly carrying flammable and explosive materials on the street. The valves are open. What do you two want? Don't explain. Wait to give a good explanation when you go back. How can people's big moms lie to us? Take away. Lu Wei was pressed to the ground. Indignantly kicked the gas canister and stomped out a long way. The group of Amazons just now were too much of a bad thing. More of a dog than Su and Mo. It's okay to beat them up. How to turn around and give them a report? Scrub. Still dare to violently resist the law. Take away. A few firefighters glared and dragged the two into the car without saying a word. And rushed to the security bureau at a rapid pace. The outskirts of Nandu. In a large dense wildland in front of a bonfire. Suemo fiddled with the wooden grill in front of him with one hand, flipping the chicken on it. Fatty wiped his saliva at the side, constantly asking when it would be ready to roast. Brother, it's almost done. Right? I can smell the flavor. Don't need to bake it so well cooked. Just eat it. I've been hungry for a day. I just can't help it. Don't be in a hurry. Not baked you want to eat diarrhea ah? Suemo glanced at this guy and said in a bad mood. No. You give me the truth? Such a big rooster. Did you really catch it in the wild? Why don't I believe it? You can catch a chicken in the time it takes you to go to the restroom? Ha ha. Brother. Are you looking down on people? The corner of Afati's mouth hooked up in disdain. Don't look at me as fat. But I'm definitely a flexible fat man. It's really me who caught it. It's in that wild field right next to me. I'm still wondering. I haven't seen any chicken farmers around. Where did the chicken come from? It's also fat like this. Forget it. Since we caught it. It's our chicken. Let's eat it first. 
maybe it's a pheasant? Suemo sighed and shook his head. And simply stopped pursuing this issue. He also looked at the surroundings. At a glance. It was all big wildland. There wasn't even a village. A big rooster was just a rooster. It couldn't have traveled so far to come here. It was likely that it was really a chicken wandering in the wild. Anyway. It was roasted and there was still a huge sum of $200,000 on it. So the big deal was to pay it in the end. Almost done. Come on. Eat the chicken. Another ten minutes passed. The two sat cross-legged on the ground and began to split the chicken. The entire day had been spent reporting stores in Nandu. And apart from drinking some mineral water. They really hadn't eaten anything. Moreover. Suemo was also really afraid of this luck big fowl. After eating the chicken. You must wait until the new fortune comes out and then go on the road. Looking at the two people eating with their mouths full of oil. The fans in the live broadcast room started spitting. No way? When did Sue's craftsmanship become so good? Roasting this chicken. It tastes good at first glance. Can the flavor be bad? Didn't you hear what Fatty said just now? This is a pheasant. Living in the big wildland. People are not eating feed. They are eating worms. The meat is naturally good. No. How can it be a pheasant? The appearance of this chicken is clearly an ordinary large rooster. How do I have a bit of a bad feeling? Is it really fat brother caught in the wild? Upstairs so say. I am also a little skeptical. But the problem is. The surrounding environment we also see. There is no chicken farm ah. Who ate his fill? To bring their own domesticated chickens to this place? Hey hey hey. You guys look. Is that a silhouette in the distance? Crap. Looking for chicken people came. Ha 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 ha. Finished. Chicken are roasted. Sue two people will not be beaten right? Suddenly. The crowd looked at the camera. The distant wilderness. Seems to be walking a few silhouettes. Looking around. That look. Obviously is looking for something. Seeing this. The many fans couldn't help but come into the spirit. Suemo two people are lowering their heads to show off the chicken. One person a big chicken leg. Don't mention how energetic to show off. They didn't even notice the several people who were walking behind the two of them. F asterisk CK. You three are really losers. You can't even look at a chicken well. At this time. In the large wild land. A middle-aged man with a short stature tapped the grass under his feet with a stick and cursed his three men in a low voice. Now that the chicken is gone. How can we sacrifice the ancestor? Ah. Rush to the city to buy another one. Is it too late? The three strong men looked at each other and did not dare to say anything. Spreading out. They lowered their heads and looked for the traces that the big rooster had walked through. Alas. The middle-aged man sighed. Pinching his brow with a headache. Squatting in this big wild land for almost a week. He could finally find the entrance to the tomb. Looking at the completion of the opening ceremony. He could go down to touch something. But he didn't expect that at the critical moment. The chicken had disappeared. Raised seven days of the rooster. Inexplicably disappeared. Tell the truth you three. Is it that when I was sleeping? You three gave the chicken food? The middle-aged man squinted his eyes and thought about it. Thinking that this was highly probable. How is it possible? Master. The chicken is really gone. How could we have eaten it? Yes. We have to call you to eat it. It's impossible to eat alone. How difficult it is to work in our line of work now. If it wasn't for you. We wouldn't have found this tomb. Would we? We are all adults. We can't be so unreliable. Master. You have to trust us. The middle-aged man took a deep breath and helplessly waved his hand. Then looked down to find the chicken. 
That's right. They were a group of amateur grave robbers. Why did they say amateur? Because, since the beginning of stepping into this line of work, so far, has not stolen a complete tomb. Every time they find a tomb, and is to buy black donkey hooves, and is to buy a large rooster, burning incense and worshipping the Buddha, a process did not fall. It's hard to open a hole. I drilled into it and took a look. It's cleaner than your own pocket. You said that the former grave robbers are so hateful. You just robbed it. Why did you seal the hole again? Didn't you think about what the future generations would do? This is not. On a chance fishing trip to the outskirts of Nandu, we found a cemetery in the nearby field. And after four people studied it all night, we decided to do it one last time. Success or failure? After this time is over, no more grave robbing. Hey! Master! There are two people. In front. Suddenly. An apprentice fiercely squatted on the ground and carefully rushed a few people to point to the distance. The middle-aged man looked up and squinted to take a closer look. And when he saw it clearly, he couldn't help but be on fire. Damn! The chicken head on the wooden stick. Isn't it the big rooster they were looking for? Was it eaten by someone? Can be considered to have found someone? Go. Chicken was eaten by these two beasts. Go over to see. Several people angrily ran over. Give the old man stand up. Where did you get this chicken? Sumo's two men were startled by this voice of the other howling and looked back. Seeing that there were four rather wretched people. Red-faced and furious glaring at them. Ah! Uh, scratching his head in embarrassment. Suemo clutched the chicken leg in his hand. Gnawing it is not. Put it down and feel a little pity. Couldn't help but scrape the fat man fiercely. This is what you call a pheasant? People have damn well found it. This chicken is yours? Nonsense. Of course it's ours. Bought for $200 in the market. Big brother. The chicken walked quite peacefully. Did not suffer much. Do you think this is okay? You guys this chicken is 200 to buy. I give you 200. Anyway. The chicken has been all eaten. If you do not agree. There is still half a chicken left. Or. You take it? Helplessly. Suemo took out $200 from his pocket and smiled sarcastically. Which market to buy? This chicken does taste good. How many have you raised? Is it still for sale? Fatty wiped his mouth and asked with interest. You guys. The middle-aged man's face was black. But. The chicken was eaten. And now in addition to being able to make the other party lose some money. It seems that there is no good way. But the problem is. Tonight they are ready to go down to the grave. Without the chicken. It is likely to be stained with bad luck. 300. It's been raised for a week. Catching bugs for the chickens every day. There's no cost. Right? Okay. 300 is 300. Being caught in the act by others. Suemo felt that it was better not to care about this $100. Otherwise, it would be bad to fight again in a while. He gave the money cheerfully. Witnessing a few people leaving, the two then started to show off the chicken. Hey, brother, I don't feel right. It will be dark soon. These four people have nothing to do what to do in the big field. Besides, looking at the appearance of these four people, at the very least, they haven't washed their faces for several days. And their clothes are covered with dirt. They can't be fugitives. Right? A fatty knot on the chicken neck. Looked up at the backs of several people. And muttered in a low voice. I don't know. Although his heart was also puzzled. But the system did not give hints. Suemo was not in a good position to judge. However. 
there is one thing that can be determined. In the middle of the night four men ran to this place. It is a little bit not normal. Hurry up and eat. Anyway. We have to rush. Follow up and take a look. Instructed a sentence. The two of them accelerated the speed of the dazzling chicken. Deciding to secretly follow a few people up to take a look. Just in case it's really a wanted criminal. Maybe we can get some whole money again? The moon was clear and the stars were thin. Crunch. An off-road vehicle stopped on the road next to the large field. Chen Dali jumped down. And by the light of the moon. Looked at the weeds that reached the roots of his thighs. And grimaced as he sucked in a sharp breath. After coming out from Chindu. He didn't even drink water all the way. Fear that Su Mo and the two were retaliated against. Chasing the navigation to the outskirts of Nandu. Really can run ah. Not find a place to sleep at night. Run in the big wild land for what? Muttering. Chen Dali wrapped his clothes tightly and stepped into the big wild land. Looking down at his cell phone positioning. He turned left and right and walked forward. Not much time. With his feet in the air. He fell into a deep dark pit. Looking at the pit several meters above his head. Chen vigorously gritted his teeth fiercely. Took out his cell phone. And dialed the phone of Sumo's two men. Hello? Team Chen? Are you guys in the large field on the outskirts of Nandu? It's not too late. I'll give it to you guys. You guys hurry up and find a pit in the big wild land. I didn't wait for the words to finish. The cell phone suddenly went black. Chen Dali looked down and had a bit of an emotional breakdown. There is no electricity. Crap. All the way to open the cell phone positioning so expensive electricity? It was obviously fully charged when he left. How could it run out of power? Sue was about to yell at the top of his voice. Suddenly, for heads that could not see their faces suddenly appeared on the top of the head. With a full eight eyes. Dripping and looking down. What ghosts? Chen Dali was busy hiding to the side. His body clinging to a side of the earth wall. Scared and goosebumps. At this time. A low hoarse voice came from above. There is no big rooster. According to reason. We are likely to go down and run into something evil. But, for the last time, all be careful. Come, all kneel down. Kowtow three heads. The sound of kowtowing came. It was accompanied by the murmuring sound of a man. The ancestors are above. Just to take some things. Not intentionally disturbing you. The chicken was eaten by the two livestock. It is really not that we are unprepared. You are generous. But do not come out to find us trouble. I kowtow to you. You old man sleep at ease. On the other side. After the phone inexplicably hung up. Suemo and Fatty froze in place for a long time. And then dialed over. Captain Chen's cell phone was already off. Obviously. Before the words were finished. Captain Chen's cell phone ran out of battery. What did Team Chen mean just now? Letting us find a pit in the big wild land? This place is so big. Where can we find it? Fatty stroked his chin. His expression was quite speechless. I reckon that Team Chen is likely to follow us to Nandu. But. Looking for a pit? Could it be that you've stumbled upon something? Forget it. Since it lets us look for pits. Let's hurry up and find it. Eh? The words just finished. Suemo raised his head and looked. Under the moonlight. The few people who were just in the distance. Actually all disappeared. The whole person was immediately dumbfounded. Glancing at each other with the fat man. A look of panic surfaced on the faces of the two. In the middle of the night. Obviously just now was still in the distance. How suddenly disappeared people. Or. The four people who just came over. Are not people at all? Brother. 
Don't scare me. I'm a little scared. Don't you be afraid. Let me ask you. Just now these few people. Do you see a shadow? Suemo asked the key at once. After all. Now is not yet out of the luck of the great evil. What bizarre things are possible to stumble upon? Too evil. First. Team Chan inexplicably came looking for a pit. Then the four people who followed disappeared. I didn't notice. I was chewing on a chicken leg. I didn't notice either. Don't worry. It was just in the distance. Let's carefully walk over and take a look. Su Mo gritted his teeth and muttered. Stiffly starting to walk forward. Looking at the large empty field. A weird atmosphere also filled the live broadcast room. It's a bit scary. Did anyone in our live broadcast room see it? Where are the four people from just now? How come they disappeared for no reason? Even if they were squatting on the ground, they should be able to see something. You're not really afraid of running into a ghost. Are you? Generally speaking, there used to be wild graves in this kind of big field. And the big field at the end of our village is one of them. This is nothing. What's scary is Chen's phone call. Right? What's he doing looking for a pit in the middle of nowhere? Did he fall into the pit? Seymour is useless. Through the screen, my body goosebumps are up. There is no high energy warning, brother? Give me a hint later. Anyway, those four people just now must be abnormal. But whoever has no problem with his brain, it's impossible to run to this kind of place in the middle of the night. Right? Of course. Our brother Sue is excluded. He's not a human. He's an animal. Inside the live broadcast room, many fans were talking. The atmosphere grew weirder and weirder. Especially, the two Sue MO who were walking in the grass didn't know when they started not saying a word. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Suddenly, in the silent night sky, a mournful scream suddenly exploded. Is it the front? Suemo looked around to the front and asked in a low voice. Brother? It's the front. Ah Fatty grimaced and returned, pulling out an engineer's shovel in his hand and licking the corners of his mouth. The two of them carefully began to feel their way forward. Soon, came to a pothole. Lowered their heads and took a look down. Crap. Spare Sumo's boldness. This time he also burst out a foul mouth. There were four big heads at the bottom. Staring with round eyes. Looking at them with tears in their eyes. Brother. Can you pass the rope down? Hurry up and pull us up. Really? There is something underneath. Old scary. Yeah. We'll refund you the rooster money. M. Hurry up and drop it. Just stuff the ancestors into the coffin. Don't run out again in a while. Looking down at the appearance of a few people. Su Mo seemed to understand a little. This hole under his feet. Isn't it a grave robbing hole? No wonder these four people were a bit strange. So they were grave robbers. However. A grave robber who is stupid like this is really rare in life. Such a high hole. How did you get down there? The rope can even fall down with it? Throw the rope up. Thinking down. Su Mo grinned. Revealing a mouthful of big white teeth. Since it was a grave robber. Twisting it to the sheriff's bureau would be worth more or less some money. What the heck? The big rooster's money came back. Soon. The other end of the rope was thrown up. Su Mo. Together with Fatty. Slowly pulled the four people up. Don't move. Hold your head and squat. Grave robbers ah. You guys have the guts to be able to ah. What era is this? Still dare to rob the grave? Where are the stolen things? Compared with the grave robbers. Sometimes the cultural relics can be much more valuable than them. Su Mo. Who had experience once. 
held up the engineer's shovel and asked with a gloomy expression. Stealing my ass. A few people looked at each other and cursed in exasperation. Too evil. Little brother. Really not nonsense. Hurry up and leave this place. There is something underneath. Really? You two ate the big rooster. We didn't make offerings to the ancestors who slept inside. And as expected, the people pushed open the coffin and jumped out law. Really? Brother? My master really did not bullshit. Thanks to my quick eyes and hands. Ah. Went up to give that guy a few punches. Dragged to stuff the coffin. Otherwise. Enough to live up. Hurry up to go. Never again grave robbing. Brother. Say out our tears. Since stepping into this line. Until now. We are a few or a dime are earned. Just by a big cock and donkey hooves. Are pasted in a few thousand. Speaking in. The middle-aged man's several disciples. Is a handful of snot. A handful of tears. Isn't it just that there's no big rooster? As for that? After going down. Did not wait to light the candle it. Next to a black shadow jumped out. At that time to a few of them scared. Almost pissed out. Luckily. They reacted quickly. A foot on the black shadow kicked down. Then four people pounced on it. A burst of hammer. Carried and thrown into the tomb coffin. Ha! Huh? There's something at the bottom? After hearing what the four people said. To be honest. Suemo really couldn't believe it. How could it be possible? Besides. Even if he had never eaten pork. He had seen a pig run. Aren't ghosts all non-physical? Four people could still give someone an explosive hammering. Hiss. Hiss. Suddenly. Suemo and Fatty simultaneously sucked in a breath of cool air. Remembering the phone call made by Team Chun just now. Seemingly. What Team Chen said was for them to find a pit. Could it be that? Was the pit in front of them? Then. You guys are in a big mess. Really? All squat for me. Suemo rebuked angrily with an iron face. The crime of attacking the captain of the security bureau could be much more serious than grave robbing. These few people are finished off. Thinking about this. Suemo bent down and shouted at the inside of the deep pit. Teen Chen. Teen Chen. I'm Suemo Ah. Can you hear me? Are you inside? After a short silence. A voice with a crying tone came out from inside the pitch black hole. Su Mo? Quickly. Hurry to step on the horse to open the coffin. Blood dog. It is full of skeletons. I have touched the skulls. Where are those few people just now? Don't let them run away. Martyr. You must hold down these people. I'll give the bonus myself. A thousand for each one. Too bold. The old man didn't say a word yet. Come up and stuff me in the coffin. This is what a human being can do. In the coffin. Chen Dali was holding a skull in his arms. And his mind exploded as he roared. Under the blinding light of the flashlight. Chen Dali. Who had been rescued. Had a face so gloomy that it could drip water. Crouching on the ground. Sizing up the four people in front of him. Humph. The guts are really big. Openly attacking the captain of the security bureau. Ha. Chen Dali grinned an eerie smile. The four grave robbers winced in unison. This was really gut-wrenching. What luck ah. Is it not that there is no offering of a large rooster? Wicked or not. How could a captain of the security bureau somehow come out of the tomb? Alas. Chen Dali turned his head to look at the two Suemo. Sidelong and helplessly. I can't follow you two in the future. You can say. Follow you to be unlucky into what? I'm not going to be able to follow you two. Just tell me. 
What kind of bad luck will I have if I follow you? In just a few days. I've slept in a coffin twice. And I've gotten into fights with people every time. However. Still warn you too. As soon as possible to leave Nandu. As soon as possible to leave Nandu. Offended so many restaurants. Now in Nandu to find your revenge of a lot of people. By the way. Your program team a called Lu Wei you have the impression? Lu Wei? I have an impression. It was only when he was leaving that he kindly gave two gas canisters to the other party. Recognize. Just met up when I was leaving. Then you guys can be careful. Just now. These two were beaten up twice in an alley. And finally seem to be reported by a group of Amazons. This will all be locked up in the Nandu Security Bureau. The gas canisters are you too. Right? Then you can be careful when you run into these two people in the future. They were beaten up because of these two gas cans. I guess they have the heart to fight with you. Hearing this, Su Mo was embarrassed. When delivering the gas canisters, he really didn't think of letting the two people take the blame. However, this brother Wei was really unlucky. After working for a whole day, he didn't earn a dime. Not to mention, at the end of the day, the two gas canisters were confiscated. And he was beaten up by two groups of people. Suemo also felt that in the future must go around. This hatred not big ah. And then. The problem of your bank card. The security bureau has also contacted the bank of Chindu. It is indeed frozen. So take time out. You pass by a bank. And then let the fat man do a bank card. And in the future. If there is a bonus. It will hit this card. In the end. Chen Dali gave a few more instructions. Together with the two Su Mo. He escorted the four grave robbers out of the large field. Right. Teen Chen. What you said at the bottom just now counts. If a person's bonus is 1,000. That's 4,000. How do you give this money? Is it to be given to the punch card at that time? Or do you give cash now? Before leaving. Su Mo was busy knocking on the car window and said with a sarcastic smile. You will not speak without words. Right? Several of them can hear it. Saying this, he looked at the four grave robbers in the back row. Yes. We can testify that we heard it. Chen Dali closed his eyes and took a deep breath. Blaring fiercely at the four people. And said in a good-natured manner. By the time there is a new bank card. Give you to play the card. And then tell you a sentence. Once out of the country. So much money on the body. Cannot let others know. You out of the country can be very chaotic. In case of being robbed. Their local security bureau is not necessarily off. It is the domestic. And we do not have the right to go over there to arrest people. Understand? Once again instructed a sentence. Chen vigorously kicked the gas and left. Watching the car disappear into the night. Su Mo slowly nodded. He also had a certain understanding of the country that he left the country in the past. It was indeed chaotic enough. Moreover, the local security bureau was not like the dragon country. There were countless corrupt and bribe-taking people. And even many security officers colluded with the local forces. Therefore, in that place, if something goes wrong, apart from being able to rely on yourself, don't count on the security bureau. Let's go too. No. Find something to cover this hole in a while. In case someone else falls in again. Subsequently. Su Mo and the two of them came back to the entrance of the tomb cave. Pulled some grass from the side. Covered the hole and then made conspicuous markings on the side. Although the chances of an ordinary person coming to this place were very small. But in case someone else fell in again and happened to have a dead cell phone. It was hard enough to survive. Go. After checking once. And determining that as long as someone walks here, 
They will definitely be able to find the markings. Suemo and Fatty carried their backpacks and walked slowly forward along the large wildland. Midnight. Lu Wei who dragged his tired body all the way into the big wildland. At this time looked back at the distant Nandu city. Both rubbed their chests and took a long deep sigh of relief. Can be considered to have walked out. Brother Wei. It's not easy. Horse. When we meet Suemo two people. We say what also have to break up with them. This is not a pit? If it wasn't for the people from the Nandu Security Bureau following us on the road. We'd probably have to crawl out. The photographer limped along. His voice hoarse. Not bad. Pit once even if. Count this day down. Pit us how many times. This breath in any case also have to come out. Lu Wei gritted his teeth and echoed a sentence. The gas tank was also collected by the fire department. Even if there is no gas in it, it will not be given to them no matter what. And they also met Wen's group who started to beat them up at the Public Security Bureau. After arguing with them, they compensated them with $1,000. As for the group of Amazons, Lu Wei two people do not dare to offend. That is a strong fighting big mama. If you offend this group of people, don't say run to the big wildland. Is to run to foreign countries? People may have a group of people dare to catch up. Being smacked by the big mom, one can only recognize their own bad luck. However, although he was beaten up, his funds also increased by $1,000. It was considered a blessing due to the disaster. Now that the funds are also there, You've just eaten enough. Right? Tonight? Let's catch the road overnight. Anyway. The road in the big wild land. We both walked it when we came back. And strive to be able to cross that river before dawn. Aha. Uh -huh. The photographer agreed. Carrying the food they had procured on the road. The two of them lifted their legs and stepped into the grass of the great wildlands. As they walked. The photographer suddenly remembered something and snapped his head up to speak. Brother Wei. Walk slower. If I remember correctly. There seems to be a place with a pit in front of us. Do you still remember? When we were coming back. We almost fell in. I almost forgot if you didn't say it. There is indeed a pit. Be careful. The moment they thought of that deep pit. The two of them couldn't help but slow down their footsteps. A few minutes later. Hiss. Looking at a messy patch of barren grass in front of him. Lu Wei scratched his hair vigorously. Where's the pit? How come it's gone? If I remember correctly. It should be here. Right? Is it hard to believe that someone filled it in? With doubts in mind. Lu Wei cautiously took a step forward. There was a thud. The photographer who had already walked past looked back and the whole person was dumbfounded. Where's Viagra? Spicy Viagra. How suddenly disappeared. Lao Zi convinced. Who ah? Lack of virtue into this. With grass to the hole covered. Quickly come. To my horse fell into the pit. Under the deep pit. Lu Wei grimaced and climbed up. His mind completely fried. The program team. Sun director hung a neck of blood marks. Changed into clean clothes. And stood in the office. Taking a sideways glance at his wife who was dressing on the cot. Grinning down. There's nothing going on. It's just that this Suemo is too able to straighten out the job. So. I really don't have a way to go home for this period of time. Aha. Uh -huh. Sun Director's wife answered with a red face. And didn't say anything more. You busy yourself. I'll clean up the office. Sun Director nodded. Carrying his hands behind his back. Releasing and walking out of the office. In the end. It was an old married couple. There wouldn't be any conflicts that couldn't be passed. No matter how much noise. A hair can be restored to the appearance of a birdie. 
just a little bit costly waste. While rubbing his waist, he walked to the workplace. How's this Suemo guy doing? Didn't straighten out any more work? Right? Looking at the several staff members, Director Sun asked with a smile. Director! Since Captain Chen left, the two Suemo people have been burying their heads in the sand. But nothing happened. But, the two Lu Wei who followed them out of the city had an accident. Ah? Uh, other players can still have accidents? What happened? I. A staff member had a bitter smile on his face and slowly told Lu Wei's bizarre encounter this day. After listening to it, Sun Director's brain buzzed straight. So unlucky? Their program group usually had no other situation. What was always put on the big screen was Sumo's live broadcast. After all, in terms of the chances of something going wrong, a few thousand contestants combined. It was not as big as the chances of something going wrong with Suemo alone. But never expected ah. In one day, the player Lu Wei suffered so many unlucky things? Drying a family was Suemo reported a family. If this is also even so. In the end, Suemo this animal actually gave two gas canisters to others Lu Wei. Was blocked in the alley to beat up twice. Excessive. A group of Amazons beat up the end is not enough. And then to two people reported. It is not easy to come out from the security bureau. Well. And because Suemo to the pit entrance cover grass. Lu Wei fell in. One person fell in. Even if. The cameraman next to him. In order to save him. Was not paying attention and also fell in. In the end. He had no choice but to ask for help from the program. What kind of luck can be so unlucky in one day? Director Sun couldn't figure it out. Director. Look. Are we hurrying to send someone to save these two people? Without tools. It's impossible for these two to climb up. Alas. Then send someone. Director Sun thought about it and immediately sent two people to rush to Nandu while at the same time using the internal channel. After blocking Chen Yanhong, he released a message to all photographers, calling on all of them to stay away from Su Mo when they are fine. This person is not only a plague himself. He has accidents everywhere he goes. Whoever is in contact with this person will become more plague than Su Mo. At the same time, Lu Wei's encounter was briefly told to the crowd. Although it was the middle of the night, but almost all the players were shocked. They have used the photographer's cell phone. Crazy in the internal group to denounce. In general, the program group is not allowed to contestants freely use the internal group. However, today is different. Can see all of them to Sumo's resentment. To what extent? Scratch that. I said this Sumo is evil. This Lu Wei is also a big heart. People give you gas canisters you want ah? Last time in the Chindu Mountains in the bomb. Did everyone forget? Anyway. We are learning smart. Not afraid of starvation. Is starving to death. But also absolutely cannot think of taking advantage of Suemo. Unless they are tired of living. Otherwise. Can be away from this guy as far as how far to hurry to go. Fatty Chin Yan Hong. Why don't you say something? Let Su Mo come out and say something? Where have you gone? How long is the distance from the border town? Almost there give us a word. All of us can go on the road. And never walk with you. Fat Dudu Chin Yan Hong. I believe in your evil. I'm Lu Wei. I'm not finished with you too. Such a big hole. If you do not cover the grass, we too to fall in? We must take warning ah. This is not a deep pit. This is a tomb ah. Inside the old scary. Coffins are open. I do not know who is so unethical. To the skeleton on the coffin board. Really? Look at a glance. Almost give me a direct send away. 
Suomo you come out. Don't let my old man to meet you again. Absolutely not finished with you. Is it that evil? Crap. Underneath is a cemetery? Hey. I heard that you guys got beat up and lost $1,000? Really fake. So to speak. Is not all bad ah. 1,000 ah. Enough for you two to know how many days of steamed bread. Border small towns even if it. And now brush dishes a day only to give 10 bucks. Rolled up too powerful. Sun director looked at the content of the crowd discussion. Decisively closed the internal channel. So it seems. In addition to the people who took the other route. Most of the people in the route of border small town have now arrived in border small town. Except for the Su Mo combination as well as the Lu Wei combination. In other words. It wouldn't take more than a few days. There would be people leaving the country and starting to take the foreign route. Have you contacted the foreign media yet? Once someone leaves the country. Immediately contact the media and prepare to open the foreign live broadcast platform. After rushing a few technicians and ordering a few sentences. Director Sun twisted his head and returned to his office. Nowadays in the Dragon Kingdom. Their hiking globe had long been the leader of the major live programs because of Suomo. And. The fans continued to increase. Especially Sumo's fans. Like a stepping horse riding a rocket. Every day it could skyrocket by many people. It was only hoped that after the opening of foreign live broadcast platforms, there would be other contestants who would stand out and break Sumo's monopolization of most of the traffic. Then again, there is another important issue. That is, foreign countries are not like domestic. How to ensure the safety of the contestants in certain places abroad? The same place where the program team is worried. After all, there are a lot of places abroad. Can be free very free to the children's assault rifles have been invented. Director's son walked into the office soon. A low and depressing voice. Once again came out. The next day at dawn. Sue M.O. and the two of them after a whole night of rushing. Finally. They had traveled to this large river on the outskirts of Nandu. And. Early in the morning. The entire riverside was already overcrowded. Densely packed fishing guys stood in line at the entrance of a fish pond. Waiting to pay their money. Brother. Fatty. Who had run over to take a look. Ran back furiously with a face full of excitement. Shouting up and down. No wonder there are so many people? Feelings here a black pit just opened today. Back to the fish price is not cheap. I heard that fishing on the red standard fish. Enough to reward 10. Zero, zero, zero. This boss is really rich enough. Not afraid of bankruptcy? Hey. Brother. What are you doing? Did not wait for the words to finish. Only to see Sue M.O. without saying a word. All the way jogging rushed to the front of the crowd. Shouting at the top of his voice. Who has more fishing rods? Give me a handful of them. Dish out the money from the crying boss. And in the end we'll split it equally. The voice was loud. It attracted the attention of quite a few people. The boss who was collecting the money. His face changed at that time. Who is it? So bullish that he came up and wanted to play cry him? The fat-headed fish pond boss. Angrily ran over. Scrutinizing the two people in front of him up and down. Big bag carrying luggage. Wearing a hiking suit. Especially the fat man. The brain is also topped with a miniature camera. Look at the appearance is indeed a bit like those fishing anchor now disc black pit. However. Even the fishing rod are not. In front of these two people are estimated to be traveling. Necessarily impossible to be what fishing masters. Which have temporarily borrowed a fishing rod from others. Humph. The first day to open the door. Don't come to the old man here to make trouble. Nothing hurry to one side. Even the fishing rod is not there. You can also come to fish? The boss mercilessly mocked a sentence. Twisted his head and returned to the door. 
Holy shit! So hoity toity? Suomo narrowed his eyes. For a moment he actually did not know how to spit. Opening the door to do business. Shouldn't they all be peaceful? It was those food and beverage stores that he reported. Which one didn't greet them with a smile at the beginning? Open black pit fish pond are so bull? Young man. Don't. At this time. An old man with white hair. Carrying fishing gear. Did not move and pulled the two young men. Gently shaking his head. Don't cause trouble here. Boss Ma is not an ordinary person. Grandpa. This person has such a bad attitude. You guys still come to fish? Su Mo couldn't figure this out. It's the same as shelling out money. Why not find one with a better attitude? Harm. There is no way. The whole riverside of the fish pond. Now there is only one boss ma left. The other. Have been crowded out of business. Not to come to their home to fish. There is no place. Wild fishing is no fish at all. Monkler Outlet Story Look is also a warm heart. Looked up at the door. Secretly pull Su Mo two people to a corner. Face gravely said. The fish in the river. In addition to their family fish pond has fish. The rest are almost all poisoned. People ma boss is back from abroad. Is next to our Nandu that place? You two can be careful. The fishing rod Monkler Outlet Store I lend you a. Want to have fun if you want to go in and play? But. Can don't make trouble. To say a hard word. Our village several young men. I heard that is with the boss of the horse because of the standard fish have conflicts. Finally you guess what? Be coaxed to the next country. The waste are GA. True story. But there is no evidence. People fish pond is not still open well? Upon hearing this. Suemo was furious on the spot. Good guy. So to speak. This black pit boss is not a social person? A big brother who was socializing abroad? GA man waste this matter Suemo is believed. After all. According to Su Mo's understanding. The country next door is almost exactly the same as the one before he crossed over. A phrase that was once popular on the internet. But fooled a lot of people in the past. Welcome to my world. My delicate little princess. Can it be that this black pit boss is actually sending laborers over there? Monkler. We're just having fun. But he's got such a high price for this standard fish. Can anyone really catch it? How is that possible? The corners of the Monkler outlet store mouth twitched. And his expression was exaggerated. No one can catch the standard fish. However. Good skills fishing guy. Fishing a day fish can earn a little. Of course. Most people lose more. Monkler outlet store no other hobby. Just like fishing a fish. Is not too good technology. Belongs to the dishes and love to play. Anyway. Idol is also idle. Can fish a little bit to find a little fun? Is always better than in the home to see the wife is interesting. Su Mo grinned. Took Monkler outlet store the fishing rod. Secretly nodded. Since there is a possibility that it is a criminal. Then naturally can not let go. Then again. In a few days. He himself will have to go over to the Karma Waste Sanctuary. To understand the situation in advance. Is still very necessary. Grandpa. In a moment you follow me and fish together. Just make sure you can't lose money today. Su Mo said confidently. Although Monkler outlet store he was a bit unconvinced. However. He didn't explain too much. Yesterday was a big bad luck. After 12 o'clock midnight. The new day's luck is good. And it is a small good luck again. Monkler outlet store online. Sign successfully. Today's share of luck is small auspicious. Avoid love. Into the earth. Suitable for fishing. Speed plus one. 
Fishing ability plus one. The system is arranged clearly. The most suitable thing today is fishing. This is also the reason why SUMO decided to stop. It's hard to stumble upon an activity that's appropriate. You can't let it go. As for the walking distance, there was still Lu Wei's combination of two people in the back at the bottom. So there was no need to worry too much for the time being. Boss? How much? 800 for 5 hours. Old Ma despised looking at a fat and a skinny two people. His eyes rested on the position of the two people's waist and returned in a deep voice. Fatty. Pay the money. After paying the money, Su Mo received a number plate and walked into the fish pond. Said it was a fish pond. In fact, it was a place circled in the river. But the circled area was not small. According to the location of the number plate, the two men together with the Munkler outlet store stopped on the dirt road next to the center of the river. Young man, today draw this place is not so good ah. This place is next to the center of the river. The general fish cannot come here. And you two do not even have the material to hit the nest. $800 is not equal to a waste of money? Monkler outlet online looking around at the location. He opened his mouth with a black face and complained. Vegetables to vegetables. General fishing knowledge. He still understands some. Oh. It's. Fine Monkler. You play your nest. Right. The bait also lent me a little. Sumo's heart is not worried. To believe in the system's fortune. Since it says that it is advisable to fish today. It means that. By fishing today. It must be able to earn a lot of money. After walking for so many days. This fortune of the system. Suemo also probably figured out some of it. Alas. Forget it. That's it. Monkler outlet store hopelessly shook his head. Sitting on the small horse zipper began to prepare to hit the nest. Whoosh. Did not wait for the nest to hit a good. Heard a fishing line breaking sound. Monkler outlet store looked up. The whole person is confused. It wasn't. He gave the lad a dry bait ah. Have to be soaked in water to be able to use. Less than 10 seconds. And you started fishing? And you really don't adjust anything? No matter how deep the draft is? Damn. Fishing is more casual than him. Oh. It looks like an expert. At this time. Boss Ma with his hands behind his back. Stood behind Su Mo. Looked at the other party's crappy fishing technique. And boasted in a conspiratorial manner. How does the boss know I'm an expert? Su Mo didn't turn his head back and answered with a loud voice. Oh. Fishing. Fishing. Today you return to the price of the fish. I will give you double. If you can catch the standard fish. A twenty. Zero zero zero. Said it. A look at the other side of this posture. My boss decided to stimulate stimulate these two people again. Raised the price of the return fish. With his many years of experience in the black pit. In five hours. With this young man's fishing style. If he can come up with 10 fish, it is estimated to be smoke from his ancestors' graves. Su Mo was unimpressed. Silently staring at the fishing float in the water. This wait is more than an hour past. Even the grandpa next to him. People have caught up 10 fish. Su Mo did not move at all. Hiss. It was Su Mo. Who would be confused? What the hell? Luck is clearly advisable to fish. How a little movement is not there. Hey. Brother. Quick pull. Fishing drift went down. Suddenly. The fat man squatting next to him shouted. Su Mo made an immediate decision. Immediately got up and lifted the fishing rod. Only to feel a burst of vigor coming. Nearly dragging him into the water. Big fish. 
Big fish. Quick. The next Monkler outlet store to see this situation. Immediately jumped up from the pony. Impossible ah? Lousy this fish pond did not even enlarge the fish. Where did such a heavy fish come from? Boss ma in the distance. Looking at the bent fishing rod. Frowned and muttered as he walked over. The fish he personally put in. There was bound to be no mistake. There is no fish in the fish pond that exceeds 20 pounds. But looking at the bent look of this fishing rod. 20 pounds absolutely can't be blocked. What's going on? Where did such a big fish come from? Suemo dragged the fishing rod's movement is very big. In the distance many fishing guys see someone on the big fish. Coincidentally ran over. Cast envious eyes. Many people bloated and looked at Boss Ma. He said to himself. After such a long time. Someone can be considered to have caught a big fish. Look at the extent of the fish rod bending. It has to be more than 20 pounds. Right? Not right ah. I fucking use the secret small material. Up all the two pounds or so of small fish. A big fish have not seen. This young man I just noticed. More than an hour ago to hang the bait. Did not lift up to see. Has long been empty hook. Right? How can he catch a big fish? I don't care about that much. After slipping for so long. Not even out of the water. Is it a standard fish or not? Didn't old Ma say that if this young man wins the target fish. The reward will be doubled. Twenty. Zero 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 dollars? Fuck. Can you move? I want a fish next to the lad. The crowd said one thing to each other. Their gaze is dead set on the water. Boss Ma was naturally no exception. However. He was more curious about the water guy than anyone else. Could it be that the one who put the fish in accidentally put it in? It can't be. Right? With doubt in his mind. Boss Ma stood right behind Su Mo. Staring at the water without looking away. In GAYC Holy Land. It is not easy to earn a sum of money. Thinking of coming back to open a period of time of black pit. Cut a good crop of leeks. Don't leeks have not been cut. Their own people will give people gripped bald ah. Hiss. Not right. So long. How even a splash did not turn up. Young man. You are not hanging something under the water. I look how not like a fish. Monkler outlet online. The more I see. The more I feel that Suemo caught up is not a fish. But it's not a fish. What kind of thing can it be? Even the fans in the live broadcast room. This will also be a variety of opinions. After all. Sumo's formidable record there. In the fish pond caught up is not a fish. The crowd heart is not unacceptable. Open no? Guess what Sue pulled up in a moment. If it's not a fish. What can it be? We have even caught crocodile eels. What can't we catch? Be logical. Okay? This is a fish pond. Isn't it? Didn't that old man just say that there are no fish in the river? There are no fish in the river now. What else could it be if it's not a fish? Could it be a corpse? Hiss. Upstairs brother. Suemo can be very evil. This kind of words must not dare to say. In case really up a corpse. You a moment how to do? It can't be a corpse. That thing under the water can still drag the fish floating away. It must be a living one. How can it be a corpse? How can it be a corpse? Don't scare people. Okay? What can it be? We're in a hurry. Let's pull it up and take a look. Don't care what it is. Just because of this black pit boss look down on people. We are all angry inside the Chin Du fishing group. This has already gathered people. Started to drive to Nandu. Said whatever today will also have to dish out crying this boss. That is. One person to drink water. But also have to drink him this fish pond to dry up. Crap. 
Is the fishing army so horrible? Time passed by minute by minute. Sumo's arms were lifting sour. Finally he felt that the force dragging him underwater was a little smaller. Fatty. Prepare the plunge net. Lifting his leg. He kicked Fatty. Signaling that he was ready to lift the pole. As for what exactly was underwater. Suemo was also curious. After sneaking around for so long. What can be determined is that what is underwater is indeed not a fish. If it was a fish. It would have long started to roll on the surface of the water. And it could not have been under the water all the time. But it wasn't a fish. What could it be? I'm ready to pull. A low growl. The crowd in the back stretched their necks and stared at the slowly raised fishing rod. When the fat man plunged down and dragged a thing as big as a faceplate out of the water. Everyone present froze. Dumbfounded. The crowd turned their heads to look at Bosma on the side. There was still this thing in the fish pond? F asterisk CK. Where did you get such a big wangbang? Looking at the dragged up a large kingbird. Bosma couldn't help but curse in a low voice. Got rich. F asterisk CK. Such a big king sized octopus. How much is this worth? It's worth more than a standard fish. I just don't know. Does the boss recognize it? If you don't recognize it, the young man will lose a lot of money. Just such a big wang bao. 20. 000 yuan absolutely can't stop it. I remembered. The original as this river is indeed a king's eight. But for many years do not appear. I did not expect. The fish pool has such a big thing. How is it possible not to recognize? The money is out of pocket. Anything that can be caught can be taken away. The first day of opening, if the boss does not recognize, who will come later? Listening to the crowd's discussion, Boss Ma's heart was all tangled up. Over 20 pounds of a big wang bao. The value of this thing is absolutely not expensive. Especially for some rich people who urgently need to replenish their bodies. This is a guarantee that they can revitalize their strength. Spend how much money you're willing. But the problem is. The rules are indeed set that way. Anyone who catches something in the fish pond and doesn't go back to the fish. It's perfectly fine to take it away. Which also does not stipulate. Catch up the king eight cannot be taken away. Who would have thought that these two people are so evil? People are one fish after another fish on. You guys are good. No movement for an hour. That's a lot of noise. Can you even catch a big one? Bull. Keep up the good work. After weighing his options, Bosma coldly grunted. As if he tacitly agreed that the other party could take the wang bang away. It was just a chance event. Such a large wang bao was most likely accidentally driven in when the river was closed. Thank you boss then. Suemo grinned and sat down on the pony at ease. Young man. Open your cell phone. Grandpa will sweep the money over for you. At this time. The grandpa sitting next to Suemo. Stared at the big wang bang on the ground. Pondered for a while. And said with some embarrassment. Can you sell this kingbird to Monkler Outlet Store me? How about 20,000? If you can do it, Monkler Outlet Store now transfer the money to you. What? Monkler Outlet Online is now old. So far have not held a grandson. The son of the family body is a little weak. This king of eight just to take back to make up for it. If you think it's cheap, Monkler Outlet Store can also increase the money. This is a wild king of eight. Cannot be found. I'm not going to be able to do that. The first thing you need to do is to get a good deal on a new product. I'm not going to be able to get a good deal on this one. The average family. That is. There are a dozen front houses. Not much of a rich and famous person. Monkler Van Sale had a wave. Gazing at Sue M.O. Good guy. A dozen or so storefront houses is not considered a great wealth? 
Suemo really want to give Monkler outlet online a sentence, you can really low profile. No wonder the fishing technique is so good. Spend $800 to find fun. Not at all distressed it. Dare to have a dozen front rooms to collect rent. Fatty. Take the cell phone. No need to 20. Zero zero zero. The fishing rod is also Monkler outlet online. Sweep by 18. Zero 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 will be. The number is also auspicious. Suemo said with a smile. Both hands swung the fishing rod. Whoosh of the fishing line thrown into the water. Hey. Crap. What the hell is hanging on? After throwing it down. Suemo lifted the fishing rod upwards. And found that the fishing line was taut and straight. Obviously hanging something under the water. And was busy with a strange cry. Another two hours passed in the blink of an eye. All the fishing men present dropped their fishing rods and ran behind Suemo. Wherever they could stand. They were full of people. There were even those who were well connected. One person rode on the neck of another. Just to be able to see how people actually fish for wangbangs. It's just evil to the core. Since the first big wang bao came up. This young man and stabbed the wang bao nest like. That is a fish did not catch. Wang Bao one after another hooked. These are all wild wildebeest. The nutritional value is not low. There were quite a few people who started bargaining with the fat man. Wanting to buy a wild king's rumpus. This one is smaller. What about 600? If it can be. I now give you transfer. Not I say. Your brother today can be considered to let me open my eyes. I have not seen with a fish hook to catch a king of eight. But also a fishing a accurate. And. Where the fish pool so many king of eight. We so many people fishing for several hours. A did not see caught. Brother. You honestly. You do not have any special way ah. I want this one. Go back to make up for it. Bitch. Dare to say I can't do it again? I'll be back tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the morning. Wipe. Up another Wang Bao. Hey. You say is not the old horse put the wrong fish? It's not a fish. It's an asshole. Fatty held up his cell phone and laughed throughout. In two hours. Just by fishing for Wangbangs. He had made tens of thousands of dollars. Brother Sue was too good. It seems that in the future. He will have to prepare a fishing rod for Brother Sue along with him. But wherever there is water. He will have to stop and fish for a while. What if there's a windfall like today? Standard fish? What the hell is a standard fish? Can it be as valuable as an octopus? Standing on the other side of Boss Ma. Looking at the group of people gathered across the street. His entire face was horribly gloomy. Turning around. He took out his cell phone. Dialed a phone number. Hey. This is old ma. Was that a fish you put in for me last night? No. Are you sure? Really fish? Then how can Tama be evil like this? So what is this pool of mine for? Really fish? Put is not Wang Bao? Then I'm clear. Nothing. There is a person in my this catch up tens of thousands of Wang Bao. Give me all the whole won't be. Since it is put the fish. Then I have a number in mind. Said here. Ma boss looked back. Took his cell phone and walked into the room. Stood by the window. Squinted at the crowd by the fish pond. And lowered his voice. A big loss. No this fish pool cannot be whole. Alas. Also stepped on the horse blame me. Nothing to think of cutting a crop of leeks. Did not think. To run into a ruthless person. Right. How many people are now registered in the outbound? Several hundred? Really so many? No. Where so many people want to leave the country ah? Uh? Don't you have any brains? The Public Security Bureau's propaganda is so bad that they're sending hundreds of people at a time. 
What? What? They're all from the same program? Okay. I get it. It's almost done. After registering, send the people over in a few days. There's a shortage of people over there recently. Hang up. After hanging up the phone, Old Ma couldn't help but grin. Unexpected joy. I thought that labor export this work. Nowadays there is no way to do. I did not expect. In the border town, there are hundreds of people ready to look for them to apply for visas to cross the border. The first one is a person. You can earn tens of thousands of dollars. Hundreds of people. This is not hair? Immediately, the old horse put the matter of Wang Bashi behind him and looked up a program on the internet called Trekking Around the World. Looking carefully at the rules of the entire program, he understood in his heart. Why did they let go of the regular channels and look for them as an intermediary company? It turns out that the contestants who participate in this program have to earn all the expenses themselves. Take the formal channel then. Oh. The old horse cannot help but laugh in his heart. The border personnel of that country next door? Is not like the dragon state. You take the normal way to go over. The middle does not ruthlessly grip you a layer of wool. Absolutely will not let you out of the country. But looking for their agency is not the same. Although the price will be a little higher. But along the way will not encounter difficulties. After all. Karma waste business. Mixed with a lot of people. People's power in the local area was also very counterintuitive. So that's how it is. Old Ma secretly nodded and hurriedly walked out of the room. Holding up a blackboard. He erected it next to the fish pond. With so many registrars around. What else was there to cut the leaks of the fishing guys? One had to rush to the small border town tomorrow to make it. At the same time. Nandu Security Bureau. It's really troublesome for you guys. Sun Guide. Along with a few shareholders. Walked inside the office of the security bureau and shook Ning Fan's hand. Explaining the purpose of his visit. Team Ning. It's like this. Quite a few of the contestants from our program group have already started applying for their visas. Intending to take this route to the next country. And given the level of chaos in the next country. So we purposely came to the Bureau of Law and Order today. Just to ask if the Bureau of Law and Order can provide some simple assistance locally once they leave the country. Hearing this. Ning Fan's face was heavy. And he did not open his mouth at first. To be honest. Since yesterday. The top was also meeting and studying about this matter. Ever since a few years ago. Quite a few people from their southern capital began to be coaxed into that country. Coerced to engage in various criminal activities. This has also been a problem that they have been cracking down on. As well as a headache. For a few years now. It's been publicized non-stop. But it hasn't been very effective. And for those in the past. Those who were lucky enough to escape back to their country. And those who were unlucky enough to die in that place. Or not a few. We have also been discussing this problem recently. Still hope that your players can change their routes and try to avoid this place. But. Speaking of this. Ning Fan's words changed. Hesitantly. He said. After the discussion of the Nandu General Security Bureau. In fact. Our security bureau desperately wants to figure out what exactly is going on across the street. And who exactly is engaging in illegal labor exportation. If. If your program group is willing to cooperate and can allow our security bureau staff to disguise themselves as the contestants and follow them along outbound, at the very least, safety, we can guarantee, of course, we'll escort your contestants into the safe area before we take action. These words came out. Director Sun along with a few shareholders bowed their heads and fell into deep thought. In addition to looking for help from the security bureau. In fact. They had also smashed heavy money locally to contact some forces that could guarantee the safety of their contestants in a critical situation. 
However, right now, it seemed as if the Nandu Security Bureau intended to infiltrate those illegal organizations in the next country through their program. In that case, wasn't the risk too great? For a while, the two sides were at a standstill. By the way, this time, our Nandu Security Bureau is well prepared. The main purpose is not to destroy the other side's illegal organizations, but to go and rescue the hostages who have been tricked into going over there, as well as investigating the situation mainly. And at the same time, after much negotiation, we do get a bonus for rescuing the hostages. Suddenly, Ning Fan thought of something and inexplicably mentioned the matter of bonus. Director Sun blinked. In his heart, he was quite confused. What did it mean? What is this captain implying? A bonus? Meaning, if their program group doesn't agree, with the degree that Sumo's animal wants money, once the exit knows that there's a bonus to take, he'll inevitably make a whole living? Black Pit Fish Pond. The crowd. After seeing the blackboard hung out by the boss, many people's faces changed. What do you mean? Is it ready to close before its time? Especially Sue M.O. At this time, even his eyes narrowed. With his eyes across the fish pond, he stared dead on at the distance. The high and mighty boss Ma. The other party had a big belly and crossed his arms. A look of being emboldened. All seize the time. Hurry up and pack up and leave. There is a problem with the fish pond today. If the money, it will be counted into your next fishing fee. Hurry up. Boss Ma yelled at the top of his voice. Waved his hand at a small room next door. A few dyed hair youngsters came out at once. Sneering and playing with the wooden sticks in their hands. The meaning was self-evident. If you don't leave again. Don't blame me for being impolite in a while. Let's go. This is not the first time this kind of thing has happened. The last time Lao Tzu was not beaten up. These few youngsters hit hard. Monkler outlet store whispered. But also dry. Put away the fishing rod. Intends to leave this place. Many of the remaining people dared to be angry and silently packed up their things. There was no way. The nearby fish ponds were monopolized by this guy. That is. People were unreasonable. They couldn't report it to the security bureau. Could they? In the end, there might be retaliation from this group of people. What's more, this boss ma was in the neighborhood and really couldn't be messed with. Grandpa. Just like that? Is this how you guys fish on weekdays? It's obvious that it's not time yet. And the money isn't refunded. Won't you guys report it to the security bureau? Su Mo was full of puzzlement. Shu. Don't talk nonsense. You can't afford to play with others. What can you do in the end if you report it to the security bureau? Nothing more than being able to return some money out. But this group of people will retaliate. Once he heard this, Su Mo pursed his lips. His heart sort of understood. In fact, there was one thing that was not clear in his heart. That is, most of the people who come here to fish. In addition to Montler Outlet a few people are not bad money to fish here for fun. The remaining many people can be my boss personally call invited to. To put it bluntly, it is raw blackmail you. Therefore, the majority of people did not say a word. And even have a feeling of relief. Hurriedly packing things ready to leave. Isn't this social? Su Mo licked the corner of his mouth. Handed the fishing rod to the big man. Got up and clapped his hands. Made a look to the fat man. And walked straight to the opposite bank. The fishing man was afraid of this boss ma. He is not afraid. Besides. Dare to hack his money. This breath can be tolerated? The money is not easy to come off. And. There is also the most important point. 
since this boss ma entered the room and came out. The system's prompts also arrived. Name, Ma Lao San. Gender, male. Engaged in illegal labor exportation. Committing crimes in the local area. Extremely underhanded methods. Coaxing them to the Meng Jai. Extremely deep hiding. Twisted to the security bureau. Can continue to receive bounty based on the subsequent arrest of the person. Suemo looked at the information given by the system in his mind. He immediately grinned. What does it mean? Is it hard to believe that this boss Ma is still a large bounty mission? What did the system mean? Through this boss Ma, many people could be arrested subsequently? Illegal labor export? Isn't it just a crook? Tricking people into going to karma? Thinking of this, Suemo immediately made a decision in his heart. Since the fate has arrived, naturally there is no reason to let it go. Anyway, he is already like this. Evil is evil. As long as it ends up on the Forbes list. These people. They could all be sending him money. Oh. Boss Ma can't fish anymore? Together with Fatty. Bypassing a group of fishing guys and arriving in front of Boss Ma. Suemo grinned and instinctively started to hunt for something on the ground. Yes. Can not fish. But. Ha! Huh? Just now I called and asked. Last night's fish put the wrong. Put into the king's eight. So. Little brother. Eight hundred dollars I return to you. You just sold the king's eight of those people. Can be refund the full amount to me. Ma boss touched his chin. Stood at the edge of the fish pond. His eyes glanced over the several people beside him. A look of eating the other side and return it to you. You have two more eggs than others. Ah. Uh, just. Suemo who was smiling one second. The next second P. Raised his head and cursed at the same time. Didn't even give Ma Lao San the chance to react. Raised his leg and stumped the guy into the fish pool. Fatty. Yelled at Fatty. Suemo copied a small pony next to him and pounced on a few other yellow-haired youths. Want money? F asterisk king horse. Don't ask around. What background ah? Ask us two for money. I'll take the wine bang and smash you to death. Fatty responded with a red face. One hand a big wine bow. Dancing tigerishly. Slapped to a few yellow hairs. Put. Help. Quickly save me. Lousy can't swim ah. Hurry down individuals to drag the old man up ah. Ma Lao San. Who was kicked into the water. Twisted his obese body. Dunked a mouthful and a mouthful of river water. And yelled at the shore with his voice. However. Although a few yellow-haired youths had sticks in their hands. What kind of person was Su Mo with Fatty? That was the person who even the drug dealer leader Nan was soft. How could a few yellow hairs be a match for two people? In less than a minute's work. Everyone was thrown into the fish pond to drink water. Seeing this situation. The group of fishing guys who were planning to leave stopped in their tracks and looked at this scene with horror. Unexpectedly. This fat and thin combination of two people. Can be brave like this? Malau San's few people didn't even have a chance to fight back before they were all punched into the fish pond. First do not go away. The horse. Can be considered out of a mouth of bad gas? The big deal is not fishing in the future. Not I say. This Ma Lao San really is not a person. Last night in the middle of the night a call me. Said today if I do not come to support the scene. Tomorrow we'll give our family gate to throw manure. The evil people still have to be evil people grinding ah. Young man good job. Pouring feces? If I don't come. This guy is going to unload my wheels. However. This time but to Ma Lao San offended hard. Hurry to let the young man two people go. A moment Ma Lao San's people come again. Can not go. A group of people whispered and worriedly looked at the two Su Mo. Hoof. 
Suemo stood on the shore and looked back at Fatty. The other party understood. The tacit understanding was great. Immediately took out his phone and dialed Captain Ning. Hey! Captain Ning! Come pick up the people. We're in a black pit fish pond on the outskirts of Nandu. What? How many people? There are six people for the time being. How many more people will there be in a while? It's not very clear. Right. Your whole bus come. Okay. Hang up first ah. After hanging up the phone. Fatty pulled Sumo's clothes. Whispered. Brother. After the notification. Is one bus enough? Should be enough? Suemo scratched his head. His heart was also a little uncertain. Looking at Ma Laosan who was dragged by a few yellow hairs showing his teeth. He turned his head and stretched out his hand at the Monkler outlet store next to him. Grandpa. Come. Give me the fishing rod. I'll try to see if I can catch this Ma Laosan. Upon hearing this. Put. Ma Laosan is like an old bastard. Spraying out an old long water column. The whole person's two eyes rolled over. And fell straight into the water. Is it a human being? Actually trying to fish him? Nandu. Security Bureau. After hanging up the phone. Ning Fan waved his hand in front of his desk. Signaling a pause in the discussion. What's wrong? Seeing the other party's strange face. Director Sun glanced at a few shareholders and cautiously opened his mouth to inquire. A consensus was about to be reached. What important matter could this Captain Ning in front of him have to interrupt the discussion between the two sides? Prepare a bus? Your program Suemo. I don't know where he caught another batch of criminals. Right. Bring the money. Go see what's going on. Ning Fan got up. Finished ordering at a team member in the office. And twisted his head to look at the program team. Do you guys want to follow and take a look? But. To be honest. Where did you guys find this contestant from? It's really a rare sight in a million years. It's only been a few days since he arrived in our Nandu. Without bragging. There's no one in the public security bureau who doesn't recognize these two people. The finance of our security bureau. Now when they hear Sumo's name, they all run to the toilet in fear. Really? With these words, the program team was speechless. They really went to investigate how the Sumo came to participate in the program at that time. And as a result, in order to participate in this program, the person didn't even go to the aircrew professional recruitment and was determined to succeed in Universal. As for why it could be evil to this extent. No one knows. Anyway. Since the program began three days later. This guy is like activating the system. That is to catch all kinds of criminals in the sheriff's office raw wool gathering. Just last night. I heard that after Captain Chin Du Chen went back. He all started to ask the concierge. Master Chin. To borrow money. Said it was to repay the 4. 000 yuan bonus owed to Su Mo. If not for Su Mo, he was likely to end up in heaven with the one in the coffin. Uh. This. Honestly. We also have a headache. But. Although Su Mo, this guy wants money but not life. But so far. It is also considered invisible to help the security bureau a lot of favor. The details do not need to go deeper. Right? Director Sun stiffly diverged from the topic. By the way. Suemo didn't say what kind of criminals he caught? The corner of Ning Fan's mouth twitched. At this point. After Fatty hung up the phone. He did call back to say that according to what Suemo said. These criminals that he arrested were most likely engaged in illegal labor referrals. That is. What they were discussing just now. Just tell me if it's outrageous or not. This side is still discussing how to get inside these people. Sumo's side is doing fine. He's already captured all the people. 
it was still a busload of people. Go over and take a look to understand. But. Your cooperation with the Security Bureau. I estimate that it is likely to fizzle out. Specifically. In a moment you see SUMO and then ask. After dealing with this SUMO for a few days, Ningfan felt that this possibility was high. Instead of worrying about the safety of the program's contestants, he thinks that if the people SUMO arrested are really labor dispatchers, then what he should be worried about now should be those crooks. People's drug trafficking gangs end up being wild boars. Just say evil to what extent? Then, okay. We will also follow to see. Unable to do anything else. The few people of the Sun Guide sat in a bus and followed the staff of the Nandu Security Bureau. Rushing to the outskirts of the city. By the river. By the fish pond. Pung. 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 Suemo raised his foot and stepped on Ma Lao San's stomach one after another. In the small bucket on the ground next to it. Fatty had already picked up several small fish that Ma Lao San spit out. Ma yeah. Really people cannot be seen. Seawater cannot be measured. Brother. This Ma Lao San stomach is really big ah. Spit out this or almost a drinking fountain. Not yet spit it out? Drink how much ah? Next to the kneeling on the ground a few yellow-haired young people. Horrified look at the two men no longer dare to open their mouths to say a harsh word. Fearing that the other party would treat them like they treated Ma Lao San. Ruthless was really ruthless. What is said is what is said. Live with a fishing rod to catch Ma Lao San. But hanging so big a bloody mouth. Not only them. The group of fishing guys who stayed here and didn't leave. The longest of them had fished for decades and had never seen one that could catch a person up. Put. The small fountain was general. After Su Mo stepped hard on it, Ma Lao San leisurely opened his eyes. Am I dead? Nope. Not even close. Su Mo squatted next to him, blinking his eyes and said, Still drink some water? After saying this, he revealed a rather kind smile at the other party. Hiss. Ma Lao San hit a jolt. Shaking his head in shock. You. Bastard I don't want. The money is also returned to you. Brother. Are running in society. How much to give a little face. Killing but head point. Really. Today is my Ma Lao San is not open to the eyes. Your gas is also out. My water is also drinking. This thing will be so passed into it. A moment my brothers are coming. You just two people. I guess it's not easy to end it. Is not it? To say that this Ma Lao San can bend and stretch to this point. Su Mo cannot help but look at each other two eyes high. However. Sorry. Waiting for is those brothers of yours to come. What on the past? I ask you properly. Are you opening an exit labor company? No. Hearing the other party ask this coldly. Ma Lao San seemed to figure out something. Deliberately looking for trouble? Busy shaking his head without hesitation. No? Tough mouth. Boss Ma can be really bad. Seeing that the other party answered so dryly. Sumo felt that without a whole lot of work. This Ma Lao San was bad enough to tell the truth. Moreover. The people from other people's security bureau were already on their way. Rushing before Captain Ning and the others arrived. He had to straighten out this Ma Lao San. Otherwise. It is not exposed? One look. And you know that people are in the business of illegal labor transportation ah. Criminal. Real criminal. Since this. Su Mo got up and stretched out a hand at the fat man. Showing his teeth. Come on. The whole like to show his head of the big wangbang over. To our ma boss stuffed crotch. I can hear. The wangbang's teeth can be quite sharp. A bite can be bitten off. Said. 
the two people squatted on the ground and went to unbuckle Ma Laosan's pants belt. Don't! Crouch! Ma Laosan was scared at that time. His legs immediately clenched. His whole body winced. Especially when he saw that fat man pulling out an old wangbang from the bucket next to him that was bigger than his face. The whole person instantly collapsed. Nima. This bite down. It's cleaner than the fucking ancient purification room GA. Right? I said. I said. Don't plug. Really? I'm allergic to the king's eight. Don't plug. Originally. My daughter-in-law disliked not long. Never dare to bite ah. Then you tell me properly. What exactly does this labor company of yours do? Su Emo lifted the big wang bao. The tone is quite kindly asked. The edge of the big wild land. Lu Wei. Who walked out with a big breath. Looked at a fish pond not far from the river. And coincidentally stopped their steps. Go over and take a break? Well. It's hard to be saved. It's time to take a break. The photographer returned wearily. Stop. At this moment. On the road not far behind him. A roar came from the road. And several commercial vehicles roared over. One of them. A yellow-haired young man. Poked his head out of the window. Squinted at the two Lu Weis. And silently nodded at the people inside the car. One fat and one thin. With a miniature camera on top of his head. And his clothes are mountaineering clothes. That s right. It's these two people. Treading horse. Dare to look for trouble in Ma's fish pond. Tired of living. Fuck them. Lu Wei, question mark. Photographer, ah. Nima Yo. Again? Stop. Dust flew from the chaotic crowd. A shout suddenly rang out. The yellow-haired youths took two steps back and didn't move to look at the two people who got up from the ground. I. I trampled. Lu Wei looked down at the hiking clothes that he had only bought. Saw that it was covered with footprints. And the whole person instantly collapsed. What are you guys doing? Hit the wrong person no? Ah. There is no point King Law. Come up on the hands. Social people marvelous ah. Uh, isn't the social man terrific? Try hitting me again? Three times. Do you really think the tiger is a sick cat? The photographer stood on the side. Gritting his teeth and staring angrily at a group of people. Too inhuman. Not even given a chance to run away. And by the time he reacted. A group of people had rushed up. However, hearing that Brother Wei could say that, the photographer stole a glance and pondered in his heart. Can it be that Brother Wei was once a person with a story? Otherwise, in front of so many people, how would he dare to speak so boldly? Wrong typing? Impossible. Yellow hair saw that these two people's expressions didn't look like they were faking. And in his heart, he also began to doubt himself. Could it be that it was really a wrong call? It shouldn't be. Before coming, Ma said it all on the phone. It was the two people with the camera. Pa. Lousy fought with you. Brother Wei jumped up. Angrily slapped yellow hair. Red eyes drew a small dagger from his waist. Showing his teeth and roaring. Still haven't hit the wrong one? Lousy stabbed you to death never mind. Said. Waving the wild knife stabbed in front of a few yellow hairs. I have not seen such a bully. You don't look at the horse. The old man's two black circles have not gone down. You guys gave me two hammer. The program I do not participate. Today what I have to stab a few people. Don't run. F asterisk CKU. Don't run if you're capable. Aren't you a socialite? Aren't you a bully? Run my ass. Come back to me. Under the photographer's confused eyes. 
Brother Wei was as crazy as he was. Roaring while waving his dagger to whisk towards a group of yellow hares that were running wildly for their lives. Hurry to the fish pond. Ran into a madman. Just now if it wasn't for my quick flash. A dagger would have stabbed me in the heart. The yellow-haired young man at the head of the group. Lost his mind and looked back. In his heart. He was afraid. Don't look at them as being very horizontal in their day-to-day -day life. But they also had principles. Like this person in the back. Who had obviously gone crazy. The yellow-haired could feel that the other party was really prepared to plan to fight for his life. Who dares to stop? The other party will definitely not be finished until they stabbed one to death. Way brother Bola. Early this is not good. The photographer scratched his head. Howled with excitement. And scattered and also chased after him. Raise eyebrows and let off steam. Can be regarded as a raised eyebrow. Just two days of work. Was beaten three times. Is a ready to put down the butcher's knife. The ground into a Buddhist monk. Probably this will not be able to hold back. And pick up the knife it. Not to mention Viagra who was an ordinary person. Brother. Brother. Really sorry. Hit the wrong person. A few of us really don't mean it. You don't chuck me into it? Too scary. Really? I apologize to you la. Crazy well. To must stab me to death not? Yellow hair young man turned back to look. Behind the man with two black and blue eye sockets. Showing teeth. Trembling body clutching a dagger. A look not stabbed to death you do not stop the situation. The crowd was really confused. A swarm of people surged into the fish pond. Ma. Ma. Crouching. Rushed in and took a look. A group of yellow-haired youths couldn't help but break out in curses. They spat on their red faces and jumped into the fish pool without hesitation. You have been fucked into this pussy. What are you shouting your little brother for? Hurry up and get in the water. That psycho behind you is catching up. Ma Lao San was originally lying flat on the ground. Seeing so many brothers rushing in. He immediately changed his position and lay on his side by the fish pond. With his own eyes. He watched as one after another jumped into the fish pond. He blinked vigorously. The whole person was dumbfounded. However. There was one sentence that I understood. Mental illness? Mental illness in the back? Where are the people? At this time. Lu Wei. Whose eyes were red. Clutched the bloodstained dagger with one hand and ran to the fish pond with an angry face. Looking up. He took a look at yellow hair who jumped into the water. Who the hell is stepping on Ma? Yelled angrily at the top of his voice. He. A group of people moved in unison. Not hesitating to stretch out their hands in the water. Pointing at Ma Lao San. Who was lying on his side enchantingly on the shore. Ha! Huh? You're Ma? You're the owner of the fish pond? You let a few yellow hairs beat me up at the intersection? Do you recognize me? Treading horse. Endure not to say anything ah. Following everyone's gaze over. Lu Wei licked the corners of his mouth. His upper jaw biting his lower lip in death. Walked over in big strides. Put. 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 Stabbed Ma Lao San's thigh three times in a row. Ma Lao San looked down at the thigh that was nourishing blood and was completely dumbfounded. What a mental illness. What was all that said? Three stabs don't relieve your hatred. Let you find someone to beat me up again. Turn over and let me stab three more times. At this moment, Lu Wei has one thought in his mind. Who the hell dares to inexplicably beat him up again in the future? Must stab the other party a few times. Whoever loves to suffer. Who suffers? Even if it's for him to be caught in. It's still much better than being constantly beaten up outside. Not much time. In the sky above the fish pond. Ma Lao San's screams echoed continuously. In the middle of it. 
It was accompanied by Wei's crazy drinking and cursing. Put. You say. Will you still beat me up in the future? Do not say is not it? Puffing. Ass pouting up. Shit. I have not stabbed you yet. Who made the wound on the ass? The other half pout. Still hitting me or not? Speak. Su Emo who was carrying his pants and standing at the door of the toilet. Looking at the chaotic scene on the shore. He instantly froze in place. After seeing who the person holding the dagger and constantly poking Ma Lao San was. With the fat man next to him. He glanced at each other. The two people immediately got goosebumps. His. Brother. This is Lu Wei. Right? So fierce? Didn't see it ah. Didn't he say that he was blocked in the city and beat up two times? How? Dare to stab people with a dagger? What should we do? A moment will not stab us. Right? Su Emo nodded with a complicated expression. Feeling that this possibility is very high. However. There was one thing he couldn't understand. Is revenge. Lu Wei's target should also be the two of them all. How did it give Ma Lao San stabbed into this miserable state? And. What the hell are the dozens of yellow-haired young men with white faces in the fish pond? Security Bureau. All freeze. Suddenly. Ning Fan led a group of people who rushed in at a fiery speed and looked at the people crouching on the bank. Who kept gesturing their daggers at a fat man with a warning. Put down the dagger. Or else. Take it easy. At this time. The sun guide who followed behind came up with a pale. Bloodless face. Gently tugged on Captain Ning's clothes. And lowered his voice. What about? This. Is also one of our players. Ning Fan, question mark. Say. Do you still dare to beat me up? At the same time. Brother Wei was crouching on the ground. Strangling Ma Lao San's neck with one hand. Still questioning angrily. Inside the fish pond. Clang. After the security bureau with the program people rushed to pull Lu Wei away. He dropped the dagger. The whole person calmed down quite a bit. The photographer sneaked up and sat with Brother Wei. Carefully giving a thumbs up. Brother. You're this. It's awesome. Really. If we engage like this in the future. Where can't we walk sideways? Lu Wei at this time after calming down. Both thighs were trembling. Looking at the ground. Non-stop wailing ma. The heart is also fearful. This miserable. Really stabbed himself? Will not happen. Right? Still want to participate in the program? Do not a moment of the security bureau to catch him back ah. Come to someone. Give Ma Lao San bandage bandage. Don't howl. The hole you're dying like. Can't die. Stabbing is not deep. Ning Fan squatted on the ground. After checking the injuries on Ma Lao San's body. Except for the deeper wound of pulling a fish hook on his buttocks. In fact. Those wounds stabbed by the dagger were not deep. It was quite scary to watch the blood zip and holler. In fact. It is not much serious. I am wronged ah. I really wronged. Crazy? Come up to stab me without saying anything. Security captain. You must believe what I said. When I find someone to beat that person? Really no. My louse and tears. Pursed lips aggrieved to want to die. Today's experience was too magical. Being caught as a fish is not a problem. Inexplicably being stabbed so many times. Who can stand it? Whether you are wronged or not. We will investigate clearly. Where is Su Mo? You come over. Ning Fan waved at Su Mo who was hiding in the distance. Seeing the other party's eyes flickering and a hesitant expression on his face. He couldn't help but snicker. What? You would be scared too. Of course. 
Suemo quietly looked at Lu Wei and silently nodded. Can one not be afraid? How honest people's brother Wei had been since he joined the program. How did he get hardened into this? Where's the information? Didn't you say you finished interrogating them all? Take it out. Suemo was busy waving his hand at the fat man. And the other handed over Ma Lao San's statement from his pocket. Ning Fan looked down. M. Eyes rather blankly glanced at the two people. In his heart, he really didn't know how to spit it out. Should they be so professional? At a glance, they hadn't assisted the security bureau much. And the content of the questioning was what an old interrogator would be allowed to ask. So I guess it was just like that. The problem is, in the end, there was even Ma Laosan's red handprint. You guys still have the seal paste with you? ISN. T it. Whether you are the vigilantes or we are the vigilantes. The whole one stop service? He he he. Suemo awkwardly scratched his head, not knowing how to answer. This is not for the sake of professionalism. After asking clearly here, beware of the vigilante letting them follow them back to assist in the work ah. Otherwise, wouldn't it be a waste of effort to travel such a long way? Woo woo. Without waiting for Ning Fan to speak. Ma Lao San. Who was lying on the ground. However. Cried and complained. Bloody handprints. There is a fart of printing clay ah. Take a needle to my finger. Upon hearing this. The corner of Ning Fan's mouth twitched vigorously. Got up and stood up with a solemn expression and said, There is nothing wrong with the confession. But, according to the content of the confession words, this group of illegal labor export gangs are quite a lot of people. It is best for your program group not to leave the country for the time being, and wait for us to go over there after we have eliminated all the people in this group. Otherwise, it's dangerous once the other party's people retaliate outside the country. Regarding this point, your program group think about it. The moment these words came out, Director Sun immediately stepped forward and patted his chest to ensure that it could definitely be done. Fortunately, it was discovered in time. Unexpectedly, there were hundreds of people in their program group who were planning to follow the labor company. When they got out of the realm, they would be in big trouble. As for the bonus, Speaking of this, Suemo hurriedly went forward and secretly pulled Captain Ning aside. He persuaded him in a low voice for a long time. In the end, Ning Fan patted his shoulder and nodded his head as he took a step and jumped onto a platform within the fish pond. Lu Wei shouted at the two people who were crouching in the doorway. Stunned. Come here you guys. Wei winced, gritted his teeth and walked over. Hands clenched in fists and stretched out. Take it back. What are you doing? Director Sun glared at the other party without a good look. Here. This is the bonus for both of you. You take it. Ning Fan pulled out an envelope from his pocket and handed it to Lu Wei with both hands solemnly. Explaining in a low voice. Ma Lao San as well as five henchmen. Should be arrested by Su Mo. Moreover. Ma Lao San is the main a small leader. The bonus will be more. But. These twenty or so people who came behind. Can be arrested. Are the credit of the two of you? In accordance with the rules of the security bureau. Be four thousand yuan reward to you. And then. Can't be so reckless in the future. Although they are all criminals. But in case you stab someone to death. You also need to take responsibility. Understand? Lu Wei held the envelope with both hands. The whole person excited to the point of trembling. Unbelievably. He swept a glance at the people around him. A bonus? A bonus of $4,000? Crap! At this moment, Lu Wei could finally realize why people Su Mo had been catching people alive the whole way. The original. 
Feeling of earning this kind of money would be so wonderful. Simply too cool ah. Thank you. Thank you. I remember. Really remember. Never again. Really. After thanking. Viagra returned to the crowd and stood straight next to Suemo. With a complicated expression. He tugged on the other party's clothes and lowered his voice. So what? Thanks ah. Suemo, question mark. Ah. Uh, it's okay. You guys should take it. But. I still have to explain explain. That gas canister thing? I and Fatty really don't mean it. Really? We didn't think. Those restaurant owners can be so ruthless. Looking for so many people to retaliate. Didn't wait for Su Mo to finish explaining. Lu Wei waved his hand and spoke in a serious tone. In the past. This matter will not be mentioned. If it is not for you. I grew up so big. I did not think that the original. Society people are also like that. The money can also be earned in this way? If I had known this, I would not have gone to brush the dishes every day. This cannot be picked up. Suemo vaguely felt that after this time. It seems that this Viagra is a bit activated, ah. This has nothing to do with himself. Right? Damn. It won't be from today onwards. The way the program group gets money. It also starts to roll. Right? People we brought back. You rush to the border town as soon as possible. At most three days delay you. The confession is very detailed. We will immediately take arrest action. After half an hour. Ming Fan pulled a busload of criminals to return. The show's people bitterly admonished his Su Mo a few people. Also followed back to the city. Roadside. Su Mo. Lu Wei and the other four people waved at the bus and turned around. Ready to rush to the small border town. Suddenly. Lu Wei took a healthy step and blocked in front of Su Mo and the two of them. Leaping forward to ask in a low voice. You have memorized all the confessions. Right? When are you going to prepare to make a move? Can you bring the two of us together? The big fish to you. Share me a little shrimp into. Suemo stood in place blankly. And looked at the two excited Viagra people in front of him in horror. Is it true that? The horse has been activated? Small border town. The entrance to the motel. Fully hundreds of contestants gathered here. Basking in the sun while discussing the announcement made by the program just now. The announcement about the delay in leaving the country. And. The time that was delayed was not counted as part of the competition time. In other words. These few days of time. Which were given extra by the program group. Could be completely used to make money. And when it was possible to leave the country. They just needed to bury their heads in the sand. What's going on with the program group? Why somehow send out an announcement like this? My side have talked to that labor company. Tonight can be about to leave ah. Uh, the money has been paid. And now it's not going. The money can still be withdrawn? What? Shit. Are you brushing too many dishes these days? You don't pay attention to the content of the live broadcast? You take a good look at Sumo's live broadcast. It is not all said. The labor company cannot be used. This group of people is likely to be GA waste team of people. The money you have paid. How much ah? Estimated enough to get back. Tramp. I also paid money. A person several hundred it. Can not it? Really scammer? Immediately. There were many people who hastily opened Sumo's live broadcast room and flipped through the contents of the recording. Shortly after, a group of people watched the live broadcast content. The expressions that were changed into quite odd. Initially, the crowd's gaze was naturally on Sumo. But as they watched, the focus changed. Especially the final stage of handing out money. 
No one expected it. Liu Wei, who usually looked wilted, actually followed Su Mo to get a 4,000 bonus in one go. Converted into the current price of brushing dishes. Rolled to this extent. Brushing dishes for a day to give $20. For thousand words. Enough me to brush 200 days. People Lu Wei will be a moment's effort. Follow Su Mo earn $4,000. Crap. This is a huge amount of money. Hiss. I seem to understand a little. You listen. See what I say right? Has been. We seem to be taken off course. Follow Su Mo is indeed quite unlucky. But also quite evil. Look at Lu Wei can understand. Two days of work. Can be said to be unlucky to the home. But the problem is that. After the boiling out of the day after the hand of 4000 ah. Although we cannot find the culprits. Can be don't forget. Su Mo can find ah. You say. If we learn Lu Wei words. Big fish do not want. Is the whole point of small shrimp? We cannot also change some money with? Will soon be out of the country? Then the cost may be more. Take advantage of these days of work. After someone leapt forward to propose a sentence. The crowd had a bright spot. Once upon a time that was not successful. But now it was different. Among the program contestants. Someone had succeeded ah. They had successfully gleaned the wool from Sumo's hands. This showed that risk and opportunity existed side by side. There were quite a few people in the team who regretted it. Thinking about it. These people were the first to come up with this method. But they were all scared away by those few bombs in the mountains. What happened in the end? People Sumo dug out the bombs. Really nothing happened at all. Thinking about this. And then associating it with the fact that they had brushed the plate for several days in this shithole place. Only to manage to earn a few hundred dollars. Many people's minds exploded. If that's the case. Then didn't the captain of the security bureau inside the live broadcast say that the labor company is likely to be a fraudulent company? I think. Can't we do it now? There's no need to wait for Su Mo. Right? Someone made a suggestion. However, it was quickly rejected by most people. No. Brother. Your suggestion is too dangerous. The confession was interrogated by someone else. Su Mo. Although he said that the labor company is likely to be a crook. But how many labor companies are there in the city? It's hard to believe that they're all crooks. What if we arrest the wrong person? Wouldn't that be the same as dropping out early? The risk is too great. Right. I think it's safer to follow Su Mo. Anyway. The program group doesn't let us leave the country right now. Why don't? We find Su Mo and talk about it? Take advantage of these few days to make more money ah. Big head he take. As long as we can bring us on. In fact. According to Lu Wei this thing seems. Su Mo is also quite good to talk. Before it is likely that we misunderstand people. But. Go back to go. I ugly words in front. Anyone cannot drag the hind legs. Don't trample like last time in the woods. That's who came? Once shouted there is a bomb. With scorpion stings the buttocks like. Shouted on the spot. Leading all the people on the run. Run also even if. But also trampled on running the opposite. The crowd said one thing to you and one thing to me. Finally. They unanimously decided that within a few days. They would follow Su Mo. And. For insurance purposes. The crowd drafted a guarantee. It was guaranteed that any one person should never drag everyone down under any circumstances. Everything to people Su Mo's head. Big money is not wanted. Strive for small money. When they said it was small money. It was also for other people's Su Mo. A few hundred dollars can really be said to be a huge sum of money for them. Enough to nibble on buns for several days. In less than five minutes. 
in front of the entire motel. There wasn't a single person anymore. The owner's wife of a small restaurant on the street pushed the door and walked out, looked at the empty doorway, rubbed her eyes vigorously, and was busy grabbing her own husband's ears in the back kitchen and dragging him out. Angrily scolded. Are you lying to my mother? Where are the people? Didn't you say that the people waiting at the door to brush the dishes are lined up? Where are the people? Why is there no one there? The waitresses have quit. Who's going to do the dishes today? You? Ah? Speak ah. You find cheap labor for the old lady? Get lost. Hurry to find me. If you can't find the person who brushes the dishes, see how I clean you up when you come back. The chef was also confused. Something's wrong. Where is the person? When I got up in the morning, there were still hundreds of people waiting to brush the dishes in front of the hotel. How could it be that in a moment's time, not a single person was left? I'll go and look for it. Can't add some money. 30 a day. I don't believe it. This group of people 30 brush the toilet are dry. Brush the dishes that is not rushed to come? Muttered. The chef broke away from the boss's wife. Straight to the many program players' landing point. Then. That afternoon. The chef never came back and returned to his mother-in-law's house overnight. The reason is simple. Fear of being beaten. His wife said to beat him. That is really beat. Carrying a big iron pot of the kind of beat. Really can't stand it. Straight highway. The silvery moonlight splashed down. Alas. Suemo let out a long sigh. Still persuading the two Lu Wei who were hanging behind them. Dog skin plaster ah. Really following them all the way and not leaving? What are you thinking of if you don't participate in the program properly? Brother Wei ah. I really don't intend to go to arrest these people. The other people as security bureau took the list away. You say. Me to get involved in what? Don't lie to me. Just say when will you do it. What Suemo said. Lu Wei was not believing even a single punctuation mark. Especially what was said about not going to arrest people. Who could believe this? Say it to a dog and the dog won't even fucking believe it. If you don't arrest people. Can you still be Suemo? We'll follow you from afar. Don't worry. Absolutely won't cause any trouble. The main characters are all for you. Just leave a few small shrimps. Wei brother lowered his head and thought about it. And returned in a serious manner. Moonlight. Looking at the other two people with a grave face. Suemo closed his eyes and took a deep breath. Gritting his teeth and striding forward. Hey. Crouching. Brother. Why are there so many people in front again? Rushing at us. Suddenly. By the light of the moon. Fatty pointed to a group of people that leapt out of the large field in the distance and roared in panic. Which. Without waiting for Su Mo to speak. Only heard a miso sound. Behind him. Wegwa took out his dagger and rushed forward with big strides. A few minutes later. Su Mo looked at the hundreds of program contestants and photographers in front of him. Inside that was quite terrified. What are you? Doing running here in the middle of the night? Weakly asked. At once. A middle-aged man came out from the team. Enthusiastically pulled Su Mo's hand and shook it. And said excitedly. But let us wait for you. From the afternoon time. We are heading back. Just to pick you up ah? Uh? Really? You don't worry. This time so many of us will definitely not drag our feet. You just say when to do it. The big ones are for you. The small ones we take a few on it. Can you say the point? You say this? People Sue can understand? Seeing that the middle-aged man couldn't get to the point in half a day. Another person came out from the back and tugged Suemo. Handing over the guarantee. 
bewildered. He took the guarantee. After looking down and reading it, Sumo's entire body was dumbfounded. Good fellow. They all learned. Didn't they? A group of people feelings really came to pick him up. After the program group issued the announcement of delayed departure, each person is equal to several more days of free time. It is a good time to get money madly. However, have a say. According to the degree of the small town within the role, is to come on a half a year time? Also enough to earn enough money for the road. If not the ancients said, poor is thinking of change. This is not. A group of people will think of change. Intending to learn from Brother Wei and follow him to pull the wool over the sheriff's department. No. I have enough funds now ah. Uh, I really don't intend to arrest anyone. Suemo pondered for a while and said in a deep voice. He thought that the crowd would give up. But when he looked up and saw that everyone had a dog's expression of disbelief. Sumo's heart went wow. Was this how he was regarded on the program? We are all our own people. Don't say so many polite words. Sue brother. We have mapped out all the labor companies in the small town. You just say. Which one has problems? We will go and fuck him overnight. However. We said in advance. The leaders are all yours. We'll just catch some small shrimps. There's no time to lose. If we hurry up this time, we'll be able to make it to the small border town before dawn. The crowd could not help themselves. Pulling Su M.O. They hit the road. F asterisk CK. There is a lot of pressure. When we arrive in the small town, let's find a restaurant to buy a kitchen knife. So many people. Just a small dagger. It's hard enough to rob someone. Lu Wei followed behind. Talking to his photographer in a low voice. The pressure is too much. How did so many people come out in the cold? He just realized the way to get rich and took a total of four. Zero 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 dollars. All of a sudden. So many players came in to grab people. And the roles were too crazy. Brother Wei. I understand. The chopper I think it is still too gentle. If not, let us buy two axes? Go up is to rob people. With the current market of the security bureau, a small shrimp criminal is almost 200 bonus. We can rob two people at a time can actually. Well, you're right. The axe deterrent can be stronger. Lu Wei thought for a moment and decided to go ahead and fix two axes when he entered the small town. Under the moonlight. Su Mo and Fatty were surrounded by many players in the center. And their hearts were flustered. Constantly explaining to his camera. Sun Director. The program team have seen ah. Really is not my fault. I am also coerced. Really? Trouble you to tell the Nandu Security Bureau a sentence. Hurry to contact Chindu Chen Captain. Ask people where the loan came from. This is a horse. I am just wool gathering a little bit of wool. And now there are so many people. You guys are planning to take the security bureau sheepskin or rake down ah. What reaction of the program team? The crowd is not clear. But the fans in the live broadcast room. At this time. Looking at Sumo's collapsed appearance. All laughed like crazy. Ha 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 ha. This is what I like to watch the program ah. Trekking the world has no meaning. This is right. Soon to go abroad. Should be all united. Wool gathering what is the meaning of our purpose is. Sheep's hooves have to be pulled out. Too terrible. Nima. Sue brother really bull. A person to the program group players are running away from the bias. I estimate that ah. Thanks to the immediate abroad. Otherwise. Adjacent to the Nandu what is the place? This will be their security bureau of finance. It is estimated that they are scared of confused right? Not an inch of grass? Just a few hundred people swarmed up. Not to mention the labor company. 
Is the Karma Waste Team? See the treadmill also have to run ah. Really scary. One eyeball is ready. Anyway. I am convinced. I knew that it would develop into this. I should have gone to the program in the first place ah. However. I think ah. Cannot knock people Nandu Security Bureau a place to gripe? Right? While there is still time. After solving the border town. Simply detour to the next province. Anyway. Cannot get out of the border? Why not also go over to the grips crying people forget? Do people have to be fair? Is not it? Crap. Upstairs brother. This proposal of yours is deeply popular ah. Right right right. Can't leave anyway. What's a group of people staying in a small town? We have to wait for the Nandu Security Bureau to raise money. Don't we? Simply go to the next province to do good deeds. I just looked at the map. The distance is not far ah. Just a dozen kilometers on the past. Close to it. I reported to the Security Bureau of the next door province ah. Let them prepare in advance. Unconsciously. The picture within the live broadcast was getting more and more crooked. The calls for Su Mo and the other contestants to take advantage of the Nandu Security Bureau's loan time to go next door to wool gathering grew louder and louder. In less than half an hour, a strong appeal was made for Su Mo, a contestant on the program walking around the world, to arrive next door to Yundu with people to wool gather. A hot search reached the number one spot on the hot search list with unimaginable speed. The messages were even more frantic. The heat instantly exploded. The program building. Director Sun who had just returned to the broadcasting hall. One foot stepped into the broadcasting room. And feeling the oppressive atmosphere inside. He raised his head and took a look at the picture on the big screen. Just one glance. Sun director immediately sat on his but on the ground. Rushing a staff member next to him. He beckoned and asked in a trembling voice. What? What's going on? Where did so many people come from? Isn't. This all the contestants of our program group? Why are they all following Su Mo? They're going to fucking rush the barrier? Ah. Uh. Several staff members quickly helped the director up. Without waiting for him to sit still. The crowd then spoke up. Sun director. It's these contestants themselves who are discussing. They intend to follow Su Mo to arrest people ah. It's to arrest those illegal labor companies. Look. Are you hurrying to contact the Nandu Security Bureau? We couldn't get through on the phone just now. We have to hurry to get people to prepare the money. At this rate. At the very least. We'll have to arrest several hundred people ah. This is not over. You look at the first hot search. Fans are appealing to Su Mo and others to go to the next province. Chaotic. All chaotic ah. Hey. Hey. Sun director. You can't faint ah. Quickly call the doctor. Sun director spitting white foam ah. Hurry. At once. The entire broadcasting hall. Into a big mess. Nandu. Security bureau. Inside the conference room. The strong smell of tobacco wafted through the air. The long conference room table was filled with people. And even a few leaders from the South Capital Security Bureau were present. Frowning. They listened carefully as Ning Fan above them made his report. The confession has been obtained. However. To be cautious. Just now to Ma Lao San we conducted another surprise interrogation. To make sure that the people on the list are correct. A few leaders of the general directorate. We need support. Buses. There are almost 300 criminals illegally engaged in labor export on the list as a whole. We need at least 10 buses that can carry 30 people. At the same time. The cooperation of various departments is needed. I guess that the labor companies within the small border towns. Many of them likely have weapons in their hands. And we must be given enough support. As Ning Fan finished speaking, 
Even the faces of the several leaders of the general administration at the bottom surfaced with excitement. More than 300 labor exporting criminals are. Once the arrest was successful, it signified that they had achieved a stage victory in the fight against labor fraud crimes. By then, not only would the southern capital be seismic, I'm afraid even Kyoto would send people down. Right? All right. The General Bureau will immediately notify the various departments in Nandu to give you support. In short, there is just one request. Everyone must pay attention to safety. There must be no casualties. A middle-aged man sitting on the left side got up and said in a heavy tone. This time the news came in a timely manner. More than 300 illegal labor crooks who are sending people outside the country. Your security bureau must ensure that not a single person escapes out of the country. At the same time, the directorate will apply to the above. To give this time and the operation, the outstanding performance of the security officer's reward. Commendation. Bonus will have. The directorate is not afraid that you do not perform well enough. If you and the security bureau, there can also be someone like that SUMO. Not to mention other things. I can sleep and wake up laughing. I heard. This time Ma Lao San is also SUMO arrested. Look at people this efficiency. Not I say. Really. Nowadays the general directorate's finances are also relatively tense. You apply for a new car. Apply for replacement of equipment. Can't you fight for a little bit of gas? The money don't all let others sue him take. Said here. Many people in the conference room lowered their heads in shame. Including Ning Fan. However. This time is different. The whole 300 criminals. Is this Sue M.O. came up to rob? It is impossible to catch 300 people alone. Right? Terrific to catch a leader is not good enough. Most of the people. Still have to be their security bureau personnel. Thinking of this. Many people are holding a fire in their hearts. This time. What to say also have to mix the bonus. It is really. This recent period of time. Just look at others sue and take bonus. Look at the security bureau crowd are dumbfounded. Day by day hair also even if. Each also is not a small amount. Leader don't worry. This time definitely won't let sue and bleen most of the bonus again. Ning Fan patted his chest and guaranteed. Pying. As soon as the words fell. The door of the conference room was violently pushed open. And a small girl. A civilian staff member. Ran in in a panic. And after saluting. She said in a very fast tone. Ning team. You hurry down to take a look. The finance doesn't know what happened? Fainted on the desk. What? Ning fan's brows wrinkled. And he was busy hurrying out of the conference room. Not much time later. The finance of the Nandu Security Bureau. Who woke up leisurely? Tugged at Ning Fan's palm to death and cried. Ning Ti Ma. Can't you give me a transfer to a position? Really can't stand it. Really? You guys let me manage the money. Well at least have to have money ah? Uh? You are still up there to hold a fart meeting ah? Uh? When you finish the meeting. People Su M.O. led hundreds of contestants have finished arresting people. Really? This money I really can't manage it. That is? Apply with the above. That can't be too much. Is it? I give you calculate ah. Uh, 300 criminals. Small shrimp a reward 200. Ringleader reward 2000. Even if all are small shrimp. That will be 60. 000 ah. Uh. It's not that I'm talking nonsense. We don't even have 600 in the security bureau's account right now. Where can I apply for 60? 000? Zero, zero, zero? General administration of finance now see me or stepping horse began to drill under the table. Or. You go to apply for it yourself. I am out of ideas. Ning Fan was confused. 
well said to pacify the finance. Only then did he take out his own cell phone and stood in the courtyard and open Sumo's live broadcast. After watching it, Ning Fan squatted on the ground and lit a cigarette in a rare moment. Their security bureau was a few hours away from the small border town. And it took a few hours to drive there. And just now, Su Mo and the other entire livestock team of hundreds of people had already walked to the edge of the small town. It was definitely too late to rush over now. A few minutes later, Ning Fan turned off the live broadcast, thought about it, dialed Chen Dali's phone, and lowered his voice. Dali, let me ask you, how did your Chengdu Security Bureau end up applying for the funding? And the General Directorate people didn't say anything? What? You really loan ah? What loan ah? The General Administration allowed you to take out a loan? Which bank? Do you have a manager's phone number? Send me over. Two. We also have to loan. Really? I nonsense a hairline ah. You do not see. Just now we have a meeting. The Directorate General of the two leaders are here. Heard Su Mo this livestock leading hundreds of people to catch criminals went. These two leaders are also stepping on the horses a strange. To the toilet of the effort. Directly drive back. Let us look at the hole. You say I can what to do. You say I can do what? Okay. Thank you. The interest is not much. Right? Hang up. On the other side. Chen Du Security Bureau. Inside the office. Chen Dali hung up the phone. Foot sat on the edge of the bed for several minutes. He was busy opening the live broadcast. Looking at the picture. The vast crowd. Wrapping him. His whole body hit a jolt. Murmured in a low voice. Crazy? Is this trekking around the world program group crazy? What's wrong with being contagious? Is it really all inappropriate? A small border town. In front of the Shared Life Labor Agency. The clerk Xiao Shuei. Who had just opened the door. Looked at the hundreds of people gathered at the door and rubbed his face in excitement to make sure that he had read it correctly. Busy opened the glass door. Brother. Brother. Are you guys here to look for a job? Let me tell you. Our labor company is formal. It is in the next country. The salary is particularly high. Restaurant waiter with food and accommodation. 20. 000 a month? How's that? If you're willing to go. We can even offer a discount on the labor fee. Insurance are all there. Special car transportation. Brother, you can rest assured that the back are your hometown? Good guy. Brother, at a glance you are not simple. I am small water. I tell you, now the domestic role is so powerful. Working abroad cannot earn more money, especially in foreign countries to find a wife. Bride price are not needed. Our labor company in the past. There are several to marry a second wife. Su Mo blinked and grinned. Is your boss around? There are so many of us. Mustn't we talk to your boss? In. In. I just called. The boss will be here in five minutes. Xiao Shuei carefully waited at the side and said softly. Come on. Push this one first. Suddenly. Only the youth in front of him waved his big hand. Miso. At the same time a dozen sharp axes were pressed against the knot of little water's throat. The small water skin swallowed tightly. The whole person was scared and unclear. And sardonically looked at everyone. Brother. What are you guys doing? I am new. I just now all nonsense. And our boss has a grudge? Take me into it? I also have a grudge against the boss. Really? I gave the boss's wife to sleep. Hearing the person in front of him say this. Su Mo touched his chin and thought about it. 
and waved his hand to signal the crowd to let go of this person for the time being. Although Ma Lao San had explained all. But everything has an eventuality. There are hundreds of these small labor companies in the entire border town. And it can be said that most of them are engaged in this kind of illegal labor export. Coaxing people to go over and engage in criminal activities. Today's dragon country. Indeed. Has a very serious involution. But the money abroad. Is it really so good? Suemo did not believe. Leaving home to go to an unfamiliar place. Even if the salary is really higher than the dragon country. But it is also certainly high and limited. Moreover. Looking around the world. There are really not many countries with better security than Longwa. Especially in countries where guns are not banned. Personal safety is not guaranteed at all. Going to this kind of place. Wasn't it giving yourself a hard time? Go in and talk. Pushing open the glass door. Suomo took the lead and walked in. As for the others. They took the names on the list and began to travel through the small town. Jerking one labor company owner after another out of their sleep. They casually put on a piece of clothing and brought them to the motel door. Su M O. On the other hand, asked Xiao Shuei in front of him many questions about labor export. This country next door has some understanding. But. Really don't know much. How do you usually send people there? Uh. There are two ways to send people. One is the normal exit. This kind of people are usually sent over. The big chance is to send to the inside of the fraud gangs. First extort the money out of the body. And then force them to ask for money from the domestic family. Really can not ask for money. Then work to earn money. Engaged in network fraud activities. Small water is very sensible. After all. Next to a dozen people with axes. At first glance. It is not good to be messed with. Something really dare to go on. For a time he could not feel the way Suemo came. Naturally he knew everything and said everything. It was important to save his life first. What about the other kind? Suemo asked again. He didn't expect. There are two kinds of sending people? Wasn't it all about sending people over mainly? The other kind is to sneak over. In the surrounding mountains and forests, many places can sneak over. This kind of people are usually not much money. And no rich relatives. After sending over, the probability is directly karma waste. After listening to this, Sumo's brows were tightly locked and his face was quite unsightly. In that case, there was not a single person who was sent over who was not victimized. You have so many labor companies. And there's no total boss up there? Suomo narrowed his eyes and asked the key. To be able to control such a large illegal business. To say that there is no big boss above is bound to be impossible. Otherwise. These labor companies alone could implode because of the problem of transporting manpower. This. I'm not sure. Xiao Shui's expression was stunned. His eyes flickered. And he returned with a hard head. He he. Su Mo laughed. Straightened up and stood up. Nodding at Brother Wei who was carrying an axe and leaping to the side. Brother Wei. This person is yours. To be able to ask who the big boss is. How can the security bureau reward a few hundred dollars? Understood. Lu Wei grinned. Dragged Xiao Shu Wei and drilled into the back bathroom. Five minutes later. Puff. Covering his buttocks and kneeling on the ground. Xiao Shu Wei cried out. Two lines of tears hanging from the corners of his eyes. There. There is a big boss. However. The big boss is outside the country. No one can find. We cannot see on weekdays. As if the surname by. Brother. I know so much. Really? The dog lies. Don't let that big brother stab me with an axe handle. My hemorrhoids are cracked. Suemo nodded slightly. Surnamed by. 
finally asked some useful news. However, people outside the country do not know this kind of big fish words. The security bureau can give how much money. There was no way for Suemo not to consider the issue of money. Truly, there were too many people in the team. So many people wanted to wool gather and make money. He was under a lot of pressure. Take this time for example. Originally, he really didn't intend to arrest these labor company people. Saving them for the Nandu Security Bureau to arrest. While well, at least also immediately out of the country. So that people also arrest some people. Otherwise, how ugly ah. Who expected that the plan could not catch up with the change? The players of the program, one by one, all stepped on the horse with Viagra. All activated. Go. Take the people over. It's almost time to catch the end. Right? Muttering a sentence. Suemo moved to pull Xiao Shue. And by the way, waited for the boss of this labor company at the entrance. And together they rushed to the open space in front of the motel. Under the blinding sunlight. In front of the motel. There was a sea of people. And the people sitting on the ground alone were almost nearly 300. As for the residents of the small town as well as merchants. At this time all distance on the opposite side of the road. Black pressure. Tiptoe. Looking at the motel door of the open space. Old scary. Especially a lot of restaurant owners. This will look at the group of people who brushed the dishes in the store a few days ago. The whole person is stupid. The change is too big. Right? A few days ago to this group of people or yell. Nothing to scold two sentences. Deduct some money. The crowd did not take it seriously. Did not expect. This is what happened. How did this group of people one morning effort? The entire small town labor company all dry. Damn. So fierce? Why do you want to come to brush the dishes a few days ago? Fuck. I deducted a person $20. You say a moment is not to give people back. That acts old scary. A moment will not give our family store also smashed. Right? The. I said don't mess up the whole. This group of people are planning to leave the country. People dare to walk around the world. You don't think. Can walk around the world. That brain can have a normal? I also deducted the money. Old brother. Later we go together ah? Someone can finally fix these labor companies. Our small town. Because of these people. What do people call us now? Do you know what they call us now? The waste team. What the hell is the? Waste team? A group of small town residents whispered. The eyes were not looking at the many players who were wandering around the small town looking for work a few days ago. Suemo walked over to take a look. Oh. It had to be said that making money was really a great motivation in life. Just like coding. Money in place. People dry waste. Good guy. It's only been less than an hour. Right? Just get all the people. What is it? Suemo went up and asked. At that time, several players came out. Rubbing their hands together. With an excited face. It's all here. 311. Not a single one. The leader has 13. This is Suemo Yor. We'll split the rest. A moment to count the accounts. Too comfortable. Or do this to money fast. But. Said here. One person pulled Suemo. Worried. Suemo. You say. So many people. Nandu Security Bureau really give money? What if there is no reward? Regarding this issue. Suemo also had no bottom in his heart. After all. The prisoners were a bit too many. Although the money wasn't too outrageous. But whether Captain Ning's mental capacity was strong. 
Su Mo couldn't grasp it. If you don't give the money. At this time. The fat man on the side licked his face and came up. And came in a sinister way. This is not simple. So many people are criminals. Nandu does not give money. We do not give people. Really can't. Not to exit the country? Bring over to these people. One person sells a waste. Also enough. I heard that over there the waste is quite valuable. The many labor company crooks squatting on the ground. Hearing this. Looked up in horror at this group of people. What kind of people? Still able to negotiate with the security bureau? If they don't pay. They will bring them over to karma waste? Wolf extinction? Don't. Buddy. Buddy. Have a word. Karma waste can't ah. Right. 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 I have my own money. I myself pay for the security bureau into it? I just want to go to jail. Do not want to leave the country ah. How much is ahead? Brother. I'm a small water. How much can a person like me pay? Can I pay for it myself? Hearing fat is not a human approach. Squatting on the ground. All the criminals who were subdued. Have shouted at the top of their voices. Especially after Su Mo. One-handedly holding the hemorrhoids of the small water. Busy from the pocket out of the wallet. The scene will have to pay. What kind of people are they? Illegal labor company ah. After leaving the country. What will happen? No one knows better than them. According to the level of ferocity of the group in front of them, they might really be able to do something like this. On this point, Xiao Shuei had no doubt. After all, the axe handle is so thick that it's a fucking raw barrel. Until now it was all hot and painful. Eh? Suemo did not expect that things would develop to this extent. The sheriff's department doesn't give money. And the criminals pay their own bonuses? Hiss. Doing this. Can it work? Xiao Shu Wei. Xiao Shu Wei. At this time. Xiao Shu Wei's boss. A balding middle-aged man came up from the side and instructed a few words in a low voice. You have a good relationship with these people. You help me to say something. I am also willing to pay money. Is the boss level 2000? I'll give 4000 into it? Don't ever take us over to the exit. How many people have been sent over over the years? If we leave the country. Not to mention karma waste. Our skin will be stripped off. Xiao Shuei blinked and spoke orally to Su Mo and the others again. This question. We'll answer you guys later. And. You this 200 is not enough. Su Mo took the $200 handed over by Xiao Shuei. Squinted at the boss behind this guy and showed his teeth. You have committed more than these crimes. Didn't you just say that you have a grudge against your boss and slept with your boss's wife? Number 1000. Absolutely not. Sniffing. The balding middle-aged man standing behind Xiao Shuei was confused. His face turning black at a speed visible to the naked eye. Old me will fight you. You sleep with my wife? Screw you. Ask your wife who sleeps with who? She forced me. To pay you back yet. The two people fought on the ground. Su Mo and others did not stop. Anyway. They are criminals. Cheating so many people out of the country. There was no excuse for taking a bit of a beating. Besides. He was a supernumerary. A temporary worker. It's not like it's official. Couldn't care less. Leave some of them to guard. The rest came to the back of the motel. Discussing the suggestion made by Xiao Shuei just now. Criminal's money. Dare you take it? Let me say it first. Ah. According to my insight. If it's illegally obtained. In the end. This money. The People's Security Bureau will take it back. So we can't take this money. 
Suemo nodded similarly. Regarding this point, he agreed. What kind of people are out there? They were all labor fraudsters. The money came from the wrong way. So naturally they couldn't take it. However, what he was considering nowadays was not in the Dragon Kingdom. The suggestion that Xiao Shue had made really wouldn't work in the Dragon Kingdom. But if it was switched to a foreign country, especially next door to the Karma Waste Holy Land, even many officials were engaging in criminal activities behind their backs. Then over there, the money seized from criminals doesn't need to be given to the Domestic Security Bureau. Right? Just give it to the people. The more he thought about it, Sumo felt that this approach seemed to work. However, whether it would work or not, one would still have to know after leaving the country. Brother, the people from the security bureau arrived. At this time, Fatty hurriedly ran over and whispered. Ning team with the money. Came ten buses. Hurry over to hand over the people. Suemo and the others were busy running to the open space. They met Captain Ning who had a gloomy face. Can. Can. Your team is spectacular ah. Caught so many people at once. Ning Fan looked at Sumo's group of people. His heart was sad. And he said in a gloomy manner. Come on. Ready to split the money. I have brought it all. Who all caught the people? Swish. The words just fell. Several hundred hands were raised in front of him. The scene was quite spectacular. Even though Ning Fan was mentally prepared, his hand holding the envelope couldn't help but shake. Go Dong. Swallowing his saliva with difficulty, he waved at Su Mo line. He had temporarily just loaned 60. Zero, zero, zero over. And so many people were involved in the arrest? Is the money damn enough to share? Have you tallied it yet? Have to give you award more money? Can the zero be erased? Su Emo scratched his head in embarrassment. Thinking. This kind of thing can still erase the change? The problem is. The other players are here for the change. If this is erased. Can it be done? No. Su Emo gritted his teeth and kept shaking his head without saying a word. At times like this. Shake your head more and speak less. Lest you get beaten up. Alas. 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 How much? Ning Fan sighed three times in a row and pulled out two envelopes from his body. 63. 200. Su Mo quickly reported a number. Before he even arrived at the square, the contestants of the program had finished counting several times. Long ago, they were ready. Just waiting to take the money. You wait. The corner of Ning Fan's mouth twitched as he turned around and walked towards his team members. Not long after. With a handful of money that had both zeros and whole. And even quite a few dimes. He walked over. A handful was shoved into Sumo's hand. Get on the road early. Blessed with a complicated expression. Waved his hand and signaled the vigilante to escort the person to the car. Luckily, he was already in the small border town and was about to leave Nandu. Otherwise, Ning Fan felt that he was about to step into Chindali's footsteps. Lost sleep for the whole night. Too ruthless. Once it was one person wool gathering. Now it has evolved. Bringing a whole few hundred people together to wool gather. Hurry up and leave the country. This whole method. Any security bureau in the country can't stand it. Split the money. Su Mo turned around and shouted. Under the envious eyes of a group of vigilantes. Everyone lined up and came over to share the money in an orderly manner. Still doing this to make money fast ah. Earned 400 in one morning. Rub. How many plates do I have to brush? Mad. A moment to go to the whole good ah? How long has it been since I've had meat? I'll have to eat some meat later. Where are we going next? 
Going to Tibetan capital ah. The program group has not notified when to leave the country. We so many people idle here is not a thing ah. Find a way to make money ah. Su mo? You are the boss. You say down what we do? All listen to you. The crowd beautifully counted the money. Since participating in the program, it has not been so cool. Finally, they didn't have to chew on a steamed bun for three days. Su Mo would be urgently contacting Director Sun to seek help from the program. This is not a solution. If it develops further, whether or not it will be a success for Universal, Su Mo is not sure. But there is one thing that can be sure. That is, this group of people out of the country. That must not all become wanted criminals? On this whole method, the Foreign Security Bureau can promise? People abroad criminals can promise? Su Mo. Su Mo. At this time, Ning Fan, who had just gotten on the bus, jumped off the bus and pulled Su Mo to the side corner. In a small voice, he said awkwardly, So what? You lend me some money? Ah? Uh, what are you ah uh, ah? Uh? Hurry up. Hiring a bus doesn't cost anything. Right? Damn it. The team's money has all been scraped together for you. And the dimes are all gone. Captain Ning's eyes rolled. His expression urgent. Pulled out a few bills from the envelope. Twisted his head and scattered to the car. Nightfall. In the primitive jungle of the borderline. In a walled village. Bai Sheng stared at the message in his cell phone with a gloomy face and threw a packet of money at the feet of the three people in front of him. Just these two people. One is called Su Mo and the other is called Chen Yanhong. Within three days. I want their heads and waists. I trust your level of professionalism. The three bald men looked at each other. Lifted the bag containing the money from the ground. And grinned. In unison. They said back in broken Chinese. Yes. We are professionals. A small border town. Not far from the small town. In a piece of wasteland. Numerous program contestants gathered here. Excited to have a bonfire party. A variety of food was placed on the grill. Boxes and boxes of beer were stacked on the ground next to them. And the laughter and laughter spread to faraway places. F asterisk CK. This is the life that hiking around the world should have. It seems that we were on the wrong path before. If we had done this earlier. Wouldn't we have eaten meat earlier? Who says so? Regret ah. Brush so many days of dishes. Garbage cans I have plowed. Only to add this program since. I have lost how many pounds. Was still a bit of a stomach. Now only left the ribs. Ha 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 ha. Say so much for what? Come. Let's go to Toast Brother Sue. By the way. Ask. What do we do next? A group of people took beer bottles and came together in front of Su Mo. Seeing this situation, Su Mo really had two big heads. He had just heard that the program director's son was hospitalized after a moment of excitement. It was said that he seemed to have a brain hemorrhage. This time, the entire program group is even more chaotic. And no one notified their contestants in the border town whether they can go on the road in advance. If they counted according to the announcements made by the program group in advance, they still needed to stay in this place for two more days before they could do so. But the problem was, you asked a group of guys who had tasted meat to turn their heads to eat shit again. So could they be willing to do that? This was where Su Mo's headache lay. It was hard to believe that while there were still two days left, he really wanted to go to Yundu to make trouble? All of you haven't drunk too much. Right? If you're not drunk, send a few representatives over in a while and let's discuss. Su Mo hesitated for a while, clinked a glass with the crowd, greeted a few players, and walked to the edge to sit in a corner. The crowd looked at me. 
I looked at you. None of them took the lead in speaking. They coincidentally looked at Su Mo on the main seat. In the air? A small amount of awkwardness filled the air. Ah. Uh, I'll speak first ah. Uh. For a long time. Su Mo stiffly opened his mouth. Now the program group's son director was hospitalized. I heard that it will take a few days to be discharged. Then. We. The contestants. Can only wait for two days to leave the country in accordance with the announcement released by the program group? And now discuss with you guys about these two days. There is only $400 on one person. Right? Stay here for two days. According to the way you guys are making barbecue meat and beer. When you wait for two days, will you still have money on you? What a revenge spending. The many contestants who have been suppressed for a long time are now revenge spending. The butcher who sells meat in people's small towns laughs and walks with split legs. In less than an hour's work, all the old sows raised at home were killed. The beer in the commissary was also emptied by this group of people. In any case, how to create as much as possible. Just like before. They are two different people. They don't even think about what to do tomorrow. Su Mo. Aren't we going to Yundu? The corner of Su Mo's mouth twitched as he looked up at the middle-aged man who spoke. Brother Chio. When did I say I was going to Yundu? And. I'm not making criminals in Tama Aw. Going to Yundu to meet criminals. Is this not a joke? Let's not drink some wine and start hallucinating into it? Criminals? I have a way ah. Uh. The middle-aged man named Brother Chio. A flash of excitement immediately appeared on his face and lowered his voice. Really? I'm not bullshitting. I have relatives in Yundu. I also heard him say. There is a small drug processing plant in their village. Really no bragging. People are very secretive. During the daytime, I also used the photographer's cell phone to deliberately ask again. Brother Sue. My relatives this village is very remote. Ordinary people will not go over at all. Moreover, the ones living in the village are all widows and orphans. One by one. Apart from basking in the sun, it's impossible to go and see what is being made in other people's factories. And if this relative of mine hadn't cleaned up after this group of people and discovered the guns, I'm afraid that he wouldn't have known that it was a group of drug makers. After hearing what Brother Cho said, Suimo blinked blankly. His heart was 10,000 times more convinced. Hidden Dragon and Crouching Tiger Ah. There are really all kinds of people in the contestants of the program. They can even find out about drug manufacturing factories. The most frightening thing is that, after hearing that people have guns in their hands, not only did they not show a look of panic and fear, but they all stared at each other with eyes full of eagerness to try what the hell is this. However, speaking of here is not the end. Brother Chio looked back and then spoke again. Su Mo. I called the Yundu Security Bureau in the afternoon. Ha! Asked as an aside. If I can smash a drug manufacturing factory. According to the number of drugs seized inside. The prize money will be more and more. Moreover. I don't know what's going on. This security bureau in Yundu hasn't paid attention to the news on the internet at all. And it's not clear that we're preparing to go to Yundu to gather wool. After hearing this. A group of people became even more excited. Alas. Suemo sighed long and raised his head to look at the sky powerlessly. Such a group of people following him. In the country was fine. At least there was the security bureau. But once they were abroad. How to organize ah? By then what kind of people have to be made whole? Really? In one afternoon's work. After the whole several hundred people received their money. The first thing they did was to go to the hardware store to buy axes. It could be said that the axes in the entire small town were bought clean by this group. Marred. Money doesn't pay son of a bitch. After gritting his teeth and thinking, Suomo violently stood up and roared in a low voice. 
immediately rushed Brother Wei next to him and ordered. Brother Wei, see if the big guys are done eating? Pack up the things. Yun Du is not far from us here. In that case, it will be overnight to go over to Yun Du that village to see. But, I'll take it easy. Must pay attention to safety. Understand? Pack up ten minutes. Then we go on the road. After carefully searching once, Su Mo decided to do it. The news are probing clearly. And, this is still a group of drug-making criminals. There is no reason not to go to fight off. Of course. The most important point is that the Yundu Security Bureau is not clear about what they are now. Once they come back to their senses, then the money will not be good. Summarizing the above. Suemo decided to lead the many contestants and do one last job before leaving the country. Depending on the amount of drugs, one would be able to collect different prizes. Nowadays, he only hoped that this processing plant would increase its horsepower and hurry up its production. This was all their prize money. Half an hour later. Silence in the big wild land. Countless Chang bright axes. In the moonlight flooded with cold light. The program participants who couldn't see the head at a glance. Each with a rigid expression. Buried their heads and rushed on. At the same time. The three bald men who had just drilled out of the dense forest. Looking at the hundreds of people of the axe gang from a distance. Were busy lying on the ground in shock. One of the bald big brother touched his chest. Swallowed hard saliva in his mouth. With two younger brothers looked at a glance. Expression horrified said. Ferocious. Fark. The Dragon Kingdom people are too ferocious. This is a divine team. Why is it looking so professional? Hmm. Under the bright moonlight. The bald old man frowned slightly and immediately pulled out a cell phone from his hand. Pulling up the photo of the target given by Boss Bai. He placed it vertically in front of his eyes. After comparing it with a youth at the front of the axe gang and a fat man with a camera on his head next to him, he couldn't help but grin. And his uncontrollable laughter rang out. Big light. You fast rook. The foremost that person is not our target. The dragon state has a sentence said really good. Iron shoes worn out. You can find the target. We have just entered the country. We found the target. When to do it? The bald boss's expression was stunned. Took the cell phone and compared it. Couldn't help but lick the corner of his mouth. Gritting his teeth. He fell into deep thought. It's still really the target of their trip. God bless. But. How did the other side have so many people? This was something that Boss Bai didn't say. It's not right. Right? We are just three people. That is. We can kill these two people. How can the head be cut off? Where is the waist? Boss Bai said that he would recognize the head in the waist. The waist is fine. Just buy two on the black market. The head must be my own. Da Guang. We can't beat them. The bald old man was at the side. And reminded at the right time. The words came out. The remaining two had tangled expressions. Said the right thing. At a glance. There were at least a few hundred people. Each with a sharp axe in their hands. That is. They had a gun. It was estimated that it would be hard enough to get through so many people off. Moreover. The sound of gunfire rang out in this place. It will definitely alarm those people who guard the borderline in the Dragon Kingdom. At that time, they have no place to run. What should we do? To do or not to do? The three men were in deep thought. This deal is sorry for our level of professionalism. The target information given by Boss Bai is too unprofessional. If we knew that the other party is of this kind of strength and for such a small amount of money, we can't do this job even if we say anything. Right. The bald boss pondered for a few seconds and uttered these words. The remaining two nodded heavily. 
That's right. How much is the airfare for the three of us to come over? If it's three ordinary people, it's okay. Now it looks like this Su Mo and Chen Yan Hong. Maybe it will be a local gangster in the Dragon Kingdom. Just like our Godfather Smith. To kill this kind of person. Giving this price is absolutely not okay. Right. It has to be increased. The three men combined their efforts and twisted their heads to drill into the woods. Pulling out a professional satellite cell phone. They dialed the boss by above. Soon. The phone went through. By Shang. Who answered the phone? Had an expression that was as excited as it could be at this moment. Worthy of being a professional killer organization. Look at the degree of professionalism. In the past. Not even an hour. The work is done? This money was worth it. Without waiting for him to open his mouth to ask. That broken Chinese accent rang in his ears. Boss Bai. Ah. Uh, well. After our professional analysis. The information you gave is very unprofessional. How do you mean? Bai Sheng asked in a confused manner. Add money. The other party is a godfather level character in the Dragon Kingdom. Looks like the big brother of the Axe Gang inside the TV series once. Boss Bai. To kill this kind of person. We must add money. Otherwise. We can only give up this operation. Add money? Axe Gang Big Brother? You guys. Boss Bai. Don't question our professionalism. We saw it with our own eyes. The two of them have thousands of juniors. You can't see the end of it at a glance. This kind of person can only be assassinated by assassination. And it's likely to be very costly. Add money. After Bai Sheng heard the other party say this, his mind couldn't help but brainstorm a picture of a whole several thousand people carrying axes and staring menacingly at him. Hiss. Couldn't help but hit a jolt. Couldn't be? Wasn't the other party just a contestant on some trekking around the world program? How could it be some godfather level figure? What's more? It was in the Dragon Kingdom. It's not the Eagle Sauce country where you're so free that all the kids have assault rifles to use. So how could there be an organization like the Axe Gang? Anyway. Bai Sheng was skeptical in his heart. However. Things have come to this. The three killers had come all the way here. And although it was a bit unethical to temporarily increase the money. But when he thought of the professionalism of the three others. Bai Shang gritted his teeth and whispered. I'll add another one million dollars. Boss Atmosphere. 666. With a raw lick. The bald boss hung up the phone. Turning his head the three brothers high-fived and celebrated. In the silent jungle, the three men lay on the ground, discussing the assassination plan. The other party is strong. If we force to kill, we are likely to pay a painful price. So this live, we need to use our brains. I think so. It is now midnight. They sent out so many people. No surprise. It is likely to go to fight with people to grab the territory. This kind of thing. In our that place often happens. But the dragon country in the end dragon country. Too powerful. An axe gang can send out so many people. In a moment. Let's hurry up and try to stop them in front of these people. Next. You guys remember Su Mo with Chun Yan Han's information well? We want to find a way to join them. The reason is. That the Axe Gang's fame has spread throughout the Atlantic coastline. We admire it for a long time. And we purposely come over to join and learn it. We can pay. Must be sincere and professional. Understand? Second light. Third light nodded coincidentally. Showing an extremely professional level at this moment. There was absolutely no questioning the boss's approach. As long as one can blend in. Assassinating two people. Wouldn't that be a piece of cake? Go. Turn your body.
professional. The three of them shouted low in unison. Squatting on the ground. They began to straighten the flattened grass. After no traces could be seen. Only then did they cat tip and start running wildly through the dense forest. On a road in Nandu right next to the border of Yundu. Suemo and a group of other people. Who had leapt out of the large wild land in a great hurry. Gathered on the road and looked down at their cell phone navigation. Brother Chio. Besides taking the path. Is there another way to go? Taking a look at the route given by the navigation. Spare Suemo. At this moment, he was also a little broken. The bends and curves are the same as the 18 bends of the mountain road. Moreover, the navigation said very clearly that it is not recommended to go on foot. It is best to take a detour and take a car. The problem is that, in the darkness and blindness, where to find a car to go? The whole several hundred people. There are not so many cars ah. Nope. How about the fact that this village of theirs is rather hidden? The General Security Bureau has no way to go there directly. Suemo. Let's go. What kind of people are we? That is to hike the globe. Walk a little of this mountain road is nothing. Aha. Uh -huh. Then go. Suemo helplessly answered. Followed by so many people. This drug factory can be sure to make a big profit ah. Otherwise, the loss to grandma's house. Die to store. Die to store. Die to store. Suddenly, a burst of broken Chinese sounds came from a wild field on the side. What was shouted? Brother. I heard it clearly. It seems to be Japanese. Fatty was beside him and returned with considerable certainty. Based on my experience of reading countless movies, the other party might be making a small movie. Speaking of which, Fatty stood on the side of the road and yelled at Anadachi mid-sentence. Tooth by down. Bald boss, question mark. This is a divine code word? Never heard it before. A few minutes later, on the straight highway, Suemo looked up at the three big bald heads in front of him who were showing their teeth and giggling. Stroking his chin while looking up and down at each other. H.M. The equipment was complete. All dark patterned camouflage uniforms. The waist tactical pockets were filled with shiny black magazines. And in the front chest pockets. There were several miniature grenades hanging in the open. On the shoulder has a satellite big brother phone that looks very forced. Tactical boots. Tactical dagger. Can say that the weaponry looks? People are definitely mercenary level characters. Then the question comes. Three foreign bald. In the middle of the night with the killing power of assault rifles. Walking in the big field. This is ready to go to do what? At that moment. Suemo did not move and touched Fatty's cell phone. Dragon Country is one of the strictest countries that prohibit guns. Not to mention rifles. Even pistols are rare on weekdays. That's right. Unable to figure out the origins of the three people. Su Emo intended to report to the Nandu Security Bureau. Boss Su. At this time. A bald burly man at the head. Took a step forward. Clenched his fist and hammered his chest. His expression sincere. Please allow us to make a short self-introduction. We come from the distant shores of the ocean. And have been envious of the Axe Gang under your leadership for a long time. So this time, the three of us have come here specifically to learn. I hope you can take us in for a month-long study. Of course. We can pay. Speaking of this, the bald old man called out to the oldest three at the side. The other party understood. Carrying a bag. He came forward. Squatting on the ground. He opened the bag. Revealing stacks and stacks of banknotes inside. This is 300,000 in cash. I hope you can accept us. Right. Boss Su. Are you going to go to a firefight now? Maybe the three of us can help. 
looking at the money in the book bag on the ground. Not only was Su Mo confused, the surrounding contestants were also confused. Where did the three naive batch come from? Axe gang? Dare to say that a group of them gathered together to follow Su Mo. And it was only 24 hours ago. And their reputation has spread to the other side of the ocean? It's too ridiculous. Isn't it? But money cannot be fake. People three people came up to shell out 300,000 to learn. Don't be in a hurry. You guys wait. Let me run through it. Su Mo muttered blankly. Looking back at his cell phone time, there was less than a minute to go immediately to 12 midnight. The new signing was going to be refreshed. The three bald foreigners couldn't possibly find him for no reason and still be able to say his name in one breath. As for what the other side of the ocean. Isn't this just talking nonsense with eyes wide open? The program group is not even open for overseas broadcasting nowadays. From where to learn about them? The bald three were not in a hurry. Honestly standing in place. Quietly looking at Su Mo and the others who were discussing in the distance. Is the money given less? No. They might have started to believe us. Otherwise, it's impossible to discuss for such a long time. The bald boss said with a confident chest. Since the big brother had said so. The remaining two bald heads no longer inquired. Once before they shaved their heads, it was the big brother who had the least amount of hair. And on weekdays, they were all one nine and naturally had the highest IQ. Brother Sue. Not right ah. Cold run out of these three people. How to see are not like a good person. But also give us money? What kind of bullshit axe gang? Have you watched too many TV dramas? I think we should report it to the security bureau. Maybe the 300. Zero 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 dollars is a robbery? Even rifles? Hiss. I have a bold idea here. What do you say we give these three people their guns first? And take them to smash the drug manufacturing factories? After all, those drug manufacturing criminals might have guns in their hands too. What do you think? The crowd had one sentence from you and one from me. And kept whispering their suggestions. Su Mo. On the other hand, slowly shook his head. Fatty. Go get the money first. I seem to understand what these three people are here for. Hearing Su Mo say this, everyone looked over in unison. All of you think about it. What did we just do during the daytime? These three people are most likely hired by someone outside of the country to kill old me. However, since they are playing mind games with us, let's have some fun. Su Mo smiled sinisterly. Just after signing in, the system finally gave the identity of the three bald foreigners. The same Su Mo guessed well. It was really the people hired by the boss behind the curtain surnamed Bai. Who came to kill him and Fatty? But because there are too many people. I don't know what these three people think. Don't know anything about the laws of the Dragon Kingdom? Daring to come straight up and join them? It had to be said that foreigners really did think differently. A few minutes later. Welcome to join the Axe Gang for the time being. Since this is the case. For tonight's action. The three of you will follow. Fatty. These three people will be given to you. You and Wei and the others take care of our friends. Suemo shook hands with the three people one by one and accepted them with a smile. However, the location where we go to the firefight is a bit far. So you guys be mentally prepared. With a word of advice, Suemo waved his hand, and all of them carried their axes, followed the navigation route, and drilled into the dense forest. Sheen Capital. Inside the intensive care ward, Chen Dali sat on the stool in front of the hospital bed, slowly peeling an apple for Sun Guide who was lying under the blanket. Bitter people looking for bitter people. Ever since Director Sun was often brought to the security bureau for tea. By chance, the two had exchanged words once. 
It immediately felt like they had found a confidant in each other's lives. After all, the two had one thing in common. That is, having traveled the same set of paths as Su Mo. Old Sun Ah. I think it. Su Mo is about to leave the country. What happens outside the country? Your program group or send a notice is better. Just say. This is the freedom of the contestant. As long as it does not break the law. The program group will absolutely not interfere. Otherwise. Really. On Su Mo this whole method. Not half a year. It is estimated that you have to put in a locket. You don't know. At nightning fan drank some wine. Called me. Cried that a miserable. Su Mo only went to Nandu for a few days. Ah. He put half a year's salary or pasted in. The above is not reimbursed. You say ruthless or not? Chen Dali slowly advised the other party. Associating himself. The two looked at each other. And looked at each other without words. How could he not be like this? The way Master Qin was looking at him now. It was all damn like that. To be honest. He was the captain of the Qin Du Security Bureau. And since Su Mo left Qin Du. He had been scolded every day. The old man said anything to whisk him away to chase after Su Mo. I. Ding Bell. Director Sun was just about to open his mouth to speak when Chen Dali's cell phone rang. Stretching out his index finger. Signaling the other party not to speak. Chen Dali answered his cell phone. Hello? Um. Assault rifle? Really? Okay. I understand. I'll rush over now. Won't you notify the Cloud Capital Security Bureau? Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. After watching him hang up the phone, Sun Guide struggled to get up and asked with glaring eyes. Take it easy. What assault rifle? Nothing? You lie down. Right. Take more oxygen. Saying this, Chen Dali snapped the oxygen mask on the side on the face of Sun Guide. On the rugged mountain road, the bald trio followed the fat man in front of them without a word. Looking up at that axe gang people walking on the difficult mountain road. It was them who had to marvel in their hearts. Professional. Too damned professional. Long was organization personnel. Endurance are so strong? How one by one with professional mountain climbers like. The mountain road is difficult to walk. These people even stop to catch their breath. Drink water or not. I think. Hold off on the plan and wait until we get to the firefight place. The bald boss wiped the sweat from his forehead. Slowed down his marching steps. And instructed his two brothers in a low voice. The quality of this group of people is too strong. If we do it now. The three of us definitely won't be able to run out. We might as well wait until the firefight is chaotic. What if they are having a firefight on the mountain? The bald oldest three lifted his pants and asked worriedly. The two elder brothers fell silent. Yeah. What if it's a firefight in the mountains? What would they do? In this kind of terrain. Not to mention running. Not breaking their feet would be God's blessing. How can they run? Then wait again. Anyway. The boss asked for three days. Boss Su can't possibly have a firefight for three days. Right? That's not a firefight. That's a war. If that's really the case. Boss Bai needs to add more money. The bald old man muttered rather wisely. Go ah. Why don't you go? Hurry up. Another two hours or so and you're almost there. Aren't you three professionals? Physical strength so bad? At this time. Fatty turned back and waved at the three of them. Breathlessly skimming his mouth. This kind of quality. How the hell can you be an assassin? The level of foreign killers. It seems not good ah. Coming. The bald boss answered. Dragged two brothers. Gritted his teeth and rushed up. Su Mo. 
who was walking at the front, looked back and deliberately slowed down. After word of mouth, most of the players understood the identity of the three people. And Sumo's call to Captain Ning didn't go through. So he had no choice but to call Master Qin of the Qingdu Security Bureau. Now Chen Dali was on his way here with his men. In Monkler Outlet Store Qin's words. The raw materials used in the drug factory are likely to pass through Qingdu. This case they took over. There is no need to notify people Yundu. After all. The other people's Yundu Security Bureau is not financially generous. In the end, based on the bonus obtained from the number of drugs, Qin Du was willing to take out another loan. Using Chen Dali's ID card to take out a loan. As long as they can transport back the criminals from the drug factory as well as those drugs, how many bonuses are given they will lend. For this point, Su Mo can also understand in his heart. The drug factory, ah, uh, caught is a big credit. Iron will be in the National Security System notification. Surrendered drugs. The above will give the same financial incentives. The Chindu Security Bureau is planning to start doing business with the top through him. He's going to take out a loan and give a bonus. And then exchange the criminal's drugs for money and awards? Who came up with this? What a talent. Slowly stopping beside the three bald men. Suemo pointed to the grenades hanging on each other with a big smile. Is this thing real? Of course it's real. Produced by Eagle Sauce Arsenal. Quality is guaranteed. The bald old man straightened his back. His expression arrogant. These people from the Dragon Kingdom. Their quality was indeed fine. The only thing they couldn't do was one thing. And that was weapons. If it was in their place. With the quality of these hundreds of people, if they had an AK-47, which gang would be able to compete? He he. In our Dragon Kingdom, the first meeting is required to give each other gifts. In this way, this axe of mine, which once had the record of fighting 300 people with strength, is gifted to you three. I wonder if I can ask for a gift from you. As Su Mo finished speaking, the bald trio looked at each other. A hint of hesitation appeared on each other's faces. Couldn't this be heard? Those who were no more brainless could still understand what other people's boss Su meant. Wanting this miniature grenade. Thank you. As a return gift. This grenade is also for you to accept. Boss Su. Not bad. Su Mo played with the grenade. Grinned and patted the bald boss's shoulder. You, outer rigwid, are good. Good brothers. A few more pleasantries were exchanged. He turned around and quickly walked towards the front of the team while not moving and winked at Fatty. The meaning was self-explanatory. Ha! Huh? Fatty licked the corners of his mouth and turned back to show his teeth as he quietly felt in his arms for the rusty bronze small sword. Cultural relics. The Qin Dynasty is worth a lot of money. Give it to you. Did not wait for the three people to come back to their senses. The fat man had already taken a grenade from the bald old man and left. Next, Lu Wei came with a photographer. After a fierce emotional outburst, he similarly managed to shun two grenades. Then, all of them, as if they had discussed it, one after another slowed down their pace and went to pose emotionally with the other bald three brothers. Yo! Bro! You're the big brother. Right? Decades ago I saw my second grandpa used. A look at this thing I wanna cry. My second grandpa died some years ago. Come on. This small dagger for you guys. This is my grandfather's great uncle cousin sister-in-law's third grandpa's daughter-in-law's and passed down. The meaning is extraordinary. Big brother brother took it away. Thank you ah. Ooh. Where did you guys buy these combat boots? Are they expensive? Look at them. Are you not treating me as a brother? Brother can want your shoes? Is not. Nothing good to give you. 
This is the afternoon just bought pants. Randomly back to anything. I see you this tactical dagger is good. The first time to see the pocket so much pants. Come. You are the oldest three. Right. Wait. Just change to wear a moment. Is not a brother? This is the right thing to do. Belt also give me ah. I have this sweatpants elastic. No belt. Less than half an hour's time. Bald trio body hung full of strange and weird things. And their own equipment. In addition to assault rifles as well as bullets. The rest. Most of them were swapped away. The people from the Dragon Kingdom organization were really magnificent. The most outrageous thing was that there were actually brothers who came over and wanted to exchange their pants? Three corners for four corners? It was too bullying. Fark. When we arrive at the firefight location in a while, we must do it immediately. I want my shoes back. The bald old man looked down at the broken shoes on his feet that exposed the thumbs of his feet and said with some emotional breakdown. Big brother. You wait. You quickly reach out and show me. Who just changed pants with me? Is he sick? How come there are still thorns inside? It hurts so much to stab. Bald old man breathlessly put his hand inside. Groped for a while. Helplessly shook his head. Signaling that there was nothing at all inside. At this time. Only to see the bald oldest two shivered all over his body. Staring at a pair of azure-colored eyes. Red-faced roared. God. Hiss. You stuck it in for me. Asshole. I'll push up the insurance. Once we get to the place we'll do it. The corners of the bald boss's mouth twitched with anger. The three people's expressions were hazy. Gritting their teeth in unison and pushing the safety of the assault rifle up. Shoo. Suddenly. The entire team stopped. Suemo squinted his eyes at a dimly lit small village not far away and waved his hand and yelled lowly. Arrived at the place. Copy guys. Touchin' first in a while. Where are the bald brothers? Come. You three over and follow me. Let you see how the Axe Gang is a firefight. Big Willow Tree Village. In the entire village. There wasn't a single household with lights on. I don't know when it started. But more and more young people came out of the village and settled down in the city. This led to. Most of the people living in the village nowadays were old people who were getting older and moving unchanged. Of course. Except for the two small homes at the end of the village. Which were rented out. Rumble. Inside the candle-lit warehouse. The rusty sound of human-powered machine gears made people drowsy. A burly man riding on a modified human tricycle. Eyes closed and feet moving non-stop. Was controlling the machine to run. Next to the position. A dark-skinned. Short-haired youth. Through the faint candlelight. Looked at a novel in his hand with an excited expression. Sanner. Is the novel really this good? I've seen you reading this book for a month. Haven't you finished it by now? The short-haired youth. Hanging his head and dropping the water in his hand. Said feebly. When is the head ah? We are in the mountain's nest for several months. Just the production of goods. Damn a warehouse cannot put. Big brother how to think ah? Still not shipped out to sell. And then stay. I have to go crazy not. Let's just say that this place. Moving power outages. Stopping twice a day for 12 hours at a time. Who carries it? The crowd listened to the youth's complaints. Indifferent. Those who picked their feet picked their feet. Those who read books read books. And those who scratched their crotch scratched their crotch. Not taking it seriously at all. No. Can you guys at least say something? The youth named Sanner had an emotional breakdown. Okay. You don't shout. A moment later Brother Mang comes over and has to whack you again. What kind of work are we doing? What kind of work are we doing? Can we go out easily? 
Brother Mang also wants to do a big deal. A one time get the goods. This life to find a place. Can be a stable life. At this time. The other side of a sturdy man who was picking at his feet. Raised his hand and sniffed at the tip of his nose. Rolling his eyes. If I say. You kid put this book a bin story don't read it. Look at the pimples on your face. Chilling not chilling. Puberty has not seen you like this. Really? Three children. Not uncle said you. We prepared toilet paper can at least use half a year. Good guy. You are a look at novels on a roll of toilet paper can't really top it. A few more days. I'll see the paper run out. One by one with what to wipe with. F asterisk CK. Sanner's face reddened and he frowned breathlessly. Can he be the same as this group of middle-aged people? You guys have eaten meat. But you're not allowed to read novels to vent yourselves? What's more? In this shitless village. The clear water is full of old men and old women. But where there is a middle-aged woman. Sanner feels that he is not so lonely. Young and gentle can go on this road. For what? It is not that a little desirable things? But since with the fierce brother good. Clearly said. Personally take him to the sea election wave. And then there is no then. Long legs. Red sarongs. Are not available at all. Every day in addition to loading. The only one creature that can communicate is the big black dog at the door. The problem is that the dam is still a male dog. The three children who are suffocated are daily pimples. How is it? At this time. A middle-aged man with a bare upper body and a very long scar on the top of his head walked in. Narrowed his eyes and swept a glance at the crowd. Asking in a deep voice. I have good news for you all. The crowd immediately came into the spirit and stood up from their chairs. You can go out? Sanner asked with glaring eyes. Full of anticipation. Seeing Brother Mang smiling. He nodded his head. The crowd couldn't help but have smiles on their faces. Yes. After loading these goods tonight. Pack up and pack up during the day. We can almost go out at night. However. The goods will go first. Then we will go. I've already contacted the buyers and the buyers are on their way. I estimate that they can arrive during the day today at the latest. Give them the goods. Get the money. And we'll leave. Right. San Air. You don't sleep. Go to the village entrance to guard. If you see a foreigner coming. It is our buyer's person. After waving his hand and dismissing Sanner. Meng discussed with the crowd in a low voice. After harboring in this place for several months. With power outages every day. They manually controlled the machine. To be honest. No one ran. Meng felt relieved. If you don't go through the storm. How can you see the rainbow? No. The rainbow came. Moreover. The buyer this time is very unusual. I heard that it's the people from that karma waste sanctuary next door. And the goods go from that place. Although the price has been suppressed by a large part. But it reduces the risk of their transportation. When calculated. Mang feels that he has not suffered a loss. After all. The strength of the dragon state's fight against drugs is unprecedented. A while ago. Quite famous that Hao and Xiao Nan is not gone. I heard that the disposal of the old miserable. Especially that Hao. Said to be wild boar arching a night. Long was punishment for drug dealers is really strange. You guys also pack up. How much stuff is left? Carry it to say hello to the village elders. Such a safe place. It's unlikely that we'll still need it in the future. Aha. Uh -huh. The crowd nodded and walked out of the house separately. It wasn't long. Each person carried some leftover food in their hands and walked towards the village. The head of the village. Under a waist-thick willow tree. On a stone pier. A sliver of red slowly rose in the east. 
Sanner tied the big black dog to the tree and crossed his legs himself. Lying on the stone pier. Although he hadn't slept all night. The moment he heard that he would soon be able to leave this village. The whole person was excited. A few minutes ago. Taking advantage of the fact that the people in the village had not yet gotten up. Behind the big willow tree. Purposely rewarded himself twice. Martyr. When we go out we have to see to go. Am I sick? Why is the time getting shorter and shorter? Thinking back to just a few minutes. Sainer murmured in a small voice. Foreigner. Foreigner. Rub. Forgot to ask whether it is white or black. Suddenly. Sanner sat up violently. Blinked hard. And stared at a group of people walking out from the mountain forest path in the distance. At the head of the group were three bold men. Holding shiny assault rifles in their hands. Hiss. Sucking in a breath of cool air. Sanner immediately untied the rope of the big black dog and quickly greeted them. Wait. Su Mo, who walked out of the path, looked up and saw a pimple-faced youth running from the village entrance in the distance, and busily drank the crowd to a halt. His brows were tightly locked together. Name, Chow Sanner. Gender, male. One of the members of the drug production gang. Not highly educated. Graduated from elementary school. In puberty. Relatively short-tempered. Not much participation in drug production. The bonus for arresting and sending to the security bureau is extremely low. At this time. Did not wait for Su Mo to take the lead. Only to see not far from the wildly running over the three children. Jumped up. A slap on the bald boss's head. Splat sound. Crisp and loud. F asterisk CK. What took you so long? It's been half a day of waiting. Sanner craned his neck. Seeing the other party's stagnant expression. He couldn't help but bare his teeth and smiled. Going up and slapping the bald head again. Speak ah. Yeah. Look at me this memory. Foreigners cannot speak Chinese. Ha lu ah. You this bald head hand really good. Still froze what to do. Dog dog. No leakage fan. No leakage fan. Kong Muang. Bald boss face confused reach out and touch the top of the head. Brain melon buzz on the head. Turning his head to look at the two brothers next to him. Uncertainty asked. Just now. Did he whip me? The two bald men nodded their heads with certainty. Yes. We all saw it. He smoked you. Twice. On the top of the head. What are you? Seeing that the bald man was ready to raise his assault rifle. Suemo rushed over with quick eyes and hands. Immediately blocked in front of the three people. And blinked at Fatty next to him. Brothers. Come. Me to tell you about the tactics in a while. Has Sound East Strike West ever heard of it? A fat heart will understand. Not to say. Holding the bald boss went to the side. Kindly persuade up. Ah? Aren't you guys the ones who came to the joint? Sanner scratched his head. His face gradually turning grave. Brother Mang said that there were foreigners coming to make a joint. But it didn't say that it would be followed by so many Dragon Kingdom people. At a glance. Good guy. This has to be a few hundred people. Right? Is it hard to believe that it is intended to humanly transport the goods away? Yes. We are the people who came to the joint. How can we send you alone? Where is your big brother? Suemo followed the other party's words. His expression was bland. There can be a joint man. What does it mean? It means that the buyer is likely to arrive soon. Unexpected joy ah. However. It is necessary to rush to take control of this drug manufacturing factory before the buyer arrives. At Captain Chen's speed. It's estimated that by the time we get here. We're afraid we'll have to go into the night. There are only a few people in total. 
It's hard for them all to come and pick you up. Come with me. Not that I say. That these three foreigners in your team are really not things. Not just two hits? What's the matter? Still ready to hit me with a gun? Humph. Tired of living. That is. You speak better. Otherwise. Watch. In a moment I will have to clean up these three people by designation. Suemo warmly embraced this guy and walked forward while explaining for the other party in a low voice. Harm. Isn't this no way? Who let others are the boss's people? Little brother. Really sorry. However. You are right. These three people can be godly all the way. You just said that sentence in my heart. You just don't say. Go back to the road I am ready to pack up these three. However. This identity of ours. Sanner immediately revealed a look of I understand. Sympathetically looking at this person who had his arm around him. I understand. Just like at that time. Brother Mang tricked me to come here. Stepping on the horse. The is not a person. Said that I will take me to see the big long legs. The result? Bring a donkey over to let me look at the legs. Am I looking at this leg? Hair so old long. What can be seen? Or a male donkey. You wait. A moment I give you out of anger. Is not just three foreigners? What ah? You see well. Suemo smiled and did not say anything. Probably feel clearly what this kid piss. Reckless is really reckless. Attached to this age. Quietly pull out some money from his pocket. Not moving and stuffing it to the other party. Trouble little brother. This amount of money when you guys go out. Go look at the legs. Not to mention look. Touch all become. As soon as he saw that the other party was so on board. Sanner was thrilled at that moment. Stealing the money. He gave the other party a look that you can rest assured. Big strides turned into a nearby barn. Not much time. Riding a blackened donkey came out. You guys follow me. Waving at the bald combination. He said in a deep voice. You guys are the connectors. Follow me in to meet Brother Meng. The rest of you. You wait outside. Suemo waved his hand. A fatty enthusiastically pulled the three brothers up. At the same time, all of them couldn't help but grip their axes tightly. Once the three bald heads dared to make a slight move, it was guaranteed that hundreds of axes would immediately fly over. Inside out. Sounding off. Fatty raised an eyebrow and waved his hand at the three, giving them a reassuring look that they would immediately rush in. Hiss. Seeing so many people staring at them. The atmosphere in the air gradually became anxious. And then look at Sumo's expression on his face that seemed to be smiling but not laughing. The bald big brother's heart thumped. And secretly said that it was not good. It is likely to be exposed. Otherwise. One second is a brother. The next second is ready to fly axe. Not right. Very wrong. However. The bald elder brother who had personally seen his counterpart in a hundred battles. Immediately had an idea in his heart. Although he didn't understand. Since he had already discovered them. Why didn't he do it now? Most likely because. The strength of the other side of the firefight was also very strong. The more he thought about it. The more the bald big brother felt that this possibility was greater. He immediately praised his own cleverness in his heart. Thinking of a way to deal with it. Good brothers. Support us in a while. Specialty. Grinned at Sumo's crowd. The moment they turned around. The three of them simultaneously narrowed their eyes. Held their assault rifles steadily. And followed behind the burrow. Walking into the village without looking back. Where's brother Cho? Contact your family's relatives. The buyer is expected to arrive soon. Find a way to control the drug manufacturing factory first. Never let these people destroy the drugs. 
It's all our money. Captain Chen is already on his way. Subsequently, Brother Chiu led a few people and walked towards a house in the village. Not long after, Suemo told most of the people to separate and hide in the village. And a few of himself followed Brother Chiu to meet this relative of his. An old aunt surnamed Lang. On the way, Brother Chiu had told the story of this old auntie for the crowd. When this grandpa was young, he was quite formidable. He had survived the war years. And I heard that he was once a gunner. All kinds of cannons played like a charm. Inside a small farmhouse courtyard. What the hell? Some deaf monkler outlet online Lang managed to hear what the crowd was telling him. And then immediately jumped up from the small horse zipper. Cursing furiously. F asterisk CK a heel ah. In my village to make drugs. No wonder. All day got out of the ghost. At a glance is not a good thing. This matter you do not have to manage. As the village chief of the big willow tree village. A moment you follow me. Cursing. Cold Monkler outlet suddenly thought of something. Busy opening his mouth again. He asked. Almost forgot. This is not decades ago. You guys reported to the security bureau yet? Distance from here is not close. Not to report it. And then. A moment to see what the mouth to me to close tight point. Understand? I don't see anything? Otherwise. Beware of my face. After saying that. Grandpa stood in the yard and rang the bell. That's right. That's right. The grandpa rang the bell to call people. In less than ten minutes. Quite a few older. But spirited group of old men walked into the small courtyard. It could be seen that the group of people cooperated quite well. In front of Sue M.O. and the others. They opened the cellar in the courtyard. Not long after. Ten rusty mortars were dragged up. Along with them. There were several boxes of shells. When the crowd took a look at this formation. They were all shocked. They all turned their heads to look at Brother Cho. Brother Cho's whole body gave a jolt. And he was busy tugging at his old aunt's husband and said in a trembling voice. Old auntie. You want to rebel where? Not. Where did you get these guns? Hurry to put away. This is too lethal. Lang grandfather glanced at this guy with a squint. And vigorously deducted his ears. What did you say? Can it be fired? Nonsense. Back then the head of the regiment gave me so many cannons. Rubbing them every day. Surely they can be fired. No. Old auntie. It can't be fired. Brother Chiu was on the verge of crying. At this critical moment. Why is he deaf again? What? How powerful is it? It can send people to the sky. Grandpa Long waved his hand. Numerous monkler jackets. One person holding a cannon barrel followed him out the door, watching one by one monkler holding a mortar cylinder walk out from the yard. The fans in the live broadcast room all looked dumbfounded. Good guy, what era is this? Can someone still have this thing at home? All become antiques, right? Not. This monkler outlet store young time is bound to be a person with a story ah. Can let a regimental commander to send so many mortars? This in the year. How is also a celebrity ah. Seriously. I now somewhat sympathize with the drug production personnel. Choose what place is not good. Choose this village. See, Monkler Outlet Store Home Mortars. Just ask you panic or not. Not right. I see a lot of them are rusty. Can they really be fired? Don't have any accidents in a while ah. And, Sue can put people Monkler Outlet Store in a bad way. People Monkler Outlet Store have instructed. Must not say out. I just took a look at the number of people in the live room. Are stepping horse over 600? 000. zero, zero. Monkler outlet store this cannon is estimated to be unable to keep it ah. No one has asked those three foreigners? They should have found something just now, right? If they join up with the criminals later, it's going to be a problem. What's so troublesome? Not to mention Monkler outlet these mortars, or the contestants of the program, how many people do we have? One person throws an axe in and buries the fuck out of these people. After the discovery of weapons and ammunition in the mountains, 
This is the second time that the crowd has observed once weapons up close, or mortars that are about to be ready to be fired. For a moment, the fans waiting in the live broadcast room were thrilled. In the Dragon Kingdom, there weren't many chances to see this kind of image. Not to mention, the small courtyard not only had drug production personnel, but likewise three foreign killers. Quick, hurry to contact Captain Chen. Something big is going to happen. Followed out of the small courtyard, Su Mo was busy instructing Fatty to contact Captain Chen who had arrived. It was that his brain circuits were so big that he could not have imagined that Master Lang could drag ten mortars out of the cellar. Ah, it was too exciting. This thing had been kept for so many years. Didn't the people from the Yandu Security Bureau realize it? What if they really fire it later and break the drugs inside? That can be money ah. Seeing this situation, Fatty is also clear that it is not the time to joke. Busy lagging behind a few steps, dialed the phone of Captain Chen. The phone passed the moment. Busy lowered his voice and said, Captain Chen, where are you guys? Look at the live broadcast yet? Didn't look. Something big happened. You hurry to stop and look at the live broadcast. What? We do not act first? We can't do nothing. The mortars are all set up. Located in the front of the cold monkler outlet online. He turned back violently. Fatty was busy hanging up his cell phone. Grinning an awkward to stingy smile. Oh, the air in the mountains is so good ha. Huh? Whoever calls again. Come over here in a while and hold the barrel of the cannon for me. Grandpa Lang threatened in a deep voice. With his hands behind his back. Release walked to the door of the last two homes at the end of the village. Align yourself. A big hand waved. In full view of everyone. Mortars were set up and aimed at the two small farmhouses. First let off a cannon. Then go over to the individual knocking on the door. Ask to surrender or not. Now is also the law and order is good. This is if you put aside the grandpa's era. But also ask a fart. Directly bombed. Lung Monkler outlet online pointed to the open space in the distance. Soon, a rust-covered cannonball was stuffed into the barrel. Ignite. With a command. Pang sounded. The entire ground shook, and a deafening sound was heard. Master. I'll go knock on the door. I'll go. Suomo took a deep breath. Stepped forward. Nodded at Grandpa Lang. And walked straight to the door. The power was too great. I don't know whose family's grave is that not far from the end of the village. A shell has flattened it. At the same time. Inside the house, Brother Mang looked at Sanner who was standing on the side, and then looked at the three big bald foreigners in front of him, feeling that his brain was a bit bad. Take it easy, what did you guys just say? You guys aren't with those people outside? Not. Aren't you guys here for a joint? Come together. How come you're not a gang? Right. The bald big brother had an expression that you can be considered to have understood, and hurriedly explained while the iron was hot. Not a gang. How can we be from the axe gang? No. Aren't you guys in a firefight with the axe gang? We can help you guys. We have guns. Just give us the head and waste of the one who leads. Joint? We're not here for a joint. The bald old man next to him came up and grinned. Killers? Professionals? Hearing the other party say this, Mang was even more confused. What was all that said? The axe gang? What era is this? Where did the axe gang come from? Moreover, it was clearly three foreigners who actually didn't recognize the identity of their joint. What the hell is this? According to Mang's mind, they find this place. That is really a bird shit place. In addition to some only know the sun outside the old man. The village generally even an outsider is not. The other three foreigners, carrying assault rifles can walk here. If they weren't the connectors, what else could they be? Killers? You're telling me you're a professional killer with your toes and thumbs out? Ask the dog at the door. You guys wait ah. Uh, I'll ask Sanner. Sanner you come here. In the end what is the situation? You give me a good explanation. Brother Mang pulled Sanner into the room and asked in a deep voice. Brother Mang, it is like this. These three of them have a conflict with those who move goods outside. Foreigners, you should understand. Talking our nose holes to people. Look down on those who move goods. After listening, Mang has a number in his heart. Immediately, his face was gloomy and walked out of the house. Narrowing his eyes, his expression was not good staring at the three people. Coldly opening his mouth to question. I'll ask you one last time. Are you or are you not the joint? Who? The bald big brother took a deep breath, slowly stretched out his index finger, pointed to the top of his head, and swore and roared. I can swear to God, we are really killers, professional killers, everything is a misunderstanding, the matter of the joint, we are not clear, but, strong, we have guns in our hands, we can help you solve the axe gang outside, this is my oath, please believe me, the dragon kingdom has a good saying, if I lie, the sky will strike five thunder, the words were not finished, Rumble. A deafening boom exploded beside everyone's ears. The entire house seemed to be swinging. The bald elder brother was shocked at that time. Unbelievably looking up at the roof. 
He murmured, it seems that God doesn't allow us to cooperate. Speaking of this, the ball trio raised the muzzles of their assault rifles at the same time and aimed them at the few people in front of them. Backing up, they opened the wooden door. Boss Su, we, a turn back, looking at a dark barrel. The bald big brother swallowed saliva in his mouth with difficulty and awkwardly said to the side of Brother Mang, God, who the hell am I trampling with now? Why is there a mortar? I need to contact my boss. This kind of job needs to be paid extra. And my profession tells me that even the best assassin, Fark, can't do mortars. Hi Poo. Surrender. Boss Su. We surrender. The bald trio's mentality was completely blown up by this moment. It was too hard to maintain a professional level in Dragon Kingdom. Wasn't it just a firefight between two gangs? How come even mortars were pulled out? F asterisk CK. Brother Mang followed and ran out. Looking at the several dark gun barrels outside, his entire body was confused. As for that, especially the several lords standing next to the barrels of the cannons, people were half kneeling on the ground. Their professional posture made Mang and the others chilled. This is really a few old men who usually sit at the door lazily sunbathing? I've never seen anyone fire a cannon in reality, but I've seen it on TV. One look at the grandfathers in this stance. It's obvious that they don't look like they're faking it. Retreat. Quick. Copy. A low roar. The crowd threw. All hold their heads and squat. Seeing this, Suemo urgently roared. Gripped the bald boss's neck collar. Ripped the other side over. Threw it to the people on the side. And crashed into the door of the room with a healthy step of his own. Click. Pulling out the miniature grenade from his pocket. Sumo's entire body's muscles tightened squinting his eyes to observe the situation inside the room. As far as the eye could see, the several drug production personnel just now had all disappeared. There is a back door? Although he didn't find any drug makers, a room next door was stacked with drugs that had been boxed up. At a cursory glance, there were at least thousands of pounds. Getting rich, muttering a sentence, Suemo turned his head and waved at the personnel outside the room. Subsequently, the people went around to the back of the house. Sure enough, there was a big hole in the ground behind the house. Obviously this group of drug production personnel had long prepared a retreat. The people must not be able to run far. Bring over the guns of those three bald guys. Lowering his head and thinking, Su Mo immediately had a decision in his heart. At this time, Lang Dijie several people ran over, looked at the big hole behind the house, and cursed in anger. This is not even bluffed? Fuck. It seems that people nowadays have learned to be smart. Don't imitate mortars in the future. This thing can't bluff people now. I look at those assault rifles are good. This word came out. Xiao, who was following the side, looked at the old auntie with a bewildered face. He didn't seem to understand what it meant. What are you still looking at? The mortars are fake. Ah, wasn't it fired just now? Fired my ass. Don't you even look at the direction? I said it is strange. Obviously rushed to the east to hit. How the south of that grave to blow up. Also thought in the air can turn outside it. A look is prepared in advance. Ah, fatty furiously roared a voice. The corner of Sumo's mouth twitched. Looking at a few Monkler outlet online speechless. Really can blow off. Damn. Almost even bluffed him over. Obviously. A few drug production personnel estimated that they also saw. Or simply did not believe that a group of them dared to open fire. In addition to the three foreign naive batch. Estimated that no one can believe it. Soon. Three assault rifles were brought over. Suemo took one and ordered at the crowd in a low voice. Don't need to use so many people. The money has arrived. Move out all the drugs in the house. Leave people to watch. Right. There is also the village entrance. Pay attention to the joints coming. Fat man come with me. And then come back to a person. We will go after the drug making criminals. Everyone be careful. After the instructions. Several people followed the path behind the house and ran straight to the distant woods. The rest of them looked at each other in disbelief. Froze for a few seconds. And immediately came back to their senses. Turning their heads. They walked into the house and carried the boxes of drugs to the small courtyard of Grandpa Lang. At the same time. Hundreds of participants, carrying axes, rushed to the entrance of the village and ambushed on both sides. The money has arrived. Just now all the people have totaled. This time alone sees drugs. Each person in the security bureau at least can receive thousands of dollars in bonuses. If you can then catch the connector. Pure and simple unexpected joy. As for whether the other side will have a gun in their hands? Hundreds of axes flying over at the same time. What's the use of having a gun? They will scare each other to death. Now is a little worried about Sue. A few drug production personnel in the face of the gun barrel. Dare to turn their heads and run. Look is the outlaw. I don't know if it can be successfully captured back. All cheer up. Don't worry about brother Sue. What kind of person is brother Sue? The whole Chin do. There is no more evil than him. Must be nothing. I can tell you ah. Hurry before Sue brother back. 
We must put the joints to hold down. Think about it. We'll soon be out of the country. In the end, we are all participating in the program contestants. Sue brother can take us to make money. A little bit of a heart. When we go abroad, we can rely on ourselves. It's impossible for so many people to follow Sue all the time. Otherwise, the program won't be able to continue. The crowd thought deeply of Brother Cho's words. Yes, it was impossible to follow Sue M.O. all the time. After all, counting now, everyone was still in a competitive relationship. Besides, if so many people acted together in a foreign country, wouldn't they find trouble for themselves? What if they are treated as illegal mercenaries? However, where there is a first time, there is a second time, as long as they are abroad. Although they don't need to get together on weekdays, once there is an opportunity to make big money, with Sue's character, it is likely that he will call out to everyone again. Just like this, hundreds of people, ambushed on both sides of the path at the entrance of the village, staring dead at the end of the path. The other side, the dense woods were overgrown with weeds, withered branches and vines hanging overhead. The several people of Brother Mang, with a crude shotgun in each hand, were running wildly with rough breaths. From time to time, they looked back at the several people following behind. Brother Mang, we can't do them. We can't run out if we run like this. A strong man roared with red eyes, obviously being behind Su Mo to drive some anxious eyes. Fart. Mang's speed did not decrease. Kick the other party. Are you stupid? What are you holding in your hand? Shotguns that shoot steel balls. What are people holding? Assault rifles. Such a long distance. Can you hit someone? Said here. The crowd stopped saying anything. Then run. Mad. These months is considered to be in vain, but, really hell, from where this group of people, but also two livestock, obviously look at it is not the people of the security bureau, it is hard not to be a few bald said is true, really what the axe gang, until now, Mang couldn't figure it out in his heart, why would there be so many people, running over the mountains to the village, trying to catch them, nope, it wasn't to arrest them, as soon as the other party entered the house, the way they looked at those drugs was obviously much more excited than seeing them. This, too, was the reason why Mang couldn't figure it out to death. Could it be that the connector had sent them here to go black? The more he thought about it, the more possibilities came to Mang's mind. It was almost bewitching. Hyper. Suddenly, a low gunshot came from behind. Brother Mang and the other's bodies shook, and they were busy looking down at their bodies. And after realizing that they weren't injured, their frenzied speed increased suddenly, and a few hundred meters behind each other. Su Mo looked at the smoking gunshot hole in his pants, looked up incredulously at Fatty, and his eyes instantly turned red, jumped up and excitedly drank and cursed. No, what are you doing? I trampled on your side. You rushed to the front of the gun. Bullets can fly me here. Humanoid tracer ah? You have a problem with me? Fatty scratched his head in embarrassment. His brain was also confused. Yes, obviously aiming at drug criminals. Could it be that he is gifted? Why did the bullet go to Su Mo's crotch? Rugged hiking road. Chin Dali urged the team members to move forward at a rapid pace, while grimacing and looking at the live screen in the cell phone. Mortars are drying out. It's so damn scary. No, he just couldn't figure out where a small village hidden in the mountains would get a weapon like a mortar. To know, it was their security bureau that was not qualified enough to be equipped with this thing ah. No, we can't listen to Grandmaster Chin. We have to notify someone else's Yundu security bureau. Thinking carefully, the current situation is that there are not only foreign killers in the village but also drug production personnel, just these people he brought with him, it's hard enough to stabilize the situation. Thinking about this, Chen Dali took the lead in dialing over to Ningfan, although it is the ground of Yundu, but Nandu is not far from here. Ningfan is also considered an old acquaintance. If the other party can come, it will be easier to cooperate. Soon, the phone call came through. Without waiting for the other party to open his mouth, Chen Dali roared in an extremely fast tone. Have you watched the live broadcast yet? I can't do this network card. The picture is spent after the mortar went off. You now hurry to bring people to the mountains to support me. The seized drugs, our two security bureau a half. How about it? Ah, uh, what? Hey, are you having a bad signal? I will have a meeting here. Not in Yundu. You say it again. What live broadcast? The other end. Ning Fan sat in the office, looking at the laptop screen, is chasing criminal Su Mo? Blinking eyes rushed to the phone shouted. Rushing over now? The yellow flowers and vegetables are all cold. Say it nicely. Half the drugs in a family. That's something that Ning Fan said he wouldn't believe. The mortar is fake. Chen Dali this guy really think he doesn't watch the live broadcast? Use your brain even when you lie. Okay? F asterisk CK. Upon hearing this, Chen Dali's mind exploded. After entering the mountain, the cell phone network from time to time, 
Now is not clear what kind of village, but one thing can be sure, the power of that horse mortar is too big, so big graves, directly to the leveling, immediately holding a cell phone, standing on a boulder, rushing inside roaring roar, cell phone no signal, you damn in the city cell phone also no signal, you now hurry to go out, put aside outside to find a pole to hold, and then talk to me, finished, angry hung up the phone, low head thought, dialed the Yundu security bureau's phone, after explaining the situation, the other party said that they would immediately send people into the mountains at a rapid pace to give them support, it's still Yundu that is more reliable, rubbing, forgot to notify people that they brought money with them when they came, Chen Dali suddenly slapped his thigh, chagrined and dialed again, in three words, the little girl who answered the phone was in a daze, Yundu, the wiring center, the little girl who was responsible for answering the phone, after hanging up the phone, turned her head and looked at the captain who was jumping up and down to set up the task with a restrained face, Shindu's this Chen Dali is interesting enough ah, drug manufacturing factories, if this is caught, this year our bureau new car can have, but also several, interesting, too interesting, worthy of being a classmate back then, after entering the mountain in a while, all of them get in the spirit, arresting people we go first, never let the brothers of Chindu get hurt, people found such an important clue, can think of us Yundu security bureau, two enough brothers, it could be heard, the Yundu security bureau captain was very emotional, he was even already calculating what kind of car the security bureau could change to after this merit, captain, just now, captain Chen's phone call came again, oh, what did it say, the little girl who answered the line hesitated for a moment and stiffly said the original words, captain Chen said that when you go over, bring the money with you, and ask a few criminals to shell out money, is to move drugs, how much does a box cost, and how much do you have to pay, hearing this, the hall was silent, the captain of the Yundu security bureau was dumbfounded, uncertainly asked, really say that, aha, the little wiring girl pursed her lips and nodded, soon, deafening curses came from within the wiring center office, what did I just say, this Chen Dali wasn't a thing when he was in school, and now that he's a captain, he's still like this, poor and crazy, criminals have to let me pay, outside the village in the woods, huffing, 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 brother Mang and the others ran for nearly half an hour in one breath, tired and sweaty, originally, they thought they could get rid of a few people behind them, but looking back, there were indeed a few people missing, however, the skinny one leading the group, along with the fat one, were still following them unhurriedly, and had been at a safe distance, that is, a distance that their shotguns could not hit, brother Meng, I really can't run anymore, I can't, my lungs are about to explode, a dark, strong man next to him, squeezing his eyes hard and panting heavily leaned against a large tree, saying that he was not willing to run anymore, Mountain Road ah, the shoes are all gone, if he ran on, not to mention whether he would be caught or not, he would die of exhaustion, moreover, what made the strong man collapse was that after running for so long, the speed didn't decrease at all, but those two people behind them, they were really like livestock, with frighteningly strong endurance, always keeping the same distance, always appearing behind them at critical moments, you want to die, if you want to die, I'll beat you to death now, Mang's heart sank as he swept a few people viciously, the business is to turn around, if you get caught, can the other brothers live, give me a chance to stand up and keep running, hold on and hold on, we're about to reach the border, once we cross the border, these two animals behind us definitely won't dare to chase after us, listen to me, running lousy has a great trick, I'll hold your urine, I'll tell you, to run fast and long, then you have to hold your urine, go, the crowd gritted their teeth and followed brother Mang to run wildly forward again, the two Su M.O., who were hanging behind them from a long distance, watched a few people start running again, one of them, fatty, couldn't help but raise his gun again, aimed at one of them, however, eyes skimming over the several gunshot holes on Sumo's pants, he sighed and put the assault rifle away again, brother, why don't we forget about it, we really can't catch up, anyway, the main drugs have arrived, running, there are only two of us left, the team behind us has long since run out, fatty said helplessly, Suemo had a headache and put the assault rifle behind his back, along the way, the two of them switched shooting to try it out, Fatty shot a total of three shots, and then Sumo's pants leg had three more gunshot holes, completely worthy of the title human body tracer, Suemo always thought, how he should be better than the fat man, the result, after firing a few shots, he completely realized, not as good as the human tracer, he had never touched a rifle before, and when he fired a bullet, he relied completely on the margins, and he didn't even know where it went, further ahead can be the borderline, once these guys run past, want to catch up again, can be a problem, 
and then chase, really cannot catch up, can only be so, under helplessness, Suemo could only prepare for the worst, pulling Fatty along with him, he once again chased after Mang and the others who were running wildly ahead, at the same time, the end of the village, an old man who came down from the mountain looked at the head of his family's land rather blankly, rubbing his eyes vigorously, damn, where's my daughter-in-law's grave in Tama's, how come my daughter-in-law's big grave is gone, a few hours later, Chen Dali and the others ran up from the path drenched in sweat, not waiting to stand still, just heard a burst of air breaking sounds coming from the air, look up, only to see densely packed hundreds of axes spinning in midair, swarming over, retreat, hissed a cry, Chen Dali and the others ran backward in a desperate frenzy, dodging the falling axes, it's over, brother Chiu, who had climbed out of the woods, looked at the vigilantes fleeing in a sorry state, his face darkening as he turned his head to angrily look at Lu Wei on the side, the person didn't even see, you flew the axe, which is what a joint, it's Captain Chen, Wei's face was white and terrified, he was busy following the crowd and chased after them, and after seeing that the axe didn't hurt anyone, everyone breathed a long sigh of relief, God bless, to die to Captain Chen flying to death, that would be a big trouble, ha, huh? Chen Dali, who climbed out of a pit, licked the corner of his mouth and scanned the group of contestants in front of him, smiling conspiratorially, it's okay, each and every one of them have learned from Su Mo, haven't they, all know how to fly an axe, I think you guys should just rename this program, call it hiking around the world, it doesn't reflect your strength at all, why don't we call it socialist training program, what do you think, if it works, I'll go back and discuss it with your director son, who has been sucking on oxygen, you know, look at all of you, a handful of axes, what are you doing, you're going to conquer the world, the more he said, the more angry Chen Dali was, it's too much, originally it was Su Mo alone who did the whole job, but now it's good, a few hundred people did the whole job together, this is the rhythm of preparing to let him enter the locket in advance ah, catching criminals is not a problem, but now it looks like the group of contestants led by Su Mo are more like criminals than criminals, in broad daylight, a few hundred people, they dared to carry an axe and waltz into the city, what's the situation now, where is Su Mo, after cursing enough, Chen Dali waved his hand and followed the crowd into the village, on the way here, through the on again, off again signals, he had already learned on the live broadcast that the mortar was a fake, this reassured him quite a bit, I am afraid that these rash young people, and then fooled the other village masters, really carrying the barrel of the gun to chase the criminals, where to go and then let off a few guns, if this is exposed, can there still be a way to live, Sue is coming back soon, however, something happened at the borderline, someone picked up a few drug making criminals, people did not bring back, well, three foreign killers left behind, brother Wei came together at one side and whispered back, people did not hold down, Chen Dali's face revealed an odd look, there seemed to be some disbelief, with Su Mo's level of evil, there could still be criminals running away from him, it was really a heavenly oddity, not much longer, Chen Dali and others walked into the small courtyard of the cold master, looking at the stacks of the entire small courtyard box after box of drugs, spare him, at this moment is also cold sweat, walked over, unsealed a box, looked down at the colorful crystalline objects inside, Chen Dali black face gritted his teeth, all new types, no wonder it's possible to produce so much in just a few months time, these few drug making criminals are very important, absolutely can't be allowed to escape, a low voice roared, just the new type of drugs produced in this courtyard, at least a few tens of thousands of people's families must be harmed, the crime was great, the three of them are the killers? Ordering people to start counting the amount of drugs, Chen Dali came to the place where the dogs were bolted in the courtyard. At this time, the ball trio was chained to a stake. There was a big man with bare feet, shoes in his hands, constantly using the soles of his shoes to whip the trio's big bald heads, the face that can't even look at. All shoe prints. The dog is hardy. The grave all dare to old man leveled. Must be do not want to live? The big man cursed angrily in dialect, and kept smacking the three men under his hands. Speak slower. Our Chinese is not good, cannot understand, cannot understand ah, uh, come to a person who can understand, okay this old man is not a brain problem, one after another to whip us for what, what did he say, the bald boss was smoked to collapse, he really didn't understand a word, what grave, what the hell is a grave, master, don't smoke, don't smoke, I'm from the security bureau, M, Chen Dali waved his hand, and a few team members pulled the angry grandpa away in a good way, shot, must be shot, Bullshit killer. Killer on this quality ah, uh, ah. Uh. How many years has my daughter-in-law been dead? What? You want to dig out and kill again ah? Uh? So big grave. Said to me level just flat. This is a human being can do things. 
Monkler Outlet Online still unrelenting in his cursing. On the side, Monkler Outlet Online Lang awkwardly stroked his chin and hurriedly went up to support the other party. And in the meantime, he ruthlessly kicked the bald boss in the face. That's it, too inhuman, oldly, forget it, forget it, and then re an entire grave. The big guys are all giving you a hand, not buried in our family land. With a few of my daughters-in-law can also have a care. Other program contestants standing on the sidelines, coincidentally lowered their heads. The default grave is three killers flat. There was no way. Grandmaster Lung was too ferocious. Although the mortars were fake, those shells from others were dug out of the mountains. That stuff was real. Can't afford to mess with it. Really can't mess with it. Finally, in the courtyard, the old people asked about the details, and only then completely understand what he was doing when he was young. Bandits. He was a bandit in the mountains. It is said that he married several daughters-in-law in his life, and now there are three buried in the ground alone. We need the phone. Seeing that the man in front of him was wearing a vigilante uniform, the bald boss looked up and complained with tears in his eyes. We are willing to cooperate. There is a boss behind us. Give me the phone. I will help you. You help us? Chen Dali's mouth twitched, full of skepticism. Yes, betraying the boss we are professionals. Killers only need to take responsibility for themselves. Please believe in our level of professionalism. The bald old man kneeling on the rubbing board came over in time to interject. Suemo is back. Why are you injured? Suddenly, a cry of alarm came from the doorway. The crowd was busy welcoming them out, only to see that Su Mo's arm was covered in blood, and a number of steel balls could be vaguely seen embedded in the skin. What's going on? Chen Dali checked Su Mo's injuries and asked with a frown. Alas, Su Mo sighed and slowly spoke for the crowd. After chasing after them for a long time, seeing that the other party was about to cross the borderline, Su Mo gritted his teeth, accelerated his speed, and rushed up with his assault rifle, but he really didn't expect it. Next door to this country's degree of chaos, close to the borderline, the opposite side, then rushed out a group of people, aimed their guns at him, as a last resort, Su Mo could only avoid the front line for the time being, being shot in the dark by Mang and the others, fortunately, only a very small portion of the steel ball hit into the arm, and he himself could only watch as Mang and the others were taken away by that group of people, after listening, the crowd was silent, by the way, Team Chen, hurriedly counted the drugs, how is the sun director? When can we leave the country? At this time, Su Mo looked up and said with a rather sinister expression, If we arrest someone outside the country, will your security bureau recognize it? Chen Dali, Chen Du, inside the intensive care ward, the TV was connected to the cell phone on the table and was playing the image of Su Mo bandaging his wounds. And inside the ward, apart from director Sun who was holding an oxygen bottle, numerous people in charge of the program group had also rushed here. The reason why everyone gathered here. It was because, the Kyoto side specially called their program group and allowed them to open the contestants exit in advance. That's why several people in charge came to the hospital to discuss with director Sun what to do next. Su Mo was injured. You guys look at this kid's eyes. Looking quite scary ah, I guess want to kill people have the heart. The first time a criminal can run away from his hands. I estimate ah, once the contestants are allowed to leave the country. This kid will probably go over to take revenge. In case something big happens again. Our program group really can't cover it. An older shareholder, worriedly opened his mouth and started for the crowd. For a moment, the crowd all began to discuss. Only director Sun was holding the oxygen tank, inhaling vigorously without stopping, looking at the live broadcast screen without saying a word. Old Sun, say something, don't inhale. A night's work, you've sucked out several bottles. The nurses people have an opinion. That is, the person immediately can't work, have not seen to inhale so fiercely. Sun Director slowly took down the oxygen mask. His expression was quite serious and looked at the crowd. In a deep voice, he opened his mouth. You guys haven't thought about it. Why Kyoto will let us immediately release the exit? To be frank, we are just a reality show. Why can we get Kyoto's attention? A few words. Everyone fell into deep thought. Director Sun reached out and pointed at Su Mo in the live broadcast screen, and said with certainty, because of Su Mo, don't you understand? Let the players leave the country. In fact, the only one that Kyoto is concerned about is Su Mo. To put it bluntly, it may be that they want Su Mo to take revenge. I took the time to check some of the data from this place next door. It's shocking. Just a few years of work was cheated to go over there to the Dragon State people. A full tens of thousands of people, many of whom somehow disappeared, can be through official means. It is difficult to stir up this place. After all, the Public Security Bureau of the past, there is no law enforcement power in the local. But, our program group is different and so on is traveling over. And, to put it bluntly, 
It's likely that the meaning of the above, can't wait for Su Mo to be wanted in that place, can be wanted, it means that the water is stirred up, and the Bureau of Public Security is good to go out. Director Sun slowly spoke, the crowd didn't open their mouths, listening carefully to his analysis, it had to be said, since inhaling oxygen, Sun Guy felt that his brain had instantly become a lot smarter. There were many problems that he couldn't figure out, but after lying down for a night, he figured it all out. Being able to attract the attention of the upper echelons of the Dragon Kingdom had only benefits for the program team. No harm at all. Even for Su Mo, there was no harm. There were more people who gave money ah. So, I think that an announcement can be made right away to allow the contestants to leave the country freely. Seeing that the crowd was silent, Director Sun braced himself and sat up, throwing his voice. The whole bar. I can see. The more timid and afraid, the damn more likely to have an accident. Anyway, it is abroad. It is hard not to foreign people can still come to the dragon country to catch the old man not. We stand on the moral high ground. Afraid of what? How much can we organize? Now this situation. You do not let Su Mo whole words. This guy is estimated to be enough to continue to go on the road again. There are those players. Now also learn smart. Put the opportunity to make money. How can not go? Axe people are grinding the light. And. Do not forget. Foreign countries can use the gun ah. As he finished. All the people in charge were speechless. Really, at the very beginning, when planning this program, I really didn't think it could develop to such a point. This wasn't like trekking across the globe. The entire thing had turned into a locust transit, frantically wool gathering away. However, what Director Sun said also made sense. Since Kyoto is concerned, they naturally have to fight for it. But the purpose of the program cannot be changed. This point after all the people's deliberation, it was decided that Sun Director and Su Mo have a good talk. After settling down, must be a good rush. How much money is enough ah? You cannot walk a place, glean a place. When the time comes to open the overseas live broadcast, the countries along the way know, can let you enter the country? By then what to do? Carrying a cannon barrel to fight in? Don't say, this thing, with Sumo's temperament, may really do it. The crowd discussed for several hours, and finally the program team released an announcement on the internal channel that they could leave the country. A stone stirred up a thousand waves. Many of the contestants who took another route regretted it. Because, those contestants who followed Su Mo, started to frantically Versailles up in the internal channel, can be considered to release the exit, a moment when I press the end of this emperor foot washing package, and then go to do the formalities, really, Nandu this border town, do not look at the place is not big, the girl is a long really water spirit, the service is also good, aya aya, an emperor package is only 699, it is really cheap, crap. Upstairs is not the autumn brother? Are you so extravagant? You're going to the imperial package? Brothers are far from it. At most, just wash a 498 package. The rest of the money, ordered a roasted leg of lamb. In fact, also quite beautiful. Who's free now? We're at the Globe nightclub. Wanna come? Anyone from Yundu City in the neighborhood? Come over to get high ah. Tomorrow we'll be out of the country and Sue separated. Tonight say what have to party ah. Fuck. Are you guys human? Another imperial foot washing package. Another roasted leg of lamb. Another nightclub. No. How much money have you guys made? Dare to build like this? The one above is taking another route. Right? Not much money. A person is only a few thousand dollars. Walking through this country next door is enough. And. The big guys have figured out. The champion who knows who's. Along the way can not be too suffering. All is a hiking tour of the chanting. Do not talk about it. I ordered the 18th technician is here. Roughly looked at the internal group chat, lying on the hospital bed, sucking oxygen sun guide, then on the head, eyes are red, the more you think about it, the more you can't do anything in your heart, he was in the hospital sucking oxygen, this group of contestants is good, outside can vigorously dashing, don't look at him as a director, the emperor's foot wash 699 package, he has not experienced ah, turn off your cell phone, director son pressed the call button and called the little girl at the nurse's desk over, no oxygen again? Uncle. Not. You this inhalation method cannot be ah. And then the whole thing. You have to oxygen poisoning ah. As soon as the little nurse came in. She frowned and shouted. No. No. Sun director busy waved his hand and lowered his voice. Oxygen is still there. Sucking less. I want to ask you. Is there any place near the hospital where you can wash your feet? The kind that has emperor 699 package. You can help me ask. Can door to the hospital to wash not? What about? inhaling too much oxygen, my feet are a little numb, that, if you will also, 699 you give a wash, the little nurse froze and immediately ran out with a big change in face, a few seconds later, 
The hissing sound of the little nurse came from the corridor. Director, hurry to come and take a look. This one in the intensive care ward has been poisoned by oxygen inhalation. His brain is sucked out of his mind. The small border town. Sumo's arm was wrapped in a bandage, sitting on a street corner, smiling broadly. She nodded her head at all the people leaving. It was time to leave the country. Many of the people who had completed the formalities in advance, after partying all night, this time all said goodbye to him and prepared to head to the exit gate. As for him, he hadn't stopped for the past few days and hadn't done any exit formalities at all. Brother Sue, we're leaving ah, when we get there, if there's something you call the photographer, just come to a call, the brothers are definitely in place, is your arm okay? Tramp, run into those few drug production personnel again, you just see if I straighten them out or not, it's over. Brother Sue you guys also hurry to do formalities to go, the street that seems to have opened another agency, but it should be regular. The crowd said their goodbyes with a word from you and a word from me. After saying hello, walking towards the outside of the small town, they prepared to head to the exit gate. Everyone understood in their hearts that it was impossible to stay with Suemo forever. Moreover, the crowd could tell that Suemo was pressing a fire in his heart, and if he left the country this time, he was bound to go to find those few drug-making criminals, as well as the boss who hired the killers. If they are not familiar with the place, it is for their own good that they are not with them. While their hearts were grateful, Many of them were vaguely worried. Single-handedly, with just two people with fatty, could they really find the drug criminals? One hour later, seeing that the people were almost gone, Sue M.O. helped fatty get up and whispered, Let's go. Let's go do the formalities as well. Ah, uh, fatty scratched his head blankly and blinked vigorously. Brother, where are we going to do the formalities? We don't even have a passport ah. Uh. Not. I say you heart is also really big. I forgot even if. You at least is a contestant ah. Uh your passport or not, you yourself are not clear, two people last night to discuss when to leave the country to come, however, a check baggage only found, if not to say, the two people cooperate with tacit understanding, all of them did not have passports, this is very embarrassing, as we all know, a passport is an ID card in a foreign country, without a passport, it can be said that no country can go, how to walk around the world, cross the borderline ah, just follow me, who says you can't go over without a passport, Suemo dropped a sentence and walked straight into the city. Although all the agencies in the entire small town were sent in, but just this big environment, next to a next door to this place, in less than a day's work, it was surprising to open a few more. However, the formalities were handled, all the way without words. The two came to a company called Legal Exit Labor Company, walked in, after the beautiful reception girl poured a cup of water, sat down opposite the two, did not wait for Suemo to open his mouth, she took the lead and introduced them the two of you don't worry, we only handle travel documents now, but, to be honest, there is nothing to travel in that place, unless you are going over to gamble, otherwise, I suggest that you still don't go over, we are regular, look, I'm even advising you guys not to go over there, if you work part time, you can forget about it, there are no such documents now, after Suemo heard this, he looked up and took a look at the girl, silently took out an envelope from his bag and pushed it over, how do you mean? The little girl touched the thickness of the envelope. Her face revealed ecstasy. Big customer. Now is the critical moment. Together with all to be formal. May be in this place to open labor. Do formal sound. Can earn a few money. Is nothing more than to carry through this special days. After all. Over there people want people to want can be quite urgent. The price goes up and up. Can you do it? It's just the tourist license. A tourist license doesn't cost that much. The little girl answered back honestly. No passport. Suemo was also quite honest and told the truth. No passport? A sentence to the little girl whole will not. No passport how to go over. Cannot do down ah. No. Big brother. You are not plain clothes ah. Look at you next to this person is also on top of a camera. I hear is really a formal labor company. No passport how to do. Cannot do down ah. You go next door again to ask into it? The little girl sized up the fat man. Pursed her lips. And her expression sank. Me so. Fatty's quick eyes and hands and pushed over an envelope, grinning and staring at the little girl's big white legs, showing his teeth. Can it be done? To tell you the truth, the labor companies in this small town a few days ago were all caught by us, the show's contestants. So understand? We both forget the whole passport. Okay, little girl you don't pretend. Last night at the Universal Nightclub I ran into you. Lang held you nibbled for half a day. Think I didn't see? Your labor company must have a way to get over there. But don't worry, the two of us are special cases. The security bureau won't care about you. The little girl's face instantly turned red, squinting her eyes as she surveyed the two men. Suddenly, 
She remembered. Hiss, you guys are Su Mo and Chen Yanhong? These two were now celebrities in their labor circle, and even a big brother above them had put out words. It was better to send a ghost out of the country than to send these two. No passport? Want to leave the country? Hiss, will it really be alright? Well, it's really going to be fine. Su Mo nodded with certainty, and in front of the little girl, he took out the fat man's cell phone, and after thinking, he still dialed to Chen Dali and pressed the speaker button. Chen Dali sat in the office. After listening carefully to Su Mo's request, cold sweat broke out on his brain. Live broadcast ah, can this question be asked to him with a straight face? What did you say? I'm not particularly good at signaling here. I can't hear ah. You guys want to leave the country ah? Go, off in contact ah. Nothing I hang up ah. Chen vigorously perfunctory a few sentences, busy hanging up the phone. Can you do it? Su Mo shoved the cell phone to the fat man, once again looked at the little girl. The other party gritted his teeth and nodded, whispered, it can be done, but, if you guys have an accident over there, it can have nothing to do with me, and then, last night that Monkler Jackets outlet was with you guys, can you still find someone, not, can you guys give Monkler outlet store me a word, can you return the stockings to me, last night said what the cold days, I also drink confused, watched him wear my stockings away, quite expensive ah, Sumo's two mouth corners jerked hard, and paid for the stockings again for the cold Monkler outlet store people, too ruthless, to not say it is a bandit origin, never go empty, Sheen Du, inpatient psychiatric department, director's son was holding an oxygen tank, his face red as he snarled at the doctor in front of him, how do you diagnose ah, come on, you tell me, what do you mean by abnormal brain fluctuations, meaning I'm mentally ill, what did I do, I trampled on a little more oxygen, you guys say I am mentally ill ah, I just want to wash a foot, Doctor, you are also a man. You have never washed the Emperor 699 package? The doctor waved his hand expressionlessly, shouted at a few nurses at the door. Sedative. Two shots first. Sun guy to percent and dollar percent and and and. And percent dollar. Late that night. Suomo two people carrying a big bag. Followed by the labor company's little girl. Quietly out of the city. Under the moonlight. The little girl two long legs. Wrapped in black silk. Walking in front of the two people from time to time turned back and instructed a moment of attention, a moment you do not talk too much ah, people let do what to do, to be honest, I'm doing this, the risk is great, you are not the past labor, when the time comes, do not say with me have a relationship, I can see, the little girl is still a little worried in her heart, there was no way not to worry, after going back, she deliberately watched the replay of Sumo's live broadcast for the whole afternoon, it doesn't matter if you don't watch it, a look at the foot scared to run a dozen times the toilet, what is a ruthless person? Behind these two is a living ruthless ah. Hole so much live it? Even in the borderline famous drug traffickers, the last are planted in the hands of these two people. According to her speculation, people sue MO with this approach to the past, not at all in order to walk through the country. People are running to catch people to make money to go. I hope the karma waste gang can hold up. Don't worry. A moment we don't talk. Just bury our heads and follow. Right. You don't go to the Universal Nightclub part time tonight? A fat on the side. Eyes bright staring at people a pair of long legs, touching the chin asked, don't go, I resigned, the little girl is also dry, hair flung, quite valiantly back, waiting to send you guys over, I guess I also go somewhere else, now labor companies are not good to do, the nightclub business is also general, not moving to run into a cold monkler jackets like that, I still earn a fart of money ah, how much a pair of Paris shirts ah, loss of money, cough cough, Suemo covered his mouth and coughed twice, signaling the fat man not to ask, ask again, maybe a moment later have to pull out the stocking money again, outrageous, are stockings sold this expensive now, how long will it take to arrive, immediately, past this forest will arrive, however, I can only send you to the forest, in a moment you go forward along the path, after you pass the borderline, there will be someone to meet you, the little girl lowered her head and thought, turned back and softly said, Suemo nodded and said no more, the reason for the urgency of time, what exactly this gang on the other side that the little girl was looking for them was doing, to be honest, the three people were not clear, in the end, it was a karma waste gang, or a network fraud gang, only when they met in a while could they know, the edge of the woods, you guys be careful, I'll watch your live broadcast if nothing happens, standing outside the woods, the little girl waved her hand and pursed her lips to say goodbye, big sister, you turn back to where you go part time give me a word ah, uh, when we participate in the program, I will come back to find you huh, don't worry, I specified that I can't steal your stockings to wear. Ah uh, Fatty flirtatiously raised his eyebrows and shouted with a smile. Bah, 
You can't wear them even with these legs. The little girl spat and walked away without looking back. Let's go too. Suemo dropped a sentence in a deep voice, turned around and walked into the woods. Tonight, the fans waiting inside the live broadcast room were more than ever. Everyone was looking forward to a day and night, and after so many days had passed, the two of them, Suemo, were finally going to exit the country. It could be called the attention of all. Can be considered out of the country? Good guy. Waiting for me are fast growing hair. The domestic has a gross meaning. All kinds of rules and regulations so much. Do something need to have scruples? This out of the country is good. Want to how the hole on how the hole. Too much looking forward to. Don't be too happy too early. Foreign countries are so chaotic. Especially this place. Everything has to be careful. If you're not careful waste can be gone. I'm wondering. You guys say every day that this place karma waste. Not. This country. Is not everyone waste has a problem? To so much waste to do ah? Fried to eat? God damn fried to eat. Of course. Is sold. Talking about this. The old man here is a little experience. Now the young ah. A spicy hot can be whole 12 back. On this whole method. 30 years old waste antiquity will not work. That shall not be replaced with a fresh one. Understand? Fuck. Upstairs. How do you know that my ex-boyfriend had 12 times in one night? Who are you? Come out here. Are you a beast? Good man. Has the main man come out? Everyone sent pop-ups on the live broadcast. Their eyes always staying on the dimly lit forest path. Sue M.O. and the two of them had already walked for a full 10 minutes. It was about to arrive at the borderline. But up until now, the person on the opposite side who received them still hadn't appeared. The people's hearts were expectant and worried. Brother, we're about to leave the country. In a moment, are we going to do it directly, or are we going to wait a little longer? A fatty touched the axe that was attached to his back waist and came up to ask in a low voice. Don't do it first. Don't know what the other side is doing. And, said here. Suemo slightly narrowed his eyes. The corner of his mouth slowly hooked up an arc. Before leaving, Captain Chen of the Chengdu Security Bureau purposely sent over a document that was a reward letter for rescuing people who were illegally coaxed to the next country to engage in criminal activities. And this reward was not for the general public. It was created for all vigilantes, regardless of any means. As long as a person could be persuaded to return, the headquarters of the security bureau would issue a reward, the kind that was not capped. But, although there is a way to persuade a person to return, the bonus is also not bad. A full 3, 0, 0, 0 yuan. But so far, persuade back, very few people. After all, as a dragon country law enforcement officers, the security bureau people cannot leave the country at will, can only through the way of online chat, with these controlled personnel contact. Not to mention whether it can be persuaded to return. In those fraudulent companies that were strictly guarded, it was almost hopeless for those who were tricked into going over to escape. Once discovered, taking off a waste is light. However, this reward book, for Su M.O., was simply the same as a long-haired sheep coming over with an innocent face and constantly teasing him with the wool on its body. It was impossible to say without gleaning. In a moment, you look at my eyes and act. First find out where the pair of gangs are coming from. Into the internal say. Then you this camera, a moment to change into a miniature, hide body, fatty answered, took off the camera on top of his head, and installed a miniature camera near his collar that the program team had specially prepared, goo 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 goo, suddenly, behind a large tree in front of them, there was a bird call, ga 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 ga, Suemo replied back as promised, at once, a few stout men who were not tall and wearing dark green camouflage uniforms walked out with a cautious face, when they were still a few meters away from Sumo's too they aimed their dark guns at them, surveying the two with scrutinizing eyes, an undoubted voice rang out, Cypher, Cypher, Sue M.O. and the two were dumbfounded, the little girl didn't say that there was a code word ah, she just said to use the sound of a bird to connect, when did you add a secret signal, what is the password, heavenly king over earth tiger, Sue M.O. licked the corners of his mouth, probed his hand into the bag, and looked up and returned an uncertain sentence, heavenly king covering earth tiger, Several burly men looked at each other in disbelief, the leader of which muttered softly and took a few steps forward. Holding a pistol against the fat man's head, he circled around him a few times. Too fat. Bad quality. Fatty's entire body was bad at once. Looking down on people? What do you mean by bad quality? Walking on the horse or flinging their thighs? Dare to say that their quality is not good? No. Brothers. What do you do ah? We just want to find a job in the past. And you guys have a code word for each other? Su M.O. pulled the fat man behind him with an angry expression. Oh, there is no secret code, but to try you guys, in two, since it is the past to find a job, then the two of you say, we'll do what work? At the sight of the two people's nervous appearance, a few strong men slowly put away their guns, 
their hearts relaxed a lot. This recent period of time is very evil. All kinds of labor companies that transport people are all arrested. At this time they still think of coming over to work and earn money. They can't help but be careful. Maybe it could be an undercover agent of the Dragon Kingdom. If it is an undercover agent. Just now when the secret signal was spoken. They would definitely do it. And would definitely not show an angry expression. Not to mention. One of them had gotten so fat that the security bureau of the Dragon Kingdom would not send such an undercover agent over as long as they were not blind. Aren't you guys the ones who arrange jobs? Suemo didn't answer this question and said in surprise. The little girl from the labor company gave us that in your place. A month is brushing dishes. That salary is more than 10. Zero, zero, zero. This kind of work I can do ah. You two want to make 10,000 a month? What are you good at yourself so that we can set you up with something so that the pay can be higher as well? The burly man followed the process and waved at the two of them, signaling to follow them as they walked. Based on the experience of picking up people in the past, once they heard that they could get more money in a month by doing what they were good at, these Dragon Nation people who sneaked over here would definitely not hide anything. In this way, it was also to stabilize the other party's emotions. After all, when they were sent to the place in a while, they could understand everything. Good at what? Suemo stroked his chin and pondered for a while, pretending to be honest, and whispered back, I seem to be able to do everything. As long as it's a job that comes with more money, I'm good at it. What about you? A few people looked to the fat man on one side. Brother, does being able to eat count? Fatty ghostly came up with this sentence. The team immediately fell into dead silence. Embarrassment filled the air. You say it properly. Suemo blared at this guy without any good reason. Can you respect a little? People are at least the karma waste gang. When can you eat is also good at the job. So what? Can eat doesn't count? Then there is only this one. Big brother. Ixy especially strong. Really? Last year. My second uncle let me go to do GAGA I did not go. I heard that the old money. A year to buy a car. Three years to buy a house. Big brother. You have this kind of field there? I can do this. Accompanied by a rich woman or something. I'm especially in the line. Not bragging. To the back of the tree. I pulled out to give you a look. A fatty quietly winked at Su Mo. Showing his teeth and bragging. Right. Things having come to this. Su Mo could only nod his head and echoed back. An odd look surfaced on the faces of several strong men. Something strange had happened. What's wrong with these few days? A day ago, another team received another group of people at the borderline. And one of them, a half-big kid named Chao Saner, seemed to be saying the same thing. Okay, we have this kind of field. You have this specialty, I believe. Do not need to pull out to see. A moment you two people go. Monthly income of 100. 000 was not a dream. The corner of the strong man's mouth twitched and returned a sentence leading a few people to quickly walk toward the woods outside, a dilapidated factory located within the primitive jungle. Inside the welded iron cage room, several people from Brother Mang were sitting cross-legged on the ground, staring at the moon outside with a sad expression. Brother Mang, is this the person you said was the receiver? Quickly pull down it, to receive us to close the iron cage ah, do not lie to me into it? I followed you in the beginning just to go to see the big long legs. To now, really, not my three children are not enough. You just say, Cow legs, donkey legs, dog legs I have seen. Just do not see the human legs. You cannot see my age is small. So fool me ah. Chao Saner, who was squatting in the corner with an iron chain around his neck, roared with an emotional breakdown. Haven't you seen it yet? Mad. Shut in the next door that person back I have seen. Waste was GA. This is not what the receiver. People step horse is karma waste. I, I stepped horse is only 19 ah. Have not tasted what taste it. And then be GA. You say I'm not wrong ah. Uh. Mang raised his leg and squatted on the ground, rubbing his face vigorously with his palm. Worried, his mouth is blistered. Had I known it would be like this, it really would have been better not to run over at that time. Letting those two beasts in the back capture it, that is, to be shot, that would not be as bad as being gargled in the waist ah. Uh. The remaining few people were silent, silently rubbing their two waists. The heart is quite reluctant to give up. Don't be anxious, GA is absolutely not to be GA can't be chaotic, so many big things have come over, mortar we are not afraid, can still let this group of people to bluff, all come together, let's think of a way, Mang growled lowly, gathering everyone together next to Saner, he quietly looked at a few people, signaling the group to brainstorm and think of a solution together, the crowd sighed in unison, crouching in the corner of the iron cage room, they desperately tried to think of a way, a full half hour passed, M, except for Saner who kept sobbing and wiping her tears, not a single person opened their mouths. There is no way out. They have been locked inside the iron cage room. When people come to bring people, 
At least several people with assault rifles follow beside them, and they will shoot at the drop of a hat. At first when they came in, a few people have planned to escape in the middle of the night, but the iron cage was welded too strong. Why was Sanner chained up? That is to gnaw the iron cage with his teeth was discovered, and then locked up. Oh, 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 oh. Fierce brother ah, I can go to you well it, all day you will give me a pie. What to this side? You can walk horizontally, you now nimbly stand up, walk horizontally AIC? You are a crab so what? By the time the waist was GA, crawling to walk all the effort, but also horizontal walk. You just see me go back to tell not to tell the second grandposit, just me a grandson. You take me out to break into society, give me a horse even break into the waist is gone. Seeing that none of them had a solution, Chow Sanner completely collapsed and began to swear. Stop howling, lock in two more people. Suddenly, a group of burly men held two people with black cloths on their heads at gunpoint, opened the iron cage, and pushed the two people in, removing the black cloths from their heads in the process. Whoever makes another sound at night, G.A. who first. The strong man narrowed his eyes and heavily closed the iron cage, twisting his head to leave. Su Emo looked at the few old acquaintances in front of him and couldn't help but grin. What is karma? Isn't this fate? Going round and round. In the end, actually locking another cage. Yo, isn't this our brother Meng? When he ran away at the end, wasn't he arrogant? Saying that the sky is high enough for birds to fly, and that as long as he got this way, he could walk sideways? What's wrong? Tired of flying? Why are you still in a cage? Sumo's eye slanted, lifted his leg and stomped Mang, rather inhumanly mocking. Nandu, small border city, inside the conference room of the lock gate. Chen Dali, Ning Fan and the other two captains, all sat in the conference room with gloomy faces. Present in addition to the two of them, there were also quite a few personnel transferred from the security bureau by both sides. In fact, all of them had already arrived at this place before Su Mo had even departed. And, according to the Kyoto side, the two security bureaus had set up a task force to rescue the repatriates. The purpose of coming here was to deal with the upcoming situation. But the problem came. The two of them knew the extent of Su Mo's two people's evil. Wool gathering outrageous means. The people at the border gate were not clear about it. This will look at the big screen was put into the iron cage of the two undercover agents. On the spot border gate responsible person Lao Dong is not dry. This is your undercover agent? Maybe the opposite situation you do not understand very well. This place is hidden in the primitive jungle. In addition to the local people can go in smoothly, unless you use a helicopter. Outsiders are simply impossible to go in. There are all sorts of traps along the way. And in some places there are even landmines. So, I think that since it's not going out well, why don't we contact the official people next to us now and put pressure on them to send people back first? Old Dong said this, based on the analysis of the actual situation. For so many years, how many undercover agents had been sent throughout the Dragon Kingdom, and in the end, there was no effect at all. Moreover, this kind of karma waste team in that place across the street, that doesn't give any face at all. Knowing that it's the vigilantes of the Dragon Kingdom, maybe they will be even more ruthless in their actions. There was no fear at all. This is also the reason why he hurriedly opened his mouth. Don't get to the point where people die before this task force is set up. How to develop next? Just, old Dong did not expect. After he finished, the two security bureau captains present, not only did their faces not show any concern, but instead they breathed a long sigh of relief. Hell, it is hard not to believe that a fat and a thin two people in the lake, with these two captains have conflicts, is deliberately sent over. A thought to this, Lao Dong's entire face sank. Pying. Slapping the table fiercely, he roared without mercy. Internal contradictions are internal contradictions. External contradictions are external contradictions. The two of you are going to make a mistake if you do this. Understand? Okay. You guys don't contact each other. I'll contact the other party now. And say whatever it takes to free the two people. Don't rush. Chen Dali saw that old Dong had gotten angry. He got up and walked over with a smile. Pushing a piece of information over. Inside was Sumo's file. It included every single prize that the guy had received since the start of the program. This, after reading it, Old Dong was silent for several minutes before finally coming back to his senses with great difficulty. Unbelievably, he looked at Chen Dali and Ning Fan, only to see the two nodding at him with certainty, meaning that the files were all true, and those things recorded inside were also true. Bull Batch Ah! Old Dong held his tongue for half a day and couldn't help but praise with a reddened face, looking up again at the two people in the picture, his eyes completely changed seen evil people, never seen, an ordinary person can give the two captains of the security bureau grips to bank loans, it was too magical, since the information was true, that meant that this trekking globetrotter named Su Mo was intentionally tied in by this group of people, 
getting inside the enemy, but with bare hands, can they really subdue this group of vicious criminals? Let's keep watching. I reckon that with Sumo's temperament, since he has already mapped out the place, he should almost make his move in the latter part of the night. Chen Dali stroked his chin and said thoughtfully, although it looked like it was a dead end in the iron cage. So far, from Sumo's face, not a bit of worry could be seen. Even the other party was now pulling in the gang of drug-making criminals. If this wasn't a prelude to a whole job, what was it? As Chen Dali finished speaking, the entire conference room was silent. A needle could be heard. Countless pairs of eyes, staring at the projector on the wall, all wanted to see. This contestant of hiking the globe, exactly how can he break the situation? First of all, how to get out of such a sturdy iron cage? Chen Du, psychiatric department, a general ward, sun guide, who had been given two shots of tranquilizers, felt that the whole person was in a trance, and it seemed that he could not bring up interest in anything, curled up under the covers, quietly waiting for the medicine to wear off, outside the door. The doctor who ordered to give two injections to Director Sun was now being disliked by a group of program managers, who were demanding a statement with righteous indignation. The doctor's forehead was sweating coldly, he tried his best to defend himself. Don't scold, don't scold, at that time you don't have a family member. In the middle of the night, you say he is an adult. You have to ask our nurse to give him an imperial foot bath. Who can stand it? It's just two shots of tranquilizer. The effect of the medicine will wear off immediately. The person won't have any problems. It's been such a long time. The eyes are all straight. The person can't even be recognized. You tell me there isn't any problem. I'm telling you, people's daughter-in-law of the sun director is on the way here. If the person can't be changed back, he will immediately look for trouble from your hospital. A shareholder hissed and growled. The whole person was angry to the point of trembling. What a critical moment. Tonight, Su Mo and her two people were about to leave the country. And at this time when the head of the program needed to sit in on the scene, the damned doctor gave director son two injections. Hard to put a good man, beaten into that kind of forced. Lying for almost ten hours, do not sleep. Eyes are staring straight at the ceiling. The words coming out of his mouth. No one can understand. Even a few of them, cannot recognize. They keep trying to wash their feet, looking really like a mental illness. It shouldn't be. The effects of the medicine should have all passed by this time. The doctor was also confused, pushed away the crowd and walked into the ward. Standing by the side of Sun Guide's hospital bed, grinning, he pulled out an awkward smile. Sun Director? Sun Director. Wake up hey? Don't look. Called out for a long time. There really wasn't any response at all. The doctor's heart also flooded with mutterings, and began to doubt what a few people on the program said. Just like this, can there be no problem with the brain? Technician number 18 is here. At this time, the little nurse who followed the one who walked in, gathered her courage and shouted in a small voice. Ah, coming? Sun Guide's eyes recovered at a speed visible to the naked eye, twisted his head to look at the doorway, shook his head vigorously, and pointed at a middle-aged woman at the doorway and shouted, Is it a lie to me? 699 package ah, emperor foot bath ah, you just send a big mom? Ah, change it. Say whatever you want to change one for me. After saying that, the several people in charge of the program team stared blankly at Director Sun's wife who stood in the doorway, and coincidentally wiped their cold sweat. Inside the entire ward, the temperature instantly dropped. Doctor, I think you're right. Maybe the spirit does have a bit of a problem. So hurry up and give two more injections. One of the people in charge quietly pulled on the doctor's clothes, carefully pointed at the still delirious guide son on the hospital bed, and whispered, hurry up. Hurry up and give two more injections. If you don't give it another shot, someone will die in a while. Subsequently, Sun Director's wife drove everyone out, and while unlocking the door, she turned her head to look at Old Sun on the bed. Ha, huh? wife, why are you here? I'll tell you, I'm really not sick. Sun Guy looked at this familiar person in front of him and shivered violently, thinking carefully about what he had just shouted. The whole person was dumbfounded. Yes, you're not sick. I believe you. You're just a little bit of skin loose. Said, Sun Guide's wife copied the mop behind the door, 